it would be very strange if the Manchu civil and military did not lean on Liu Xie's side. Of course, even if someone is still stubborn, it will be part of it at best. In this way, Liu Xie is expected to change Liu Hong's prince candidate, and eventually Liu Xie will come forward to become the prince of the Han Empire and then inherit the Datong. And this is Liu Xie's calculation, or Liu Xie's ultimate goal. Really, I want to calculate Lao Zi, I really don't know how to live or die. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, Zhang Li, who was standing next to Liu Hong Glong's chair, suddenly sank, and then bowed to Liu Hong and said, Your Majesty, the servants think that ordinary generals can teach the second prince, and Lord Yu Wang is not required to come forward in person. Obviously, Zhang Li also saw the calculations of the second prince Lu Xie, otherwise his face would not change suddenly, and he would directly advise Lu Hong. As for the reason, it is actually very simple. Zhang Li was close to Lu Bian, so naturally he didn't want to see Lu Xie's calculations succeed. Lu Hong was stunned for a moment because of Lu Xie's words. Hearing this, he couldn't help but looked at Zhang Li and asked. Father, why is this? Your Majesty, the rebellion of the Han Empire and the invading monster race have just been suppressed by Lord Ya Wang, but the situation has not yet been completely stabilized. Moreover, whether there are still demon remnants in the Han area is still unknown. If Lord Ya Wang would give up stabilizing the current situation of the big man for the sake of the second prince, once the rebellious courtiers, or the remnants of the demon clan, would inevitably begin to turmoil again. When Zhang Li Gong said this, Lu Xie, who was kneeling in the hall, suddenly changed his face. He was about to speak, but was interrupted by Zhang Li. Your Majesty, if it's just these, you don't need to care too much. After all, Lord Ya Wang can lead troops again. But Your Majesty, Lord Ya Wang, in order to destroy the Golden Turban Rebellion Party, and the monster army who invaded the human world, has already damaged the soldiers and soldiers, and it is extremely serious. If the Hussar general is not allowed to fill up the missing soldiers as soon as possible, and speed up the training, once there are uncontrollable changes, then... When Zhang Li said this, he stopped, and Lu Hong's face changed drastically after listening to Zhang Li's explanation. In the next second, Lu Hong glared at Lu Xie, and then shouted. You almost missed me, my country. Get out. Without my summons, it is forbidden to leave your palace. If you disobey, kill him. Yes, father. Lu Xie heard this and wanted to explain several times. However, when he saw the hate in Lu Hong's eyes, he finally gave up the explanation. After Lu Xie finished speaking, he bowed to Lu Hong then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and bowed. Brother-in-law, Lu Xie retire. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at Lu Xie, and then nodded. When Lu Xie saw this, he gave Ye Chen a bitter smile, and then said again. If the big guy is completely stable, I still hope my brother-in-law can take the time to teach one or two. If your majesty orders, this king will definitely obey. Ye Chen smiled slightly and then said. The expression on Ye Chen's face was nothing unusual, but he told Lu Xie something very clearly. It's okay, Shao Ti's ink marks, if you want Lao Tzu to teach you, you must be your Lao Tzu Lu Hong personally order it. In fact, if Ye Chen weren't for it, Lu Xie could not die for the time being, he would have killed the early. Who told him to be so young, but he kept calculating Ye Chen time and time again, and wanted to use Ye Chen to achieve what he wanted. So, Lu Xie retire. After hearing Ye Chen's words, Lu Xie's expression suddenly changed. After taking a deep look at Ye Chen, he bowed and bowed to Ye Chen. After speaking, he left the hall straight away. Lu Hong glanced at Lu Xie who was leaving, frowning involuntarily. Lu Hong is stupid, but he is not too stupid. At this time, it would be strange if Lu Hong could not see Lu Xie's purpose. After returning to his senses, Lu Hong looked at Ye Chen and nodded in satisfaction. Obviously, Lu Hong liked Ye Chen's clear statement. 
Zhang Li next to Lu Hung Glong's chair, seeing this, gave Ye Chen a look at the owner, and then smiled flatteringly at Lu Hong. Your Majesty, General Huzar will get married in five days. How is Your Majesty going to celebrate? When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at Zhang Li, then bowed to Lu Hong and said, Your Majesty, it is a great blessing for the Wiccan to marry the two princesses. Nowadays, all parts of the Han dynasty are suffering from the Golden Turban Chaos and the Demon Clan. As soon as Ye Chen said this, Lu Hong's face suddenly sank, but Zhang Li's face changed drastically, and he hurriedly gave Ye Chen Lian several eyes. At this moment, Ye Chen continued. It's just that it is a great joy for the Wiccan to marry the princess, and we must celebrate. Therefore, the Wiccan is willing to put out some money and entertain all the people in Luoyang. As for the time, it is all up to your majesty. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Lu Hong and Zhang Li stayed together. After returning to his senses, Lu Hong laughed, and then shouted. Good. Good. Worthy of being my good son-in-law. Congratulations, your majesty, congratulations. Zhang Li opened his eyes and smiled at this moment, bowed and bowed to Lu Hong. After Lu Hong heard Zhang Li's compliment, he smiled again, then left the dragon chair, walked to Ye Chen a few steps, patted Ye Chen on the shoulder with great satisfaction, and said. My son-in-law, how about seven days? Your Majesty said a few days, that's just a few days. Ye Chen heard this, smiled slightly, then bowed and said. After speaking, with a move with his right hand, ten boxes of purple gold coins appeared in the hall instantly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. After seeing the ten boxes of purple gold coins suddenly appearing in the hall, Lu Hong's eyes lit up, and then he said with excitement. Good. Good. Just seven days. Luoyang is the capital of the Han Empire, with a population of tens of millions, and the cost of eating and drinking for seven days, adding up, can't reach a box of purple gold coins. As for Ye Chen, he took out ten boxes of purple gold coins when he came up. At this point, no matter how you look at it, he was suspected of showing off. But the real situation is that Ye Chen didn't show up at all, but deliberately. You must know that Lu Hong, the emperor of the Han Empire, is notoriously greedy for money, otherwise, he would not openly sell officials. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that Ye Chen used money this time to please Lu Hong. After all, Lu Hong had suspected Ye Chen, and even now, he may still have some suspicions about Ye Chen. Otherwise, Lu Hong would not follow Zhang Li's suggestion, and deliberately recognized De Chiao Xiao Chiao, who had never met, as his daughter, and then married the two daughters to Ye Chen together, so that Ye Chen was completely tied to the royal palace. The big boat is on board. As for Ye Chen's purpose of deliberately pleasing Lu Hong, it was actually to make the wedding go smoothly. Of course, more, but to completely dispel the little suspicion left in Lu Hong's heart. But to achieve this goal, what Ye Chen needs to pay is just a few words, plus some money. As far as Ye Chen was concerned, no matter how much money he spent, he wouldn't care about it. After all, Ye Chen's favorite at the moment was still spirit stones, spirit medicines, various fairy level materials or higher level materials, treasures, and so on. For money or something, the purchasing power is limited to some things in the Three Kingdoms novice zone and these things are to Ye Chen. Therefore, Ye Chen didn't care about money or anything. As for Ye Chen's intention to say that the people are living in hardship at the moment, they actually gave Lu Hong a reason to collect money in an open manner. After all, the emperor married his daughter and the whole city celebrated, and the emperor had to pay for it. But according to Lu Hong's greed for money and stingy personality, this is tantamount to cutting Lu Hong's flesh again. However, whether it was out of courtesy or out of respect for Ye Chen, Lu Hong had to take the money. Now, 
Ye Chen took the initiative to give Lu Hong a good reason to collect money, and Lu Hong could make a lot of money because of this. How could Lu Hong be unhappy? Ye Chen smiled slightly after hearing Lu Hong's inexplicable excitement, then bowed solemnly and said. Your Majesty, since there are still five days before the wedding, we will go back and prepare for one or two. Five days later, we will officially marry Princess Zhao Yang and Princess Chang'e. Good. Good. When Lu Hong heard this, he retracted his gaze to look at the ten boxes of purple gold coins, and then said with a smile on his face. Ye Chen heard this and was about to speak, Zhang Li suddenly came to Lu Hong with a smile on his face, bowed and said. Your Majesty, Lord Yu Wang doesn't have a mansion in Luoyang yet, do you want to set up a mansion for Lord Yu Wang so that when you get married, Lord Yu Wang will not be criticized for not having a wedding room? Yes, yes, let my father say yes, I did ignore this question. Lu Hong was taken aback when he heard this, then nodded and said. After speaking, Lu Hong touched his chin, and then frowned. In the next second, Lu Hong looked at Zhang Li and said. Father, there seems to be no idle mansion in Luoyang City. If a mansion is built now, I am afraid it will be too late in time. Your Majesty, the slave servant vaguely remembers that General Heijin has just built a mansion recently, and it seems that the decoration has just been completed. It is better to buy the mansion from General Heijin to use it as the marriage of Lord Ya Wang. Fang, how? Zhang Li smiled slightly when he heard Lu Hong's words, then bowed in prayer. Ye Chen's eyebrows raised involuntarily after hearing this. Zhang Li deliberately talked about the wedding house, and directly talked about He Jin's newly built mansion. Finally, he suggested that Lu Hong buy He Jin's mansion. In fact, He Jin was disgusting. He also put on some shoes for He Jin, of course. Another point is to let Ye Chen stand in line. Ye Chen could see these naturally, but Ye Chen didn't mind. You know, Ye Chen killed He Jin's son He Xian early in the morning. It can be said that there is never the possibility of reconciliation between General He Jin and Ye Chen. Of course, Ye Chen couldn't do anything to reconcile. You know, Ye Chen's goal is to dominate the world and then ascend the whole country. It's not about being an official in the Han Empire, messing around, and reconciling with him. In fact, if He Jin hadn't been the key to Dong Da's chaos, Ye Chen would have killed He Jin long ago, so how could he let him live until now? Therefore, Ye Chen didn't mind Zhang Li's careful thinking, blocking He Jin, standing on the opposite side of He Jin or something. Of course, Ye Chen didn't think about buying a wedding house in Luoyang, but didn't plan to do it at all. In Ye Chen's view, when he married Princess Zhao Yang and Xiao Qiao of Chang'e, it would be nice to walk in Luoyang. After all the complicated etiquette steps are over, he will directly take him back to the city of reincarnation. After the provincial government got a house in Luoyang, Lu Hong asked Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao to return to her family's home, or simply let Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao live in Luoyang. In this way, although Lu Hong feels more at ease, Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao have become protons. This is not what Ye Chen wanted to see. However, if you think about it, it doesn't matter whether there is a wedding room or not. As long as Lu Hong feels suspicion about Ye Chen again in his heart, in all likelihood, Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao will be taken up to live in Luoyang, and they will be regarded as protons. So, after thinking about it, Ye Chen was not going to care about anything in the wedding room, and there was no need to care about it. Because Lu Hong wanted to be unfavorable to Ye Chen, or unfavorable to Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao, it was impossible to succeed. After all, the strength of Ye Chen's power in the divine martial realm lies here. Even if Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao really became protons, Ye Chen was 100% sure that he would take away Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao without putting them in any danger. Ye Chen just thought of this. After hearing Zhang Li's suggestion, Lu Hong was taken aback for a while, and his eyes suddenly lit up. In the next second, Lu Hong nodded with a smile on his face and said. Let my father make sense. He Jin, the old man, can really enjoy it. 
He clearly has such a big house, and he has to build a new mansion. It's too shameless and too wasteful. Your Majesty, as soon as it should be spent, the Wiccan is willing to bear it. Ye Chen heard this and glanced at Zhang Li, who was satisfied, then looked at Lu Hong and bowed. After Ye Chen finished speaking, with a move with his right hand, ten boxes of purple gold coins suddenly appeared in the hall. Seeing the ten boxes of purple gold coins reappearing, Lu Hong's face was suddenly covered with smiles. In the next second, Lu Hong looked directly at Zhang Li and shouted. Go, let the old man come to see me in Heijin. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Yes. Your Majesty. Zhang Li suddenly smiled flatteringly when he heard this, then bowed and said, after speaking, he waved at the entrance of the palace hall. The next second, a little hurried over, and after bowing to Lu Hong, Zhang Li said a few words, and the little hurriedly bowed and said. Yes. The slave and maid will go now. After speaking, the little hurriedly left the hall. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. He Jin, the old immortal, is estimated to be pitted by Lu Hong once. No wonder Ye Chen thinks so. You must know that Lu Hong is the emperor of the Han Empire, and he is extremely greedy for money. What to buy and how to buy a new mansion, it sounds good. In the end, Lu Hong will definitely not spend a penny. Ye Chen knew this very well, but it was clear to him that Ye Chen had to pay out, otherwise, how could Lu Hong be more happy? Of course, just a little money, how could Ye Chen care if he spends it or not? Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at Lu Hong again, then bowed and said. Your Majesty, please leave it to Your Majesty about the marriage room. We will go back and prepare for one or two, so as not to make mistakes when we marry the two princesses five days later. My son-in-law, don't worry, I will take care of the marriage room. If He Jin dares to refuse, I will take off his dog's head. Lu Hong laughed when he heard this, and then patted Ye Chen. S shoulders, said. Lu Hong said close to Ye Chen. No way, who made Ye Chen, a good son-in-law, give him batches of purple gold coins. This is not comparable to gold coins. Even Lu Hong has never seen so many purple gold coins. How could he not be excited, how could he not be close to Ye Chen? When Ye Chen heard this, he immediately bowed in grateful and said. Thank you. Your Majesty. Family don't talk about two things, son-in-law, hurry back and prepare. Lu Hong nodded and said with a smile. Yes. Your Majesty, the Wiccan retires. Ye Chen nodded heavily when he heard this, then bowed and worshipped. After speaking, he turned and left the hall. As soon as Ye Chen left, Zhang Li, the chief eunuch, bowed to Lu Hong with incomparable flattery. Your Majesty, Lord Yu Wang, for the two princesses, he will spend a lot of money to buy a wedding room and entertain the people of the city. It must be extremely satisfied with the marriage, otherwise, it will not be the case. Let my father say so much, I didn't expect that my good son-in-law would be willing to spend so much money for this marriage. Lu Hong laughed when he heard this, and then said. Zhang Li nodded with a smile on his face, and then said. In this way, you can also see that Lord Yu Wang is indeed committed to Your Majesty, and he understands the difficulties of Your Majesty. If you change to someone else, it will be good if you can take out one ten thousandth of Lord Yu. It's true. Thanks to my good son-in-law today, if it weren't for him, I would be really dangerous today. Lu Hong nodded when he heard this, and then sighed. The main hall of the palace is on the way to the gate of the palace city. Ye Chen, who had been showing his consciousness, raised his eyebrows involuntarily after hearing the dialogue between Zhang Li and Lu Hong. Really, Lu Hong's suspicion has finally been completely dispelled. However, thanks to Li Muabai's stupid fork, I really couldn't stage a rescue drama without him. What's happening here, it's fine, just wait five days to get married. 
Next, it's time to meet those mysterious forces. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's mind suddenly became stronger. In the next second, everything within 200,000 miles around Ye Chen was instantly covered by Ye Chen's divine sense. As soon as the tea time passed, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and then accelerated towards the gate of the Imperial Palace. When Ye Chen left the palace, he walked directly to a corner with no one, and then his mind moved, and the space in front of him was instantly distorted. Taking a look at the distorted space, Ye Chen stepped in, then disappeared. Yuzhou, Runan County, in the lobby of a three-in and three-out mansion. After listening to a middle-aged man's narration, a grey-haired old man frowned. In the next second, the white-haired old man looked at the middle-aged man, and then asked in a deep voice. Zi Chu, really all those disciples are dead? Yes, father, after I got the news, I went offline to check, and the result was exactly the same as what was said on the World Channel. The middle-aged man nodded heavily when he heard this, and then said. Hearing this, the white-haired old man frowned again. After a while, the white-haired old man narrowed his eyes and said. With that said, Li Miubai was not only killed by Ye Chen, but also dropped the Qing Lian sword art. Yes, father, the method Ye Chen used in Bajin was sword aura, and it was a cyan sword aura. The color of the sword aura released when Li Miubai used the sword is exactly the same. The middle-aged man's face was not very pretty. Nodded, and then spoke. As soon as the middle-aged man's words fell, a young man sitting under the middle-aged man's face suddenly changed, then he looked at the white-haired old man and said. Grandpa, the key is not who obtained the Qing Lian sword art. The key is the sword aura of the Qing Lian sword art which can directly obliterate the soul. This is the most terrifying place. A teenager who was a few years younger than the young man smiled coldly when he heard this, and then said. Let me just say, Li Miubai should be killed earlier and snatched his Qing Lian sword art. You must say that the time has not come, now it's okay. The sword energy released by Qing Lian sword art can kill the soul. Chen got it, if Ye Chen finds us. I see how you can resist. Shut up. No big or small. The middle-aged man suddenly became angry when he heard this, and then he shouted at the young man in a deep voice. When the young man heard what the middle-aged man said, his face turned red and he stood up immediately, and then shouted. I'm telling the truth. Kill Li Miubai sooner and his Qing Lian sword art. It is us who can kill the soul with the sword spirit. Nazai. Silence me. The middle-aged man's face suddenly sank when he saw the boy bumping against him, and then shouted angrily. When the young man heard this, he gave a cold hum, then looked at the white-haired old man and said. Grandpa, I have said time and time again, that your style is not going well now, you just don't believe it. All right now, the Qing Lian sword art killing can directly obliterate the soul, and Ye Chen got it. When Ye Chen comes to the door, let alone opening the secret realm, there are more than a hundred people in our Li family. Whether they can survive or not is a question. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The three grandparents of the Li family and a servant in the hall had thought that Ye Chen might track down here, but in their opinion, this chance would not be great for the time being. After all, they never showed up at all, let alone exposed any information about the Lee family. However, if you are not afraid of 10,000, you are afraid of anything. If Ye Chen really traces it here, at that time, no matter what they do or say, it will be useless. You should know that Ye Chen is a powerful person in the divine martial realm. As long as they get here, if they haven't left, then there will only be one, and they will be killed by Ye Chen. It was precisely because of this concern that the Patriarch Li let his son pass a message, ordering everyone to go offline and return to the real world, and then retreat into the family secret realm, preparing to avoid Ye Chen temporarily. Of course, this alone is not enough to ensure that the Li family is safe and secure. Because after Ye Chen arrived here, 
he found that people went to the building empty, so he would definitely continue to investigate. In order to be more secure, Clan Chief Li cruelly killed the boy, and he planned to push the boy out when Ye Chen traced him to the head of Clan Li, and pleaded guilty to Ye Chen. In this way, the Li clan had a high chance to escape Ye Chen's revenge. As for arbitrarily arranging a person to fight the crime, the Patriarch Li hadn't thought about it, but in the end, the Patriarch Li dispelled the idea. After all, Ye Chen's deeds are right there, domineering, ruthless, and even cruel. Anyone pushing someone out to fudge Ye Chen is likely to be discovered by Ye Chen, and then it will bring a crisis of destruction to the Li family. This is not the result that the Patriarch Li wants to see. However, the Patriarch of the Li clan, who has counted all the calculations, just didn't expect one thing, Ye Chen came so quickly. In fact, even before the meteor fell, the Li family had gained a lot of inheritance, and even knew a lot of information related to cultivation, but in the end, they still did not have an accurate understanding of the Divine Martial Realm. In such a realm, the Divine Sense is 100,000 Li, and Ye Chen, a strong man in the Divine Martial Realm, is 200,000 Li. Otherwise, Ye Chen would not directly release his spiritual sense when he left the palace to probe the conversations of all players within this range. In the end, it went smoothly. Ye Chen directly locked the Li family and came here. Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain after hearing the four people's exclamation. In fact, Ye Chen could have appeared in the hall a long time ago, but when Ye Chen was about to appear, his spiritual sense detected the patriarch Li, and he was talking about Li Muabai wildly. So Ye Chen gave up the plan to appear directly. After all, what Ye Chen said to Li Muabai before he died, there is still something incomprehensible. And just now, in order to let his grandson be a real ghost, Ye Chen would naturally not interrupt the long talk of the Li family chief. And now, Ye Chen finally knew the origin of Li Muabai, and also understood why Li Muabai suddenly changed the trajectory of his previous life, ran to possess Lu Xie, and even knew what the great secret Li Muabai said was. In fact, even Ye Chen did not expect that one of the mysterious forces that had been hidden in the previous life, the Li family, actually possessed two secret realms. One is accessible, and the other is not yet opened. Otherwise, the Patriarch Li would not say retreat into the secret realm of the clan, and the descendants of the Li clan who was killed by the Patriarch Li would not say anything, open the secret realm. Sure enough, all the hidden forces in the previous life have reaped a lot of benefits. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glanced at the completely dead young man on the ground, and then at the dagger in the hands of the grey-haired and grey-haired old man. In the next second, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly narrowed. Soul Eater The Soul Eater is a special weapon that can devour the soul, but the Soul Eater has a limit on the number of times it can be used, and it also has great requirements for the strength of the soul. To be precise, if you want to use the ability of eating souls than eating souls, the person who is attacked cannot have a higher realm than the Purple House realm, otherwise, it will fail. Of course, no matter how great the limit of the soul devouring dagger, Ye Chen was fired to the sky in his previous life. Although, as the cultivation level improved, people soon discovered the tasteless characteristics of the Soul Eater Dagger. But before discovering it, the Soul Eater Dagger stayed for a while. As for the reason, it is that the Soul Eater can devour human souls. Unexpectedly, the Soul Eater Dagger from the previous life would appear here. Could it be that the blood kills in the previous life were created by this Li family? Blood Kill is Ye Chen's previous life, a very famous killer organization in the prehistoric world. Their standard weapon is the Soul Eater. At the beginning, the blood showed a lot of faces when killing, because they killed the players directly, and there was a lot of time. At that time, players were extremely afraid of blood killing, and even shuddering when they mentioned blood killing. But later, the ability of the Soul Eater Dagger to consume the soul, which was unable to work against players above the Purple Mansion realm, was discovered by the players. Since then, the Blood Kill has opened a very tragic history. On weekdays, 
the players will go around in groups to look for the blood killing members, and then rush to the blood killing members to kill them on the spot, then guard the corpses, and then kill them again and again. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then made a move with his right hand, the golden sword and Xian Yuan sword, instantly appeared in Ye Chen's right hand. Chief Li's expression suddenly changed when he saw this, but immediately he recovered his composure. In the next second, Clan Chief Li bowed to Ye Chen and said, Li Chongqing, see Lord Yu Wang, I don't know Lord Yu Wang, now, what's the matter? What's the matter? Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, and then shouted, To your life! When the Clan Chief Li heard this, he couldn't help but cock in his heart. After working hard to stabilize the heart that was beating suddenly and violently, Clan Chief Li bowed to Ye Chen and said. The calculation of Lord Yu Wang really started because of Li's unscrupulous descendants. Now, the old man has used family law to execute this son, and I ask Lord Yu to forgive him. When Ye Chen heard this, he curled his lips in disdain. Ye Chen heard the conversation of the Li clan in the hall from the beginning to the end. How could he be stunned by a few words? Taking a cold look at the chief of the Li clan, Ye Chen slapped his left hand, and the extremely violent murderous aura appeared in an instant, and then the four people in the hall were firmly fixed in place. In the next second, Ye Chen pointed at clan chief Li with his right hand Swan Yu and Jian, and then asked. Where is your position in the real world? Ye Chen came here naturally to kill the mysterious hidden power of the Li clan, who let them calculate Ye Chen. However, Ye Chen now knows that there is still an unopened secret in the Li family, so naturally he will not miss it casually. You know, until now, none of the secret realms that could be opened by the Li clan belonged to a high-level secret realm 100%, and everything in it was in a dusty state. If Ye Chen could get this secret realm, he would surely gain a lot of good things, even more than when Ye Chen searched the monster clan secret realm before. Ye Chen didn't know exactly what he would get, but Ye Chen knew one thing very well, this unopened secret realm must be obtained. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily after hearing the extremely naive words of the clan leader Li, and then asked. Is it? Don't believe it. Even if I tell you the specific position of the Li clan in the real world, you will not be able to find the unopened secret realm. When the clan chief Li heard this, his brows suddenly frowned, and then he said. Obviously, the patriarch Li's attitude towards Ye Chen didn't care at all and he was a little worried or even frightened, otherwise, he would not suddenly frown. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at the patriarch Li, and then asked. Where is the Li family? Ye Chen, you really don't think about reconciliation. When the clan chief Li heard this, his face suddenly sank, and then he asked. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at clan chief Li with disdain, and was about to speak but suddenly he saw Clan Chief Li's lips and moved slightly. At this moment, a word appeared directly in Ye Chen's mind, speaking with his lips. This is the game world. Long-distance communication in the player's home can be achieved through friends. However, no matter what you say, you must tell it in person before you can send it out. There is no keyboard here, for people to type. It is precisely because of this restriction that in many cases, after the forces fight with each other, they will directly seal their mouths after they have captured an enemy or a spy to prevent them from sending any messages. This method of treating player captives is common to all player forces. However, soon some forces discovered that they had captured the enemy and sealed the enemy's mouth. However, his own secrets were still passed on. After being puzzled, it was a detailed investigation, and the final result was directed to the lips. To be precise, if the caught enemy understands the lip language, even if the mouth is sealed, it is useless. He can use the lip language to tell his friends all the things he wants to say. The patriarch Li, who was controlled by Ye Chen, 
was obviously a person who understood lip language. As for what he wanted to do with lip language now, how could Ye Chen fail to see it? Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted. Want to send news to get your people offline? Dreaming. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, violent pressure suddenly erupted from Ye Chen, and instantly enveloped the county town of Runan County. In the next second, players in the entire city, without exception, were all set in place. Ye Chen knew that the players in this house belonged to the Li clan, but Ye Chen didn't know for the time being whether there were any Li clan members in the county town of Runan County. Ye Chen didn't want to neglect the members of the Li family just because he was uncertain. After all, Ye Chen came here to eradicate all the Li family. After hearing Ye Chen's words, the patriarch Li smiled coldly, and then said. Unexpectedly, you also know the lip language, you really are the same as they said, you are not an ordinary person at all. Do you think it will be useful if you pass it out? If you don't believe it, ask if she can go offline. Ye Chen curled his lips disdainfully when she heard this, and then said. When clan chief Li heard this, his face suddenly changed, without thinking about it, he used his lips again. However, within two seconds, the patriarch Li's face suddenly became pale and pale. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then his mind moved. In the next second, the space in front of Ye Chen suddenly twisted. Taking a look at the distorted space, Ye Chen leaned in with his left hand, and then grabbed it. When Ye Chen withdrew his left hand from the twisted space, a young girl of 28 years suddenly appeared in the hall. Seeing the girl who appeared suddenly, the chief of the Li clan suddenly became furious, and then shouted at Ye Chen. Ye Chen! You are still not a man. Why don't you let the kids go? Children! Ye Chen curled his lips disdainfully when he heard this, then looked at the 28-year-old girl and asked. Tell me, the position of the Li family in the real world, I will give you a happy one, otherwise. When Ye Chen said this, he smiled suddenly, and then showed his white teeth. I, I don't know, I really don't know. After seeing Ye Chen's white teeth, the girl shuddered abruptly, and then said in horror. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this, and then said in a deep voice. Although I don't know what you ate that made you sixteen years old, no matter how you change, you can't conceal the decadent aura emanating from your soul. Are you still going to continue to pretend? Don't say it. Ye Chen won't let us go. Hearing this, the clan chief Li was in a daze. After recovering, he hurriedly shouted at the maiden. When Ye Chen heard this, Xian Yuan's sword in his right hand slashed towards the chief of the Li clan without hesitation. Bang Law came. I saw the chief of the Li clan directly cut in half by the Cyan sword aura, and then burst into pieces with a bang. The blood in the hall suddenly became stronger. Ye Chen looked at the corpse of the head of the Li clan who had blown up the ground, curled his lips in disdain, then looked at the maiden and asked. Say, or not? The girl who was looking at the corpse fragments of the head of the Li clan in a daze, when she heard this, she suddenly regained her consciousness, then turned her head sharply, looked at Ye Chen, and shouted. Dreaming. You bastard, if you kill my children and grandchildren, you must die. Dead. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, then swiped a sword, and instantly wiped out the girl who looked like a girl in front of him but was actually the wife of the patriarch of the Li clan. In the next second, Ye Chen looked directly at the grey-haired old man and said lightly. Do you know where the Li family is in the real world? If you know, you might as well say it, and I will give you a good time. I'm very old, and I haven't been alive for many years. If you want to do it, just do it. The grey-haired old man smiled slightly when he heard Ye Chen's words, and then said. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at the grey-haired old man in surprise, and then said. Unexpectedly, I unexpectedly met a person who is very indifferent to life and death. You surprised me. When the grey-haired old man heard this, 
he glanced at Ye Chen calmly, and then said. Thank you for your compliment. Although the old man knows that it is useless to ask for mercy, he still wants to ask the Lord Ya Wang for a favor and let the other members of the Li clan let go. If Lord Ya Wang is willing to stop here, the Li clan will certainly be grateful to Lord Ya Wang, and will also join the clan to rely on Lord Ya Wang. Everything in the Li clan will also belong to Lord Ya Wang. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then he said. It seems that you are still a person with a story, otherwise, you will not be so faithful, but you stand in the wrong position and don't say it, and you say the wrong thing. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen didn't care whether the grey-haired old man really looked down on life and death, and whether he was really loyal to the Li clan, Ye Chen didn't care either. For Ye Chen, this grey-haired old man is also an enemy, and an enemy who can face him even if Mount Tai is overwhelmed. Otherwise, he would not calmly tell Ye Chen that the Li clan would submit the clan to Ye Chen. Unfortunately, the grey-haired old man still didn't understand Ye Chen. Otherwise, he would definitely not mention the obedience of the Li clan. To be precise, Ye Chen would never accept people from the real world and be his subordinates. Especially the special forces like the Li family, no matter how many there are, no matter how wild they say they are, Ye Chen will not accept them. If Ye Chen makes an exception to accept them, then it won't take long for Ye Chen's calculations to appear one after another. Ye Chen was very sure of this. No way, this is the reality of human society after the meteor falls. Very helpless and very sad. There is no trust between people, no morality, only naked conspiracy, and the law of the jungle. Of course, Ye Chen didn't care about this, because Ye Chen, who was born again, had seen too many conspiracies, too many betrayals, and too many calculations. Of course, the most is naturally the law of the jungle. Whether it is a human, a demon, or a witch, they are all within the law of the jungle. If you want to be detached, you must have the strength, powerful enough to make all living beings tremble and even fear. This is reality, regardless of past life or present life. Thinking of this, Ye Chen thought, and the space in front of him instantly twisted. In the next second, Ye Chen dived into the distorted space with his left hand, grabbed it casually, and then saw a young man with obvious servant temperament, and he was immediately caught by Ye Chen. Yet. Ye Chen. The young man who was suddenly caught in the hall saw Ye Chen, his face suddenly paled, and then he stammered at Ye Chen and shouted. Ye Chen glanced at the young man, and his right hand Swan Yuanjian pointed directly at the young man. Then he looked at the grey-haired old man and asked. Say, or not? The young man is naturally the offspring of the grey-haired old man, otherwise Ye Chen would not have caught him specially. As for Ye Chen's ability to catch the offspring of the grey-haired old man so accurately, the reason is actually very simple. You know, before Ye Chen officially appeared in the hall, he heard the conversation between the clan chief Li and his son and grandson. And in their dialogue, Daekyong was mentioned. Although the patriarch Li didn't say it clearly, it was easy to judge that this big strong must be the offspring of the grey-haired old man, otherwise the patriarch Li would not specifically name him. When the young man heard this, he couldn't help but squinted his eyes. When he saw the grey-haired old man, he didn't even think about it, and directly shouted. Dad, say it quickly, boss Ye Chen wants to know what you can tell it. The grey-haired old man who was originally calm, heard the young man's words, sighed for a long time, and then fell silent. After the tea time, the grey-haired old man looked at Ye Chen, and then said. The Li family is kind to me. Without the Li family, I died thirty years ago. When Ye Chen heard this, his brows suddenly frowned. Just when Ye Chen thought the old man wanted to die, the grey-haired old man suddenly continued. For so many years, I have done a lot of things for the Li family, enough to repay the Li family's kindness to me, 
why I am so loyal to the Li family, Lord Yu, do you know? When Ye Chen heard this, he looked at the grey-haired old man a few times, and then said. I'm not interested. Listen to your story. If you want to tell the position of the Li family in the real world, just say it directly. If you don't say it, I will send you to the underground to reunite. It's in the Magic City Triple X. As for the unopened secret realm of Li's family, under the rockery, there is a layer of forbidden magic stone. Divine consciousness can't penetrate. As long as you open it, a passage will appear. The entrance of the secret realm. The grey-haired old man sighed when he heard this, and then said. The divine sense locked onto the grey-haired old man Ye Chen, and after confirming that the grey-haired old man did not lie, he nodded in satisfaction. I said how Patriarch Li is so emboldened, and also said that only a few people know the location of the unopened secret realm. Without them, I would not even want to find the unopened secret realm. It turned out to be because of the Forbidden Magic Stone. Forbidden Magic Stone is a special material, function, cut off all energy. At first glance, it looks amazing and powerful. In fact, the Forbidden Magic Stone is a tasteless one. You know, if Ye Chen arrives at the location of the real world of the Li clan, he will definitely release his divine consciousness and explore the location of the secret realm. If there is no forbidden magic stone blocking the secret realm, Ye Chen will directly lock the secret realm. And with the forbidden magic stone, there is nothing to do, because there must be abnormalities in places that Ye Chen's spiritual sense can't detect. Then Ye Chen will definitely go there and investigate carefully, and eventually he will find the secret realm location. I really don't know what the Patriarch Li thinks, the Forbidden Magic Stone on the first floor of Kuk was regarded as a treasure, so I don't know. However, the old man is also quite confident, but unfortunately, his steward is obviously not a good bird, otherwise, how would he know the location of the secret realm? Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the grey-haired old man who was held in place by Ye Chen suddenly asked. Master Ya Wang, can I personally act on the Li family? When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at the grey-haired old man, and he slashed out the right-hand Xian Yuan sword without hesitation. In the next second, there was a sound of Bang La. I saw the grey-haired old man's head, instantly cut in half by the blue sword energy. After the bang, the grey-haired old man's body instantly exploded into pieces in the sky. Ye Chen glanced at the grey-haired old man's corpse exploded into pieces, and curled his mouth in disdain. The grey-haired old man came and went, saying that Li was kind to him, and that he had repaid Li's kindness a long time ago, and then he asked Ye Chen to wonder why he was so loyal. At the end of the day, the grey-haired old man also asked Ye Chen's opinion on whether he could kill the members of the Li clan by himself. The purpose was actually to draw a line with the Li clan and save his life. Ye Chen saw this very clearly, and naturally he was not interested in listening to the grey-haired old man. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, the grey-haired old man said nothing, and there is only one ending for him, death. Yet. Boss Ye Chen, forgive me, forgive me. The young man who was grasped by Ye Chen saw the grey-haired old man instantly exploded into pieces in the sky, his eyes shrank sharply, and then turned at Ye Chen in horror. Shouted incomparably. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, then looked at the young man and asked. About the Li family, do you have anything to add? For example, are they all in this city now, how many people are there at home, and how many people are outside? Also, this time I counted me, only one Li family are there any other forces participating. There are people from the Li family in, in other cities, the boss of Ye Chen also has the Promise Palace, the Seven Star Tower. The young man shivered abruptly when he heard this, and then stammered. Said. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then swiped his sword, directly obliterating the young man. In the next second, Ye Chen moved his feet and left the hall straight away. After Ye Chen got rid of all the people in this three-in-three-out three -out mansion, he went offline. There are still people in the Li clan in other cities. 
Ye Chen didn't feel in the mood to ask where he was. He wanted to completely eradicate the Li clan who had calculated his own, and go directly to the Li family in the real world. It was more direct and simple. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. The real world, the city of reincarnation, the hall of the sanctuary. Ye Chen in the diamond game warehouse suddenly opened his eyes, then opened the game warehouse door and stood up from it. At this moment, the Yan Tiger Yelin, the treasure hunting fish, the golden haired monkey, and the tortoise with the basaltic bloodline who were waiting in the hall to practice, opened their eyes together, and then looked at Ye Chen. In the next second, all the beasts stood up together, and then shouted at Ye Chen, Brother. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then said, You continue to practice. I still have something to do. Yes. Brother the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen's right hand shook when he glanced at the stumps and broken arms all over the floor. With a sound of OM, the blood hanging on Chen Yuan's sword was shaken off in an instant, and then fell to the ground. At this moment, a loud shout suddenly came. What a big dog! How dare you run to my Kang Yu town to go wild? Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, then lifted his sword and walked in the direction where the sound came from. After a few steps, Ye Chen came to a group of players wearing sky level suits and slashed without saying a word. That is called simply, that is called domineering. Puff, 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 after dozens of sounds, Ye Chen's group had just been recognized and I didn't know whether it was a member of the Li clan or Li's so-called inner disciple, they were directly beheaded by Ye Chen on the spot. The breeze blew, shocks. At this moment, a large group of Li's subordinates strode towards here. Quick! Quick! Can't let him run! After a loud shout, a group of players holding ground-level equipment appeared in Ye Chen's line of sight. When Ye Chen saw this, his brow suddenly frowned, and the next second, Ye Chen's thoughts moved, and his spiritual consciousness was released instantly, and then the entire Kang Yu town was enveloped. At this moment, a large group of players holding earth-level equipment in hand stopped unanimously, and then they saw their eyes widened. Ye Chen! It's Ye Chen! Dozens of exclamations immediately sounded. Ye Chen glanced at the players who suddenly stopped then his left hand was a little empty, and then he shouted in a deep voice. Thunder! As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the thunder that shook the heavens and the earth instantly sounded. Boom! In the next second, hundreds of thousands of blue lightning bolts with thick arms came out of thin air, instantly covering the entire Kang Yu town. At this instant, the entire Kang Yu town turned into a sea of lightning. The violent, Devastating breath accompanied by the wanton dancing lightning, turbulent endlessly. Boom! 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 Dense explosions followed by wild noises. I saw all the players on the city wall on the main street of Keng Yu Town, without exception, they were all smashed into coke by the violent lightning. And all the buildings in Keng Yu Town were collapsed by violent lightning at this moment and the people who stayed in the buildings were subsequently smashed to death on the spot by lightning. After a few breaths, the thunder dissipated, and the originally neat Kang Yu town was turned into ruins. No one was howling, no one was crying, and some were just rising scorched gas, and it was getting more and more burning. Flame Taking a look at the scorched corpse, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. It seems that the power of Shen Xiao Yuleju has reminded a lot. Not bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, then rose into the air and flew towards the mayor's mansion. Ye Chen zoomed in and came directly to the group to save trouble. Otherwise, it would be a waste of time to come and kill a group. As for how many people were killed and whether the people killed were miserable, Ye Chen didn't care at all. After all, the people in Kang Yu town belonged to members of the Li family, or distant relatives, or subordinates. Ye Chen couldn't bear it because of the large number of people, 
and he wouldn't be merciful because the other party couldn't resist. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, the people here are all enemies and enemies. Ye Chen will only choose one method to kill without mercy. After a few breaths, Ye Chen came to the sky above the mayor's mansion in Kangyu town. Taking a look at the mayor's mansion that was turned into ruins, Ye Chen flew straight to the backyard. When Ye Chen saw the blue light door in the backyard of the mayor's mansion, he landed directly, and then went straight in. The blue light gate is the entrance to the secret realm, but it is not the secret realm that the Li clan has not yet opened. And the reason why Ye Chen entered this secret realm directly was because when he teleported to Keng Yu town, he heard something related to the Holy Land from the mouths of young men and fat people. At first glance, the Holy Land is very lofty and noble, but unfortunately, the so-called Holy Land is actually a secret realm controlled by the Li clan. Ye Chen had already confirmed this when he heard the young man and the fat man talk. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that there must be people in this so-called Holy Land, otherwise the fat man would not be so eager to go to the Holy Land, and even wish to stay in it forever. It is precisely because there are people in the Holy Land that Ye Chen directly entered the Holy Land. As for the purpose, it is to kill all the people in this so-called Holy Land. You know, when Ye Chen came to Keng Yu Town, apart from entering the unopened secret realm, all that was left was to eradicate all the Li family. Therefore, it was impossible for Ye Chen, knowing that there were still people in the Li family living in the secret realm, and ignored them. After a brief dizziness, Ye Chen opened his eyes, and then he was taken aback. Let me wipe it, isn't it a refining workshop? No wonder Ye Chen thinks so. The secret realm controlled by the Li clan is very different from the ordinary secret realm. There are ground fires, refining furnaces, and dozens of materials piled up into mountains. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes lit up, and then hurriedly looked at dozens of piles of materials like huge mountains. A few seconds later, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Damn it! There are so many fairy level materials. Ye Chen was born again knowing a lot of secrets, and knowing a lot of things. In this secret realm, dozens of materials are piled up into mountains. Except for two that are not up to the immortal level, the rest are all immortal level materials. Ye Chen thought about the Li family's good things, but never thought that the Li family's good things turned out to be immortal level materials. It's no wonder that the overall strength of the Li clan has improved so slowly, it turns out that they have obtained a huge amount of fairy level materials. Okay, I'm cheap now. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he shot continuously in the void with his left hand. In the next second, dozens of mountains of fairy level materials were taken away by Ye Chen one by one, and then disappeared into the secret realm. When Ye Chen took away the last great mountain of fairy level materials, the entire secret realm was instantly empty. Taking a look at the fairy level material mountain that had been received by the small world, Ye Chen's mood instantly became extremely refreshing. Really, this unexpected harvest is really not small. Ye Chen needs a lot of fairy level materials to build a reincarnation city, otherwise Ye Chen can't bring the people of the Han Empire into the reincarnation city. However, the game world wants to obtain fairy level materials, and it is hard to reach the sky. Ye Chen knows that except for the fairy level materials in his reincarnation city, the rest is on Sangxian Island. The sum of these is enough, to be honest, Ye Chen is really not sure, after all, he hasn't started refining the reincarnation fairy city, let alone found Sangxian Island, everything is unknown. But now, Ye Chen can say with certainty that the expansion plan of Samsara Xiancheng is enough to be realized. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but suddenly, at this moment, the cold humming sound suddenly sounded. Asshole, who are you and why did you enter the Holy Land without authorization? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Hearing this, Ye Chen didn't even think about it and directly slashed Xian Yuan's sword with his right hand. There was a hum. 
A cyan sword aura appeared instantly, and then rushed to the man who opened his mouth quickly. Bang La came. The man who had just scolded Ye Chen was instantly cut in half by the blue sword Qi. A large amount of blood was mixed with internal organs and intestines, and it flowed to the ground. Looking at the man who was killed by a sword, Ye Chen smiled coldly, then moved his feet and instantly came to the three game warehouses. Gold Game Warehouse, Bronze Game Warehouse, Black Iron Game Warehouse. Unexpectedly, the Li family got three game warehouses. Unfortunately, I have the star orb that brings 100% of the game world's strength back to the real world, and the game has been open for a long time now, it is impossible for Pangu Kaishin to see it again. Thinking of this, Ye Chen, Ye Chen's right hand Xian Yuan sword, did not hesitate to cleave three swords toward the three game warehouses. After three beeps, the three game warehouses, together with the people in the game warehouse, were instantly cut in half. If someone sees Ye Chen doing this, they will definitely be too angry. Nima, you don't need it, we need it, it doesn't matter how much money you spend, what's more, this can bring more of the strength in the game world back to the game warehouse in the real world. Ye Chen naturally knew this, but Ye Chen hadn't really thought about using the game warehouse to exchange something with the players. You must know that the players are Ye Chen's competitors. If Ye Chen sells the game warehouse, it will help the players rise in disguise. This is not a good thing for Ye Chen. Whether it is selfish or self-interested, Ye Chen will never do anything to make others stronger and close the distance with Ye Chen. Taking a look at the game warehouse that was cut in half and completely destroyed, Ye Chen's consciousness moved, and then the entire secret realm was enveloped in it. After several scans, it was confirmed that no one was alive. Ye Chen left the secret realm and walked straight to the dilapidated rockery in the backyard of the mayor's mansion in Kangyu town. Below this should be the entrance to the unopened secret realm. Thinking of this, Ye Chen flicked his left hand. Buzzing. After five beeps, the five-dimensional space blade appeared out of thin air, and then cut straight towards the ground where the rockery was. In the next second, Ye Chen took a photo of the void with his left hand. A piece of soil with a thickness of 10 meters was instantly photographed by Ye Chen out of thin air. After Ye Chen dropped it casually, he looked at it directly. In the next second, a blue light gate with runes flowing around his body appeared instantly in Ye Chen's line of sight. When Ye Chen saw the running runes on the blue light door, his eyes suddenly opened. Kowloon Band Could it be that in this secret realm, there is an innate exquisite stone? and it is a nine aperture exquisite stone. Congenital aperture Ling Long stone is a kind of congenital jade. It is born and cultivated for millions of years. It will grow for a million years. It will become a whole for hundreds of millions of years. The good fortune, the luck of heaven and earth, the majesty of proclaiming the emperor's way, and deterring the evils of the world. If you put the innate Ling Long stone with the innate supreme treasure, and you can only choose one, most people will choose the innate supreme treasure. After all, the innate Ling Long stone introduces no matter how gorgeous it is, there is no one innate supreme treasure. But putting it here in Ye Chen is another matter, because Ye Chen would choose Xian Ling Long stone without hesitation. As for the reason, it is very simple. To build the Qiun dynasty, Ye Chen must possess three items, the Jade Seal of the Kingdom, the Imperial Decree, and the Sword of the Emperor. The Imperial Decree, the Sword of the Emperor, let alone the Jade Seal of the country, if there is no such thing, Ye Chen Jiangguo can, but he cannot advance the Empire to the Dynasty of Luck. Because the Air Fortune of the Air Fortune Dynasty must be carried by things before it can play a role. To be precise, Chuangguo Yuxi is something carried by air transport. The congenital exquisite stone is the most perfect and top-notch material to create a jade seal of the country. If Ye Chen missed the innate Ling Long stone, then the highest achievement that belonged to Ye Chen's dynasty of Qi Luck would inevitably be fixed at a certain stage and could not continue to grow. Even if Ye Chen's empire could sweep across the world, it was useless. Because the key to the Qiun dynasty, the grade of the Chuan Kuyu seal, 
is limited there. Originally, Ye Chen wanted to use the Jade Seal of the Kingdom of the Han Empire at that time. After all, the Jade Seal was passed down from the pre-Qin period and was not an ordinary Jade Seal. It could be used as a Jade Seal of the Kingdom of the Qiun Dynasty to carry the luck. Who would have thought that Ye Chen was here and saw the Jolong Ban? Others don't know what the ban on Kowloon means, how could Ye Chen, who was reborn, didn't know? This is a self-generating banning technique when the nine orifices of the innate Ling Longxi become complete. The purpose is to transform into safety. Yes, there must be an exquisite stone of nine orifices in this secret realm. I said, how come when I heard them say unopened secret realm in Li's house, my soul suddenly noticed some traces of fate? What's so special, it turns out that Lao Tzu's chance turned out to be this. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly flickered. It's no wonder that Ye Chen is so excited, because the key item of the Qiun dynasty, the Jade Seal of the Kingdom is too important. If Ye Chen directly obtains the Nine Orifice Exquisite Stone, and then turns it into a Jade Seal, then Ye Chen's Qi Luck dynasty will reach the top in the future, and there is no limit. Of course, the premise is that Ye Chen has this strength. But it's not important. What's important is that Jukiao Ling Long Stone, the top material for making jade seals of the country, is really too few, even if it is Ye Chen's previous life, the eight great fortune dynasties that are famous in the prehistoric world, they the best jade seal of Zhuangguo is nothing more than six orifice exquisite stone. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's mind moved, and a hundred enlightenment stones instantly appeared in front of Ye Chen's eyes. Looking at the 100 enlightenment stones floating in front of him, Ye Chen chose to use it without hesitation. The system prompt sounded immediately. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for using the enlightenment stone, the enlightenment mode is activated, and the duration is 100 minutes. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen entered the end of enlightenment without hesitation, and then began to comprehend the running runes on the blue light gate at the entrance of the secret realm. If Ye Chen wants to enter the secret realm and obtain the nine orifices exquisite stone in the secret realm, he must break the Kowloon seal attached to the entrance of the secret realm. If he wants to break the Kowloon seal, he must break the protective rune automatically generated by the Kowloon seal. But if you want to break the runes, you must master the knowledge of runes. Unfortunately, Ye Chen's knowledge is close to zero in this regard, but Ye Chen is not difficult to find. Because Ye Chen also has an enlightenment stone, he can enter enlightenment mode at any time, and he can understand the art of runes while cracking the protective runes produced by the Jolong Ban. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. A little bit of time passed. Under the blessing of the Enlightenment mode, Ye Chen's understanding of runes changed from initial ignorance to understanding, and then rapidly improved towards familiarity. Three minutes later, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for comprehending the elementary innate rune art. As soon as the prompt sound of the system ended, Ye Chen, who was comprehending the Jolong band rune, was taken aback. Fuck, the art of innate runes. What kind of rune also has the innate and nurture? Ye Chen hadn't studied runes at all in his previous life, and naturally, his understanding of runes was not very advanced. It's just that it's not advanced, but Ye Chen knows one thing very well, whether it's spells, skills, or exercises, once there is a difference between innate and acquired, then it must be the strongest innate and point straight to the great road. Even if this so-called pointing straight to the avenue is just a little bit of fur on the avenue, or even barely touching the side, it is not an acquired existence, it can be compared. Yes, yes, this windfall is not bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then continued to comprehend the protective rune automatically generated by the Jolong Ban. A little bit of time passed, and ten minutes later, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for comprehending the art of intermediate innate rune. 
Forty minutes later, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for comprehending the advanced innate rune technique. Eighty minutes later, the system prompt sounded for the fourth time. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for comprehending the supernatural rune art. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the first person to comprehend the innate rune technique to super, the special reward is increased by plus one. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the innate rune technique is advanced to the chaos level exclusive technique, chaos talisman. Ding, because the player Ye Chen comprehend the chaos level exercises, the chaos talisman, the special title, the supreme Fu Dao, and the exercises can be taught by themselves. Once the series of system prompts ended, Ye Chen, who was in the enlightenment mode, couldn't help but stay in a daze. Damn it! This can also. It's no wonder that Ye Chen was so surprised. You know, Ye Chen's original plan was to comprehend the art of runes and then break the ban on Kowloon, but in the end, a huge surprise hit Ye Chen on the head. Ye Chen suddenly mastered the chaos level technique, the chaos talisman, this is not a Chinese cabbage technique, and he can just grab a lot of them. To be precise, any chaos level cultivation technique can be practiced to the point of proving Dao sanctification. I think that when Ye Chen first entered the game, he watched Pangu Kaishan and directly obtained two chaos level exercises, the Nine Rank Profound Art and the God Knight Royal Thunder Art. Not long ago, Ye Chen killed Li Mubai and obtained the chaos level technique the Qinglian Sword Art. And now, after comprehending the protective runes of the Jolong Ban, Ye Chen actually comprehended the Chaos Level Technique, the Chaos Talisman. Although this is the Chaos Level achieved because of system rewards, the Chaos Level Exercises are the Chaos Level Exercises, and the level is here, no one can deny it. Yes, the chance seems a bit big this time. Fortunately, I came here directly. Otherwise, the chance is gone. Isn't it a big loss? Just as Ye Chen thought of this, a huge message suddenly appeared in Ye Chen's mind. Even though Ye Chen had already reached the Divine Martial Realm at this moment and possessed the soul, he was also stunned by this huge flow of information for a while. After the dizziness, Ye Chen hurriedly closed his eyes to digest for a while, then opened his eyes and exhaled for a long time. Yeah. This chaotic talisman information is too peculiar. No wonder that in the previous life, not many people chose to practice runes. Ye Chen's realm at the moment is the divine martial realm, and the amount of information of ordinary exercises is not difficult for Ye Chen to be directly absorbed by Ye Chen. However, the amount of information in the chaos talisman was obviously too much, otherwise it would not have caused Ye Chen to faint. However, Having said that, this chaotic talisman is really not easy. After Lao Zi ascends to the precipice, I can throw runes everywhere, here I am throwing a rune of 10,000 times gravity, where I am throwing a rune of karma red thunder, see who is unhappy, go directly to his door and throw a piece of locally swollen rune. Tisk tisk, thinking about it makes me feel. No wonder Ye Chen is so happy. Chaos Talisman not only has its own specific attack rune, but also a rune that stores the spells or magical powers Ye Chen knows. Of course, ordinary rune arts also have this ability, but that can't store high-level magical powers, but Ye Chen's Chaos Talisman can. For example, by coincidence, Ye Chen could get the Karma Red Thunder, and Ye Chen could store it in runes through Chaos Talisman, and then use it as a bomb. Throw it everywhere. It can be detonated instantly or touched. It can also explode according to Ye Chen. The idea detonated at any time. The most important thing is that this kind of rune is especially concealed, and it is difficult to find the gods. In this way, Ye Chen could use this against the enemy himself, or he could make it separately, and then give it to his subordinates, and throw it out when facing the enemy. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't be so excited. This unexpected harvest, not bad, not bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then looked at the protective rune automatically generated by the Jolong Ban. 
At this moment, the originally profound Zhulong Forbidden Rune became simple and couldn't be simpler. Fortunately, no one understands the art of innate runes on their own, otherwise, I won't be able to get this reward. Without this reward, this Zhulong Forbidden Rune can be broken through the invisible super innate rune technique. Thinking of this, Ye Chen lifted the index finger of his left hand, and then swiped across the void. A golden light followed Ye Chen's fingers, quickly forming one rune after another. But in the blink of an eye, Ye Chen drew 182 golden runes. The next second, Ye Chen stopped, and then patted the blue light gate with his left hand. 182 golden runes flew to the blue light gate in an instant, and then collided with the protective runes forbidden by Kowloon that were constantly circulating on the blue light gate. A series of explosions sounded instantly. Boom boom boom. I saw the protective runes of the Kowloon ban that kept circulating above the blue light door, exploding one after another, and then disappeared without a trace. Seeing this, Ye Chen made a move with his left hand, and the nine-handled magic weapon class longsword appeared instantly. At the same time, Ye Chen flicked his fingers continuously, and nine drops of blood flew out instantly, and then landed on the nine-handled magic weapon class longsword. In the next second, Ye Chen waved his left hand, and the nine-handled magic weapon class longsword instantly landed around the blue light gate in different directions. At the same time, Ye Chen slapped his left hand, and the nine strands of innate true essence instantly poured into the nine-handled magic weapon class long sword. In the next second, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply, and then shouted. Nine nether formation breaking technique, go. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the nine-handled magic weapon class longsword began to tremble in an instant. Om, oh, hum, hum. At the same time, nine gloomy lights suddenly lit up on the nine-handle magic weapon class longswords, and then connected to each other, and instantly enveloped the blue light gate. In the next second, a light curtain composed of nine ghost lights suddenly rose from between the nine magic weapon class longswords, and then squeezed toward the blue light gate. However, in the blink of an eye, the nine dark light curtains merged into one, and then with a boom, they slammed into the blue light door. At this moment, the breath from the ban in Kowloon suddenly exploded, and then disappeared without a trace. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. The nine nether formation breaking techniques learned in the previous life were never used once before rebirth. Unexpectedly, after rebirth, the first time I used it, he made great achievements. The nine nether array breaking technique is a special method of breaking the array, which pays attention to breaking the array with an array. But the only bad thing is that the so-called breaking the formation does not destroy all formations. If the formation level is lower than the Julia destroying array technique, the nine nethers destroying array technique can be directly broken by force. If the rank of the formation to be attacked is too high, there is no way to break the formation directly, only for a certain period of time. Once this time has passed, the attacked formation will automatically recover. Take Ye Chen's current attack on the Jolong Ban, as long as more than 10 seconds, the Jolong Ban will be restored again. This is also no way. After all, the Jolong Ban came from the Jukiao Ling Long Stone. If Ye Chen wanted to completely break the Jukiao Ban, he still had to target the Jukiao Ling Long Stone. This is like treating a disease. If it is only for the symptoms, it will relapse again. If you want to completely eliminate the pain, you must start with the root cause. Of course, completely breaking the Kowloon ban is completely unnecessary for Ye Chen at this moment. Because what Ye Chen had to do now was to enter the secret realm and then take the Nine Orifice Exquisite Stone into his hands instead of destroying the Nine Orifice Exquisite Stone. Therefore, as long as Ye Chen could enter the secret realm, it was enough. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the aura of heaven and earth suddenly gathered towards the blue light gate at the entrance of the secret realm, gathering frantically. However, in the blink of an eye, 
a rapidly growing spiritual cyclone nest instantly appeared on the blue light door at the entrance of the secret realm. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help smiling, and then exhaled for a long time. That's right, the Jolong ban at the entrance of this secret realm was not artificially arranged, but was automatically generated by the Nine Orifices Ling Long Stone. Otherwise, this spiritual cyclone will not appear. Thinking of this, Ye Chen walked directly towards the blue light gate, then stepped in and disappeared. With the disappearance of Ye Chen, the aura that had just appeared stopped abruptly, and then disappeared. At the same time, the protective rune of the Kowloon seal that had just disappeared for a while on the blue light door appeared again, and then it circulated continuously on the blue light door. In the secret realm, after a brief dizziness, Ye Chen opened his eyes, and then he was taken aback. I saw that the place where Ye Chen entered his eyes was full of jade, with different colors and different shapes, piled on top of each other to form one mountain after another, without seeing the edge at a glance. At this moment, the continuous jade mountain gave Ye Chen the feeling of watching the undulating mountains in the sky. Magnificent, spectacular, and vast, it is the jade mountain range in this secret world that gives Ye Chen the feeling. After a brief sigh, Ye Chen suddenly recovered, and then his eyes lit up. Damn it! The jade here is actually immortal grade jade. Ye Chen didn't expect that in this secret realm with the nine orifice exquisite stone, there are still a huge amount of immortal grade jade. Although there is no shortage of this kind of resources in the prehistoric world, there is no shortage, and there is no such thing as the jade mountain range in this secret realm. Just break a piece which is the fairy level jade mine. To be precise, if you want to get a fairy level jade in the prehistoric world, you have to dig a mine, and if you want to get a fairy level jade, you have to cut, polish and other processes after digging a fairy level jade to get the fairy level jade. Jade. In this process, there is no 100% chance of cutting a ring and successfully cutting out a fairy level jade. If it is a rich mine, the chance of cutting out a fairy level jade is 60% to 80%. If it is a poor mine, a 20% chance is good. Therefore, if you want to obtain a large amount of fairy level jade in the prehistoric world, you must use a lot of manpower to mine the fairy level jade mine. And this step is not something that can be omitted if there is a cultivation base or a magic weapon. Of course, the prehistoric world is full of powerhouses and great abilities but even if the gods want immortal grade jade, if no one sells it, they have to start with mining, then cutting and polishing, without a single step. Even if the gods want to improve efficiency, it is useless to use their spiritual sense to detect whether there are any fairy level jade in the fairy level jade mine. Because the outer skin of the fairy level jade mine is a special forbidden magic stone, and it is a forbidden magic stone mixed with several other materials, not only cannot be penetrated by the gods, but also hard and unreasonable. Tian Xian has no choice but to do it step by step honestly. At first glance, it looks wicked, but that's the truth. And now, what Ye Chen saw, a mountain range made up of immortal jade, and it was the kind that couldn't see the edge at a glance, how could Ye Chen be unhappy? You know, in the prehistoric world, Although the immortal jade is not a particularly precious material, it is not a Chinese cabbage. You can buy as many as you want. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that Ye Chen just needs immortal grade jade, and it is a large amount of immortal grade jade. You know, Ye Chen has just understood the chaos level technique, the chaos talisman, and if there is a huge amount of immortal level jade, Ye Chen can start to practice making attack jade talisman before he soars into the wilderness. Once Ye Chen has completely controlled the method of making attack jade talisman, he can make a large number of attack jade talisman, and then give it to the army of the reincarnation fairy city for self-defense, or simply use this to directly deal with the monster clan. A frantic bombing. This type of attack is almost the same as Ye Chen's personal action. In this way, not only did Ye Chen's subordinates have the means of self-protection, they could also use this to open up territory for Ye Chen. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't be so happy. Of course, 
this is only one of the benefits of the fairy level jade to Ye Chen, apart from this, the fairy level jade itself is also a fairy level material, which can be used to integrate into the reincarnation city and enhance the internal space of the reincarnation city. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then took a photo with his left hand. In the next second, Ye Chen was stunned. I wiped it, failed. But Ye Chen wanted to start collecting immortal jade directly. Whoever came up with it, didn't succeed, otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't be surprised. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's spiritual consciousness instantly explored the jade mountain range below his feet and after a few breaths, Ye Chen smiled playfully. These fairy-level jade mountains seem to be piled up one by one, but I didn't expect that they are not at all, but a whole. This nine orifice exquisite stone is really going to be refined. In order to prevent being caught, such a large range of fairy-level jade mountain ranges have been specially created. What's so special is that while disgusting others, it can also stimulate their greed and then they can wait for opportunities to go away. This trick is really good. It might be impossible to replace it with someone else. This fairy level jade mountain range is one piece, too difficult to dig, and the value is really not low. Unfortunately, this trick is useless to me. This time, I want the fairy level jade mountain range, the nine aperture exquisite stone, don't even want to run. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then his soul moved, and the huge consciousness instantly enveloped the entire secret realm. Ye Chen did this, naturally to prevent the Jukiao Ling Long Stone from waiting for an opportunity to escape when Ye Chen collects the Immortal Jade Mountain Range. Ye Chen didn't want to see such a situation happen. After all, Ye Chen's key goal here was the Nine Orifice Ling Long Stone. As for the Fairy Level Jade Mountain Range, although Ye Chen wanted it, and its value was not low, the Fairy Level Jade Mountain Range was compared with the Jukiao Ling Long Stone, it was a world. To be precise, even the total of a million jade mountain ranges cannot compare to the value of a piece of exquisite stone of nine orifices. After all, the nine orifice Ling Long stone is too precious and too scarce. It will only grow into a full growth in hundreds of millions of years. It is conceivable how difficult it is to appear. As for Ye Chen didn't directly use the divine sense to explore the nine orifice Ling Long stone, and then get the nine orifice exquisite stone, it was not that Ye Chen didn't want it, but Ye Chen couldn't help it. Because the fairy level Jade Mountain Range has a strong blocking effect on the Divine Consciousness, and the Jukiao Ling Long Stone is just hidden in the fairy level Jade Mountain Range. Of course, this is not the key. The most important thing is that the Jukiao Ling Long Stone can change its hiding place at any time, so Ye Chen can't directly catch the Jukiao Ling Long Stone. It was precisely for this reason that Ye Chen directly released his divine consciousness to lock the entire secret space, and then began to collect the fairy level Jade Mountain Range. In this way, Ye Chen can get not only the Jade Mountain Range, which is not low in value, but also the most precious nine orifice exquisite stone, which has the best of both worlds. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, then lifted his left hand flexed his fingers and swiped, hundreds of spatial blades appeared instantly, and then cut to the fairy level jade mountain range fiercely. In the next second, it sounded like the sound of a piece of cloth being torn. Bah, bah. Seeing this, Ye Chen lifted his left hand, and then took a picture in the void. In the next second, dozens of great mountains composed of immortal grade jade flew up one after another, and then flew straight towards Ye Chen. When the huge immortal jade mountain arrived in front of Ye Chen, it disappeared without a trace. But Ye Chen received all these jade mountains into the small world. With the disappearance of dozens of fairy level jade mountains, the originally endless fairy level jade mountains suddenly lost a large piece, exposing the soil underneath. Taking a look at the jade mountain range that was missing a large piece, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then he swung out hundreds of space blades again 
roughly cutting the fairy level Jade Mountain Range. A little bit of time passed, when the endless Jade Mountain Range was cut by Ye Chen and only the last Jade Mountain was left, a white jade-like light group suddenly flew out of the Jade Mountain and disappeared in a flash. Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Want to run? Ye Chen's released divine consciousness immediately moved, and instantly enveloped the white jade light group that rushed to the secret realm exit, and then firmly fixed it in place. In the next second, Ye Chen moved to the front of Bai Yuguang group in an instant. With the arrival of Ye Chen, the light emitted by the white jade light group instantly became brighter. Seeing this, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily, and then said. It seems that you have borne consciousness, but unfortunately, you are of great use to me. In any case, you can't let you go. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the light emitted by the white jade light group became even stronger. If it weren't for Ye Chen's tyrannical divine sense, it would definitely tremble non-stop. Ye Chen glanced at the white jade light group again, and then grabbed the white jade light group with his right hand, instantly grabbing the white jade light group in his hand. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the players for obtaining the innate treasure, the nine orifices Ling Long Stone. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen let out a long exhale. I didn't admit my mistakes, I didn't guess wrong, it's really the nine orifice Ling Long Stone. The strongest cornerstone of the Qiun dynasty finally arrived. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's whole body was suddenly uncomfortable. At this moment, the white jade light group dispersed, and a piece of jade the size of two palms, the whole body was milky white, and there were nine golden light spots inside Ye Chen's right hand. Ye Chen, who discovered this change, was suddenly taken aback. The nine orifice Ling Long stone originally looked like this, isn't it very eye-catching? I thought it had nine holes in it, but it was not. Anyway, the nine orifices Ling Long stone now belongs to Lao Tzu. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but laughed. Ye Chen couldn't help but not excited. You must know that Jukiao Ling Long stone is the top jade seal material. With it, there will be no upper limit of grade for any dynasty of luck. To be precise, as long as the power is large enough, the strength is strong enough, and the territory is large enough, you can directly aspire to the strongest dynasty of luck. There will not be a situation where after reaching a certain level, it stops completely and cannot continue to improve. Of course, the benefits of using the nine orifice Ling Long Stone as the Imperial Jade Seal are more than that. According to rumors, the Nine Aperture Exquisite Stone possesses the Nine Aperture Exquisite Core, which can increase the overall cultivation speed of the Qi Luck Dynasty by nine times on the original basis. And this, for Ye Chen, naturally wanted to see it more. After all, Ye Chen received a number of super missions, and the prerequisite for these missions to be completed is that within 10,000 years, proving the Dao and becoming holy, and proving the Dao with strength. Therefore, Ye Chen desperately wanted to build the Qiun dynasty, and he quickly turned his Qiun dynasty into the strongest one. Only in this way can Ye Chen obtain the blessing of cultivation speed that can be called abnormal, and then he can do it, proving the Dao for 10,000 years. Of course, Ye Chen didn't know whether the nine orifice Ling Long Stone had this effect at all. Because the news came from rumors, even if Ye Chen was born again, there was no way to judge. After all, in Ye Chen's previous life, there had never been a fortune dynasty that made a jade seal out of nine aperture exquisite stone. Therefore, the specifics need to be established after Ye Chen built the Qiun dynasty. There are nine times the blessing effect, which is naturally the best. No, Ye Chen is a bit disappointed at best. But this did not hinder Ye Chen's surprise. Because Ye Chen got it now, enough to make all the emperors of Yun dynasty jealous of the nine orifices exquisite stone. Ha ha ha, Lao Tzu's chance, this is Lao Tzu's chance. Not bad. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the Ling Long stone of nine orifices that Ye Chen was holding in his hand suddenly began to vigorously shake. In my hands, still want to run? 
Ye Chen, who noticed the abnormal movement of the nine orifice Ling Long stone, snorted coldly, lifted his left hand, and directly forced a drop of essence and blood onto the nine orifice Ling Long stone. However, as soon as Ye Chen's blood came into contact with the nine orifice Ling Long stone, he was shot off instantly. Seeing this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and then shouted. If you don't want your consciousness to collapse, just acknowledge the Lord obediently. In this way, you can also change your way of living. Although it will make you lose your freedom, your consciousness can exist forever, otherwise. When Ye Chen said this, his violent killing intent rose instantly, and then rushed directly to the Ling Long stone in his hand. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. At the moment when Ye Chen's violent killing intent came into contact with the Jukiao Ling Long Stone, the Jukiao Ling Shi who had been desperately resisting immediately became quiet. Upon discovering this, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily, and then continued. Give you three seconds to think about it. If you don't agree, I will directly destroy the consciousness and no longer give you any chance to think. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the exquisite Shi Jukiao who had just calmed down shuddered fiercely. Seeing this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he said directly. 1. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the Ling Long Stone of Nine Orifices trembled again. At the same time, Ye Chen's blood, who was bombarded by the Jukiao Ling Long Stone, once again dripped onto the Jukiao Ling Long Stone. 2. The trembling amplitude of the Jukiao Ling Long Stone increased again. At this moment, the body of the Jukiao Ling Long Stone was suddenly full of blood, and then Ye Chen's blood was completely absorbed by the Jukiao Ling Long Stone. At this moment, there was a mysterious and mysterious connection between Ye Chen and the Jukiao Ling Long Stone. Ye Chen's eyes lit up when he noticed this. What's more, it finally succeeded. Although the Nine Aperture Ling Long Stone is the best material for making jade seals, the concept of producing consciousness and unconsciousness is completely too. Because of this, it involves the luck of the Golden Dragon. That's right, it is the Kiun Golden Dragon. At the beginning of the establishment of the Kiun Dynasty, the Kiun converged in the Chuangguo Yuxi, and then after the Chuangguo Yuxi was condensed, the Kiun fetish appeared. Although the golden dragon of Qi Luck is between living beings and half-life, it has the effect of attacking, devouring and suppressing the national fortune, and maintaining the effect of forever. And among all the golden dragons of Air Luck, the jade seal made by the Nine Aperture Ling Long Stone, after condensing the Imperial Air Luck, automatically gave birth to the strongest Air Luck golden dragon. To be precise, the Qi Luck Golden Dragon formed from the Nine Orifice Ling Long Stone, as soon as it appeared, it could directly blast all the monster races below the Little Demon Realm. Of course, this is just the Jade Seal refined from the Nine Orifice Ling Long Stone that has not yet produced consciousness, and it has the ability to condense the national destiny and form the Qi Luck Golden Dragon. If it is a Jade Seal made from the Conscious Nine Aperture Exquisite Stone, then this effect will be increased by one level, and it can directly kill all the big monsters that have broken into the empire. And this is the fundamental reason why Ye Chen tried so hard to threaten Jukiao Ling Longshi to surrender himself. Now that the Jade Seal of the Chuan Kingdom is available, Xian Yuan Sword is fully capable of performing the Emperor Dao Sword. The establishment of a dynasty of Qiun means the Imperial Edict of the Emperor's Way. The Imperial Edict the quality of this thing doesn't matter too much, but there are top-notch ones, which are naturally the best. Unfortunately, the top emperor's imperial edicts are the books of heaven, the books of the earth, the books of people. The book of heaven is a list of enshrined gods, and it should be in the hands of Yuan Shi Tianzun now. As for the book from the earth, it is from Zhen Yuanzi, the ancestor of the earth immortal. The book of people is a book of life and death. At present, the earth is still in existence. It has not yet been transformed into reincarnation, and will not appear. Really, the cultivation base is too bad now, 
and there are innate treasures that can't be grabbed. Fortunately, the rank of the Imperial Edict does not have a big impact on the Kyun dynasty, otherwise, it would really be troublesome. I just don't know if there are materials for refining the Imperial Decree in the secret realm of the underground palace. If not, I can only find the Imperial Decree of Qin Shi Huang, and use it temporarily. Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, then moved his mind, and instantly received the nine orifice Ling Long Stone into the small world. In the next second, Ye Chen moved his feet, and then flew directly over the only remaining Fairy Level Jade Mountain in the Fairy Level Jade Mountain range. After the blade of the five spaces cut arbitrarily, Ye Chen casually took away the last Fairy Level Jade Mountain. Taking a glance at the small world, the number of immortal jade mountains that can be called terrifying, and the exquisite stone of the nine orifices that have already recognized the master, Ye Chen couldn't help but laugh. The harvest this time is really good. Cool. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's spiritual consciousness moved, sweeping every inch of land in the secret realm back and forth three times, and after repeatedly confirming that there was nothing good, Ye Chen flew straight out of the secret realm. After a brief dizziness, Ye Chen came to Keng Yu Town where the Li family was blasted into ruins by the violent thunder. At this moment, thick smoke billowed in the sky above Keng Yu Town, and the ground was full of burning spots. Accompanying all this is the smell of burnt corpses in the air that is getting more and more moonlit. Looking at the lifeless Keng Yu Ejin, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. If I don't get my idea, I won't end up like this. But having said that, I have to thank these idiots for their idea. Otherwise, I won't get chaos level exercises, chaos talisman, let alone a fairy level jade mountain range, and the innate treasure, Jukiao Ling Long Stone. Up. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then his mind moved. In the next second, the space in front of Ye Chen suddenly twisted. Taking a look at the distorted space, Ye Chen stepped in, then disappeared. In the real world, the city of reincarnation, the hall of the city lord's mansion, the space suddenly distorted. In the next second, Ye Chen, who had been away for nearly two hours, stepped out and then appeared in the hall. As soon as Ye Chen appeared, he heard a shout. Meet the Lord. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at the door. When Ye Chen saw the fully armed soldiers in the reincarnation city at the door, he couldn't help but smiled, and then asked. Is Zhou Zhang here too? Enlightened Lord, General Zhou Zhang has just returned to that world and said that he is going to prepare some food, otherwise, he will have to go back to solve the problem of food every time, which is not conducive to defense. A soldier in Samsara Xianchang heard this and hurriedly confronted. Ye Chen bowed and said loudly. Ye Chen was taken aback when he heard this, then smiled and nodded and said. Very well, remember, besides defending the city here you have to work hard to cultivate and catch up to your realm as soon as possible. Yes. Lord. The soldiers in reincarnation Xianchang who were on duty at the entrance of the hall heard this, their hearts warmed together, and then bowed and said loudly. These soldiers know that their cultivation base is the weakest among the soldiers in the reincarnation fairy city, and they know that Ye Chen asked them to guard the city in the real world, in fact, it is also a small stove for them to change directions so that they can quickly become stronger. It is precisely because they know that they are so excited, and at the same time, they are also moved. You must know that they were all born of poor people. If they were not lucky enough to follow Ye Chen, how could they have a present that makes countless people envy and envy, and a future that countless people can envy enough to go crazy? And all this was given by their lord, Ye Chen. How could they not be grateful? Listening to the words of the soldiers, the respect from the heart and moving, Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then looked at the Yan Tiger Ye Lin, who was standing next to him, as well as the treasure hunt fish Ye Ziaoyu, and the golden retriever monkey. And the big tortoise with basalt bloodline, said. Cultivate hard, don't slack off. Yes. Brother. When the spirit pet heard this, they nodded in response. 
When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction, then looked at Yan Hu Lin, and said. Ye Lin, after I went to the game world, you have the strongest cultivation base here. Although the monster race has been sorted out by me, there will not be many powerful monster races in a short time, but you should not take it lightly, understand? Brother, I will never let the monster race come within a hundred miles of reincarnation city. Ye Lin nodded heavily when she heard this. Ye Chen smiled and nodded. He was about to go to the Diamond Game Warehouse. He suddenly thought of something. Then he looked at the soldier at the door and said. In less than two days, the protective shield outside the city will disappear. At that time, humans may come over. No matter who they are, they are not allowed to approach or enter the city. No matter who they are or what they say, ignore all of them, if you dare to break through and kill without mercy. You will pass this sentence to Zhou Zhang. Yes. Lord. When the soldiers on duty heard this, their faces were all solemn, and then they all bowed and said loudly. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then walked straight to the diamond level game cabin, raised his leg, and lay down. When the door of the game warehouse closed, Ye Chen returned to the game world. In the game world, Yu Zhou, Runan County, among the three in and three out mansions of the Li family, a pillar of light suddenly appeared here. When the beam of light disappeared, Ye Chen appeared directly here. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for comprehending the chaos talisman by himself, and I will reward you with X300 and 8 attribute points. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen the first one to obtain the qualifications for apprenticeship, with a special reward of X100 and 8 attribute points. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, the teacher, the preacher is also puzzled by the karma, because the player Ye Chen is the first to obtain the qualification to accept the apprentice, and the special conditions have been met, the mentoring system is officially activated, and the specific gameplay, please freely explore the players. Ding, because the player Ye Chen activates the mentoring system, the player will be rewarded Ye Chen with the right to choose inheritance skills plus three. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. Fuck. What did I see? Ye Chen understood the Chaos Talisman. What kind of technique is this? He even gave 308 attribute points as a reward. What grade is not important, what is important is the following world announcement, Ye Chen can accept apprentices. Wow, Kaka, if the boss of Ye Chen accepts me as an apprentice, that doesn't mean that I can learn from the boss of Ye Chen, no, are all the techniques that Master Ye Chen knows. Dreaming it's so special, you don't want to think, Ye Chen doesn't even accept the younger brother, how could he accept the apprentice? This is not necessarily true, in case the boss Ye Chen wants to accept an apprentice, and the apprentice is much more reliable than the younger one. It's a reliable yarn, and I don't want to think about what age it is. In these days, apprentices don't treat the master as a human being. You think it's rare? Let me wipe it. You just watched Ye Chen's scenery, did you ignore the mentoring system? Look at the world announcement behind, the above means, we can also accept apprentices. What are the benefits of accepting disciples? What's so special, how do I feel that this is a pit? Hey, there is a saying that doesn't mean that, if there is something disciples should do, what are the benefits of accepting disciples? Wow, ka ka. I am the leader of the Tian Long Gang, Long Yuxin, officially opened the mountain to accept apprentices. If you want to apprentice, come here as soon as possible, no money. I, Hu Lai Jing, officially started to accept apprentices. If you want to be a teacher, come to Yangzhou soon. Master Ye Chen, please accept disciples, apprentice Zhao Buer, swear to God. As long as Master Ye Chen is willing to accept disciples, disciples will be loyal and dedicated to serve Master. 
Brother Ye Chen, please accept an apprentice. I am only sixteen years old this year. I am fair and beautiful. I have never been in a relationship. As long as Ye Chen is willing to accept me as an apprentice, no matter what Ye Chen wants me to do, I will. The World Channel was constantly refreshing the screen because of the sudden world announcement. After taking a look at it, Ye Chen smiled coldly and stopped paying attention. Players saw the world announcement and wanted to ask Ye Chen as their teacher. Ye Chen knew very well why. To be precise, in addition to relying on Ye Chen, the towering tree, the players also have the idea of reaping benefits. After all, Ye Chen is the number one person of the real human race, the number one powerhouse of the three races, the number one power in the world, and the number one strength in the world. If you can approve of Ye Chen, even if Ye Chen reveals something between his fingers, it will be enough to make others full. Of course, this is not the key. The key is that after apprentice Ye Chen, it is very possible to live in the real world Ye Chen's reincarnation city. And this, for most human players, is tantamount to what they most want to see. Because, in the eyes of most human players, the real world city of reincarnation is the safest place, and there is no one. This is what the players think. Unfortunately, after Ye Chen heard the world announcement, he immediately excluded players from the real world from the list of apprentices. After all, you can accept disciples and ancient people, but if you accept players from the real world, that would be really nonsense. You know, before the falling of the meteor, the culture of respecting the teacher and respecting the Tao, which has been passed down for thousands of years, has long been downplayed to an extremely indifferent level by the world. Of course, there is some superficial respect from students to teachers, and there is respect from the heart, but compared with the ancient times, to be a teacher for a day and be a father for a lifetime, but a sky and a land, there is no comparison at all. The bird looked like this before the meteor fell, not to mention the present after the meteor fell. At this time, people have gone through fights, plots, conspiracies, violence, and blood, and they are all vigilant, and humanity has already been lost by 99% of them following the law of the jungle in the real world. Therefore, accepting players as apprentices is purely asking for trouble for themselves. How could Ye Chen, who was born again, make such a choice? As for other players, Ye Chen didn't care about taking advantage of this world announcement and wantonly accepting disciples. Because, it's not necessary. Players nowadays are not stupid. Whoever dislikes it hurts, go to worship a person of similar realm and become a master. What's more, even if some people actually go to apprenticeship, and there are many people who go there, forming a huge force, Ye Chen doesn't care. With this kind of existence, the army of the reincarnation immortal city can be leveled in minutes, so what's the point? In the previous life, the mentoring system had never appeared. Unexpectedly, after rebirth, I finally got this stuff out. I don't know if it is the four chaos level exercises, the key to opening the master disciple system, or the chaotic talisman is the key. But having said that, this mentoring system, how does it feel that it has something to do with sections? It's no wonder Ye Chen thinks so. You know, the Sanking in the prehistoric world, but the three major sects have been established successively. Although they are aiming to establish religion and become sacred, and then compete for the fortune of heaven and earth, the identity of Sanking is a true master. The mentoring system. If there are enough apprentices and strong enough, maybe it's not impossible to establish a religion and become a holy. However, my goal is to prove the Dao with strength not to establish a religion or to become a saint. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at the property panel. When Ye Chen saw that the inheritance technique could be plus three on the attribute panel, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. When the chaos talisman appeared before, it was prompted to teach, and now the world announcement has rewarded the right of freedom of inheritance three times because I opened the mentoring system, that is to say. Lao Tzu's exercises can be taught by himself. This can have. Thinking of this, 
Ye Chen raised his hand without hesitation, and clicked on the nine rank profound art, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju, and Qing Lian Sword Ju. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the chaos level technique, the ninth rank profound technique, can be taught by oneself, and limited, dear ones. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the chaos level exercises, Shen Xiao Yu Lei tactics, can be taught by oneself, teach restrictions, dear ones. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the chaos level technique, Qing Lian sword art, can be taught by oneself, and the maximum number of people taught is x99. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen was taken aback. Damn it! There are also teaching restrictions. Thinking of this, Ye Chen hurriedly looked at the property panel. When Ye Chen saw on the attribute panel, the four chaos level exercises, except for the chaos talisman, had no restrictions, the nine revolutions profound art and the Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju were all marked with the word best kin, while the Qing Lian sword Ju had no restrictions. The number limit of 99 is marked. Seeing this, Ye Chen looked dazed. What's going on? Ye Chen originally thought that he would pass the Qing Lian sword art and the Shen Xiao Yu Lei art as standard equipment to his generals and soldiers. In this way, Ye Chen's soldiers, everyone has the ability to reach the sky with one hand, and there is nothing that can't be destroyed. But the result is that there are restrictions on the techniques Ye Chen wants to teach, except that there is no chaos talisman, so how can Ye Chen not be stunned? This is unscientific. And many more. Could it be that the Nine Ranks Profound Art, and the Shen Xiao Yu Lei Art, are the techniques that I realized only when I watched Pangu Kaishan, so I can only teach them to my dear ones? And the Qing Lian Sword Art is a technique I grabbed, so there is a limit on the number of people to teach. As for the Chaos Talisman, it is because I understood the ban on Kowloon by myself, so there is no limit. It's estimated to be like this, what's the matter, forget it there are restrictions, there are restrictions, it's better than the previous inability to teach the exercises, much better. Go back now, and teach Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Meyer, Zhen Jui's to them. As for the Qing Lian sword art, it was passed to Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong and other generals. The words of chaos fuel were passed on to civil servants such as Guo Yi, Cai Yin, Mi Zhu, Sun Qing. This is also not bad. It happens that these subordinates have nothing to do with the exercises. With these exercises in the body, it is difficult to rise up. At that time, everyone will be on their own, and it will be easier for the Samsara Empire to become the strongest fortune dynasty. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then his mind moved, and the space in front of him instantly twisted. Taking a glance at the distorted space, Ye Chen stepped in, then disappeared. Reincarnation Xiancheng Subordinate Village, Expedition to the Sky Above the Village, The Hall of the Reincarnation Xiancheng City Lord's Mansion, The Space is Suddenly Distorted. In the next second, Ye Chen stepped forward and then appeared here. At this moment, the soldiers on duty at the entrance of the hall saw Ye Chen, and after a slight daze, they hurriedly stepped forward and bowed in prayer. Meet the Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said. Go, call all the generals and military divisions, I have something to say. Yes. Lord. The soldiers hurriedly bowed before hearing this. Ye Chen nodded, and then left the hall straight to the back house. In the back house, in front of the circular arch, Ye Chen heard the melodious sound of ding dong, ding dong as soon as he arrived here. After a slight daze, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then walked through the circular arch to the back house. At this moment, all the girls are playing in the pavilion. To be precise, Cai Meyer is playing the piano, while Chan Wan, Zhen Ju Se, Fan Zhen dances lightly, Zhao Yu, 
Huang Wanner, and Zhen Zhu Essi's four sisters follow. Studying, the scene is very warm and harmonious. Seeing this scene, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. Fortunately, they are all beauties in history. If they were women in the real world, I am afraid they would not be so harmonious. Thinking of this, Ye Chen walked directly to the pavilion. At this moment, C.A.I. Meyer of Fulkin was the first to see Ye Chen. After a moment of surprise, she hurriedly got up, and then happily shouted. Husband! Following C.A.I. Mayer's shouts, Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner, and the five sisters Zhen Zhu Se also stopped, looked at Ye Chen together, and then shouted. Husband! Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and then he got into the pavilion and sat straight on the stone bench. At this moment, a well-behaved maid hurried to the stone table with the teapot, poured a cup of tea for Ye Chen, bowed, and left. Ye Chen picked up the teacup, took a sip of tea, and was about to speak when the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding, congratulations to the players for drinking Wudao tea, which increases their lifespan by one year. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned, and then smiled. Fortunately, Zhao Yu, Chen Wan and the others didn't treat this as a treasure, and treasured it. Not bad. Enlightenment tea can prolong life, and has the ability to resurrect, even the indigenous of the game world can also be resurrected. It is precisely because of this that Ye Chen deliberately gave the women and a group of subordinates, a lot of enlightenment tea, the purpose is to let them use it now, one is to prolong life the other is to directly obtain dozens or hundreds of resurrection opportunities. Originally, Ye Chen was also worried that Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, and C.A.I. Mayer, like many women in ancient times, would solemnly store good things, and they were reluctant to use them. But now, Ye Chen doesn't worry anymore. No, Wu Dao tea is used as normal water, so what else is there to worry about? Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at the girls and said. I am coming back this time to teach you some exercises. Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, C.A.I. Mayer, Mi Zhen, and other women were taken aback when they heard this. They never thought that Ye Chen came back this time specifically for this matter. Of course, this is not the key. The most important thing is that Ye Chen gave them a copy of innate technique. It hasn't been long before they have to be given it again. How could they not be stunned? Looking at the stunned girls, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then said. It was impossible to teach you the best exercises before, but now that restriction is lifted, it is natural to teach you the best exercises. Husband. When the women heard this, their hearts warmed together, and then they shouted unanimously. Ye Chen smiled slightly when he heard this, and then said. There are four kinds of exercises I can teach, all of which are chaos level exercises. One is the nine turns profound art, which is the foundation of my body. I can cultivate to the extreme and prove the Dao vigorously. One is the God Knight Royal Thunder secret art, which can control thousands of thunder in the world, cultivate to great success, and slash the three corpses to prove Dao. The third is the Qing Lian sword art. It hasn't been long since I just got it, but its lethality is also not to be underestimated, and it can also be used to slay three corpses. The fourth is the Chaos Talisman, which contains all the information of the talisman. It can be attacked or defended, ever-changing, and equally powerful, and it can also be used to slay three corpses to prove the Tao. These four exercises are the top exercises. After practicing, they can all prove to be holy. Do you want to learn them all, or which one should you choose? Ye Chen originally wanted to teach the Nine Ranks Profound Art, Shen Xiao Yule Art to the women, but when Ye Chen came to really speak, he rejected this idea. It's not that Ye Chen didn't want to teach, but that Ye Chen wanted to ask the girls what they meant. After all, Ye Chen still doesn't know what the girls like to learn. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the girls were all in a daze. They had never thought that the practice Ye Chen wanted to teach them was the top-level practice, and among them, there was Ye Chen's foundation of standing, 
the nine ranks profound art. At this moment, the warm current in the hearts of the women, one after another, one after another, moved the women into a mess. No way, the information that Ye Chen revealed was really too irritating, and he couldn't help the women not be moved. After all, they are women, and although they are both Ye Chen's women, they also understand one thing, cultivation techniques and so on, they have never had a relationship with women. Otherwise, from ancient times to the present, there will be no rule of passing males but not females. After returning to their senses, the girls glanced at each other, then looked at Ye Chen together, and said. Husband, we choose Qing Lian sword art and chaos talisman. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. However, Ye Chen didn't expect that the girls didn't choose the nine rank profound art and the god knight royal thunder art. After a brief period of doubt, Ye Chen immediately reacted to something. The girls deliberately didn't learn rank nine profound art, as well as Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju. Because these two exercises were learned by Ye Chen early in the morning, even if the girls never asked what Ye Chen's exercises were, they could infer them from daily contact and what Ye Chen said just now. As for their purpose, it is for Ye Chen to ensure that he has a unique technique. Thinking of this, a warm current rose involuntarily in Ye Chen's heart. After returning to his senses, Ye Chen nodded, and then said, OK. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he raised his left hand, and then there was a dash of void, and twenty streams of information flowed to the girls in an instant. At the same time, Ye Chen painted the void in his right hand, and ten seal runes appeared instantly, and then directly printed on the women's foreheads. When Ye Chen did this, it was natural to seal the exercise information, to be precise, it was to seal most of the exercise information of the chaos talisman. As for the reason, it is simple. Among the two exercises, the Qing Lian sword Ju was good to say, but the chaos talisman was not easy to say. Its amount of information almost fainted Ye Chen, and the girls hadn't reached the transcendence realm now, so naturally they could not bear the huge amount of information of chaos talisman. As soon as the tea time passed, the women opened their eyes one after another, then looked at Ye Chen and shouted in unison. Thank you husband. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled and nodded, while the teacup was raised at the back and drank it in one fell swoop. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, lifespan has increased by five years. As soon as the prompt of the system ended, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the innate treasure Qun Qin Ding instantly appeared in front of Ye Chen. At this moment, a strong breath of good fortune suddenly appeared, and then agitated. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ye Chen couldn't help but tilt his mouth as he felt the good fortune breath coming towards him. Qun Qin Ding, reversing the universe, immeasurable good fortune. Before, there was no suitable weapon, and the Qun Qin Ding could not be used. Today is the time. Ye Chen just thought of this. Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Meyer, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner, and the five sisters of Zhen Zhu Si, the Qing Lian sword art that had just been learned, and the chaos talisman, suddenly turned on their own, and then saw the vast world. Spiritual energy rushed madly towards the girls. At the same time, the women closed their eyes in unison. Epiphany. Ye Chen, who was aware of this change, was immediately taken aback. The breath of good fortune can also lead the exercises to run on their own, making people realize that there is no change for Mao. As soon as Ye Chen's thoughts appeared, the heaven and earth aura that had originally converged towards the back house of the city lord's mansion suddenly became violent, and a huge and incomparable aura cyclone nest was formed in an instant, and then it was poured toward the girls. The moment he saw the huge spiral nest, an inexplicable feeling appeared in Ye Chen's heart instantly. At this moment, Ye Chen felt that if he wanted to absorb the aura of heaven and earth, he could deprive him of the aura at any time, but this would make the women miss this opportunity. After aware of this, Ye Chen was taken aback for a while, a trace of comprehension appeared in his heart instantly. 
I am the lord of the innate treasure Kyunkinding, holding the chi of good fortune, which can give good fortune to all creatures. Good fortune. The Kyunkinding can turn the acquired into the innate, and the good fortune in the cauldron is endless. Its function is probably not only to make people realize it, it is as simple as. Thinking of this, Ye Chen subconsciously looked at the attributes panel of the girls. When Ye Chen saw that the original six star celestial spirit bodies root bones had all become seven star celestial spirit bodies on the women's attribute panel, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he hurriedly looked at his attribute panel. When Ye Chen saw that his bones had changed from a one star fairy body to a two star fairy body, the light in his eyes suddenly flashed. Damn it! Really improved the roots. This energy of good fortune is a bit against the sky. It's no wonder that Ye Chen thinks this way, it's that the energy of good fortune improves the ability of the roots and bones, which is really a bit abnormal. Regardless of the fact that there are not many improvements, the problem is that the energy of good fortune in the Kyunkin cauldron is endless and there is no limit at all. To be precise, as many people as Ye Chen wants to improve, he can improve as many people as possible. There will be no good luck enough. Ye Chen just thought of this, and the advanced breath suddenly appeared on Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Mayer, Huang Wanner, Mi Zhen, and the five sisters Zhen Zhu Se. Then he saw the breath on them, rising and rising again, until they reached the holy the level of the military commander's great accomplishment, then stopped. At the same time, sharp sword auras and simple golden runes appeared one after another next to the women, and then they continued to revolve around them. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. Zhao Yu, Cai Meyer, Chan Wan, Mi Zhen, they are either first-class historical beauties or super-class historical beauties. Now they are all saint-level military commanders and Dzogchen saint-level military commanders. They can break through the transcendence realm at any time. If this is discovered by the players, I guess I will be irritated to go crazy. Fortunately, I took out the Kyunkin Ding here today. Otherwise, I really don't know when to wait to discover the effect of the Qi of good fortune in the Kyunkin Ding. After this opportunity, their ability to understand Qing Lian sword art and chaos talisman must have skyrocketed, and the two techniques, even if they didn't cultivate specifically, would still operate on their own. The most important thing is that their roots have improved again. Not bad. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the women opened their eyes one after another, and then one by one froze in place. I, my saint-level general has achieved great success. Zhao Yu said with shock and ecstasy after returning to his senses. Sister, I. I too. Chan Wan shouted with an incredulous expression on her face. Me too. All the women, you said a word, I said a word stopped at the same time, and then all looked at the Kyunkin Ding floating in front of Ye Chen. In the next second, the women looked at Ye Chen together, and then cried out with great emotion. Thank you husband. Each of the women is extremely intelligent, and they may have been a little confused at first, but now that they have recovered, how could they not know the reason for their sudden rise in realm? Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then said. You first digest the information that you have just realized. I want to refine a batch of weapons. Yes. Husband. When the girls heard this, they all responded. Ye Chen nodded, and then slapped his right hand. With the sound of bang, the lid of Kyunkin Ding flew up instantly. At this moment, a strong and extremely strong gas of good fortune appeared at the mouth of the Kyunkin Ding, but in an instant, it was controlled by a mysterious power, and then locked in the Kyunkin Ding. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then moved his mind, 9991 magic weapon class long swords appeared instantaneously, and then flew to Kyunkin Cauldron as usual. Ye Chen had obtained 10,000 magic weapon level long swords before, but nine of them were used to break the Jolong Ban, and then they were all destroyed otherwise Ye Chen took out only 10,000. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that these magic weapon grade long swords are enough for Ye Chen to allocate. 
When the 9991 Magic Weapon Class Long Swords entered the Qunkan Ding as many times as possible, the cover of the Qunkan Ding was instantly covered back. At this moment, the universe shook violently. There was a sound of OM, and then I saw the Qunkan Ding slowly turning in the air. A little bit of time passed, when the Qunkan Ding stopped rotating, the lid of the Ding flew up instantly and then I saw 9,991 long swords exuding overpowering pressure, flying out of the Qunkan Ding in an instant, and then the sword point upwards and hit the sky. At the same time, a strong and extremely powerful meaning of killing appeared instantly, and then raged across the sky, and the sea of clouds twisted straight, tumbling endlessly. This change instantly attracted the attention of everyone in reincarnation Xian Cheng. When people saw that the place where the change came was the city lord's mansion, everyone in reincarnation Xian Cheng, whether it was the people, soldiers, or Ye Chen's subordinates, without exception, everyone smiled. At this moment, everyone knew one thing, their lord, the great general of the Han Empire Huzar, Ye Chen, had obtained the treasure again. Yes, it is a treasure, even ordinary people. After seeing the 9,991 long swords in the sky, they know that these long swords are extraordinary. Inside the city lord's mansion, the back house. Ye Chen looked at the 9,991 long swords that he wanted to release his sword intent toward the sky and declared to the world their new birth. The Qunkan Ding is the Qunkan Ding. It directly raises the magical tool to the magic weapon without paying anything. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the 9991 magic weapon class long sword flew down instantly, and then he arrived in front of Ye Chen. Taking a glance at the 9991 magic weapon class long sword, Ye Chen's consciousness moved, and he immediately explored it. After Ye Chen checked all the magic weapons, his eyes suddenly opened. It turned out to be the best magic weapon. The equipment has a grade starting from a magic weapon, and every grade of equipment has top grade, top grade, middle grade, and low grade. Among them, the top grade is the strongest, and the low grade is the lowest. And now, the magic weapon grade long swords that have been refined by the Qunkan Ding are all advanced into magic weapons, not to mention, they have become the best magic weapons. This is really beyond Ye Chen's expectations. Those magical artifacts are all low grade magical artifacts. Unexpectedly, after the refining of the Qunkan Ding, they will all be upgraded to the best magic weapon. This ability is really a bit abnormal. However, no matter how abnormal it is, there is no such thing as transforming the acquired into the congenital. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then flicked his fingers, ten magic weapon class long swords, instantly flew to the girls, and then stopped in front of them. Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Mayer, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner, and the five sisters Zhen Zhu Si, saw this, smiled together, and then unanimously shouted. Thank you husband. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then said. These are all magic weapons. After dropping the blood and acknowledging the Lord, you can receive them in the sea of consciousness. You can use them for the time being, and you can replace them when you have better weapons. Yet. When the girls heard this, they responded sweetly. After speaking, they each forced a drop of blood and dripped it onto the magic weapon but in an instant, the ten magic treasures were received by the women in the Sea of Knowledge. In the next second, the women made a move with their right hand one by one, and the long sword of the best magic weapon appeared in the hands of the women in an instant. After the girls glanced at each other, they all smiled together, and then one by one they would take back the magic weapon, and then release the magic weapon out of the way. It was a joy to play. Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned when he saw this. After recovering, Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, then got up and said. This world has great restrictions on you, so in this world, you can't break through to the transcendence realm. 
If you want to break through the mortal realm, go to the world where I live. Although there is still more than a day, the world I live in will become very dangerous, but Yelin has already broken through to the purple mansion realm. As long as you stay in the city of reincarnation, there will be no danger. But remember, do not go out unless I return to the world where I am. The heavenly way of the Three Kingdoms novice zone does not allow indigenous people to ascend, so no one indigenous can break through to the transcendence state in the Three Kingdoms novice zone. Even the heavenly Deo of the Three Kingdoms novice zone, the three transcendence realm powerhouses specifically allowed to exist, Zhou Xi, Yu Ji, and Nen Hu Lao Xian, they can't ascend, let alone continue to improve their realm. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't have said this to the girls. When the girls heard Ye Chen's solemn words, Qi Qi felt warm, and then looked at Ye Chen, nodded seriously. Yes. Husband. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction. At this moment, a maid walked over, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said, Master Yu Wang, all the generals and military divisions, have all arrived in the hall. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then looked at the girls and said, I will stay at home for the last two days and ask the kitchen to prepare some small dishes. We will gather together in the evening. Yes. Husband. When the women heard this, their eyes lit up, and then they shouted in unparalleled excitement. Ye Chen hasn't come back for a long time, and the girls naturally long for Ye Chen to come back and accompany them more. This kind of thinking can't be erased even if the women are reasonable. As for the reason, it is very simple. They are all women, and they are Ye Chen's women. And now, Ye Chen said suddenly, how could the girls not be excited if they were to stay at home for two days? Seeing the excited and inexplicable gazes of the girls, Ye Chen sighed secretly, then turned and headed towards the house. Ye Chen knew what the girls were thinking, and was full of apologies. But Ye Chen couldn't help it, because Ye Chen had a lot to do, and the only thing he could do was to squeeze time. This is Ye Chen's helplessness, even if Ye Chen is already standing at the top of the players at the moment, looking at the mountains and small mountains, it can't be avoided. After all, Ye Chen's current strength is only temporary. If he wants to be truly strong, Ye Chen still has a long way to go. Therefore, it is impossible for Ye Chen to stop. Only when he keeps moving forward, moving forward, until he has the strength to make sentient beings desperate and make all creatures tremble, will Ye Chen really stop. Because at that time, Ye Chen had become the strongest emperor, not one of them. Reincarnation Xian Cheng City Lord's Mansion, the former residence hall. As soon as Ye Chen entered the door, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Cai Yin, Guan Er, Zhang San, Zhang Jia, Gao Shun and others all got up together, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said. Meet the Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then walked straight into the hall, and when he came to the main seat to sit down, he waved his hand to signal everyone to sit down. After a group of subordinates sat down one after another, Ye Chen glanced at them, and then said. I'm back this time, there is only one thing. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi and others were all on their faces. Ye Chen smiled slightly when he saw this, and then continued. Just now, I got some chance to teach the exercises, so Zhao Er waited to come and ask if you would like to learn my exercises. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Zhang San, Guo Yi, and others all stayed together. They didn't expect Ye Chen to call them over for this. If someone asks them whether Ye Chen's technique is strong or not, these men of Ye Chen will not hesitate to give the questioner a big mouth. What a special thing, flying in the air, calling the wind and calling the rain, raising your hand in the sky and the sea of fire, beckoning to the thunder is not strong, then what is strong? Originally, they had never thought of learning Ye Chen's exercises. After all, it belonged to their lord, and no matter how bold they were, they would not dare to ask Ye Chen about this. And now, what they heard, 
their lord, Ye Chen, even asked them if they wanted to learn their lord's exercises, how could this not shock them? When Ye Chen's men were shocked by Ye Chen's words, Guo Yi, who was sitting at the top of the civil servants, was the first to return to his senses. Then he got up and went to the center of the hall and bowed solemnly to Ye Chen. Road. Disciples, Guo Yi, Guo Feng Xiao, pay homage to Master. As soon as Guo Yi's words fell, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhao Meng, Guan Er, Zhang San and others returned to their senses. At this moment, Guo Yi spoke again. Master, the disciple is the first to apprentice, he should be a big brother. Ye Chen was happy because Guo Yi had come to apprentice, after all, the relationship between the master and the apprentice was closer than that of the subordinates. This is much better than directly teaching the exercises without accepting disciples. But whoever came to think, Guo Yi's words revealed his purpose, Nima, this is coming from the position of the big brother. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's face was dark, he gave Guo Yi an angry look, and then said. Quick. Thank you, Master. Guo Yi smiled when he heard this, and then solemnly bowed again. At this moment, bang! Heard a loud voice. Zhao Yunzhen, who was the most agile, went out second, and then knelt on the ground, followed by Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others. In the next second, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Zhang Liao, and others, all started to pray. Meet Master. Ye Chen looked at the men who were kneeling in the hall, knowing that once he nodded, these men would become apprentices. In this way, whether it is the reincarnation fairy city or the reincarnation empire in the future, it will inevitably be more stable, and united will become a city. Come stronger. It stands to reason that this should be something to be happy about but Ye Chen couldn't be happy for a while. As for the reason, it is very simple. Nima, the father-in-law Cai Yin, the brother-in-law, Zhao Yunzhen, and the other brother-in-law Mizu, all have performed a serious apprenticeship. At this moment, Ye Chen regretted Cai Yin, Zhao Yunzhen, and Mi Zhu over. Guo Yi, who was kneeling on the ground in the front, couldn't help looking up when he saw Ye Chen's delay in speaking. When Guo Yi saw the tangled expression on Ye Chen's face, he couldn't help but smile, and then said. Lord, Jia believes that teaching exercises is a relationship between master and apprentice. This has nothing to do with the mistresses. Please let the Lord express the lesson. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. That's right, the master and apprentice are just master and apprentice, this is so tangled. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately returned to his senses, then looked at a group of his men, and said. Feng Xiao is right. Today, I pass on the exercises such as yours. Although the master's name is determined, you only need to keep it in your heart. I will still be called the Lord in the future. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun and others heard this and bowed and said loudly. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said. I have two exercises to teach you. One is the Qinglian sword art. The level of the exercise is chaos. You can cut the three corpses to prove the Dao and become a holy after practicing to the extreme. Second, the chaos talisman, the level of the technique is also the chaos level. If you practice to the extreme, you can also slay the three corpses to prove the Dao, and then become a holy. Which one do you want to learn, or do you want to learn both? As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Zhang Liao, Gao Shun, Su Chu, and others all froze in place. In fact, they can't help but froze. They didn't know what the chaos level exercises were. They hadn't even heard of Qinglian sword art and chaos talisman, but they didn't know, and they didn't hear it, 
it didn't mean they were stupid. To be precise, they all know what it means to be sanctified. For a long time, they have only heard the legends of saints, but never thought that one day they will get the chance to become holy. And now, their Lord, Ye Chen, told them one thing, proving Dao sanctification is not a vain fantasy at all, as long as they learn any of the two exercises, they are expected to prove Dao sanctification. This stimulus was too great for Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, and the others, it was so big that they were stunned for a while, thinking they were dreaming. Ye Chen stared at him for a long while, his eyebrows raised involuntarily at the subordinates who hadn't recovered. Zhao Yu, Chen Wan, Cai Mayer and the others don't know what it means to be sanctified, but they all seem to know. Thinking of this, Ye Chen coughed a few times, and instantly recovered his sluggish subordinates. At this moment, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Cai Yin, Mi Zhu, Gao Shun, Su Chu, Zhang Liao, and others all looked at Ye Chen together, and then raised their hands together and erected three of them. Finger, solemnly shouted. We swear to follow the Lord to the death. We swear that no matter how strong our cultivation is, even if we prove to be holy, we will be loyal to the Lord. Life and death will follow, and we will never betray. It. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Cai Yin, Mi Zhen, and others don't think Ye Chen is lying and fooling them, because it is not necessary at all. It was precisely because they knew that Ye Chen would not lie to them, so after they returned to their senses, a scorching warm current directly rose in their hearts, and then they swore to the death to follow without hesitation. Oath, they have actually said it before and now they shout new vows in a roaring way, because they don't know how to express it, and they are deeply moved at this moment. Yes, touched, Ye Chen's subordinates, at this moment, their hearts are all filled with touch. As for the reason, it is simple. Their lord, Ye Chen, gave them an opportunity large enough to be envied and jealous by all creatures. Demonstration and sanctification, this is not a fairy artifact, innate spirit treasure it can be compared. Even if the probability is small, it may not succeed if it is too small, but the opportunity is already in front of them, as long as they seize it, even if the probability is small, it is not impossible to succeed. And once they succeed, it means that they will become the supreme saints between heaven and earth. Is there anything more crazy than this? The answer is no, no. At least in the minds of Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Zhang San, Guo Yi, and others, it does not exist. It is precisely because of this that Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Zhang San, Guo Yi, Cai Yin, Mi Zhu, Su Chu, Gao Shun, and others yelled out an oath that shocked all powers in a roaring way. After all, proving the Dao to become a saint also swears to follow Ye Chen, in the eyes of all the great powers it is really nonsense. Become a saint, be a little brother, be a subordinate, this is not just nonsense. But this is what Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi and others are thinking in their hearts at this moment, and they are firm and unwavering. As soon as the oaths of Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Zhang San, Guo Yi and others fell, the sky over the reincarnation fairy city suddenly thunder rolled and lightning flashed wildly. Boom! Hearing this, Ye Chen glanced at the abnormal sky outside the hall, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. It seems that the future achievements of Lao Tzu's men are not low. It's no wonder Ye Chen thinks this way. You know, Tiendi's response doesn't appear casually. And now, the oaths of Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, Zhang Liao and others have attracted Tiendi's response which shows that the content of their oaths may be realized. To be precise, Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San and others, even if they were not able to prove the way and become holy, would have walked a long way on this road. Otherwise, it is impossible for Tiendi to respond because of their oath. And this is also the root cause of Ye Chen's happiness. Even without my help, these subordinates can go a long way, 
if I add my help. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth, then looked at the group of men, and shouted. The one who chooses Qing Li and Jian Zhu will stand on the left, the one who chooses Chaos Talisman will stand on the right, choose both, stand in the middle. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er and other generals all stood on the left, while Guo Yi, Cai Yin, Chen Kun, Sun Qing and other civil servants stood directly on the right. Seeing this, Ye Chen smiled slightly, then raised his right hand, making the void touch. In the next second, dozens of streams of information flew out in an instant, and then rushed straight to the forehead's of Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi and others, and flashed in. At the same time, Ye Chen painted the void in his left hand, and several seal runes appeared in an instant, and then they were directly printed on the forehead of the minister. When Ye Chen did this, it was natural to seal most of the information about the technique of Chaos Talisman. After all, the content of Chaos Talisman is a bit big, if it is not sealed, 90% of them may be killed directly. Ye Chen didn't want to see such a situation happen. As Ye Chen stopped, the generals and civil servants who had each obtained the chaos level exercises closed their eyes in unison, and then realized the content of the exercises. However, before long, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Gao Shun, Guo Yi and others frowned involuntarily. When Ye Chen saw this, he couldn't help but smile, and then with a thought, the innate treasure Qian Kunding instantly appeared in front of him. In the next second, Ye Chen took a shot of the void with his right hand, and a burst of good fortune flew out of the Qian Kun cauldron in an instant, and was then shot by Ye Chen towards all his men. When the energy of good fortune rushed to Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, and others, they were instantly absorbed by everyone. At this moment, all the people who were still frowning and contemplative, all were taken aback, and then directly entered a state of epiphany. Seeing this, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. A little bit of time passed, Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Zhang San, Dian Xiang and others who were still in a state of enlightenment, who were originally saint-level generals, spontaneously raised a tyrannical aura, and then rose again and again until they reached the saint-level generals at the point of Dzogchen, it stopped. As for Gao Shun, Zhang Liao and other generals who have not yet advanced to the saint-level generals, the advanced aura directly emerged one by one. At the same time, the aura on their bodies rose and then went up and rushed directly to the saint-level generals. The degree of Dzogchen stopped. On one side, Guo Yi, Sun Qing, Cai Yin, Chen Kun and other civil servants are different from the generals in that what they exude is spiritual coercion, and the spiritual coercion is soaring all the way, until it can't continue to grow. This stopped. Ye Chen was stunned when he saw this. Let me wipe it. Guo Yi should be allowed to go to the real world to receive the cultivation technique and good fortune, so that they can directly advance to the transcendence realm. Ye Chen didn't want the generals to break through to the transcendence realm in the Three Kingdoms novice zone, but he never thought about not letting the civil servants break through. After all, the generals are going to fight to kill the enemy, and if they break through to the transcendence realm, they will be sealed, and the gains outweigh the losses. But what the civil servants did was to make plans and march and deploy, and they did not need them to go to battle to kill the enemy, so even if they broke through to the transcendence realm and were sealed, it did not matter. Ye Chen finished thinking with a bit of annoyance, and then looked at the property panel of all his men. When Ye Chen saw that the bones of his subordinates had become two star celestial bodies, he was taken aback. Actually, it directly crossed the body of the one star fairy and became the body of the two star fairy. That's right, before Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Meyer, they were six star advanced seven star. Yes, yes, the energy of good fortune is inexhaustible, the more you improve, the better. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. At this moment, in the hall of the city lord's mansion, Suddenly the sword energy was crisscrossed and runes flashed wildly. I saw that Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Dian Xiang and others were surrounded by sword energy or runes, 
which was called a lively. Seeing this, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. At this moment, Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Dian Xiang, and others opened their eyes together, then invariably looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said loudly. Thank you Lord for the gift. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled and nodded, and then with a move with his right hand, dozens of magic weapon class long swords appeared instantly, and then they were thrown by Ye Chen to a group of men. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, and others stopped one after another, everyone was stunned, and then their eyes widened. They had never seen a magic weapon, but they could clearly feel the extreme coercion emanating from the magic weapon. When his subordinates were in a daze, Ye Chen said with a smile. You only need to recognize the Lord with a drop of blood. Two days later, you will be safer if you open the secret realm of the underground palace and have a magic weapon to protect you. Thank you for the Lord's gift. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, and others heard this, they glanced at each other, and then bowed solemnly to Ye Chen again. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled and nodded, and then with a move with his right hand, the small mountain-like two-world stone instantly appeared in the courtyard outside the hall. Looking at the two-world stones piled up like a mountain in the yard, Ye Chen immediately looked at Guo Yi and said. Feng Xiao, the soldiers who have not used the Liang Jiaxi, each have one. After they have used the Liang Jiaxi, take them to the world where I live, and then bring them back. In the real world, the protective shield of the safe city will disappear in more than a day, and the soldiers Ye Chen can bring back to the real world now add up to only 20,000 people. These soldiers are currently adequate to deal with the crisis that may arise after the real world protective shield disappears. However, as time goes by, the player's realm will increase faster and faster. If Ye Chen does not prepare enough soldiers in advance, at that time, if there is a monster or human player aggressively attacking, Ye Chen will definitely will go offline. In this way, how could Ye Chen play games with peace of mind? Ye Chen didn't want such a situation to happen, so Ye Chen directly took out 3 million yuan of the two world stones obtained from the auction of garbage. After hearing Ye Chen's words, Guo Yi hurriedly bowed and said, Yes. Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then got up and went to the layman. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others saw this and hurriedly bowed to Ye Chen and said, Send the Lord. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled slightly, and then went straight out to the back house. After a while, he returned to the back house. Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Mayer, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner, and the five sisters Zhen Zhu Si, saw Ye Chen come back, all of them involuntarily put on happy smiles, and then shouted to Ye Chen sweetly. Husband. Ye Chen couldn't help but warmed up after hearing the call from the heart of the women, and then strode over. Before and after arriving at the girls, Ye Chen gave the girls a hug one by one. It was not until after she finished holding her that Ye Chen looked at the girls and said apologetically. During this time, I have wronged you. When the girls heard Ye Chen's full of apologies, they all stunned, and then all their eyes became red involuntarily. At this moment, an emotion called satisfaction plus touching appeared in the hearts of the women in an instant. For all the women, what Ye Chen said at the moment was more real than a thousand love words and it could comfort them even more about their lovesickness towards Ye Chen. Seeing the red eyes of the women, Ye Chen sighed. Just when Ye Chen was about to speak, Zhao Yu wiped the corners of his eyes, then looked at Ye Chen and said. Husband, concubine sisters are not wronged. To be the wife of the husband, concubine sisters are already the luckiest and happiest women in the world, so how can they be wronged? Husband, concubine sisters, this is touching, because the husband has us in his heart and is sincere, and the concubine feels it. Chan Wan nodded heavily when she heard this, and then said. Cai Mayer, Huang Wanner, and the five Zhen Ju Si sisters wiped the tears that overflowed from the corners of their eyes, 
and then nodded earnestly to indicate that they also meant the same. Ye Chen's heart warmed again when he heard this, and a feeling of getting a wife like this, no matter what the husband can ask for, involuntarily came to his heart. After a brief sigh, Ye Chen looked at the girls and said. The 100-year limit of life can no longer restrict us. Our future is eternal life. When that day comes, as long as you don't dislike me as an old fellow, I will accompany you to travel through the mountains and rivers of ten thousand realms, and then give birth to hundreds of thousands a little baby. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the girls were all in a daze. After the girls returned to their senses, their faces became flushed, and then they all looked at Ye Chen and said. My sisters will never dislike my husband. As long as the husband likes them, the sisters of my concubine are willing to, be willing to give birth to the husband. When the women said this, they stopped one by one involuntarily, and then turned their heads shyly, not daring to look at Ye Chen anymore. Although they are Ye Chen's women, they have only slept with Ye Chen, but Zhao Yu, Cai Meyer, Chan Wan, and the other six, until now, haven't made up with Ye Chen, they are naturally embarrassed. Giving birth, speak out. Even if Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Meyer, and Mi Zhen have already talked to Ye Chen, they are embarrassed to say it. After all, the identities of a few of them from girls to young women have only spanned a short period of time. Ye Chen laughed when he saw this, and then said, Prepare dinner, your husband, I'm hungry. Yes. Husband. Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Mayer, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner, Zhen Zhu Si's five sisters turned red again after hearing Ye Chen's laugh, and then they all responded. Not long after, the food was brought up by the maids. After Ye Chen and the girls had finished eating, they went straight to Huang Wanner's room. I received Huang Wanner but failed to complete the house because of the expedition. Now that it is rare to have two days of free time, Ye Chen would naturally not continue to leave it without eating. Of course, the five sisters of Zhen Zhu Si, Ye Chen did not fall. One night later, Ye Chen had been the bridegroom six times. When the next night, Ye Chen took the daughters together and came to sleep together. No way, two days were not rich. Ye Chen didn't want to accompany only one or two of the girls, and left most of them in the cold. In the early morning of the third day, Ye Chen got up under the service of the girls. After having breakfast with the girls, Ye Chen went straight to the school grounds. Today is the day set by Ye Chen to open the secret realm of the underground palace. Naturally, Ye Chen will not postpone this planned plan indiscriminately just because the gentle homeland is very cool. After all, Ye Chen wanted to become the strongest emperor, the strongest player man, indulging in gentle township, is not what a qualified emperor should do. Reincarnation Xian Cheng, the school field. Hunting with banners, spears like forests. Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Meng, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Cai Yin, Mi Zhu, Chen Kun, Sun Qing, Gao Shun. Zhang Liao, Su Chu and other civil servants have been waiting here. Behind them are 100,000 white horses. There are 500,000 reincarnation legions. After Ye Chen came to the schoolyard, he went straight to the high platform, and then looked down at the crowd of soldiers in the city of reincarnation. Hey! 600 and 100,000 soldiers knelt on one knee neatly. See the Lord! Six hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers shouted in unison, shaking the sky. The breath of majesty, solemnity, iron, and blood, instantly rose from the soldiers. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then shouted. Today send troops to attack the secret realm of the underground palace, you can be confident. Kill. 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 Six hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers raised their spears shouting loudly, and their fierce fighting spirit broke out in an instant, and then went straight into the sky. Feeling the soldiers' strong will to fight, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, then looked at Mi Zhu and asked. Zizhong, Hong, has the sky-level equipment been manufactured? Enlighten, Lord, 
all the heavenly equipment has been manufactured, just wait for the Lord to order, the soldiers of the reincarnation fairy city, you can replace it. Hearing this, Mi Zhu hurriedly took a step forward, then bowed his fists and bowed loudly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then shouted. Come here. Yes. Lord. Hearing this, Mi Zhu hurriedly bowed in prayer, and hurriedly left after speaking. After a while, he brought in 610,000 sets of heavenly equipment. Seeing the neatly stacked heavenly rank soldier suits lined up, Ye Chen's mind moved, and the simple and mysterious congenital treasure Qian Qin Ding instantly appeared over the school field. In the next second, Ye Chen lifted his right hand, and then took a shot in the sky. The school grounds lined up, piled up like a mountain of 610,000 sets of heavenly suits, instantly flew up, and then rushed to the Qian Qin Ding suspended above the school grounds. At the same time, the lid of the Qian Qin Ding flew up with a bang, and then left the Qian Qin Ding. At this moment, 600 and 100,000 sets of sky-level suits came to the side of the Qian Qin Ding, and then flew into the Qian Qin Ding. When 600 and 100,000 sets of heavenly soldiers' suits flew to Qian Qin Ding, the cover of Qian Qin Ding was instantly covered back. At this moment, the universe shook violently. There was a sound of OM, and then I saw the Qian Qin Ding slowly turning in the air. In the school grounds, the soldiers looked at the floating and spinning Qian Qin Ding, the bosses with staring eyes, for fear of missing something. Although they didn't understand why their lord, Ye Chen, received 600 and 100,000 sets of equipment in the great cauldron that looked like Xianjia baby, but they knew one thing. That is, their lord, Ye Chen, is unparalleled in the world, is omnipotent, and never does meaningless things. It is for this reason that they opened their eyes wide, for fear of missing the wonderful scene. A little bit of time passed, when the Qian Qin Ding stopped rotating, the lid of the Ding flew up instantly, and then 600 and 100,000 sets of soldiers' suits exuding tyrannical coercion flew out of the Qian Qin Ding one after another, and then flew to the soldiers. Above our heads. At this moment, the air of soldiers in the school field suddenly became extremely strong, and then directly oscillated. Looking at the 600 and 100,000 spiritual tool level suits floating above the soldier's head, Ye Chen's mind moved, and his divine sense instantly explored the past. When Ye Chen had checked the 600 and 100,000 spiritual tool level suits, he clicked with satisfaction. Yes, yes, they are all superb spirit weapons. Ye Chen is satisfied here, but the soldiers in the school field have their eyes widened. They felt the pressure, the pressure from the equipment. That coercion, even if many of them were saint-level generals, they couldn't ignore it. At this moment, even if the soldiers were confused and puzzled, they understood one thing. That is, the equipment originally to be distributed to them is different now. To be precise, the grade of the equipment is higher, otherwise it is impossible to give them a strong sense of oppression. As for what the higher level equipment is, the soldiers don't know, but they know a little bit. At this moment, the equipment suspended above their heads is absolutely beyond the mortal existence. The soldiers after returning to their senses, one by one, you look at me and I look at you, and then they look at Ye Chen unanimously. At this moment, an emotion called pride, gratitude and admiration appeared in the hearts of all the soldiers in an instant. They are proud to be Ye Chen's soldiers and proud to follow Ye Chen. They were grateful for Ye Chen's loving soldiers like sons, and admired Ye Chen's strength and omnipotence. Ye Chen glanced at the audience, the 600 and 100,000 soldiers had the same look, smiled slightly, and then shouted. Removal. 600 and 100,000 soldiers heard this, no one was born, one by one, they took off their equipment as many as they did, and then stacked them neatly around them. Ye Chen saw this and shouted again. Blood to recognize the Lord. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, 600 and 100,000 spiritual weapon class soldier suits came to the soldiers in an instant, 
suspended there quietly. But the six hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers trembled together at this moment. Not afraid, but excited, because their lord, Ye Chen's recognition of the lord by dripping blood, was enough to verify their previous guesses. This brand new equipment that has been processed by the Xianjia Baoding is truly extraordinary. Equipment In the next second, six hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers exhaled unanimously, and then bit their index fingers one by one, dripping blood onto the spirit weapon suit suspended in front of them. As soon as the time for the cup of tea was over, red lights flashed in the school grounds, and then one could see that the six hundred and one hundred thousand spiritual tool level suits had disappeared. In the next second, the six hundred and one hundred thousand spiritual tool level suits that had just disappeared appeared on the soldiers and hands in an instant. Boom! Six hundred and one hundred thousand soldiers suddenly knelt on one knee neatly. We, swear to follow the Lord to the death. For generations to come, never betray. If you break this oath, heaven will die. Six hundred and one hundred thousand people roared wildly, and the sound shook the sky. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled and nodded, then with a thought, the Juding treasure map instantly appeared in Ye Chen's right hand. Looking at the Juding treasure map in his right hand, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then chose to use it without hesitation. Ding! The player Ye Chen uses the Juding treasure map to automatically obtain the secret key, the secret seal of the underground palace is lifted, and the place of the secret realm, Lishan. Ding! Please player Ye Chen open the underground palace secret realm within half an hour, otherwise the underground palace secret realm will be permanently sealed. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen frowned. In the previous life, the location where the secret realm of the underground palace was opened should be in Xianyang, but now it has become Lishan. Lishan is one of the places where the emperors of the past dynasties have fun and leisure. Therefore, there will be many court ladies and eunuchs, and the imperial forest army will be placed in Lishan. Otherwise, Ye Chen would not frown. Fortunately, the big man has just experienced the Golden Turban Rebellion and the invasion of the monster clan. There shouldn't be anyone there yet. Even if there are people, it doesn't matter, no matter who it is, don't try to prevent me from opening the secret realm of the underground palace. Thinking of this, Ye Chen thought, and a hundred twisted spaces appeared in the school field. Taking a look at the distorted space, Ye Chen immediately looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, Guan Er, and others, and then shouted. Set off! Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, Guan Er, and the others heard this, their faces were all serious, and then bowed and worshipped loudly. In the next second, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Zhang Liao, Su Chu, Gan Ning, and other generals, the first batch of generals walked into the distorted space, and then disappeared again in the school field. Guo Yi, Ca Yin, Chen Kun, Sun Qing, and other civil servants followed, leaving the school grounds. Then there were 100,000 white horses and 500,000 soldiers from the Reincarnation Legion, who walked through the distorted space one after another, and then disappeared into the school field. Seeing this, Ye Chen smiled slightly, then stepped directly forward and disappeared. Southwest of Chang'an City, at the foot of Lishan Mountain. Ye Chen stepped out of the distorted space, and then appeared here. Farewell to the Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Gao Shun and others saw Ye Chen's arrival and bowed in prayer. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then with a movement of his consciousness, the whole Lishan was enveloped in an instant. As soon as the tea time passed, Ye Chen confirmed that there were no eunuchs and court ladies and nodded in satisfaction, and then looked straight at the cave at the foot of Lishan, which was constantly shining with gloom. The entrance to the secret realm of the underground palace should be in this cave. At the moment when Ye Chen was preparing to pass, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er and other generals stepped forward together, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly. 
the final general is willing to open the secret realm of the underground palace for the Lord. Opening the secret realm may or may not be dangerous. No matter which way, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and other generals did not want Ye Chen, the Lord, to commit the danger himself. Ye Chen smiled slightly when he heard this, and then said. It doesn't have to be. Before Ye Chen's words were finished, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and the generals bowed and worshipped again. I implore the Lord's grace. When Ye Chen heard this, he secretly sighed, and then made a move with his right hand, a bronze key with a large palm and a white index finger appeared in his right hand instantly, and then Ye Chen threw it to Zhao Yunzhen. When Zhao Yun saw this, he hurriedly reached out to catch it, then bowed to Ye Chen, and then strode towards the gloomy cave at the foot of Lishan Mountain. When the time for a cup of tea was over, the moment a creak came, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding! Congratulations to player Ye Chen, for successfully opening the secret realm of the underground palace, the secret realm of the underground palace is officially launched. All players can go to Lishan and enter the secret realm of the underground palace to explore. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. Fuck. What is the secret of the underground palace? How to open a secret and still make a world announcement? Stupid, I still have to think about it. How can it be simple to be able to be in the secret world of the world announcement? Hey, there must be good things in the secret realm of the underground palace, and there are many good treasures, now I will send them. Please, first think about who opened the secret realm of the underground palace, and then talk about the things that are not posted. Nima, no, the world announcement says that the secret realm of the underground palace is open, anyone can go. Ye Chen won't be so overbearing, let us go in. Don't say no, according to Ye Chen's past methods, there is nothing he dared to do. And, don't forget, the underground palace secret realm was opened by Ye Chen, so Ye Chen must value this secret realm. Otherwise, how could Ye Chen specially run to open the secret realm of the underground palace? Grass, even if the secret realm of the underground palace was opened by Ye Chen, what can we do, we don't steal, two don't snatch, and three are not enemies with Ye Chen. Ye Chen is Mao who wants to prevent us from entering the secret realm of the underground palace. Why? Change you to Ye Chen, do you have the ability to monopolize, will you share good things? Grass. I don't care, even if Ye Chen stops him, I will enter. The secret realm of the underground palace does not belong to Ye Chen alone. Yes, we all go, and we don't things from Ye Chen, we just go to fight monsters, Ye Chen can't be so overbearing and inhuman. Yes, I will go too. I am coming too. The world channel was full of enthusiasm, constantly refreshing the screen, after Ye Chen glanced at it, his eyes suddenly narrowed. No one wants to enter the secret realm of the underground palace. The players were excited about the opening of the secret realm of the underground palace. Ye Chen knew this early in the morning. After all, that was the situation in Ye Chen's previous life. At that time, the news that the secret realm of the underground palace was opened caused a huge sensation as soon as the world announcement was made, and then countless players were moved and gathered in the secret realm of the underground palace. However, the ending was beyond the expectations of all players. So many players, working together to attack the secret realm of the underground palace, surprised that no one can get a little experience, a piece of equipment in the secret realm of the underground palace, and they all died in the secret realm of the underground palace. The secret realm of the underground palace at that time was a flesh and blood grinding disc, and as many as you entered, you would die. Until the players awake from madness, the eternal emperor Qin Shi Huang was reborn in blood, advanced to the corpse emperor, and then took the pre-Qin million zombies into the prehistoric world without whereabouts. 
and the one who left with Qin Shi Huang was Zhen Guo Juding. It was precisely because Ye Chen knew this that after seeing the speeches of the players on the World Channel, his murderous intent was wild. After all, the secret realm of the underground palace is essentially a death trap arranged by Qin Shi Huang. If the players really rushed to the secret realm of the underground palace like the previous life, and then died a large number of them, then Ye Chen's arrangement for the secret realm of the underground palace this time would inevitably change from controllable to out of control. As for the reason, it is very simple. Qin Shi Huang's willing goal is to have a lot of flesh and blood. If the players die in large quantities, they will inevitably contribute a lot of flesh and blood to Qin Shi Huang. In this way, Qin Shi Huang is likely to be reborn in the same blood as in the previous life, and then advance to the corpse emperor, and then Qin Shi Huang will take a million zombies into the predecessor. And this is not the key. The most important thing is that Zhen Guo Juding will also be taken away by Qin Shi Huang. Ye Chen didn't want to see such a situation happen. After all, Ye Chen's most critical goal for opening the secret realm of the underground palace this time was to Zhen Guo Juding. It is precisely because of this that Ye Chen didn't want players to enter the secret realm of the underground palace. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately looked at the Samsara Legion, and then shouted. The Reincarnation Legion hears. Hey! The soldiers of the 510,000 Reincarnation Legion knelt on one knee in unison, and then waited for Ye Chen's order. When Ye Chen saw this, he was about to give an order. Guo Yi on the side suddenly took a step forward, then bowed and said. Master, wait a minute. Ye Chen was taken aback when he heard this, and then looked at Guo Yi. Before Ye Chen could ask, Guo Yi bowed again and said. Master, you want to keep all the Samsara Legion here to prevent foreigners from approaching. Yes, the secret realm of the underground palace is very important, and no accidents are allowed. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said. After hearing Ye Chen's words, Guo Yi glanced at the cave not far away, then looked at Ye Chen and bowed seriously. My lord, when the secret realm of the underground palace is opened, you can see it with the eyes of ghosts and gods. It is full of murderous intent, and the aura of unknown is very strong. If there is no blood sacrifice, and if you rush in, you will inevitably be cursed by the power of the nether. The realm of the Lord is extraordinary, with sufficient yang in the body, and there is no worry. We have the magic weapon bestowed by the Lord to protect us, and there is no need to be afraid, but no one can resist this curse. Even if the Lord obtains everything in the secret territory of the underground palace after the event, Bai Ma Yi retreats from everything, and will eventually die by a curse, and the time of death will never exceed three days. When Ye Chen heard this, his brow suddenly frowned, and then his mind moved, and his divine sense instantly penetrated into the secret realm of the underground palace. In the next second, Ye Chen's face suddenly darkened. The secret realm of the underground palace is actually isolated from the divine sense exploration. Thinking of this, Ye Chen hurriedly looked at Guo Yi, and then asked. Bong Xiao, is there a way to crack it? Ye Chen didn't want the players to enter the underground palace secret realm, let alone his subordinates suffered large-scale casualties because of the underground palace secret realm, otherwise Ye Chen would not ask Guo Yi. Guo Yi shook his head when he heard this, then bowed and said. The master, Qi, the unknown aura in the underground palace is too strong. If Ruojia is not mistaken, these unknown auras should come from the pre-Qin period, a formation called the Juyu Corpse Refining Array. If only this is the case, it will not be too difficult to arrive, as long as the Lord himself takes the action to get rid of the eyes of the Juyu Corpse Refining Array. However, the Juyu Corpse Refining Array in the secret realm of the underground palace is different from the ancient records. Its eyes are supported by the power of nine strong auras, and if you want to break the nine nether refining corpse formation, you must break the power of these nine auras. When Guo Yi said this, he sighed, and then continued. From the perspective of Jiaguan, the power of these nine auras is extremely strong, comparable to the luck of a country. If you want to break it, 
you can only attack the Jiu Refining Corpse formation. There is no other way. When Ye Chen heard this, he was slightly taken aback, and then frowned again. The Jiu Corpse Refining Array should have killed Yu Ji, Zhou Xi, the formation recorded in the secret scroll of the pre Qin period. However, what is going on with the power of Nine Air Luck? Ye Chen just thought of this, he was taken aback, and then his eyes suddenly opened. Jenkuo Juding. It must be Juding Jenkuo. Really, this Qin Shuang is really good enough to use Zhen Guo Juding to protect the eyes of the Nine Nether Corpse Refining Array. In this way, others will simply break into the secret realm of the underground palace if they don't know the Juding of Jenkuo, and if they know it, they will break into it. And many more. Fortune in a country. Could it be said that half of the national fortunes in the eastern region are in the nine-tenths of the country? It must be so. Thinking of this, the light in Ye Chen's eyes suddenly flashed. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Originally, I thought that Qin Shi Wang used the Juding of Zhen Kuo to lock the world and luck, not much. Unexpectedly, half of the real world luck in the Three Kingdoms novice zone was in the hands of Qin Shi Wang. With that said, once Zhen Kuo Juding is in hand, half of the real world luck that the Three Kingdoms novice zone possesses will belong to me. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at the Samsara Legion and the White Horse Ye Kong, and then shouted. You wait on the spot. If anyone wants to enter the secret realm of the underground palace, let them go. If someone attacks or even threatens, kill. Ye Chen didn't plan to let the player enter the secret realm of the underground palace, but Guo Yi's eyes of ghosts and gods saw the abnormalities of the secret realm of the underground palace, and Ye Chen didn't want to make fun of the lives of his army. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, there were 500,000 reincarnation legions and 100,000 white horses, and they all bowed and responded loudly. Yes. Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then looked at Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Zhang San, Guan Er, Gao Shun, Sun Qing, Cai Yin and others, and shouted. You wait with me to enter the secret realm of the underground palace. Yes. Lord. Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Sun Qing, Cai Yin and others heard this all bowed in response, and then followed Ye Chen towards the foot of Lishan Mountain. Go to the gloomy cave. Ye Chen opened the secret realm of the underground palace, the main goal was to protect the Juding, the second was the six arts that might exist in the secret realm of the underground palace, and the last was to train soldiers. Now that it is dangerous for soldiers to enter the secret realm of the underground palace directly, Ye Chen naturally gave up training for the time being and changed the target to Zhen Kuo Juding and Six Arts. Zhen Kuo Juding has no special methods, it can only attack by force, but if you want to collect Liuyi, it's different. Because that is inheritance. To be precise, if Ye Chen wants to obtain the Six Arts that may exist in the underground palace, he must let his subordinates follow Ye Chen into the underground palace. Otherwise, Ye Chen would never get six arts. As for the reason, it is very simple. Ye Chen doesn't have the foundation of the six arts in ancient times, so he can't get the inheritance of the six arts at all. But Ye Chen's subordinates are different. Whether it is a civil servant or a military commander, each has the foundation of the six arts, even if it is not comprehensive, there is no doubt about this. Therefore, Ye Chen's subordinates are the key to the inheritance of the six arts. Of course, if his subordinates were not equipped with magic weapons to protect him, he could ignore the unknown atmosphere in the underground palace, and Ye Chen would not let his subordinates risk their lives and enter the underground palace for the sake of the inheritance of the six arts. As soon as the tea time was over, Ye Chen led his men to the cave. Zhao Yunzen who was standing in front of the secret realm gate of the underground palace, hurriedly stepped forward and bowed and said. Meet the Lord. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then said. Yun Zen, follow me into the secret realm. 
yes. Lord. Zhao Yun was slightly taken aback when he heard this, and then hurriedly bowed in prayer. Zhao Yun was stunned, not because he didn't want to go to the secret realm, but because he was puzzled that Ye Chen didn't bring soldiers over. Of course, puzzled, Zhao Yun Zhen would not ask Ye Chen on this issue. Because he knew that Ye Chen did this, naturally there was Ye Chen's reason, and he had only one thing to do, and he did it without hesitation. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, and was about to enter directly, but in an instant, he stopped, and then looked at the two bronze gates that had been opened in the secret realm of the underground palace. In the next second, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply. The copper of the first mountain. It turned out to be the copper of the first mountain. Ye Chen didn't expect that before entering the secret realm gate of the underground palace, he would have gained a lot of gains. You know, Shao Shan copper is not an ordinary item, but a kind of fairy level material. In myths and legends, the Yellow Emperor once picked the bronze casting tripod of the first mountain, and the two bronze gates at the entrance of the underground palace secret realm were cast from the copper of the first mountain. As for Ye Chen's ability to recognize the material of the bronze gate at a glance, it was also because of Ye Chen's memories of his previous life. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't be able to tell at a glance. Where did Qin Shi Huang get the bronze of the first mountain? No matter where you got it, these two bronze gates belong to Lao Tzu. The reason why Ye Chen wanted the bronze gate cast by Shao Shan Copper so much was actually very simple. To be precise, Ye Chen was to smelt and recast the bronze gate into an incense burner tripod, and then use it to dominate the world, ascend the throne and proclaim the emperor, and make sacrifices to the world. In this case, Ye Chen will be able to communicate with the world more easily, and then declare to the world that Yun Shao is established. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he grabbed his right hand towards a bronze gate, and then he violently tugged. Boom bang came two times. The bronze gate, which originally weighed hundreds of thousands of caddies and could withstand the violent impact of a siege vehicle, was instantly dragged down by Ye Chen. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Zhang San, Guan Er, Gao Shun, Zhang Liao, Su Chu, Gan Ning and others saw this place, and they all stayed together. They knew that their lord was very powerful, he could soar through the clouds, drive the fog, and call the wind and rain, but they hadn't seen it much. Their lord, Ye Chen, used brutal power. And now, they saw it. The scene before them really made them a little bit unbelievable. You must know that the bronze gate at the entrance to the secret realm of the underground palace in front of you is so special that it is hundreds of thousands of caddies. And their lord Ye Chen just grabbed it like that, and then roughly dragged down a bronze gate of hundreds of thousands of kilograms, and then took it easily in his hand. This is not cruelty, what is cruelty? After regaining consciousness, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Zhang San, Guan Er, and others involuntarily glanced at each other, and then Qi Qi bowed and worshipped Ye Chen incomparably. Master, brave. Ye Chen smiled slightly when he heard this, and then directly received the bronze gate into the small world. In the next second, Ye Chen grabbed another bronze gate again, and then directly received it in the small world. After doing this, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, and then said. Let's go in, and there will be this once emperor for a while. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others heard this, their expressions were all together, and then bowed and responded loudly. After speaking, they followed Ye Chen and walked straight towards the secret realm of the underground palace. Go with. Unexpectedly, as soon as he entered the door, he heard an extremely dense sound of breaking through the air. Ye Chen, who was walking in the forefront, curled his lips in disdain after hearing the intensive sound of breaking through the air. At this moment, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Su Chu, and other generals all changed their expressions. They hurriedly recruited magic weapon class long swords, and then jumped to Ye Chen. 
In the next second, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Su Chu, and other generals flew up and down with long swords in their hands, and the sword curtain appeared instantly. However, in the blink of an eye, a intensive collision sounded instantly. Ding ding ding! I saw countless arrows shot at a rapid speed, directly intercepted by Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhang San, Guan Er, Su Chu, and other generals, and then fell to the ground. When the arrows stopped coming, Guo Yi suddenly walked a few steps and came to Ye Chen. After taking a look at the arrows covering the floor, his face suddenly changed, and then he hurriedly looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. Master, this arrow is very poisonous, and it's a poison beyond the mortal world. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this, then looked at the arrow on the ground. At this moment, the arrows on the ground suddenly burst. Boom boom boom. At this moment, a large amount of yellowish-brown smoke rose from the ground instantly. Seeing this, Ye Chen's face suddenly sank, without thinking about it, and with a wave of his right hand, he instantly received all of his subordinates into the small world. In the next second, Ye Chen slapped his right hand toward the front, and a violent air explosion sounded instantly. Boom! A gust of wind appeared instantaneously, and then rolled up the yellowish-brown smoke that had just risen from the ground, and flew quickly toward the twisted space that suddenly appeared in the front. After a few breaths, the yellowish-brown smoke dissipated. When Ye Chen saw this, his mind moved, and his divine consciousness immediately penetrated into the small world. After confirming that his men were not poisoned, he was finally relieved, but immediately, Ye Chen's expression became ugly. My memory can't be wrong. When the secret realm of the underground palace was opened in the previous life, the arrow mechanism was not fake, but there was no poison on the arrow, and there was no explosion to produce poisonous gas. Why in this life, when the secret realm of the underground palace was opened, such a change occurred? Could it be because I killed Zhao Ji and opened the secret realm of the underground palace in advance? It's no wonder that Ye Chen thinks this way. After all, the one who opened the underground palace secret realm in Ye Chen's previous life was a female player possessed by Zhao Ji. After Ye Chen was reborn, by chance, he met Zhao Ji's soul, then wiped it out, and obtained the Juding treasure map fragment. After that, Ye Chen got lucky and collected the Juding treasure map in advance, and then made the underground palace secret realm opened half a year earlier than the time it was opened in the previous life. This is the difference between this life and the previous life, and now Ye Chen has opened the secret realm of the underground palace. As soon as he entered the door, he encountered a completely different situation from the previous life. How could Ye Chen not think about it? If it wasn't because of killing Zhao Ji that caused this change, could it be that the two bronze gates made of the bronze of the first mountain were taken away by me? Regardless of the reason, the danger of the secret realm of the underground palace is greatly increased compared to the previous life. Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and the cold light flashed away. Even if the danger increases, this underground palace secret realm, I have to break into. Chen Kuo Juding, you must get it anyway. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand and all the subordinates who had just been received by the small world appeared behind Ye Chen as many as possible. Ye Chen was just about to speak, and found that Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhao Yunzhen, and others who had returned to the entrance of the underground palace secret realm again, Qi Qi bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly, Thank you, Lord, for saving my life. It doesn't have to be this way but you must remember that this underground palace secret realm is not the same as I expected. You must be careful and don't get caught. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun and others heard this, their expressions were all together, and then they bowed and responded again. Yes. Lord. Enter the secret realm. 
Ye Chen nodded, and then spoke. After talking about the lunch, he would take a step forward and head towards the depths of the passage. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others followed, followed by Ye Chen to a blue light gate and walked straight in. After a brief dizziness, Ye Chen brought a group of hands down to the secret realm of the underground palace. When Ye Chen opened his eyes, his brow suddenly frowned. The place where I saw my eyes was barren, and the earth was full of weird dark red when I saw it. With a light smell, a strong aura came directly into my nose. Here, it seems, after more than one war. The secret realm of the underground palace in the previous life, it seems that it is not like this. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked around, and then frowned again. I saw in the distance, a thick fog, I couldn't see through it at all. Ye Chen, who was aware of this, moved his consciousness, and then his face sank. But the thick fog in the distance has the effect of isolating the spiritual sense. Ye Chen's spiritual sense can only barely see through a hundred meters, no matter how long it is, it can't be done. Sure enough, this underground palace secret realm is different from the previous life. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, a killing breath suddenly came from a distance, and then he saw the dense fog that was originally in a static state in the distance, suddenly accelerating towards Ye Chen's place. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Su Chu, and other generals, seeing this, unanimously recruited weapons, and then rushed to Ye Chen, staring solemnly at the thick fog that suddenly appeared ahead. At this moment, Guo Yi's eyes suddenly condensed, and then he looked straight at the dense fog. After a few breaths, Guo Yi retracted his gaze, and then hurriedly bowed to Ye Chen and said, Master, go back. Feng Xiao, can you see through this thick fog? Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up when he heard this, then he looked at Guo Yi and asked. When Guo Yi heard this, he nodded hurriedly, and then said anxiously. My lord, this thick fog is transformed by the water of the Yellow Spring. Behind the thick fog is a hundred thousand Prechin army. The latter is not terrible. The terrible thing is that the water of the Yellow Spring can corrode the flesh and destroy the soul. Leave the secret realm of the underground palace quickly. Water from the Yellow Spring. Ye Chen's expression suddenly changed when he heard this. It is naturally impossible for Ye Chen not to know what the water of the Yellow Spring mentioned by Guo Yi is. This thing is not a good thing for living people. If it falls into it, Ye Chen will be washed out alive, and the memory in the soul will also be cleaned by the water of the Yellow Spring. Of course, the water of the Yellow Spring is powerful, but Ye Chen will not be shocked or afraid because of this. After all, no matter how dangerous the water of the Yellow Spring is, Ye Chen has a way to deal with it. And the reason why Ye Chen's expression changed when he heard that the thick fog was melted by the water of the Yellow Spring was because the degree of danger in the secret realm of the underground palace far exceeded Ye Chen's expectations. Ye Chen was aware of this before entering the underground palace secret realm, but Ye Chen didn't expect that the danger level of the underground palace secret realm in this life was even more dangerous than Ye Chen imagined. Really, what's going on here? This kind of difficult underground palace secret realm, Three Kingdoms novice zone, there is no one except me. Ye Chen just thought of this, he was taken aback for a moment, and then a thought came out involuntarily. Damn it! It's not because of me that the difficulty of this underground palace secret realm has increased. Nima, it might be like this. No wonder Ye Chen thinks this way. After all, Ye Chen's innate spirit treasure, innate supreme treasure, and his cultivation base has reached the divine martial realm again. In terms of variables, Ye Chen is the biggest variable in this world. Variables, let's change, even if it is dangerous, how can you stand me? Thinking of this, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply, and then with a move with his right hand, the congenital Ling Bao water Ling Zhu appeared instantly. The next second, the congenital Ling Bao water Ling Zhu suddenly shook. After the sound of OM came out, a water system force suddenly erupted from the water spirit orb, and then saw the water spirit orb, 
it rose directly into the air, and then flew straight into the thick fog. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Guan Er, Diane Xiang, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Zhao Meng, Su Chu, Gan Ning, Zhang Liao and other generals heard this and turned around without hesitation one by one, and then bowed and worshipped loudly. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, then looked at the group of men, and said. The pre Qin general on the opposite side is a zombie and a bronze corpse comparable to the purple mansion realm. Are you sure you want to fight with him? The general of the Lord Yun, and the winner of the Qing Lian sword art, how can he stand still, I implore the Lord's grace. Zhao Yun heard this and bowed without hesitation. The same is true for us, please be kind. Diane Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Gan Ning, Su Chu and other generals heard this and nodded all together before bowing. As soon as the words of the generals fell, Guo Yi on one side glanced at the pre Qin generals riding a strange black horse not far away, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said. My lord, according to secret records, if the zombie clan does not become a flying zombie, it can only use power and corpse poison, and cannot use spells. Every general has the magic weapon bestowed by the lord, and he has cultivated the Qing Lian sword art. World War I When Ye Chen heard this, he was silent for a moment, and then with a move with his right hand, the innate treasure Qian Qin Ding appeared instantly. In the next second, Ye Chen took a shot with his right hand towards the right hands of the generals, and then saw that the armors of the generals such as Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Diane Xiang, and Zhang San were as many as they were separated, and then flew towards Qian Qin Ding. In the next second, the armors of a group of generals were taken into it by Qian Qin Ding. As soon as the tea time passed, the armors of the generals were directly strengthened by the Qian Qin Ding into spiritual weapons, and then flew out of the Qian Qin Ding and returned to the side of the generals. Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others saw this place, their eyes all lit up, and then they hurriedly caught them, and after dripping their blood to recognize the master, they directly equipped them. Before, Ye Chen had never thought that the secrets of the underground palace were so variable that Ye Chen had never even thought of strengthening the equipment of Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, and Guan's second-class generals. After all, Ye Chen had already assigned the magic weapon class long sword to them, and the power of the magic weapon far exceeded that of the spirit weapon. As for the armor, if the secret realm of the underground palace is still the same as in the previous life, there is no problem if it is strengthened or not. Because of the pre Qin terracotta warriors and horses in the secret realm of the underground palace in the previous life, as well as the generals, it is impossible to hurt Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, and others. But now, Ye Chen had to strengthen the equipment of Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, Guan Er, and others once. Because what they are going to play against is not the pre Qin terracotta warriors and horses, but the pre Qin zombie army, and the commanding generals are also the zombies with the strength of the purple mansion realm. If you use the treasure level long sword, it is nothing if you are not injured. It is very likely to be infected with corpse poison, and then become a zombie. This was not the result Ye Chen wanted to see, so after Ye Chen heard Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, Guan Er, and others invite for a battle, he directly started to strengthen their equipment. As for their original weapons, there is really no need to strengthen them. You must know that the Qing Lian sword art is a chaos level technique, and its power is 100% greater than the technique they originally practiced. There is no need to lose too much. After Ye Chen saw Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others put on the spirit weapon class armor, he immediately looked at it and said seriously. The realm of the generals in the pre Qin dynasty far surpassed Er Deng. There is no need to fight against him. Er Deng can go together. However, Er Deng must remember that corpse poison is no small thing. Yes. Lord. When Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others heard this, Qi Qi eyes lit up, and then Qi Qi bowed and said loudly. 
At this moment, the Prechin general who rode out from the Prechin 100,000 army, pointed the spear at Ye Chen, and then shouted. Are the ink marks finished? When the ink marks are over, you can quickly come forward and lead them to death. When Ye Chen heard this, he narrowed his eyes and patted the void with his right hand without hesitation. Boom! A loud noise came. A big hand that covered the sky appeared out of nowhere, and then abruptly patted the Prechin general who was heading towards Ye Chen and bursting out. The Prechin general, who was originally still mighty and domineering, suddenly changed his face when he saw the big hand that covered the sky, and then roared angrily. Who are you? Why can you get rid of the limitations of this world? As soon as the words of the Prechin generals landed, a huge palm covering the sky came instantly. There was a loud boom, and the Prechin general and the strange horse that sat down with him were shot into the ground in an instant. Well, the law. After the screams of war horses sounded, the place where the Prechin generals were originally located instantly smoked. Seeing this, Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain, and then made a move with his right hand, and the innate treasure killing spear instantly appeared. In the next second, the space in front of Ye Chen's body was suddenly distorted, and at the same time, the sharp killing spear in Ye Chen's right hand stabbed fiercely into the distorted space. Puff came. The killer spear roughly stabbed into the head of the strange warhorse, and then a flash of black light swallowed the soul of the strange warhorse in an instant. At this moment, a loud roar suddenly came from the ground. Despicable and shameless. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this. Yeah, I don't have any war horses under Lao Tzu's men. Don't say that you have a war horse. What's special is a war horse in the Purple Mansion realm. It is also a bronze corpse in the Purple Mansion realm. Don't kill your war horse, Lao Tzu's men. Isn't it going to suffer? Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at a group of military commanders, and then shouted. You wait for the order, the man has a cheap mouth, cut off his dog's head for me. Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Dian Xiang, Zhang San, Su Chu and others suddenly opened their eyes when they heard this, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed and said loudly. Yes. Lord. After Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San and others finished speaking, they turned around and walked towards the Prechin generals. It didn't take long for them to reach the Prechin generals 10 meters in front of him who had been photographed underground and then drilled out. The Prechin generals without the horses saw Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Zhang San, Guan Er and others stop, and looked at Ye Chen with a gloomy expression. The black big spear in his right hand was pointed at Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others. Pointed, and shouted. Come and sign up, let my guns not leave unnamed ghosts. Reincarnation Fairy City, under the seat of General Huzar, Zhao Yunzhen, Zhao Yunzhen. Reincarnation Fairy City, under the seat of General Hyuki, Dian Xiang. Reincarnation Xian Cheng under the seat of General Hyuki, Guan Er, Guan Yun Cheng. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Su Chu and others heard this, they all smiled coldly, and then shouted loudly. After the Prechin generals felt the disdain of Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San and others, he was furious. Then his eyes suddenly opened and he shouted. I am Da Qin under the seat of the first emperor, Meng Tian. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. When Zhao Yunzhen, Guan Er, Dian Xiang, Zhang San and others heard this, their right hand magic weapon class long sword pointed towards Meng Tian, and then shouted loudly. By the order of our lord, I am here to fetch a dog's head. After Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San and others finished speaking, the Qinglian sword art instantly began to operate, and his innate vitality immediately surged, and then he saw the crowd, slashing towards Meng Tian with a sword. OM, OM, OM. The sound of breaking through the sky sounded instantly. 
I saw dozens of cyan sword auras appearing in an instant, and then swiftly cutting towards Meng Tian's neck. Meng Tian curled his lips disdainfully when he saw dozens of cyan sword auras that came quickly, and then shouted loudly. All die to me. After Meng Tian shouted, his right foot slammed on the ground, and then rushed towards Zhao Yunzen. In the blink of an eye, he arrived in front of Zhao Yunzen, very fast. At the same time, Meng Tian's black big gun in his right hand slammed directly at Zhao Yunzen, without any intention of avoiding the blue sword energy. Hey, yell, yell. Tens of numbers came. I saw Meng Tian's neck, with more than a dozen small cuts in an instant. A trace of black blood flowed out from the wound on Meng Tian's neck in an instant. At the same time, Meng Tian's spear in his right hand smashed viciously from the top of Zhao Yunzen's head. Boom! A loud noise came. The spear hit the ground abruptly, but Zhao Yunzen's figure split into two from under the spear, and then disappeared. Meng Tian, who had just shown a smug smile, instantly solidified the expression on his face. At this moment, the sharp sound of breaking through the air sounded again. Hey, yell, yell, yell. I saw dozens of green sword auras reappearing and then quickly cut to Meng Tian's neck. But it was Guan Er, Zhang San, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Su Chu and others again swinging their swords and attacking Meng Tian with their sword energy. Perceiving this, Meng Tian smiled coldly, then shouted in a loud voice. Kukuxi ants, dare to compete with the sun and the moon, and die for me. Following Meng Tian's burst of shout, Meng Tian picked up the spear with a Wu, and then swept horizontally towards Guan Er, Zhang San, Dian Xiong, and others. Boom bang bang. After a few sounds, Guan Er, Zhang San, Dian Xiong, Gao Shun, Su Chu and others, like Zhao Yunzen, were instantly swept across by the spear turning into two pieces, and then disappeared. From a distance, Ye Chen, who had been watching the battlefield and ready to take action at any time, nodded in satisfaction when he saw this. Yes, yes, I didn't expect Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er and the others to master the movement technique in the Qing Lian sword art. The movement technique in the Qing Lian sword art actually means that after the sword energy is released, the main body can reappear at the position where the sword energy is located at any time, and then the attack on the main body will fail. And this is the root cause of Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, and others who seemed to be hit by Meng Tian, but were not injured at all. Ye Chen just thought of this, Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Su Chu, Zhang Liao and others on the battlefield looked at each other, and then nodded together. In the next second, Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Su Chu, and others, pointed the long sword with his right hand forward, then let go, and the sword with the right hand was immediately pointed. At the same time, the long swords thrown by the crowd stopped in front of them all, with the hilt facing back and the tip of the sword facing forward, and then quickly spun. Om. Hum, hum. In the next second, blossoming green lotus suddenly appeared from the feet of the generals. At the same time, a mysterious and sharp aura suddenly rose from the cyan lotus, and then enveloped a group of generals. Not far away, seeing Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong, and Ye Chen moving in Guan Er, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. Qing Lian Imperial Swordsmanship. Ye Chen just thought of this and found Meng Tian who had failed the attack, turning around with a gloomy expression. When Meng Tian saw Zhao Yunzen, Guan Er, Dian Xiong, Zhang San, Su Chu, Gao Shun and the others, the speeding long swords in front of him, his eyes shrank sharply. How can it be? At this moment, Meng Tian felt the threat, the threat from death. Meng Tian felt this feeling from Ye Chen who stabbed his horse to death. Although Meng Tian was shocked and didn't understand, Meng Tian was very sure that Zhao Yunzen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, and others would not threaten him at all. 
even if the sword energy released by Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and others hurt him, it just broke a little bit of skin and flesh, so you don't need to worry about it at all. But now, the dozens of long swords that were rapidly rotating and could shoot over at any time gave Meng Tian the feeling of death. For Meng Tian, who has always believed that he can sweep all the generals outside the secret realm, it is not a huge stimulus. In this world, there is an existence that can hurt me, forget it, how could there be so much? I don't believe it. Thinking of this, Meng Tian opened his eyes sharply, and then roared. I am Da Qin, Meng Tian. You wait for the crumbs, and try to spy on my Da Qin treasure, not to be slaughtered, but when will you wait? After Meng Tian roared, he rushed directly to Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and others. Kill. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and the others saw this, their right hand sword pointing forward, and then shouted loudly. As soon as everyone's words landed, dozens of magic weapon class long swords shook in an instant, and then shot out quickly, and rushed towards Meng Tian, who rushed over after the explosion and roar. Meng Tian's speed was extremely fast, and the spear in his right hand was raised diagonally, and in the blink of an eye he came to Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and the others ten meters ahead. But immediately, Meng Tian stopped, and the spear that had been raised diagonally, slammed at the magic weapon class long sword that had shot rapidly. Meng Tian gave up the idea of hardly resisting the magic weapon class long sword, because the sense of danger suddenly born in his heart suddenly became more intense. Meng Tian didn't want to believe this feeling, because what he faced was just a group of ants. But this feeling is too real, even if the heart that hasn't trembled for hundreds of years, it suddenly beats violently at this moment. It was precisely because of this that Meng Tian gave up the idea of moving on and attacking Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and others, and then stopped and resisted the magic weapon class long sword that was shot rapidly. Click. 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 After several violent sounds of weapons being cut, Meng Tian's spear was cut to pieces in an instant. Perceiving this, Meng Tian's eyes shrank sharply. At this moment, Meng Tian finally confirmed that the feeling of danger is not illusory, but real, and the source is these fast-fired long swords. After regaining consciousness, Meng Tian shouted directly. Who are you? Why do you have such weapons? As soon as Meng Tian's words fell, the sound of several weapons penetrating his body instantly sounded. Puff, puff, puff. I saw several rapidly rotating magic weapon class long swords, passing straight through Meng Tian's body, and then flying straight to the sky. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Su Chu and others saw this place, glanced at each other, and then looked towards Meng Tian together and shouted. Kill. The sound falls, the sword reaches. After the tens of cutting sound, Meng Tian's head was cut and flew instantly, and then a long sword was passed straight through his forehead, but in the blink of an eye, the long sword took Meng Tian's head and flew to Zhao Yunzhen's side, and then he was taken away. Zhao Yunzhen grabbed it in his hand. In the distance, when he saw Ye Chen here, he nodded in satisfaction. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, Zhao Yunzhen succeeded in the leapfrog challenge. Because the challenged belongs to the zombie family, Zhao Yunzhen is specially rewarded, and he is titled as a general. Ding, congratulations to the player who loves Ye Chen. Dian Xiang succeeded in the leapfrog challenge. Because the challenger belongs to the zombie family, Dian Xiang is specially rewarded and he is titled as a general. When the system prompts over a dozen times in a row ended, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned. Heaven will. What's going on? Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help looking at the property panel of Zhao Yunzhen and others. When Ye Chen saw the attributes of Tian Jiang's title, his eyes lit up. Damn it! This time I made a lot of money. Heavenly General, special title, the owner, can be in the low-level world, 
ignoring the restrictions of the laws of heaven and earth on cultivation, and exert one's own strength 100%, which has a suppressing effect on demons. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The attributes of the heavenly general's title do not seem to be very good, but for Ye Chen at this moment, it is the most needed. As for the reason, it is very simple. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Su Chu, Gao Shun and others, who have the title of Heavenly General, now only need to gain a little experience, they can ignore the worlds unable to ascend to the Transcendence Realm legal restrictions. This world directly advances to the Transcendence Realm. Of course, this alone is nothing at all. After all, in the real world, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and others can also break through to the Transcendence Realm. The reason why Ye Chen is so happy is because Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Su Chu, and others who have the titles of Heavenly Generals, after they have advanced to the Transcendence Realm, can also play 100% of their strength in the Three Kingdoms Novice Zone. To be precise, the Heavenly Dao in the Novice Zone of the Three Kingdoms, after Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others broke through to the Transcendence Realm, the seal that should have been imposed on them was completely invalid. In this way, when Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others are leading troops in battle, they can directly exert their strongest power and kill a large area, which is simply not too cool. This is the first benefit of the Tianzhong title, and it is not the most important. To be precise, one of the most important benefits of the title of a general is that it has a suppressive effect on demons. This attribute can be said to be even more powerful to Ye Chen, who is going to fight against the monster clan. You know, after flying into the wild, Ye Chen's army, when facing the monster clan, 100% belonged to the weaker side. If there are suppressing characteristics, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and others, with the Qinglian sword art bestowed by Ye Chen, coupled with good equipment, can leapfrog the challenge and kill more advanced monsters. And this, for Ye Chen, who is determined to follow the path of the Emperor, how could it not be good news? I'm lucky, I can't stop it. Ye Chen didn't expect that the completely changed underground palace secret realm would bring such a great harvest to himself from the very beginning. Not bad. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, Meng Tian, whose forehead was pierced by a long sword, opened his two scarlet eyes sharply, and then roared. Die to me! Ye Chen, who had been observing the battlefield, heard this and pointed the sword in his right hand, and the Bing Ziju was activated instantly. At this moment, Zhao Yun was holding the long sword in Meng Tian's head in his hand, flying directly, and then flying straight to the sky. Boom! came the sound. Meng Tian's head exploded in an instant, and then sprayed with black smoke. At this moment, Zhao Yunzhen's magic weapon class long sword also exploded into countless fragments, and then splashed in all directions. Swish swish! On the ground, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Su Chu, Gao Shun, Zhang Liao and others saw this, their expressions suddenly changed. At this moment, Ye Chen waved his left hand, and the space in front of Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, and others suddenly twisted. Come here quickly. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San and others hurriedly stepped in, breathing back to Ye Chen's side. At this time, Guo Yi, who was next to Ye Chen, retracted his gaze to observe the black smoke in the sky and then hurriedly bowed to Ye Chen and said. Master, the black smoke is the poison of zombies, it must not be touched. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said. I know. As soon as Ye Chen finished speaking, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who killed the pre-Chin general Meng Tian. Because of his special status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with X100 and 8 attribute points. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, 
Zhao Yunzhen succeeded in entering the transmutation realm. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, Dian Xiang succeeded in stepping into the mortal realm. As soon as the series of system prompts ended, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Su Chu and others burst into advanced light, and then they saw the momentum of everyone, instantly surging. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the first to kill the pre-Qin general Meng Tian, because of his identity as a zombie in the Purple Mansion realm, the player will be rewarded with X100 and 8 attribute points for Ye Chen and X3 for the Fairy Pet Advanced Scroll. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. Fuck. Purple Mansion Realm Zombie? Nima, what underground palace secret realm has a boss of Purple Mansion Realm, is it a zombie? Brother, do you know what a zombie is? Nonsense, you haven't watched the previous zombie movies. They are invulnerable and specialize in blood sucking. It's a mess. Yes, this is not the key. Okay, the key is, the boss in this underground palace secret realm, the level is too high, Nima, purple mansion realm, don't we go in to die? Fear of hair, the higher the level, the easier it is to explode good equipment. Have you made a world announcement without seeing Ye Chen killing a boss? That's right, I'm scared to have hair. Let's go together. Let's go directly together. One person can cut the boss and kill the boss. Besides, there is not only the boss there. Hey, stop the ink, I have already arrived at Lishan, Ye Chen's army is guarding outside the secret underground palace, did not attack me, I will try first to see if I can enter. Try Mao, I'm already in the cave, Ye Chen didn't let his army stop us, but I advise you, don't get close to Ye Chen's army, or you will be killed. Just a fool, just look at Ye Chen's. The army was motionless, and had to pretend to be coerced. I went to look at it and was stabbed to death by a shot. Fuck. I like this result, but I have to prepare some black dog blood, black donkey hoofs, some glutinous rice, peach wood sword or something, otherwise I can't beat it hard. I wipe, you reminded me, and I will prepare too. I am coming too. The world channel was full of enthusiasm, constantly refreshing the screen. After Ye Chen glanced at it, he pondered for a moment, and then his mind moved, and the fire spirit orb instantly appeared in front of Ye Chen. Taking a look at Huo Lingzu, Ye Chen raised his hand to the Huo Lingzu a little. Om. Came the sound. After the fire shook violently, the sky burst into flames instantly. But in the blink of an eye, the sea of fire rushed down, and then it enveloped Ye Chen and Ye Chen's subordinates. At this moment, the pre-Qin 100,000 zombie army not far away raised their bows together, and then aimed at Ye Chen and his party. Wind. Wind. Gale. The slogans rang out in an instant, and then, seeing the pitch black arrows pointing towards Ye Chen, they hurriedly shot over. When Ye Chen saw this, he smiled coldly pointed the sword in his right hand, and activated the Bing Ju again. At this moment, the sky-filled arrow that had just risen to a high altitude instantly stagnated in the air, motionless. At the moment when Ye Chen was about to use the fire spirit orb to add flame to 100,000 arrows, a large white light appeared from behind Ye Chen. Perceiving this, Ye Chen waved his right hand, and then took a group of his men and flew straight to the sky. In the next second, Ye Chen slapped his left hand in the void. The 100,000 arrows shot by the army of 100,000 zombies turned instantly, and then quickly shot at the army of 100,000 zombies. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Swish swish. The incomparably dense sound of breaking through the air instantly resounded across the sky with the flying of 100,000 arrows. In the next second, 
a series of arrows pierced into the flesh, sounding in pieces. Puff, puff, puff. The army of 100,000 zombies was pierced by arrows in an instant, but none of them died. In Madare, Ye Chen, who flew into the sky with a group of his men, saw this, and when his mind moved, an invisible wave appeared instantaneously, and then Ye Chen and Ye Chen's men were enveloped in it. At this moment, Ye Chen, who was still wrapped in flames, and Ye Chen's subordinates suddenly disappeared without a trace. At the moment Ye Chen and Ye Chen's subordinates disappeared, a large group of players appeared in the secret realm. In the next second, the players who broke into the secret realm were taken aback, and then they were in an uproar. Fuck. Lots of zombie soldiers. Yes, who can tell me that zombies will line up for Mao? Look, these zombie soldiers seem to have been hit hard. Fuck. Really? Hey, you don't have to work hard to kill them now. Don't be nonsense, these zombie soldiers must have been attacked by Ye Chen. Do you dare to Ye Chen's monster? The problem is, Ye Chen is not here. Hey? What about Ye Chen? Didn't the world announcement just say that he killed Meng Tian? Why is Ye Chen not here? How do I know that, but it's better this way. Ye Chen is not here. It means that Ye Chen doesn't look down on these zombies. It's just cheap for us. Yes, but, I think, we still have to wait for those with black dog blood, black donkey hoofs, and glutinous rice and mahogany swords to come over. We will be the best. I think so too, right? These are all big rice dumplings, not so easy to kill. Yes, running too fast is not a good thing either. Wait, don't worry. Just as the player talked with you, the black smoke that appeared from Meng Tian's self-detonation quickly rushed toward the player army. Players who noticed this abnormal change, some began to retreat vigilantly, some simply ignored it, and some were cautiously guarded. When the black smoke touched the players who ignored the black smoke, as a result, nothing abnormal happened. Players who are aware of this, are alert and alert, and relax directly. Because no one loses blood, no one has a negative state. A little bit of time passed, in the secret realm of the underground palace, white light continued, and the number of players rushing into the secret realm of the underground palace increased. After the time for a cup of tea, the players were still discussing this and that, and there was no abnormality in the slightest. In Madare, Ye Chen, with his subordinates invisible, frowned involuntarily when he looked at the players on the ground and inhaled the black smoke. There was no abnormality in the slightest. Meng Tian is a zombie in the purple mansion realm. His corpse poison, even me, can't resist, how could the players on the ground be all right? Ye Chen has not had any contact with zombies in his previous life, but Ye Chen knows the overbearing nature of zombie poison. To be precise, once infected with zombie poison, if there is no special medicine or treasure to remove the zombie poison, then there will be only one result, infected by the zombie poison, and then become a zombie. However, on the ground, the players who were exposed to the zombie poison produced by Meng Tian's self-detonation, after a while, there was no abnormal situation at all. This was a bit beyond Ye Chen's expectations. Could it be? As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the players on the ground coughed one after another, and then the coughing became louder and louder. However, after a few breaths, the players began to bend over and cough up blood one by one, and then their eyes turned red, and the horror flowed wildly. In the next second, the roaring sound suddenly sounded. Roar. 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 I saw the players on the ground directly raising their heads, yelling at the sky, and then showing their grey faces, scarlet eyes, abnormally squalid fangs and long black claws in both hands. In Madare, Ye Chen, who was observing the ground, suddenly realized when he saw this. Yeah, this zombie poison is really a bit abnormal. After being hit, there is no response, one attack, it bursts out directly. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, 
the players on the ground who were infected with the zombie poison produced by Meng Tian's self-detonation turned into zombies, directly waving their sharp claws and attacking the players who were not infected with the zombie poison. At this moment, the uninfected army of players directly exploded. Fuck. What's the matter with these bastards, how are they so weird? Fuck, these idiots have become zombies. Grass. Stop the ink, do it now, black dog blood, black donkey hoof, hurry up. Players say a word to me, and fight directly with the corpse players, it is called a lively. In Madare, Ye Chen, who was staring at the ground, raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he saw this. Kill it, kill hard, wait until you have enough blood for the blood sacrifice and lift the curse of the secret realm of the underground palace, I can send soldiers in. When Lao Tzu's soldiers come in, I wonder if they can turn into beings like heavenly soldiers. If it could, it would be really cool. Just thinking of this, Ye Chen suddenly remembered something, and hurriedly looked at Guo Yi beside him and said. Feng Xiao, pay attention, once the curse in the secret realm of the underground palace is lifted, notify me immediately. Because of the weird curse of the underground palace, Ye Chen couldn't send soldiers in. Although Ye Chen was going to count the players once and use the lives of the players to lift the strange curse of the underground palace, but Ye Chen didn't want the players to spend too much time. The blood is in the secret realm of the underground palace. After all, Qin Shi Wang was waiting for the players to contribute their blood. Ye Chen didn't want Qin Shi Wang to get enough blood, and then took the pre Qin million zombies and directly soared. Of course, Ye Chen couldn't help Guo Yi pay attention to the weird curse in the secret realm of the underground palace. After all, Ye Chen's divine consciousness was suppressed so much in the underground palace secret realm, and he didn't even see the weird curse in the underground palace secret realm. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't let Guo Yi pay attention to this. When Guo Yi heard this, he hurriedly bowed and said. Yes. Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then looked at the 100,000 zombie army standing still not far away. They stopped attacking after the players came in, whether they were deliberate, or they received some orders, or they are also waiting, waiting for more and more players to die. Thinking of this, Ye Chen frowned involuntarily. In the secret realm of the underground palace of this life, the terracotta warriors and horses of the pre Qin dynasty turned into zombies and the zombie generals of the Zifu realm appeared. Qin Shi Wang should not experience any special changes, he still needs a lot of blood to be reborn. Otherwise, when I open the secret realm of the underground palace, he can directly take the million zombies of the pre-Qin dynasty and soar into the wild. Thinking of this, Ye Chen stopped paying attention to the army of 100,000 zombies. As for the release of spiritual knowledge, Ye Chen thought, it is a pity that Ye Chen's spiritual knowledge was very suppressed in the secret realm of the underground palace. Otherwise, Ye Chen would directly use his spiritual knowledge to investigate Qin Shi Wang. A little bit of time passed, players and zombified players, fighting more and more fiercely. Players are constantly being killed, and then killed in the secret realm of the palace. Zombie players, although relying on the near immortality ability of zombies, the casualties are small, but they are constantly being killed. Because black dog blood, black donkey hoofs, peachwood sword, glutinous rice and other things that exorcise evil can indeed cause harm to zombies. It's just that the number of zombified players has increased over time, instead of decreasing, but increasing. Because of the corpses of the dead players, it didn't take long to stand up one by one, and then joined the action of attacking the players. It didn't take long for the world channel to fry the pot directly. Mal Gobi, he can't kill him, more and more. Grass. The more you fight, the more zombies you will turn into. This Nima is a hairy man. Whoever dies, who turns into a zombie, who is injured, and he turns into a zombie. Does this Nima want to be so perverted? Up to now, I haven't killed a zombie in the secret of the underground palace. Kill Mao, the zombies in the secret realm of the underground palace didn't take any action at all, 
Okay. I don't want to go, Fak, this underground palace secret realm is so abnormal. Brothers, don't worry, the army will be here soon. Hold on. Hey, I'm afraid of a Harry, Ye Chen doesn't prevent us from entering the secret realm. What a great opportunity, whether we can get good things, depends on this time. Don't be afraid, yet, killing a person who turns into a zombie, you have a lot of experience, and the equipment is so good, wow kaka. Ha ha ha, don't worry, it's just one word, do it. In midair, Ye Chen, who was watching the ground, glanced at the boiling world channel, and the corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl. I just wanted to attach the evil breaking rune to their weapons. Unexpectedly, the player troop arrived. Among Ye Chen's chaos runes, there are evil breaking runes that specifically restrain demons and evils. If such runes are attached to weapons, they can cause tons of damage to zombies. Ye Chen didn't use it for Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, and others before, because Ye Chen wanted his men to experience the combat effectiveness of zombies, and by the way, let them increase their experience in fighting high level powerhouses. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that Ye Chen now needs players to send to death and break the weird curse in the secret realm of the underground palace. It is precisely because of this that when Ye Chen found that the players in the secret realm of the underground palace were less and less wanting to fight, he thought of adding evil breaking runes to their weapons. But now, it is no longer necessary, because the player troop has arrived. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Once the tea time passed, a large area of light appeared in the secret realm of the underground palace, but within a few breaths, there were millions of players in the secret realm of the underground palace. Their arrival instantly gave those players who wanted to leave before gaining great courage. Suddenly, the shouts shook the sky, black dog blood, glutinous rice, mahogany sword and black donkey hoofs flew around. Players who turned into zombies were killed in pieces, and were quickly wiped out. Just when the players stopped to discuss how to deal with the 100,000 zombies not far away, the 100,000 zombies who had been standing still suddenly began to draw bows to build. In midair, Ye Chen, who was observing the ground, saw this then looked at Guo Yi beside him, and asked. Bong Xiao, what happened to the curse? Master, the curse in the underground palace is only weakened by about one-tenth, and there are about 900,000 people. After hearing Ye Chen's question, Guo Yi hurriedly inspected the underground palace with the eyes of ghosts and gods. Bowing to Ye Chen in prayer. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said. When the curse is lifted, Tell me right away. Yes. Lord. Guo Yi hurriedly bowed when he heard this. At this moment, a loud shout suddenly sounded from the position of the army of 100,000 zombies. Wind. Wind. Gale. The sound fell, the arrow left the string, and in the blink of an eye, 100,000 arrows were thrown towards the player's army. At this moment, Bursts of anger sounded directly from the player's army. Why, these zombies can even talk. Chow, I didn't bring a shield. Hurry up and avoid it. Grass, don't stand in my way. The messy army of players, you push me, I push you, one by one panicked trying to leave the area covered by the arrows. However, there are too many people and wanting to avoid the area covered by the arrows in a short time is simply wishful thinking. In the next second, 100,000 arrows descended, and then you saw slices of players, shot through the body by the arrows, and some were even shot directly into hedgehogs. At the same time, the sound of arrows entering the flesh sounded in pieces. Puff, puff, puff. In midair, Ye Chen, who was watching the ground, frowned involuntarily when he saw this. If I followed the previous attack trajectory of the 100,000 zombie army, I should be within the arrow's attack range, but this time, the arrow actually avoided me. Could it be? Thinking of this, 
Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Qin Shi Huang's men are observing here, and they have given orders to an army of 100,000 zombies. Yes, it must be the case. Meng Tian is dead, and there is no chaos in the army of 100,000 zombies. If no one is in command, it is impossible for such a situation to happen. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked straight at the location of the army of 100,000 zombies. However, in Ye Chen's line of sight, apart from an army of 100,000 zombies, there was only one magnificent and unusual city, and nothing else. The divine consciousness is suppressed and can only explore things within 10 meters. In that case, thinking of this, Ye Chen lifted his right hand, then pointed his finger to draw a symbol of the void. At this moment, a golden light spot appeared directly under Ye Chen's finger, and then as Ye Chen's finger shook, he quickly drew one after another extremely mysterious golden runes. When Ye Chen stopped, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he shouted in a low voice. Sky Eye! As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the suspended golden rune instantly reflected in Ye Chen's eyes, and then he saw Ye Chen's eyes, two golden lights full of mysterious aura emerged. At this moment, the second wave of attacks from an army of 100,000 zombies came and took away the lives of 6 to 70,000 players. The horrible howls, curses, and wild roars, one after another, resounded through the secret realm of the underground palace, but Ye Chen directly ignored it and looked directly at the location of the 100,000 zombie army. When Ye Chen's gaze swept to the end of the 100,000 zombie army, a man dressed in white with a long sword at his waist appeared in Ye Chen's gaze. Soul body. Sure enough. Ye Chen just thought of this. The man in white who was locked in by Ye Chen's sight suddenly raised his head to look at where Ye Chen was, smiled slightly, and hugged Ye Chen. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes suddenly opened. Comparable to the ghost king of the fairyland. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the world channel suddenly started to refresh. Fuck. What's the situation, why are there zombies outside Lishan? Why are there so many? Oh, how does Lao Tzu know what's going on, all the zombies coming out of the resurrection point are. It's him, he will become a zombie if he is injured by these zombies, please pay attention. Why the hell, just kill it. Anyway, if you have experience, you can explode equipment. Fuck. I just felt something wrong with the big incident, so I went offline and went to see. The one who lives next to me has turned into a zombie. I chopped his head. Me too. When we attacked it, it woke up, and it took a long time before it was killed. Now we burned his body. That's right, the brothers of Sky Dragon City, I'll roll back to Lao Tzu. Whoever is the one will be in the secret realm of the underground palace again, Lao Tzu promises him that he will not survive today. Listen to him, no matter who it is, as long as they live in Lao Tzu's royal daughter town, they will get all of them out of the underground palace secret realm for Lao Tzu. If you don't go, no one can go to Lishan. Everyone in Black Tiger Town, if you want to continue to mess with Lao Tzu, they quickly leave the secret realm of the underground palace and go offline immediately. Lao Tzu will only say it once. If you don't listen, don't blame Lao Tzu for being polite. The world channel was full of enthusiasm. After Ye Chen glanced at it, his brow suddenly frowned. At this moment, a strong sense of conspiracy appeared directly in Ye Chen's heart. Ye Chen didn't like this feeling very much, but it really appeared in Ye Chen's heart. Really, the player who was infected as a zombie turned into a zombie in reality. What's more, Qin Shi Wang's trick is poisonous enough. This is to speed up the acquisition of blood, quickly rebirth from the blood, or to force me to leave the secret realm of the underground palace to solve this disaster, or both. No matter which one it is, don't even think about success. Lao Tzu doesn't do anything pitiful and pitiful. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then with a move with his right hand, a magic weapon grade long sword appeared in his hand instantly, and then he handed it to Zhao Yunzhen. At this moment, Guo Yi, who had been observing the curse of the underground palace secret realm, 
hurriedly withdrew his gaze, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said. Master! The curse of the secret realm of the underground palace is lifted. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then with a wave of his right hand, a hundred twisted spaces suddenly appeared on the ground. Looking at one hundred twisted spaces, Ye Chen opened his mouth and shouted. All in! Yes! Lord! After shouting together, one hundred thousand white horses and five hundred thousand reincarnation legions quickly rushed into the distorted space, and then appeared in the secret realm of the underground palace. The appearance of Bama Yakong and the Samsara Legion instantly silenced the noisy army of players. Ye Chen glanced at the army of his men who came to the secret realm of the underground palace, and his right hand directly began to draw a talisman in the void. A huge evil breaking rune appeared in the sky instantly, and then shattered with a boom. In the next second, the dense shrinked version of the evil breaking runes flew straight to a group of soldiers and the weapons of 610,000 soldiers on the ground. When Ye Chen finished drawing the evil breaking rune, he didn't stop at all, and his right index finger slid again. One after another huge protection runes appeared one after another, and then they shattered like the evil breaking runes. After that, it turned into countless reduced versions of protection runes, which flew straight to all of his subordinates. Ye Chen brought Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, and others to the ground after all his subordinates set up ten layers of protective runes. When Ye Chen and Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others appeared, the players were stunned. Fuck. Ye Chen has been here. What's the situation? It's for Mao Yechen to watch it. Be quiet, you are so afraid that Ye Chen will kill you. Just as the players said something to me, Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Guo Yi, and others, and shouted. Time is running out. I want to force a breakthrough. You can't let go of a zombie. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Guo Yi, and the others bowed and bowed loudly when they heard this. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then with a move with his right hand, the dark and thick gunk killer appeared instantly. In the next second, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply, and then shouted in a loud voice. Suzaku battles. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as the spirit man's words landed, the zombie soldiers on the wall of Xianyang City drew out the long swords equipped at their waists, and then aimed at the fast flying vermilion. In the sky, after hearing the threat of the soul body man, Ye Chen sneered coldly, and then shouted in a loud voice. Those who block me die. Ye Chen's words were full of violent killing intent. As soon as he landed, the Suzaku, who was originally surrounded by fierce flames, suddenly burst into a purple flame. At this moment, the air was burned by the flames and the air was continuously distorted, and suddenly exploded. Boom! The scorching heat wave appeared instantly, and then swept towards the quartet. On the city wall of Xianyang, the sole body man with the realm of Xiantai, his face suddenly sank when he saw this. In the next second, the soul body man's right-handed sword made one move, and then he shouted. Killing sword domain. Kill. 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 The terrifying cry of killing instantly rang from the mouth of the zombie soldier wounded by the city wall. In the next second, the cold and tyrannical murderous aura rose instantly, but it gathered in one place in the blink of an eye, and then attached to the soul man's right long sword. In the sky. Ye Chen, who presided over the Vermilion Bird battle formation, narrowed his eyes sharply when he saw this. Killing Sword Domain. How can it be? How can there be people with sword domains here, and it is also one of the ten most prestigious swordsmanship sword domains? Sword Dao is one of the three thousand great avenues. The ultimate cultivation can prove Dao sanctification, and this process starts with the sword intent, then the sword soul then the sword domain, and finally the sword world. This process seems simple, but it is basically impossible to cross over, 
just like a mortal climbing into the sky. Of course, everything is not absolute, the genius in the sword doctrine has the opportunity to overcome the various calamities of the sword doctrine, and finally, cultivate into the sword world. Once the sword world is cultivated, as long as the opportunity arrives, you can directly prove the Dao and become holy, even if you can't cultivate, you can directly prove the Dao and become holy. This is the abnormality of Kendo all the way. And what the sword domain that the soul man called out represents, how could Ye Chen, who was reborn, didn't know? It was precisely because Ye Chen knew that he was so shocked. You know, there are not many people who have cultivated into the sword domain, even in the prehistoric world. This has something to do with the road of Kendo, which is easy to cut in the middle, and it is also related to the road of Kendo which is extremely difficult. Of course, this is not important, what is important is that the soul body man called out the sword domain, and also used it. There was no way to prevent Ye Chen from paying attention. You know, even if Ye Chen possessed the chaos level cultivation technique Qing Lian sword art at this moment, he still failed to comprehend the most basic sword intent, let alone advance to the third stage of sword doctrine, the sword domain. Moreover, this is not the key. The most important thing is that the kendo used by the soul body man is still one of the ten great kendos. The weird ability of this kind of kendo has only one word, kill. That's right, it's killing. Everything in the world is in the kill list of the killing sword. If the killing kendo is practiced to the extreme, even the saints can kill. Of course, this is just to say that the killing kendo is powerful, not that the killing kendo can really kill the saint easily. You know, there is no simple saint, each has its own innate treasure, and even the chaotic treasure body, which is not so easy to kill. But this does not hinder the horror of killing kendo. What about the killing sword? What about the killing sword domain? If you block Lao Tzu's way, you will have to die. Thinking of this, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply, and then with a move with his right hand, the dark and thick gunkiller appeared instantly. At this moment, the soul man on the city wall of Xianyang slashed fiercely with the long sword in his right hand. O.M. came the sound. In the next second, Ye Chen still had 510,000 reincarnation legions and instantly fell into a grey space full of various swords. There is a barren area, there is no grass, and some are just a sword inserted into the ground, which is endless when you look at it. Ye Chen in the Vermilion Bird took a look, suddenly wrapped himself in the space in the Reincarnation Legion, and then his eyes suddenly opened. Sure enough, it is the sword domain. However, it should be the rudiment of the sword domain, not a complete sword domain. If it were a real sword domain, the Samsara Legion would be cut to life as soon as it fell into it. Ye Chen just thought of this, sharp, cold, and ruthless murderous intent, like a wave. At this moment, a feeling of extreme danger appeared in Ye Chen's heart. After realizing this, Ye Chen held the dark and thick right hand of the gunkiller and squeezed tightly. In the next second, Ye Chen shouted loudly. Kill! The sound fell, killing intent rose, and at the same time, the space in front of Ye Chen was directly distorted. At this moment, the murderous intent that struck like waves came to Suzaku. O.M. came the sound. The purple flame outside Suzaku's body suddenly became smaller. Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly narrowed. Everything can be killed, even the fire of the vermilion bird can be killed. Unfortunately, the realm is too bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's right hand sharpened spear stabbed fiercely into the distorted space. The next second, a puff came. At the same time, the killing sword domain suddenly stopped, and then exploded directly with a bang. The grey sword space disappeared, and the Suzaku trapped in the killing sword field reappeared in the sky. Seeing this, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time then looked at the soul man who was stabbed by the sharp spear on the city wall of Xianyang, and asked. You, are you willing to surrender to me? Surrender? I have never thought about surrender in my whole life. 
the sole body was instantly destroyed by the sharp spear by one third, not only did not wailing, but desperately resisted the sole body man who was devoured by the sharp spear, listen. At this point, he smiled coldly, and then shouted. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then suddenly realized. Bai Qi. What I said, suddenly there appeared a ghost king with killing swordsmanship, it turned out to be white. This makes sense. Bai Qi was a general of the state of Qin in the pre-Qin period. He once did a major event that has been passed down for thousands of years, killing 400,000 soldiers in the state of Zhao. There are merits and demerits, and later generations praised him differently, but in the eyes of Ye Chen at this moment, Bai Qi murder of Zhao Guo's 400,000 pawns was actually for personal gain. To be precise, Bai Qi deliberately killed 400,000 Zhao Guo's pawns for the purpose of practicing killing swordsmanship, not for Qin Shi Wang. Bai Qi, it is really fierce and poisonous. Thinking of this, Ye Chen nodded, then pointed at Bai Qi. In the next second, a thunderous sound suddenly sounded. Boom! At the same time, a flash of red lightning appeared out of thin air, and then it slashed straight towards Bai Qi. The dying resistor, with the power of the spear-killing devouring power, shrank, seeing this, his eyes shrank sharply, and then he raised his eyes and roared. I'm not convinced. The sound fell, and the red lightning arrived. The next second, a boom came. I saw the white rise of the soul state, which was suddenly ignited. At the same time, a blood-colored lotus composed of red lightning and red lotus fire suddenly appeared on the city wall of Xianyang. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. With the appearance of the monster Blood Red Lotus, the zombie soldiers on the city wall were ignited piece by piece, and then burned violently. The crazy roar sounded in pieces, but it stopped abruptly in the blink of an eye. I saw the zombie soldiers on the city wall, burned to ashes by the Red Lotus industry fire, and then drifted away in the wind. In the sky, Ye Chen in the Vermilion Bird glanced at the white soul body in the blood red lotus that had covered the entire city wall, and curled his lips in disdain. What can you do if you don't accept it? If you don't have a body or a body, everything is a foregone conclusion. No matter what you think, you can't change the ending. Bai Qi contained a huge amount of karma. After being struck by the red lightning, it directly detonated all the karma in his body. What followed was the Red Lotus Karma Fire and the relentless burning of Red Lightning. It didn't take long for the White Spirit body to be burned out, and then disappear into smoke. This ending is doomed, even Bai Qi noticed it, and it was for this reason that Bai Qi uttered an unwilling roar. As for the reason, it is very simple. Bai Qi has no body, unable to exert the maximum power of killing Kendo. If Bai Qi has a body, the power of the sword domain of the killing sword is 100% more powerful than just now. With the help of the murderous and hostile spirit of the zombie soldiers, the prototype of the condensed killing sword domain must be stronger. Out at least a hundred times. Of course, even if he had a body in vain, the power of the killing sword domain just now could be increased by a hundredfold, and Ye Chen's attack could not be prevented either. Because Ye Chen was using Space Avenue, Bai Qi couldn't defend it at all. Crackling. The blood red lotus was continuously burned and burned again. After the white soul body persisted for two breaths, it burst with a boom, and then turned into a plume of blue smoke, disappearing without a trace. At the moment when Bai Qi's soul body was burned into nothingness by the red lotus industry fire, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for successfully killing the Ghost King Beiki. Because of his special status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with X1000 innate attribute points and X1 million merits. Ding, the player Ye Chen successfully killed the Ghost King Beiki, can get the inheritance of killing swordsmanship, whether to accept it. Ye Chen's eyes flashed as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Damn it! The inheritance of killing Kendo. This is really a surprise. 
Inheritance of Kendo, especially Honghuang is the top 10 Kendo. If you want to master any of them, you must either comprehend it yourself or obtain an item that records the inheritance of that kind of Kendo. But as soon as he died in vain, Mao didn't even burst out a single one. Ye Chen was still a little strange about this result. After all, Bai Qi was the king of ghosts, and when he died, his hair didn't explode, which is too nonsense. Who would have thought, the inheritance of killing swordsmanship, turned out to be a reward for killing Bai Qi. For Ye Chen, the moment was an accident, of course, it was more of a surprise. You know, the ten great swordsmanship inheritance, each attack power exploded, this can be compared with what equipment to obtain, but it can be thousands of times better. Of course, this is not important. The important thing is that now, as long as Ye Chen chooses to accept it, he can immediately get the inheritance of one of the ten great swordsmanships. At the moment of Ye Chen's surprise, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, please make a choice as soon as possible by the player Ye Chen. After three seconds, if you still do not confirm, it will be deemed to have given up automatically. As soon as the system prompt sound ended, Ye Chen's face suddenly stiffened. Nima, accept it. After Ye Chen's decision, the system prompt sounded again. Ding. Congratulations to player Ye Chen for gaining the inheritance of killing Kendo. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for obtaining the chaos level technique, the killing sword technique. As soon as the prompt sound of the system ended, a stream of information instantly appeared in Ye Chen's mind. When Ye Chen digested the information, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. This killing sword tactic is worthy of being one of the top 10 swordsmanships. It is indeed abnormal enough. Compared with the Qing Lian sword tactic, it is not bad at all, and it is more cruel. It is completely the method of killing the way. However, for me, it just fits. As for cultivating the sword art of killing, there will be karma entanglement. For me, it is not a problem at all. The red lotus karma burns and all karma is gone. What a great deal! As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who successfully killed the Ghost King Beiki. Because of his special status, the player will be rewarded with X1 Lottery Draw, X1000 Innate Attribute Points, and X1 Mythical Beast Advancement Scroll. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. There is something wrong with it, why did Bai Qi become the king of ghosts? Fool, there are zombies in the secret realm of the underground palace, what's so strange about a ghost coming out? Yeah, it's not whether the focus is good or not, the focus is on the benefits that Ye Chen has gotten. Hey, people are better than people, so angry, Ye Chen is Ye Chen, as always perverted. Yeah. Others wanted to leave the secret realm of the underground palace, but they couldn't get out. But Ye Chen, Nima, not only was not afraid, they killed a ghost king and got so many good things. Envy, I also envy, grass, lottery or something, I don't know what it is, but Nima's innate attribute point is X1000, but Nima is too bastard. If you go on this special point, isn't Ye Chen even better? forced. Don't be nonsense. Ye Chen has few innate attribute points. I tell you, don't let Ye Chen get so many innate attribute points. I can guarantee that Ye Chen's innate attribute points will go down and enter. Can't get it. Hey, it's true that Ye Chen had earned thousands of attribute points before. This is not just for the advancement of the divine martial realm. Fool, you know a hammer. Don't you know that the more you get to the back, the harder it is to improve your realm? Ye Chen doesn't improve if you don't improve. Once you improve, your strength will definitely change drastically. Don't be so nonsense, but think about it, how to fight monsters and upgrade as soon as possible, this is the business. Yeah, the really safe city in the real world is gone. Now the monster race is ready to move. 
if it hadn't been for the previous monster race invasion and had been slaughtered by Ye Chen, the real world would have become a purgatory on Earth. Nima, now the cottage is refreshed. Because of the Golden Turban Rebellion and the invasion of the monster clan, it is much less. There are people everywhere. It is difficult to see the strangeness. How to fight the strangeness and upgrade? Worry about it, don't forget, there will be a world war in four days. When the time comes to go abroad to kill devils, kill sticks, it is not simpler, more experience, and explosive equipment, how good. Hey, too, go abroad when that time comes and have a big fight. The world channel was full of enthusiasm. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows after taking a look. Lao Zi's benefits are not limited to those in the world announcement. The most important thing is that the world announcement doesn't say. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but his mind moved. The next second, Suzaku's wings shook, then turned into a red light, and rushed straight into the city. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Suzaku rushed into the city of Xianyang, there was a sound of clicks in the huge city of Xianyang. In the next second, the sound of breaking through the air, comparable to an explosion, sounded extremely densely. Boom. 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 I saw a huge arrow with no tens of meters long and thick thighs suddenly flying from all over the city of Xianyang, and then quickly shot into the sky. In the sky, Ye Chen inside Suzaku smiled coldly when he saw this, then he pointed his sword and shouted coldly. Bing Ziju. There was a sound of OM. And I saw the huge arrows shooting at Suzaku all over the sky, instantly stagnating in the air. In the next second, Suzaku's wings shook, then dived directly, and disappeared in a flash. When the red light dissipated and Suzaku appeared, a series of explosions sounded in pieces. Boom. 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 I saw the city of Xianyang where the Suzaku passed. All the buildings, without exception, were ignited and turned into a pile of ashes in the breath. At the same time, the roar of the zombies sounded in pieces, and then returned to tranquility. The zombie family, seemingly powerful, has many methods of restraint, and flame is one of them. Ye Chen didn't use the most powerful red lotus karma fire, but only the vermilion bird fire, and brutally burned all the zombie soldiers hidden in the various buildings in Xianyang city. One can imagine how powerful Ye Chen used to deal with zombies. Of course, this was also one of the reasons why Ye Chen still had enough confidence to attack the secret realm of the underground palace after he realized that the secret realm of the underground palace was extraordinary. After a glance at the sea of flames burning wildly behind him, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then his mind moved. The next second, Suzaku's wings shook, and then lifted off again, but in the blink of an eye, it dived again, and then turned into a red light and flashed away. Boom. 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 Wherever Suzaku passed, a sea of flames continued to appear and the buildings and zombie soldiers in it were all burned to the ground without exception. So, after several times, 90% of the huge city of Xianyang was burned directly, and the last 10% was the Dakin Palace in Xianyang City. Here, there is a faint light mask, which firmly covers it. When Suzaku appeared again, it had already come to the gate of Dakin Palace. In the next second, the red light flashed, the vermilion bird disappeared, and Ye Chen and the 510,000 reincarnation legions immediately appeared outside the gate of the Dakin Palace. After taking a look at the light shield covering the palace, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Gas Luck Guard The Shield of Air Luck is a shield that is automatically generated when the Empire is in crisis. For example, when the Yezu invaded the world, the cover that suddenly appeared outside Luoyang City, that was the Shield of Luck belonging to the Han Empire. Without it, Luoyang Palace would have been captured long ago. At this moment, the air transport shield outside the Great Qin Palace is the same as the light shield that enveloped Luoyang Palace when the Yezu invaded. 
It seems that my judgment is correct. Half of the Qi luck in the Three Kingdoms game zone is in the hands of Qin Shi Huang. Otherwise, there can be no Qi luck shield here. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. Ye Chen wanted to establish a nation and then ascend the whole country. Naturally, he hoped that his empire would have more luck. Now that the Great Qin Palace in the secret territory of the underground palace is wrapped in a shield of air luck, it has been proved that Qin Shi Huang has half of the real heaven and earth luck in the Three Kingdoms novice zone in the hands of Qin Shi Huang. The defensive power of the Qi luck shield is indeed very strong. There is really no good way to replace it with someone else. It can only be cracked by brute force, but... Thinking of this, Ye Chen raised his left hand, then pointed his finger to draw a symbol of the void. At this moment, a golden light spot appeared directly under Ye Chen's finger, and then the golden photoelectricity followed Ye Chen's finger to swiftly draw a mysterious golden rune after another. When Ye Chen stopped, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he shouted. Sky Eye! As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the suspended golden rune instantly reflected in Ye Chen's eyes, and then two golden lights full of mystery aura shot out from Ye Chen's eyes. In the next second, Ye Chen looked straight at the air transport shield covering the Great Qin Palace. At this moment, a man wearing golden armor suddenly appeared on the wall of the palace. He has thick eyebrows and big eyes, a burly figure, and a sturdy face. If it weren't for his grey face and scarlet eyes, he would have betrayed his zombie identity, and anyone who saw him would have regarded him as a mighty military commander. When Ye Chen noticed the appearance of the zombie general, and then looked at the zombie general, the zombie general on the palace wall hugged Ye Chen and said, I am Da Qin, Wang Jian, who dare to ask your excellency. Lord of Samsara City, Ye Chen. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this, then looked at Wang Jian and said. Ye Chen naturally knew who Wang Jian was. Ye Chen could also see what his purpose was when he suddenly appeared and talked to Ye Chen. To be precise, Wang Jian came up and talked to Ye Chen in a gentle-faced manner. Apart from making peace talks with Ye Chen and asking Ye Chen what conditions he had before giving up attacking the palace, he could not have any other purpose. The reason why Ye Chen talked to Wang Jian was because Ye Chen still wanted to try whether he could subdue Wang Jian, the zombie general of Dakin. Even though this probability was so low that it was almost zero, Ye Chen still wanted to try. As for the reason, it is very simple. Ye Chen's goal is to become the Supreme Emperor, to control the heavens and all realms, and among this, the nether realm is a forbidden zone for living beings. If Ye Chen sent Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, and others to lead troops to the nether realm, they would be attacked by the entire nether realm, and they would be the kind of endless death. Even Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, and the soldiers they led were not afraid of death, and were more willing to give everything to Ye Chen, it was useless. Because the heaven and earth laws of the nether realm reject all living beings, to be precise, every living creature entering the nether realm will be suppressed, weakened, and cursed, and cannot stay in it for a long time. If Ye Chen has a zombie general, as a subordinate, he can let his subordinates who are zombie generals take action and fight for Ye Chen in the nether realm, without worrying about the limitations and rejection of the laws of heaven and earth in the nether realm. Of course, the premise of accepting zombie generals as subordinates is that the zombie generals are willing to submit and Ye Chen is not strong enough to completely crush everything. If Ye Chen's strength is strong enough to crush everything, Ye Chen doesn't need any zombies at all, just do it directly. Simply put, those who follow me prosper, and those who oppose me perish. If the nether realm disobeys, then everything in the nether realm will be destroyed. It is precisely because of this that Ye Chen responded to Wang Jian after Wang Jian asked. Wang Jian nodded when he heard this, and then said. My emperor, there is something I want to discuss with City Master Ye, I wonder if City Master Ye can agree. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. After hearing Wang Jian's question, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then said. 
speak. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Wang Jian on the palace wall was stunned. But Wang Jian didn't expect Ye Chen's answer to be so simple and simple, without saying anything else. In Wang Jian's view, Ye Chen should be very difficult to speak. After all, Ye Chen led the army to attack the secret realm of the underground palace, killed Meng Tian, and slashed Bai Qi, annihilating a total of 400,000 zombie army, and directly set fire to Xianyang city, leaving only one palace. It doesn't look like a good talker. People. After returning to his senses, Wang Jian glanced at Ye Chen, then clasped his fists and said. City Lord Yat, the road of my emperor is not the same as City Lord Yat. I also asked City Lord Yat to give up attacking my Dakin palace. If City Lord Yat is willing to give up, my emperor is willing to provide City Lord Yat with a million sets of magical equipment. How about? The road is different. Ye Chen said here, glanced at Wang Jian, and then continued. At first, I didn't know Qin Wang's plan, but now, I know very well that his path is the same as mine. On this road, there is no friend to say, let alone peace talks, because the emperor on the road of Taoism, only one person is allowed to climb to the top in the end. When Wang Jian on the wall of the palace heard this, his grey face suddenly sank. Obviously. Wang Jian didn't want to hear Ye Chen's answer, otherwise it wouldn't be the case. Ye Chen glanced at Wang Jian, whose face suddenly changed, smiled slightly, and then asked. General Wang, have you ever heard a word? After hearing Ye Chen's question, Wang Jian was taken aback for a moment, then looked at Ye Chen and said. Ye Chen Zhu has something, you might as well say it clearly. Okay. Ye Chen didn't feel angry at all when he heard Wang Jian's straightforward words. Instead, he smiled and nodded, and then continued. I don't know if Qin Wang's goal is the end of the imperial path, but it is not important. What is important is that Qin Wang's plan cannot be successful because I am here. And those of you who follow him, there are only two in the end. Either go to me or destroy, General Wang, don't you think so? Yes City Lord is too confident, right? Wang Jian's scarlet eyes shrank sharply when he heard this, and then he shouted in a deep voice. When Ye Chen heard this, he laughed, then his eyes suddenly opened, and he shouted. I have this confidence because I am the Lord of the Reincarnation Fairy City. After Wang Jian heard Ye Chen's overbearing and confident words, his heart that had been almost stagnant trembling suddenly. At this moment, Wang Jian felt a strong and extremely imperial aura from Ye Chen. This emperor aura was very different from the emperor's aura he followed Qin Shi Wang. To be precise, the emperor's aura exuded by Ye Chen is weaker than that of Qin Shi Wang's emperor, but Ye Chen's emperor's aura is more domineering, more arrogant, and even more of a taste of heaven and earth, but I dominate. And this was something that Qin Shi Wang didn't possess. After a brief shock, Wang Jian looked at Ye Chen, and then said in a deep voice. City Lord Yat. My emperor is willing to talk with you, not because he is afraid of you, nor is he incapable of fighting with you. Is it possible that City Master Ye must fight for both losses before he is willing to give up? Both lose and lose? Qin Huang is too high on himself. I just said that Qin Huang's plan is doomed to fail because I am here. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, and then said. When Wang Jian heard this, his face suddenly sank, and then he shouted. Ye Chen Zhu insists on doing this, so please ask Ye Chen Zhu to attack. General Wang, really don't consider following me. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he heard this, and then asked. When Wang Jian heard this, he glanced at Ye Chen, then clasped his fists and said. Thank you for the appreciation of City Lord Yat. It's just that Wang was born in Dachin and grew up in Dachin. He has been a Qin from life to life. Even if Wang has turned into a zombie, he is also a zombie of Qin. It's a pity. Ye Chen sighed when he heard this, and then spoke. After speaking, his eyes suddenly opened, and then he shouted. In that case, take a look, 
how can I break the city? After Ye Chen finished speaking, the sharp spear in his right hand shook violently. There was a hum. In the next second, Ye Chen rose directly into the air, and then flew towards the Qi Luk shield outside the Dakin Palace. When Ye Chen came to the sky above the Qi Luk shield, Ye Chen's right hand was a sharp shot spear that stabbed at the Qi Luk shield. Puff came. The shield of Qi Luk, which could not be broken by billions of monsters, was pierced by the killing spear in an instant. Above the palace wall, Wang Jian, who saw this scene, opened his two scarlet eyes sharply, and then shouted in surprise. How can it be? Wang Jian didn't expect that the invincible defensive air transport shield would be pierced by Ye Chen with a single shot. This point really exceeded Wang Jian's cognition, and he couldn't help but be shocked. In fact, Wang Jian didn't know that what Ye Chen stabbed was the only weakness of the Qi Luk shield, and the spear in his hand was the innate supreme treasure killing spear, which was a mess with powerful attacking power. If Wang Jian knew this, he would understand why the Qi Luk shield was stabbed through by Ye Chen. In the sky, Ye Chen, who pierced the shield of Qi Luk with a shot, took a look at Wang Jian after hearing Wang Jian's exclamation, and then said, I said that Emperor Qin is doomed to fail, because I am here. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell to the ground, the sharp gun in his right hand shook violently. There was a hum sound, and then I saw the faint air transport shield, which suddenly lit up, and then Wow burst open all of a sudden. Master Wan Sheng! Wan Sheng! Wan Sheng! When the soldiers of the Samsara Legion saw this, they raised their spears and shouted loudly. At this moment, a hearty laugh suddenly came. Ha ha ha, Emperor Qin, remember to promise Xiang X. Don't go back, otherwise, Xiang X will definitely kill you. The sound fell, and people arrived, and saw a man with a spear in his hand and full of explosive muscles suddenly appeared on the city wall. When Wang Jian saw the man who appeared suddenly, he was immediately relieved, and then bowed to the man and said. There is a king of labor. Trash, get out. The man with the spear in his hand made a cold hum when he heard this, and then he flew out. With a bang, he kicked Wang Jian into the air. In the sky, Ye Chen, who burst his luck shield with a shot, fell straight to the city wall when he saw it, then looked at the man named Xiang who suddenly appeared, and said. The Lord of Reincarnation Fairy City, Ye Chen. Wine, the overlord of Western Chu, Xiang Yu. The man surnamed Xiang laughed when he heard this, and then shouted. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. As soon as Xiang Yu's words fell, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Fuck, it's really him. When Ye Chen heard Wang Jian calling Xiang Yu overlord, he immediately thought of Xiang Yu, the overlord of Western Chu. Because in the pre-Qin period, only Xiang Yu had this title. However, when he thought of Xiang Yu's hostile relationship with Da Qin, Ye Chen didn't quite believe it. However, the man standing in front of Ye Chen at this moment has clearly stated his origin, and Ye Chen has no reason not to believe that this man is Xiang Yu. After all, if the cultivation base reaches the divine martial realm, even if it is a zombie, it doesn't bother to impost others. Ye Chen just thought of this when he heard a bang. I saw Wang Jian, who was kicked by Xiang Yu, hit the wall of a building in the Imperial Palace, and then hit a big hole directly. Ye Chen glanced at the building with a big hole knocked out by Wang Jian, and curled his lips in disdain. Originally, Ye Chen wanted to subdue Wang Jian. After all, Ye Chen wanted to make arrangements for the netherworld in advance. However, Wang Jian's performance after Xiang Yu's arrival made Ye Chen a little disappointed. A dignified general, although he is now a zombie, he can't be spineless. Even if he is facing Xiang Yu, he can't put his posture so low, that's right. After all, when Xiang Yu came, he had already clearly yelled that he was here to block Ye Chen's condition, and he didn't need Wang Jian to do anything lowly. But as for Wang Jian, not only did he put his posture very low, 
he also breathed a sigh of relief. How did Ye Chen look at Wang Jian like this, how unpleasant to his eyes? You must know that when Wang Jian just talked to Ye Chen, his attitude was very determined, and he showed that he would rather die than surrender, and the generals were full of integrity. It was for this reason that Ye Chen completely dispelled the idea of subduing Wang Jian. Even if Wang Jian turned around and was willing to surrender Ye Chen, Ye Chen would not accept him. Ye Chen didn't want his spineless subordinates. Boy, facing me, do you dare to be distracted? Xiang Yu saw Ye Chen look away, his face suddenly sinking, and then he shouted. When Ye Chen heard this, he curled his lips and said. Stop talking nonsense, surrender or destroy, you choose yourself. Surrender? Destroy. Xiang Yu was slightly taken aback when he heard this, then his eyes suddenly opened, and he shouted. Crazy enough. After Xiang Yu shouted, the spear in his right hand slammed it at Ye Chen. Boom. The air burst instantly with the swing of the gun. Ye Chen saw Xiang Yu's powerful shot. His eyes opened sharply, and then he shouted. Good to come. After Ye Chen shouted, he killed the sharp spear with his right hand and slammed it fiercely, slamming Xiang Yu's spear violently. Boom! There was a loud noise, and Ye Chen's great killer spear and Xiang Yu's spear collided in an instant. At this moment, a bang sounded. I saw Xiang Yu's spear burst in an instant, and then turned into pieces in the sky splashing in all directions rapidly. Ding ding ding! A series of impacts sounded from Ye Chen and Xiang Yu's body. But it was the fragments of Xiang Yu's spear that hit Ye Chen and Xiang Yu's body. After Ye Chen destroyed Xiang Yu's gun, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then he closed the gun. He looked at Xiang Yu, who was unbelieving because of the destruction of the weapon, and said. Xiang Yu, surrender to me. I will lead you to glory, otherwise, die. Xiang Yu, who was looking disbelief, heard this, his two scarlet eyes opened sharply, and then he shouted in a cold voice. A certain person is an overlord without weapons. After Xiang Yu finished speaking, he attacked Ye Chen with a fist. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes narrowed, and then he took away the gunslinger, and directly made a fist with his right hand facing Xiang Yu's fist fiercely. Boom! The two fists intersect, the sound is muffled like a drum, and the air waves burst wildly. In the next second, the violent Xiang Yu's face changed abruptly, and then he was bombarded by a force that was more violent than him. Boom boom boom! After a series of sounds of crashing the wall sounded, Xiang Yu stopped, and then raised his head to look at Ye Chen who was flying straight over, his face was a little complicated and said. Your gun is very powerful, and your technique is equally powerful. I have never met someone who is stronger than Xiang X. I have never met before. After becoming a zombie, I will not. And you are the first. Should I be honored? Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he heard this, and then asked. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Xiang Yu's face suddenly sank. Obviously, Xiang Yu's mood was not very good. Ye Chen glanced at Xiang Yu, then said in a deep voice. Surrender or destroy, you choose for yourself, this is your last chance. After Ye Chen finished speaking, the gunkilling spear in his right hand appeared instantaneously, and then pointed towards Xiang Yu. Xiang Mao is upright, how can you? Xiang Yu's words just said here, a jade pendant on his chest suddenly burst out of a faint cloud of smoke, but in the blink of an eye, a female soul body that looks like an overwhelming country. It appeared in midair. Yuji. Come back soon. Xiang Yu's face changed drastically after seeing the sudden appearance of the female soul, and then shouted anxiously. Yuji. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this then looked at the soul body that appeared not far in front of him. At this moment, Yu Ji, who was in the state of soul, gave a big gift to Ye Chen, and then said. The overlord is not really an enemy of you. Please let the overlord go, and Yu Ji will thank you again. Yu Ji. 
Xiang Yu's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then roared angrily. Yu Ji's words are full of meanings of showing weakness. This is how the arrogant Xiang Yu would like to listen. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at Yu Ji, then looked at Xiang Yu, and asked. Surrender or destroy? Do you dare to threaten me? Xiang Yu heard this, with two scarlet eyes, the fierce glare instantly, and then he roared. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Xiang Yu, and then said in a deep voice. There is no threat. I only ask you to surrender or not. If you refuse, you will die, and Yu Ji will die too. I will not leave a threat to me, even if she is just the soul of a woman. Yes city lord, you should know that the overlord is a human, why should it be difficult for you to be strong? Yu Ji heard this, her soul body shook uncontrollably, almost unstable, but immediately, Yu Ji stabilized, and then looked at Ye Morning, asked. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Yu Ji, and then said. The reason is as simple as that of the king and the loser. Moreover, Yu Ji, you are afraid that you have forgotten your current identity, a zombie, a ghost, such an existence, for me as a human race, it can be eliminated at any time. Exists, and it makes sense. Ye Chen. Don't you dare to say that it is not a threat. Xiang Yu heard this, the violent killing intent rose up instantly, and then roared at Ye Chen, after roaring, he flew straight, and then rushed towards Ye Chen. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. The excitement is about, but not enough. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at Xiang Yu who was flying quickly, and then shouted coldly. Xiang Yu, I tell you so much, it is nothing more than fancy your skills and give you a wealth of wealth. However, after so many years, you are still the same as when you were a human being, arrogant, arrogant, and irritable. I don't know the truth, if that's the case, what's the use of you? Ye Chen said here, a strong killing intent, instantly rose up. At the same time, with a move with his right hand, the gunslinger appeared instantly, and then Xiang Yu, who flew quickly without hesitation, just stabbed. In midair, Xiang Yu, who flew quickly towards Ye Chen, immediately rushed to the top with anger after hearing Ye Chen's words. The zombie aura that had been hidden in his body was like throwing sparks into an oil barrel, and it burst out in an instant. At the same time, the blood of the zombies solidified in his body rolled instantly. In an instant, Xiang Yu's expression changed because he saw Ye Chen's gunshot. At this moment, Xiang Yu's eyes shrank sharply, and then he hurriedly avoided. However, at this moment, Xiang Yu's face changed drastically. He couldn't avoid it at all, because he was locked firmly by the killing spear. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't escape the attack range of the killing spear. There was a puff, and the sharp gun was simply and rudely pierced into Xiang Yu's heart. Overlord. When Yu Ji saw this, she suddenly let out a terrible whistle. Ye Chen. Even if I die, I will. Xiang Yu, who was stabbed through the heart by the sharp killing spear, ignored the sharp slaying spear that plunged into his heart, and looked at Ye Chen fiercely with both eyes, and roared in anger, nothing more than words. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Ye Chen. Shut up! I give you a chance. If you are willing and resist the past, you will get a new life, including your Yu Ji. After Ye Chen finished speaking, with a wave of his right hand, a group of red lotus karma appeared fiercely, and then flew straight into Xiang Yu's heart. Xiang Yu was stunned when he heard Ye Chen's words, because Xiang Yu was stabbed, and Yu Ji, who had almost collapsed, was also taken aback. At this moment, a boom came. The Red Lotus Industry fire located in Xiang Yu's heart instantly burned. At this moment, Xiang Yu's originally grey face turned abruptly white, and then he involuntarily let out a terrible roar. Roar. The pain, the pain deep into the soul, 
strongly stimulates Xiang Yu's nerves and soul. At this moment, Xiang Yu even had the urge to die immediately. In the middle of the air, Yu Ji with a dull look saw this place, she was taken aback, and then thought of something. After recovering, Yu Ji hurriedly looked at Xiang Yu and shouted. Overlord! Be sure to hold on! Hold on, and you can become a human body again! Xiang Yu, who heard the words of Yu Ji's encouragement, was taken aback for a moment, and then he noticed something. In the next second, Xiang Yu glanced at Ye Chen with complicated eyes, and then went straight to the ground. After the loud bang, Xiang Yu stood abruptly in a large pit, and then saw Xiang Yu clenching his teeth, his whole body tense, his fists clenched tightly, and the veins on his body followed by the roots. Jump up! Looking at Xiang Yu who was forcibly enduring the pain in the sky, Ye Chen exhaled long. Yes, doing good this time. I don't know if I will lose. Before, Ye Chen was fighting against Xiang Yu again, taunting Xiang Yu, and domineering to subdue Xiang Yu, and even said that even Yu Ji was going to die. In fact, it was Ye Chen deliberately. As for the ultimate goal, that is, to completely subdue Xiang Yu, this super general who is basically impossible to be subdued. You know, although Xiang Yu is a zombie, Ye Chen discovered a fact after he appeared. Xiang Yu didn't want to use the power of the zombies at all, and even the aura that the zombies should have carried, Xiang Yu forcibly concealed it. All this has clearly told Ye Chen one thing, Xiang Yu, is not willing to be a zombie, and hates the identity of a zombie, otherwise it would not be the case. It was precisely because of this discovery that Ye Chen formulated a plan to stimulate Xiang Yu and stimulate the blood of the coagulated zombie in Xiang Yu's body. Because only in this way, Ye Chen could use the Red Lotus Karmic Fire to purify Xiang Yu's zombie body and transform Xiang Yu into a human body again. Of course, this was also because Ye Chen dared to do this after refining the Red Lotus Karma Fire. If it were a normal Red Lotus Industry Fire, Xiang Yu would definitely be burned to ashes. But the Red Lotus Industry Fire that Ye Chen released was controlled by Ye Chen. As long as Ye Chen didn't agree, he wouldn't burn Xiang Yu to death at all. In this way, Xiang Yu received Ye Chen's favor, and then, when it comes to accepting, Xiang Yu would not be able to refuse as before without hesitation. As for keeping Xiang Yu as a zombie and conquering the netherworld for Ye Chen, Ye Chen really wanted to. It's a pity that Xiang Yu, who is a zombie, can't be subdued at all, so Ye Chen retreats to the next best thing, grant Xiang Yu a good fortune, and then try to subdue Xiang Yu. After all, what Xiang Yu said, he was also a super general, Ye Chen really didn't want to kill Xiang Yu casually, that would be too wasteful. As for what Ye Chen did, whether he could successfully conquer Xiang Yu, Ye Chen wasn't really sure. Of course, Uncertain and uncertain, but Ye Chen knew very well that the possibility of Xiang Yu's return would definitely be greatly improved because of his own plan. Especially after Ye Chen said, give Xiang Yu a good fortune, including Yu Ji, Xiang Yu is more likely to return. As for the reason, it is very simple, Yu Ji is the person Xiang Yu cares about most. Otherwise, Xiang Yu would not shout that threatening sentence when he resisted Ye Chen at the invitation of Emperor Qin. Of course, before Yu Ji appeared, Ye Chen was not sure what Xiang Yu was talking about, but when Yu Ji appeared, Ye Chen was completely sure about one thing. The condition that Xiang Yu asked the Emperor Qin to promise, 90% was to resurrect Yu Ji. No matter how flawed Xiang Yu's character is, the person he is most ashamed of is Yu Ji. Therefore, Xiang Yu's request to Qin Shi Wang was 100% related to Yu Ji, and there was only one possibility related to Yu Ji, resurrection. And this is the reason why Ye Chen said that Xiang Yu was bestowed good fortune, and that it would also be good for Yu Ji. In the sky, Yu Ji, in the state of soul, glanced with excitement, Xiang Yu, who was suffering from the pain of purification on the ground, then looked at Ye Chen, and bowed solemnly to Ye Chen. Thank you, City Lord Ye, I don't want to pay for it. If City Lord Ye is willing, my concubine is willing to follow City Lord Ye, 
and I implore City Master Ye to take it in. As soon as Yu Ji's words landed, the system prompt sounded. Ding, the superb historical beauty, Yu Ji, would you like to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? Ye Chen's eyes flashed as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Damn it! Don't accept it, isn't that stupid, accept. Ye Chen's thoughts moved, and the system prompt sounded again. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for gaining the allegiance of the superb historical beauty Yu Ji. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Xiang Yu, who was suffering from the pain of purification, opened his eyes sharply, and then let out a sky-shaking roar. Roar! The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. In addition to pain in Xiang Yu's roar, there was also a strong violent meaning. After Ye Chen heard it, his brows suddenly frowned. Although Xiang Yu is suffering from being purified, he is willing to endure this pain, and it is impossible for him to appear violent. Is it because I accepted Yu Ji? Just as Ye Chen thought of this, Xiang Yu, who was roaring up to the sky, looked deep into the palace fiercely, and then roared. Qin Huang! Do you dare to do this to me? I will kill you! As soon as Xiang Yu's words fell, Ye Chen's eyes narrowed fiercely. It turned out to be the ghost of Qin Shi Wang. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's face suddenly sank, because an unpleasant feeling appeared in Ye Chen's heart involuntarily. At this moment, Yu Ji's face suddenly changed drastically, and then she looked at Ye Chen in a panic, bowed and said. The Lord, you must kill the Emperor Qin as soon as possible, otherwise, the Overlord will be completely mad. Okay. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and sharply raised the sharp spear with his right hand. He was about to speak. Xiang Yu on the ground suddenly looked at Ye Chen and shouted. Wait. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at Xiang Yu. Before Ye Chen could ask, Xiang Yu hugged Ye Chen, and then solemnly bowed. In the next second, Xiang Yu said in a deep voice. The grace of city lord Ye, Xiang Mao kept in mind. Unfortunately, Xiang Mao has been calculated by Ying Zheng's children, otherwise, Xiang Mao will have a happy drink with city lord Ye. Even if Xiang Mu followed Ye city lord, it was all right. But now, it's too late, and Xiang has been calculated by the emperor Qin, and it will not take long for Xiang to completely disintegrate. When that happens, Xiang is just a walking corpse with no consciousness. Is there a way to crack it? Ye Chen's face sank again when he heard this, and then hurriedly asked. After planning and planning, Ye Chen was going to succeed, and Xiang Yu was calculated. Ye Chen didn't want to see such a situation happen. But Ye Chen didn't know much about the zombie family. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't ask Xiang Yu if there was a way to crack it. Xiang Yu smiled sadly after hearing Ye Chen's anxious inquiry, and then said bitterly. Even if Daluo Jingxian comes here, there is no way, because Xiang is a zombie created by Ying Zheng himself, and he is innately controlled by him. When Xiang Yu said this, he clenched his fist fiercely, then looked at Yu Ji and said. I'm sorry to Zhang Dong, but I'm even more sorry to you. I haven't been able to bring you a perfect life nor have I brought you a happy life. If there is an afterlife, I hope that I can be by your side forever, but now I am a zombie, I will not enter the reincarnation after death, and there will be no afterlife. When Xiang Yu said this, a strong unwillingness appeared on Xiang Yu's body in an instant. Sky, looking at Xiang Yu's Yu Ji, she burst into tears, then choked and shouted. Overlord! After Yu Ji shouted, she flew towards Xiang Yu. Don't come over. Yu Ji, if you want me to explode immediately, just come over. Xiang Yu saw this, his face changed drastically, and then he shouted. Xiang Yu has a red lotus fire, and Yu Ji's soul body will be burned to ashes if it approaches, otherwise Xiang Yu will not be like this. As soon as Xiang Yu's words landed, Yu Ji hurriedly stopped, then looked at Xiang Yu 
and shouted with great sadness. Overlord! Xiang Yu took a deep look at Yu Ji, then looked at Ye Chen, bowed his fists again, and said loudly. In Xiang Mu's lifetime, being able to get acquainted with Ye City Lord is not in vain. It's just that Xiang Mao has a relentless request, and I ask Ye City Lord to agree. Overlord has something, even if you tell it, Ye Mao can do it, he must do his best. Ye Chen sighed secretly when he heard this, and then nodded and said. When Xiang Yu heard this, he breathed a sigh of relief, then looked at Ye Chen and said seriously. Thank you, City Master Ye, it is not difficult for Xiang to ask for it. I also ask City Master Ye to take care of Yu Ji. When Xiang Yu said this, he suddenly remembered something, and quickly added. After Yu Ji and me, because I fought south and north, I have never been a husband and wife. Please also Ye Chen Zu not to dislike Yu Ji. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. But Ye Chen didn't expect Xiang Yu to say such a thing. Nima. This is a bit bloody. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, Xiang Yu directly took out a ring and threw it to Ye Chen. After Ye Chen caught it, Xiang Yu's face turned fiercely white, and his body shook involuntarily at this moment. After trying to stabilize his body, Xiang Yu shook his head vigorously, and then hurriedly said. There is Yu Ji's body in the ring. If Ye City Master can find the pill for returning Yang, please also Ye City Master to give Yu Ji a new life. Thanks Xiang Mao. After Xiang Yu finished speaking, he bowed heavily to Ye Chen. When Ye Chen heard this, he was stunned for a moment, and then with a move with his right hand, a pill for returning Yang appeared in Ye Chen's right hand instantly. Seeing Ye Chen's right-handed pill of returning Yang, Xiang Yu couldn't help but froze for a moment. After recovering, he looked up and laughed wildly. Ha ha ha, providence, providence. Xiang has no regrets in this life. Xiang Yu smiled madly and sadly. When his laughter stopped, Xiang Yu looked directly at Ye Chen and said. City Lord Ye, don't take the Red Lotus Karma fire back. With it, I can still suppress the thoughts from Emperor Qin, otherwise. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this. Seeing Ye Chen's promise, Xiang Yu smiled heartily, and then bowed again to Ye Chen. So, Yu Ji will ask City Lord Ye. If the Overlord dies, Yu Ji will definitely follow him until he dies. When Yu Ji heard this, she smiled sadly, then looked at Xiang Yu and said with great earnestness. When Xiang Yu heard this, he took a deep look at Yu Ji, and then said. Yu Ji, don't want Xiang to regret for life after he dies. Overlord. When Yu Ji heard this, her soul body shook fiercely, and then she cried out sadly. When Xiang Yu heard this, he took a deep breath, exhaled it for a long time, and then shouted. My intention is decided. Don't make noise. After Xiang Yu finished speaking, he took a deep look at Yu Ji, as if he wanted to keep Yu Ji's face in his heart forever. In the next second, Xiang Yu directly turned around, looked into the depths of the palace, and then roared. Ying Zheng child, Xiang Mao is here too. After Xiang Yu finished speaking, he directly rose into the air, and then flew straight to the depths of the palace. At this moment, Xiang Yu's momentum rose again and again, and the violent divine martial realm's coercion was unexpectedly released, and in the blink of an eye he came to the hall in the depths of the imperial palace. In the next second, Xiang Yu rushed into the palace hall abruptly. Boom! After the loud sound of the fist colliding, an explosion that shook the world suddenly sounded. Boom! I saw a fiery red mushroom cloud directly rising from the palace hall, and then suddenly exploded destroying the entire palace hall in an instant, and then rapidly spreading outward. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. When Ye Chen saw this, he couldn't help sighing. Still blew up. Xiang Yu blew himself up, and Ye Chen had expected it. Although Ye Chen didn't want to see this result, Ye Chen also knew that for Xiang Yu, 
the blew up was undoubtedly the best ending. After all, Xiang Yu didn't want to be an unconscious walking dead, let alone succumbing to Qin Huang Yingzheng. Thinking of this, Ye Chen took a photo with his left hand, and instantly received Yu Ji, who had collapsed because of Xiang Yu's self-destruction, into the small world. Yu Ji is still a soul body, and she has no cultivation base at all. If she does not receive her into the small world, Yu Ji will definitely be directly destroyed by the shock wave generated by Xiang Yu's self-detonation. Looking at the collapsed Yu Ji in the small world, Ye Chen sighed secretly, and then his mind moved, the innate spirit treasure and the earth spirit orb appeared in an instant. The next second, the earth spirit orb floating in the air shook violently. Om. A mysterious wave shot from the earth spirit orb in an instant, and then rushed to the ground. In the next second, the earth shook violently, and then I saw a 10,000 meter long and 100 meter thick earth wall that suddenly rose from the ground and reached a kilometer in the blink of an eye. At this moment, the shock wave of Xiang Yu's self detonation came instantaneously. Boom! came the sound. The thick earth wall was shocked in an instant, and then began to melt, until the thickness of 10 meters left, everything returned to tranquility. When Ye Chen saw this, with a wave of his right hand, the earth wall instantly turned into dust in the sky, and then disappeared. At this moment, a cold stern shout came. Ye Chen! I want you to die! When Ye Chen heard this, he narrowed his eyes and followed the reputation. I saw a man wearing a dragon robe with scarlet eyes and killing intent, and nine big cauldrons above his head, walking towards Ye Chen step by step. Behind him, there are countless zombies that have emerged from the ground, one by one, with violent auras and black aura. Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Qin Shi Wang, Ying Zheng. Unexpectedly, Ying Zheng was not killed by the bombing, but there were so many zombie soldiers who were not killed. It just so happens to train Lao Zi. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked straight at the man wearing the dragon robe pointed the gunk-illing spear with his right hand at him, and then shouted. Hand over Jenkyo Juding, I can give you a good time. What a big tone! Ying Zheng suddenly opened his eyes when he heard Ye Chen's words, and then shouted. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at Qin Huang Ying Zheng, then curled his lips in disdain. At this moment, the three generals suddenly jumped out from behind Ying Zheng, and then all rushed towards Ye Chen. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he saw this, and pointed the sharp gun with his right hand directly at the suddenly distorted space in front of him, stabbing the void three times. Puff, 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 puff came three times. I saw the three zombie generals in the purple mansion realm rushing towards Ye Chen, without exception, all of them were shot through the heads with gunshots. Boom, boom, boom three times came. I saw three zombie generals who were stabbed through the head with a sharp spear, instantly exploded into pieces in the sky, and then splashed everywhere. At this moment, the system prompt sounded immediately. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who killed the pre-Chin general Zhang Han. Because of his special status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with X100 innate attribute points. Ding. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for beheading the pre-Chin general Wang Ben. Because of his special status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with X100 innate attribute points. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who killed the pre-Chin general Nei Shi Teng. Because of his special status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with an innate attribute point of X100. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. The realm is too high, otherwise there will be more innate attribute points. Ye Chen just thought of this, watching Ye Chen's Ying Zheng, his face changed abruptly, and then he shouted in a deep voice. Why do you have spatial ability? Ying Zheng had never thought that his generals could kill Ye Chen. After all, Ye Chen had even killed Bai Qi. How could the three zombie generals in the Purple Mansion realm be so strong? However, Qin Shi Wang thought about the ending of his generals, 
but did not expect the whole process. To be precise, the spatial ability that Ye Chen displayed was far beyond Qin Shi Wang's expectation, otherwise he wouldn't change his face and would subconsciously ask Ye Chen. After hearing Ying Zheng's inquiry, Ye Chen glanced at Ying Zheng, and then said. This is not important. The important thing is that you will die miserably if you don't hand it over to Zhen Kuo Juding. Ye Chen, the road to the emperor is not easy to follow, why can't you share the world with me? Qin Shi Wang suddenly narrowed his eyes when he heard this, and then asked in a deep voice. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, and then said. Is it difficult? I know better than you. From the moment I decide to take this path, there is no such thing as sharing. When Ye Chen said this, he took a look at Ying Zheng, and then continued. In fact, from the moment you started negotiating terms with me, your road to the emperor has been completely broken, the emperor, there is no surrender, let alone compromise. In that case, let me die. Ying Zheng's expression changed again when he heard this, and then shouted angrily. After Ying Zheng roared, Zhen Guo Juding suddenly shocked. Buzz. After several sounds, a five-clawed black dragon composed entirely of air luck appeared fiercely in the sky. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes suddenly opened. Just waiting for you to use this trick. After Ye Chen thought about it, his mind moved, the innate treasure, the exquisite stone of nine orifices, appeared in an instant. Expensive. After a trembling dragon chant, the five-clawed black dragon shivered involuntarily, and the Ying Zheng who released the five-clawed black dragon, his pupils shrank sharply, and then he shouted sharply. How can it be? Nothing is impossible. Ye Chen smiled coldly, and then shouted. After Ye Chen finished speaking, the innate treasure nine orifices exquisite stone flew up instantly, and then flew straight to the five-clawed black dragon, and in the blink of an eye, it swallowed the five-clawed black dragon. No. My luck, that is my luck. Upon seeing this, Ying Zheng suddenly let out a crazy roar. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at Ying Zheng who looked like a madman, curled his lips in disdain, and then said. It was before, now it belongs to Lao Tzu. In fact, the Qi Luck Golden Dragon is not so easy to swallow but the Qi Luck Golden Dragon created by Qin Shi Huang is not like that. As for the reason, it is very simple. Qin Shi Huang at this moment is duckweed without roots, no empire, and only luck. If it weren't for Zhen Kuo Juding, these lucks were locked, these lucks would have been integrated into the heaven and earth fortunes of the Three Kingdoms novice zone, how could it be left to Qin Shi Huang? Of course, Qin Shi Huang had the Juding of Zhen Kuo and he could use these heaven and earth fortunes, but the problem was that Ye Chen had the nine orifice exquisite stone, and he wanted to take away the heaven and earth fortune of the rootless duckweed. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, a sense of comfort that could not be spoken suddenly appeared from his body. At the same time, the speed at which the aura of heaven and earth was automatically absorbed by Ye Chen suddenly increased a hundred times. Moreover, Ye Chen's savvy was also rising at this time. Ye Chen's eyes lit up sharply when he noticed the changes in his body. Fuck, half of the real luck in the Three Kingdoms novice zone, blessed in the body, it's so fierce. Cool. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but laughed. At this moment, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, for successfully regaining the luck of the human race, we will reward Fui Yun X2. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the son of air luck has advanced to the son of air luck. Ye Chen's eyes flashed as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Damn it. The child of luck has advanced. The Child of Qi Luck is the title obtained after Ye Chen gained 50% of the Qi Luck of the Han Empire before, and after the advancement of Fu Yuan, the function increases the explosion rate and the level of the explosive items. And this is not the key. 
The most important thing is that people who are the children of luck have a lot of opportunities, a lot of blessings, and luck is overwhelming. Even if you are walking, you may step on a fairy tool, a magical tool. Of course, this is the area for novices in the Three Kingdoms. Ye Chen can step on the fairy tools if he wants to walk. It's really impossible. After all, the top equipment here is heaven-level weapons. As for immortal weapons, divine weapons, and so on, it's just that most of the treasures of this level are in the hands of players and very few indigenous. Less pathetic. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that Ye Chen's status as the son of luck has advanced, and he advanced before he soars into the prehistoric world. This is the most important thing. Fortunately, Qin Shi Wang's plan was big enough to steal half of the human luck, otherwise, I really can't get these world luck. This trip to the secret realm of the underground palace, although no equipment was revealed, the harvest is really not small. Cool. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then moved his mind, and instantly received Qin Shi Wang's innate treasure Jukiao Ling Long Stone into the small world. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, killing the pre-Qin generals Zhang Han, Wang Ben, and Nei Shi Teng. Because of his identity as a zombie in the Purple Mansion realm, the player will be rewarded with X300 innate attribute points for Ye Chen, X9 Fairy Pet Advanced Scroll, and Netherworld Recruiting. Let X1. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, once again detonating the world channel, which has not yet subsided. Fuck it. Isn't it? How long has it been before Ye Chen killed three zombies in the Purple Mansion realm? What's so strange, don't forget? Bai Qi was killed by Ye Chen. That is, Kuk was just three zombies in the Purple Mansion realm. What's so strange? That's right, you can kill the zombies in the Purple Mansion realm. Don't you feel weird? Ye Chen's reward this time is not very high. Although I don't know exactly what this realm exists, how can I only get this reward after killing the monster in this realm? Do you still want Ye Chen to get more benefits, idiot? Don't forget, Ye Chen has already gotten a lot of good things, so if you continue to fish, what is there for us? Go to Nima, I'm summing up experience, you know a hammer. In my opinion, Ye Chen should be in a realm too high and noisy, don't forget, Ye Chen is now in the Divine Martial Realm, but the Purple Mansion Realm is two or three realms behind Ye Chen. It's really possible that this is the case. If you want to get good things, you must fight monsters of the same level, or go beyond the level to fight monsters. Why are you talking nonsense? Don't forget that when the game started, Ye Chen came up to kill the world class boss, but got a lot of good things. By the way, don't you guys see the netherworld recruitment order? What kind of ghost is this? This Nima, I don't have any, how can I know what it is? The world channel was full of enthusiasm. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows after taking a look. Summarizing the experience in the game world and looking for the rules of this world is indeed beneficial. Unfortunately, this is only the novice area of the Three Kingdoms. After the prehistoric land, we have to re-summarize. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he looked at the netherworld recruitment order that had already appeared in the small world. Netherworld recruitment order after using it, you can randomly get a subordinate from the netherworld. Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. Damn it. This is okay. Ye Chen wanted to set up the netherworld in advance, but unfortunately, Qin Shi Wang's zombie subordinates either did not give in or did not agree with Ye Chen's wishes. Xiang Yu, the only one whom Ye Chen liked, blew himself up again. No matter how capable Ye Chen was, he couldn't conjure a hand out of thin air. Of course, this was before. Now that Ye Chen has obtained the Netherworld Recruitment Order, he can directly recruit a subordinate from the Netherworld, and then let this subordinate go to the Netherworld. In this way, Ye Chen could begin to lay out the Netherworld. Could it be that this is the power of the Son of Luck? 
Special, what are you thinking, what are you coming? Not bad. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, a tyrannical roar suddenly came. Ye Chen! You dare to ignore me, I want you to die. When Ye Chen heard this, he looked directly at Qin Shi Wang who had been left out for a long time, his eyes were full of resentment, he curled his lips in disdain, and then shouted. Hand over Zhen Kuo Juding. Want to Zhen Kuo Juding? In exchange for life. Qin Shi Wang Ying Zheng glanced bitterly at Ye Chen when he heard this, and then shouted loudly. As soon as Qin Shi Wang's words fell, a dark altar suddenly appeared beside Qin Shi Wang. The moment Ye Chen saw the altar, his eyes shrank sharply. Summon the altar. Ye Chen didn't expect that Qin Shi Wang, who seemed to have poor skills, not only had a summoning altar, but also used it in front of Ye Chen. If it was something else, Ye Chen wouldn't care yet, but he could summon the altar, so Ye Chen didn't care. Because the summoning altar can be summoned, all come from the world after the ascent. For example, the little black dog demon that Ye Chen killed in the real world before was summoned by the demon player through the altar to summon the lower realm. And Qin Shi Wang now also took out the altar of summoning. Those to be summoned may come from the prehistoric world or the nether world. Ye Chen didn't know exactly which world he would come from, but Ye Chen knew one thing very well, and he would never allow Qin Shi Wang's summoning to succeed. Otherwise, Ye Chen might be fine, but Ye Chen's subordinates have a high chance of losing a large area, or even all of them. As for the reason, it is very simple. The secret realm of the underground palace at this moment is far stronger than the secret realm of the underground palace in the previous life. To be precise, there are zombies in the secret realm of the underground palace at this moment, comparable to the Ghost King of the Immortal Realm, and Xiang Yu of the Divine Martial Realm. In such a secret realm of the underground palace, the level of sacrifices that can be taken will never be low go with. The level of the existence that can be summoned by the summoning altar depends on the grade of the sacrifice. It was for this reason that Ye Chen didn't want Qin Shi Wang to summon successfully. Thinking of this, Ye Chen killed the sharp spear with his right hand, and without hesitation, he stabbed towards the dark summoning altar. However, at this moment, Qin Shi Wang suddenly threw a jade talisman. After the hum, a golden light mask suddenly appeared, and then enveloped the altar of summoning. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen didn't expect that what Qin Shi Wang summoned was not the existence of the nether world, but the sacred beast from the prehistoric world, the howling sky dog. If it was the existence of the nether world, Ye Chen really didn't like it very much. As for the reason, it is very simple. Any existence in the nether world is a great enemy of living beings. Once it appears, it will inevitably destroy the world without hesitation and kill all living beings. Of course, this is not the key. The most important thing is that Ye Chen had never been in contact with the existence of the nether world in his previous life. So no matter who came from the nether world, Ye Chen couldn't immediately recognize it. In this way, the Xientian Lingbao purple gold red gourd would not be able to exert its power. After all, Xientian Lingbao purple gold red gourd wants to exert its power, the premise is to know the enemy's name, and secondly to ask the enemy to respond, otherwise, it is useless at all. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows and then looked at the roaring sky dog, who was struggling to get out of the twisted space, and shouted. Snarling dog! As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Qin Shi Wang couldn't help but stunned. Qin Shi Wang didn't expect that Ye Chen actually knew the existence of the lower realm that he summoned, and he was so fierce that he dared to call this one. Only a dog's head was a behemoth with a diameter of a kilometer. Qin Shi Wang was in a daze here but the snarling dog was taken aback, and then furious. In the next second, Roaring Sky Dog's two huge dog eyes looked at Ye Chen fiercely, and then shouted angrily. Ant, how dare you call this king like that, this king wants you to die. After the snarling dog roared, 
the eyes of the two dogs opened sharply. At this moment, the purple golden red gourd floating above Ye Chen's head flew out with a bang in the gourd race, and then directed at the snarling dog. Strong suction force. Just about to show off his power to teach Ye Chen's snarling dog, the dog's eyes opened fiercely, and then he looked straight at the purple golden red gourd above Ye Chen's head. In the next second, the snarling dog exclaimed in ecstasy. Xian Tian Ling Bao. Ye Chen frowned when he heard the roaring dog's cry. Yet, yeah, Zijin Red Gourd is just a preliminary recognition of the master, and it hasn't been refined yet, so it can't deal with the snarling dog. No wonder Ye Chen thought so, if Zijin Hong Gourd could solve the howling skyhound, the skyhounding dog would only show fear instead of ecstasy after shock. Thinking of this, Ye Chen didn't even think about it. With his right hand, he loosened the string of the Qunqin bow directly. Zhang. The shocking arrow left the string in an instant, and then turned into three streams of light, flashing away. The roaring sky dog, who was ecstatic because of seeing the Xian Ling Bao, saw the three shocking arrows that came in front of him instantly, the dog's eyes shrank sharply, and then shouted in surprise. Ling Bao the day after tomorrow. As soon as the snarling dog's words landed, puff, puff, puff came three times, and the shaking arrow plunged into the snarling dog's head effortlessly. Two of them pierced directly through the eyes of the snarling dog, and the last shot directly into the nose of the snarling dog. The three sky-shaking arrows, as they rushed into the dog's head, the sky-shaking dog shot by the sky-shaking arrows suddenly let out a terrible growl. Roar! The voice was filled with great pain. Obviously, Ye Chen's attack had severely stimulated the nerves of the sky dog. However, at the moment when the sky shocking arrow was about to penetrate into the sky dog's brain, a terrifying demon power suddenly erupted from the sky dog. At this moment, the demon wind surging, violent and cold murderous intent, instantly filled the secret realm of the underground palace. At the same time, the sky-shaking arrow that swiftly drilled into the head of the roaring sky dog was instantly blocked by the terrifying demon power. When Ye Chen saw this, his brow suddenly frowned, and then he moved his mind and directly retracted the three sky-shaking arrows. After sensing that the sky-shaking arrows in his head disappeared, the eyes of the two dogs that had been shot exploded suddenly appeared a lot of black air, and in the blink of an eye, the eyes of the two dogs returned to their original conditions. In the next second, the sky dog looked at Ye Chen fiercely, and then roared loudly. Aunt, you successfully angered me. Not only do I want you to die, but I also want to kill all the people related to you and take away your chances. As soon as the sky snarling dog's words landed, an overbearing coercion instantly appeared from the sky snarling dog. Boom. 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 A series of crackling sounds with the unbridled release of the coercion of the sky dog, instantly appeared in the secret realm of the underground palace. Then I saw the entire secret realm of the underground palace burst at an extremely fast speed. In the blink of an eye, the secret realm of the underground palace was completely scrapped, and then exposed to the outside world. At this moment, Lishan disappeared out of thin air, and the sunlight from the outside world was also directly shining down at this moment. Ye Chen frowned when he saw this. The strength of this snarling sky dog is at least that of a special sky demon. Really, I hope the killing spear will not let me down, otherwise, this time it will be really bad. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the players who were struggling to resist the zombie players at the foot of Lishan Mountain unanimously looked at the sky, and then their eyes widened. Fuck. What a big dog head. Where is Lishan? Why did it disappear all at once? Why, look, there are many zombies there. Is that zombie wearing a dragon robe a big boss? Hey, what about Ye Chen's army? Why is Ye Chen alone? Just outside the secret underground palace, when the players said a word to me, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, the special plot mission to save the Three Kingdoms Novice Zone is officially released. All players can participate. As long as Qin Shi Wang summons the snarling dog in the lower realm, you can get rich revenge. 
if you fail, all players in the Three Kingdoms Novice Zone will not be able to log in. Game The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. Fuck. What's the matter? Isn't the snarling dog the dog of the myth and legend? How did Qin Shuang summon the lower realm? Hey, wait, summon the lower realm? This is so special, can it be said that there is also the upper world, the immortal realm or the realm? Grass. Is this important? The world announcements have specifically said that if this dog is not slaughtered, no one of us will be able to log into the game in the future. Guri, how can such a plot task appear, he is a snarling dog, the existence in the myth, how to fight. Hit a hare, hit him, the secrets of the underground palace have been exploded by the snarling dog. When you come to Lishan, you can see the snarling dog, it. Just a dog's head has a diameter of one kilometer. How big is this special body? Nima, it doesn't matter much. What's important is that the secret realm of the underground palace was really blown up by the snarling dog. Nonsense, I still lied to you, you can come and see for yourself. Grass, the secret realm is so easy to be destroyed. If this is true, the sky dog is so awesome. Quickly stop the special ink, think of a way to kill the snarling dog, he's, if we don't kill the snarling dog, we won't want to log into the game in the future. If we can't log into the game, Nima, this how to improve strength. I'm afraid of a Harry, the sky will fall, and there will be a tall one, don't forget, Ye Chen is also in the secret realm of the underground palace, I guess, this snarling dog in the lower realm is so special that it only appeared because of Ye Chen, so, this pot is worthy of Ye Chen's back. That's right, Ye Chen has to bear this pot. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The world channel was full of waves, constantly refreshing the screen, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows after taking a look. The players were shocked by the appearance of the snarling dog. People were worried that they would not be able to log in without killing the snarling dog. But when it came to the back, Almost 99 of the players had Ye Chen back the pot. When the players said this, it was obvious that they would not participate in this special plot mission. To be precise, 9 out of 10 players believed in their hearts that Ye Chen would not stand idly by on this matter. Otherwise, the players won't yell and let Ye Chen take the blame. The reason why the players say so, in fact, is that they don't want to lose themselves because of this special plot task. This is what the players thought in their hearts, Ye Chen just glanced at it and got a clear look. As for whether the players will run over and take advantage, there must be a lot of people who think about it, and maybe a lot of them put into action, but no matter which way it is possible, players will not run over when the roaring dog is still alive. Take advantage. After all, it is a snarling dog, the existence of myths and legends, no one would think it is a rookie. It's just right if you don't come, it will save Laozi. Ye Chen has never counted on players, and prefers to see players throw the pot, because in this way, no one comes here. In this way, Ye Chen's troubles would be reduced a lot. As for the reason, it is very simple. The snarling dog is a sacred animal, but it is also a monster. If the players really ran over, not only would it not be helpful, but on the contrary, it would increase the strength of the sky dog. This is not the result Ye Chen wanted to see. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked straight at the snarling dog who was struggling to get out of the distortion space. Purple gold red gourd, Kyun Kin Bao and sky shaking arrow, failed to exert the power that it should have, but, the killer spear, I have been using it again, although it has not been thoroughly refined, it is so innate. Moreover, it is the innate treasure with all three characteristics. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's right hand sharpened the sharp spear sharply, and then the snarling dog facing the sky stabbed. At the moment when the killing spear stabbed out, the space in front of the killing spear was suddenly distorted, and then he saw the killing spear pierced in. 
In the next second, the sky was stuck next to the dog's head of the sky dog in the distorted space. The space was suddenly distorted, and then I saw the dark and thick gunkiller violently emerge from the distorted space and pierced directly towards the sky. Canine Dog Head The snarling dog, who was struggling hard and wanted to come down completely, suddenly shrank the dog's eyes when he saw the tip of the sharpshooter, and then shouted in surprise. Innate Treasure Howling Dog didn't expect that the ant in his eyes not only had acquired spirit treasures, but also innate spirit treasures. Now it is so special that even the innate treasures have been taken out. This point is beyond the snarling dog's expectation. You know, even if it is a snarling dog, it has only one artifact, not even an acquired spirit treasure, but the ant in its eyes has so many good things, how can it not be shocked? Don't make him jealous. Of course, whether it is shocked or jealous, the snarling dog from the wild, it is very clear that the innate treasure cannot be arbitrarily resisted. Even if this congenital treasure is the same as the previous congenital spirit treasure and acquired spirit treasure, it has not been refined much, and it cannot be resisted, otherwise, it will be miserable. After regaining his senses, the snarling sky dog didn't even think about it, but with a move of mind, a white bone suddenly appeared next to its dog's head, and then slammed into the sharply smashing gun. Ye Chen, who has been paying attention to the snarling dog, instantly moved his mind when he saw this. At the same time, the best congenital spirit treasures and drop treasures appeared in an instant, and then their wings shook, directly turning into a stream of light, and passing away in a flash. In the next second, the best congenital spirit treasure, the treasure money, appeared directly on the white bone rod, and after a buzz, the bone rod was instantly controlled in place. At the same time, the black and thick sharpshooter made a puff sound and pierced into the dog's head of the snarling skyhound. Wow! A terrible howl sounded fiercely from the mouth of the sky dog. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes suddenly lit up. Damn it! The third characteristic of the killing gun did not disappoint Lao Tzu. The killing spear has three characteristics. The first is shattering. The function is to crush weapons lower than the killing spear. The lower the level of the weapon that is attacked by the killing spear, the greater the probability of being broken. The second characteristic is soul eating, devouring the souls of creatures killed by the god's lair. The lower the strength of the soul of the person killed, the greater the chance of being swallowed. As for the third characteristic of Ye Chen's ecstasy, it was the killing of gods. To be precise, the creatures that were attacked by the killing spear have a chance to be directly obliterated by the killing spear. Even if the soul cannot be directly obliterated, part of the soul can be destroyed. As for whether the soul can be directly obliterated, or how many souls can be killed, it is related to Ye Chen's cultivation base and the level of refinement of the innate supreme treasure gunslinger. Of course, it is also related to the strength of the opponent. At this moment, Ye Chen's opponent is the Divine Beast Roaring Sky Dog. Its cultivation level is at least the Sky Demon. Otherwise, it is impossible to easily destroy the secret realm of the underground palace, let alone after the eyes of the two dogs are pierced. And recover quickly. Faced with such an opponent, Ye Chen really couldn't judge how much damage the Gunk Illing Spear could cause to the Sky Dog. After all, Ye Chen in his previous life had never owned the God-Killing Spear, and even in this life, the characteristics of the God-Killing Spear and God-Killing had never been brought into play. As for the reason, it is very simple. This is the novice area of the Three Kingdoms. Except for Ye Chen, no one has the soul at all. Where does Ye Chen test the God-Killing characteristics of the God-Killing Spear? It was precisely because of these that Ye Chen could not calculate the power of the God-Killing Spear and the God-Killing characteristics, and whether it could cause fatal damage to the Sky Dog. Therefore, at the beginning, Ye Chen used the purple-gold-red gourd to taste the Universe Bow and the Sky-Shaking Arrow, and tried to attack the Roaring Sky Dog, and then judge the realm of the Roaring Sky Dog. If the realm of the Sky Dog is too high, then Ye Chen will only choose one method, using the final means, the Karma Red Thunder to attack the Sky Dog, 
and then receive the reincarnation fairy city into the small world, and slowly wait for the death of the sky dog. If the snarling dog's realm was not so high, Ye Chen wouldn't evade it casually, and would just go ahead and do it. At present, the right time, the right place and the right people are all on Ye Chen's side. Who made the snarling dog be summoned to the lower realm by Qin Shi Wang? If the snarling dog is successful in the lower realm, the Three Kingdoms novice area will definitely be raised to the ground. In this case, it doesn't matter whether there is a heaven in the Three Kingdoms novice area. This is definitely not the result of the heavens of the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms, I want to see. Therefore, it released a special plot mission to kill the snarling dog. Ye Chen even suspected that the snarling dog always failed to lower bounds, which was related to the way of the Three Kingdoms novice zone, restricting the snarling dog. Of course, Ye Chen didn't care if it had something to do with the Tao of the Three Kingdoms novice zone. If you have to say what Ye Chen cares about, Ye Chen at this moment only cares about one thing. How much time will it take for the snarling dog to completely get from the lower realm of the prehistoric world? If this time is enough, Ye Chen will be sure to completely kill the roaring celestial dog. Really, this trip to the secret realm of the underground palace will probably make a lot of money. Especially, at least it is a snarling dog in the realm of the sky demon. After being slaughtered, wouldn't Laozi become a fairy directly? Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes flickered, and then his right hand twitched, and he directly retracted the gunslinger. At this moment, the snarling dog's head shook violently. At this moment, the dog's blood was sprayed frantically, and then it swayed freely towards the ground. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen glanced at the dog blood pouring down from the sky and smiled coldly. At this moment, the snarling dog looked at Ye Chen with ferocious eyes, and then roared angrily. Which descendant are you from the witch clan? Why do you even have the best innate spirit treasures of fallen weapons, and you also master the laws of space? The sky dog at this moment suddenly felt like Ye Chen is not a person in this world. This feeling made sky dog a little frightened and even collapsed. You know, after it sensed the power of summoning, it sensed that there was fairy blood in the sacrifice and many good things, and directly responded to the call. However, even if the lower realm is not going well, it will be attacked by the ants in its eyes. The most frightening thing is that the attack of the ant easily injured it, and the attack just now easily cut off a part of its primordial spirit. Although there are not many primordial spirits that have been beheaded, that is the root of it. If you are beheaded, it will take hundreds of years of hard work to recover. And this is not the most terrifying. The most terrifying thing is that it still can't get out of the summoning channel that connects the primordial world with the Three Kingdoms novice zone. In this way, it will continue to be attacked, and then its primordial spirit will continue to be slashed. If it takes a long time, its primordial spirit will be completely depleted, and then it will die and can no longer die. This is not the result it wants to see. It was precisely because of panic and fear that the snarling sky dog realized something was wrong, and then began to doubt Ye Chen's identity. If Ye Chen is really a descendant of a certain witch clan, then this time, it really kicked the iron plate. Because of the great power of the Wu clan, all perverts and extremely short-term protection, even if it can safely retreat this time, after returning to the prehistoric land, it will be chased and killed by the Wu clan, and then captured, roasted, and eaten raw. City Lord of Reincarnation Xian Cheng, Ye Chen. Human Race Hearing this, Ye Chen glanced at the snarling sky dog with disdain, and then said. When the sky dog heard this, he was stunned, but the sky dog had no memory of the reincarnation fairy city that Ye Chen mentioned. Originally, Sky Dog thought that Ye Chen was a descendant of a certain witch clan in the prehistoric world, who came to the underground world to do something, otherwise, how could Ye Chen have so many babies? However, Ye Chen's serious answer made the Sky Dog understand one thing directly. Ye Chen is really the city lord of the reincarnation fairy city, and he is a serious human race, 
not from a certain underground world in the prehistoric world. A powerful descendant of a certain witch clan. If so, Ye Chen couldn't say straightforwardly, I am a human. Thinking of this, the snarling dog's face suddenly didn't look good. Think of it as a magnificent beast, although it does not say that it can gallop in the prehistoric world, it is not comparable to an ant-like existence. But the fact is, it is not as rich as a so-called human ant, and more importantly, it may be completely killed by this ant. This is really unacceptable for the snarling dog. Can't let this ant continue to attack, otherwise my soul must be lower bound immediately. If you can lower the realm, even if this ant has innate treasure, it will eventually belong to me. Thinking of this, the sky snarling dog looked at Ye Chen's gaze, and instantly became even more ferocious, and then stared at the ground and stared at the Qin Shi Wang on Ye Chen's side, screaming. Miscellaneous, hurry up and attack this bastard, otherwise, when this king officially lowers the realm, I will tear you up immediately. After Qin Shi Wang heard the snarling dog's anger, Qin Shi Wang's face suddenly changed because Ye Chen could injure the snarling dog and was shocked. Not long ago, Qin Shi Wang had been so suffocated, and what was so special was that he was scolded by a dog. However, the situation in front of him cannot help him think more, even if he wants to kill the snarling dog, a stupid dog who dared to attack him disrespectfully, he must obey the snarling dog and attack Ye Chen and not let Ye Chen continue to attack the snarling dog. Dog. Otherwise, if the sky dog is killed by Ye Chen, then Qin Shi Wang will become the next one. Thinking of this, Qin Shi Wang tried his best to stabilize his irritable heart, and then said. Great. After Qin Shi Wang Ying Zheng finished speaking, he looked directly behind him, and then shouted. Jing Kei it's up to you. Yes. Your Majesty. After a cold response, the air instantly became cold. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. How could Ye Chen not know what Jing Kei existed? This was a figure who had assassinated Qin Shi Huang, but now, what Ye Chen heard, Qin Shi Huang actually gave Jing Kei an order, and Jing Kei complied very well. Nima, Qin Shi Huang is really capable, and even the assassins who have assassinated him are harvested, and he has the ability to overcome the calamity. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glanced at Qin Shi Wang, then lifted his left hand and moved a little bit empty to his side. Boom! After the thunder, the fire red thunder appeared instantaneously, and then split towards Ye Chen's side, three meters away from the open space. Boom! A sound of boom! I saw a lotus composed of fiery red lightning and red lotus fire, suddenly appeared there, and then burned violently. At the same time, a breath of the tribulation period suddenly rose from the blood-colored lotus, and then a soul body suddenly appeared in the middle of the lotus, and then began to resist the red lotus karma fire bitterly. Burn! When Qin Shi Wang saw this, he was stunned, and the eyes of the snarling dogs in the sky shrank fiercely, and then shouted in surprise. How is it possible? Red Lotus Karmic Fire, this is Red Lotus Karmic Fire. How can you control Red Lotus Karmic Fire? Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, and then raised his left hand again, facing the snarling dog, just one point. Boom! The thunder that shook the world appeared again. In the next second, the roaring sky dog, which was still stuck in the summoning channel, was instantly struck by the fire of karma. Boom! Came the sound. A huge scarlet lotus suddenly appeared in the sky, and then firmly shrouded the dog's head of the sky dog. Oh! The stern and terrible howling sounded instantly. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, and then he looked at Qin Shi Wang. Roaring sky dog, Ye Chen must be killed but Qin Shi Huang Ye Chen didn't want to let it go either. After all, compared with killing the snarling dog, the Juding Zhenkuo owned by Qin Shi Huang was more important. It's just that Qin Shi Huang just used the invincible jade slip, Ye Chen couldn't help it, but now, the light of the invincible jade slip was about to dissipate, and Ye Chen didn't want to wait any longer. In the distance, 
when he saw Ye Chen's eyes locked to Qin Shi Wang, his pale face was twisted involuntarily. At this moment, Qin Shi Wang was really a little scared. He didn't understand why Ye Chen had such a perversion in the mortal world where he could not continue to break through when his realm had reached the great perfection of a saint-level general. Not only can it break the restrictions, it is also a mess, and more importantly, there are many treasures that are only recorded in legends, all kinds of tyrannical abilities, and even the snarling dog is terrified. No, I can't die. Even if the national ascension is interrupted by this bastard, I will have the opportunity to ascend by myself. Thinking of this, Qin Shi Wang glanced at Ye Chen bitterly, and then took out a jade slip without hesitation. After seeing the jade slips Qin Shi Wang took out, Ye Chen's expression suddenly changed. Move the jade slip, damn! Ye Chen just thought of this, the sky was stuck in the summoning channel, enduring the Red Lotus Industries snarling sky dog, the dog's eyes opened fiercely, and then he shouted. Miscellaneous, you dare to abandon this king and go. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. After Qin Shi Wang heard the snarling dog's unceremonious insult, his two scarlet eyes narrowed fiercely, and then gave the snarling dog a harsh look, and shouted coldly. Stupid dog! I summon you to the lower realm, not to let you come here to show off your might, and even an ant can't settle for it. Why do I want you? Miscellaneous, you it. After hearing Qin Shi Wang's words, the sky dog was furious, and then shouted harshly. At this moment, an uncontrollable anger rose directly from the heart of the sky dog. It never thought that Qin Shi Wang, who was also an ant in its eyes, not only didn't intend to help it, but also dared to insult it so much. Stupid dog, you'd better slaughter Ye Chen for me, otherwise, you will definitely be bitten back, don't forget this. Qin Shi Wang snorted when he heard this, and then shouted. When the snarling dog heard this, the dog's eyes, which had been filled with anger, flashed a fierce light, and then roared. Miscellaneous, if you want to leave, you have to agree to this king. After the snarling dog roared, the space around Qin Shi Wang suddenly vibrated with a boom. Aware of this, Qin Shi Wang's face suddenly changed and then hurriedly used the big move to move the jade slip. In the next second, Qin Shi Wang suddenly turned into a golden light and passed away in a flash. But immediately, Qin Shi Wang, who had just disappeared, turned into a golden light and appeared on the spot. In the distance, Ye Chen, who had been watching Qin Shi Wang, raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he saw this. Yes, yes, the dog bites the dog, the bite is good. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at Qin Shi Wang whose face changed wildly, and then shouted coldly. Ying Zheng, hand over to Zhen Kuo Juding, otherwise, I will let you die. Screaming dog. I order you to release the restriction immediately. Qin Shi Wang, whose face changed drastically because of the failure of the transmission, heard this, his two scarlet eyes shrank sharply and then hurriedly looked towards the sky and got stuck in the summoning channel. The snarling dog in the room roared angrily. After Qin Shi Wang finished speaking, he took out a large shift jade slip again, ready to activate it at any time. Ye Chen frowned when he saw this. The roaring sky dog was used by Qin Shi Wang to summon the lower realm. Although its realm is much higher than that of Qin Shi Wang, the summoning law will automatically be applied to the roaring sky dog after it responds to the call. To be precise, the snarling dog must obey Qin Shi Wang's order, otherwise, it will inevitably be backlashed by the law of summoning. And this is the root cause of Ye Chen's frown. Because Ye Chen was not sure at all, whether the snarling sky dog would defy the law of summoning and reject Qin Shi Wang's order. If the sky dog obeyed Qin Shi Wang's orders, then Qin Shi Wang would definitely use the big move to move the jade slips and escape directly. Really, the realm is not enough, otherwise, I can also throw away the space restriction. In this case, Qin Shi Wang will not want to escape. Ye Chen just thought of this, 
the snarling skyhound stuck in the summoning channel, after a short pause, the dog's eyes suddenly lit up, and then he roared without hesitation. This king refuses. As soon as the snarling dog's words landed, a mysterious wave suddenly appeared in the snarling dog's body. In the next second, the dog's face, which had been burned by the Red Lotus Industry fire, suddenly became more ferocious, and then he saw the dog's mouth, a fierce one. There was a poof. A large mouthful of dog blood squirted fiercely from the dog's mouth. In the next second, a stern and miserable howl sounded fiercely from the roaring dog. Oh! When Ye Chen saw this, he was slightly taken aback, and then frowned again. This snarling dog deliberately disobeyed Qin Shi Wang's order, I am afraid it is. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the sky dog, who forcibly endured the pain of backlash, looked directly at Ye Chen, and then roared. Ye Chen! Let's make a deal. I will help you control this awful. You take back the red lotus karma and slaughter the awful. The grievances between us will be wiped out. How about? Sure enough, I guessed it right, this snarling dog wants to negotiate terms with me through Qin Shi Wang. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, Qin Shi Wang's expression suddenly changed, and then directed at the sky, the snarling dog that was stuck in the summoning channel, screamed. Snarling dog, you dare to disobey my orders. Miscellaneous, mere backlash, how could this king take it to heart? Hearing this, the dog's eyes looked at Qin Shi Wang viciously, and then roared viciously. After the snarling dog, he looked at Ye Chen directly, and then asked. Ye Chen, this king is very sincere. If in the future, you fly into the wild, this king can still promise you three things. No matter what, this king will agree, how about it? As soon as the words of the snarling dog fell, Qin Shi Wang glanced at the snarling dog, then looked at Ye Chen, and shouted. Ye Chen! I will give you Juding, as long as you let me go, and slaughter this cheap dog for me, how about it? Ye Chen heard this, looked at the snarling dog, then looked at Qin Shi Wang, smiled slightly, and then said. Time up! As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the invincible mask on Qin Shi Wang's body suddenly turned into golden light, and then disappeared. Qin Shi Wang's pale zombie face changed abruptly when he noticed this. At this moment, Ye Chen raised his left hand, towards Qin Shi Wang, the void was just one point. Boom! The thunder that shook the world suddenly sounded. At the same time, a fiery red thunder suddenly cut through the space, and then hit Qin Shi Wang directly. In the next second, a violent explosion sounded suddenly. Boom! I saw Qin Shi Wang, who had just recruited the invincible Jade Slip, was directly wrapped in the blood-colored lotus formed by the Red Lotus Industry Fire and Red Lightning, and then burned violently. Oh! A stern and miserable howl suddenly sounded from Qin Shi Wang's mouth. In the next second, Qin Shi Wang used the invincible Jade Slip without hesitation. O.M. Came the sound. The invincible mask instantly appeared on Qin Shi Wang's body. However, the blood-colored lotus that formed instantly, not only did not go out, but it burned more and more vigorously. Why? I obviously used the invincible jade slip, why is it useless? Qin Shi Wang, who found that the invincible jade slip had no effect, involuntarily let out a stern and extremely unwilling roar. When Ye Chen heard this, he curled his lips in disdain. Yes, using the invincible jade slips in advance, I can't do anything about it, but I was hit by the fire red thunder, and I still want to use the invincible jade slips to relieve the crisis. The invincible mask released by invincible Yujian can only block all attacks from outside the body, but cannot eliminate the attacks that have come before. To be precise, Qin Shi Wang at this moment has only one way to go to endure the burning of the Red Lotus industry. And the end of this road is death. The sky, stuck in the summoning channel, was constantly roasted by the Red Lotus fire and red lightning. Seeing this, the dog's eyes shrank fiercely. At this moment, a sense of fear appeared involuntarily in the heart of the sky dog. 
How could this happen, choppy, ants? Roaring Sky Dog thought about it in horror, hurriedly looked at Ye Chen, and then shouted. Ye Chen, I can promise you ten things, as long as you take back the Red Lotus Karma and let me go. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows involuntarily when he heard the snarling dog's words full of horror, and then said. Ten things? Too many, you only need to promise me one thing, and you can survive. What's the matter? Hearing this, Roaring Sky Dog asked without thinking about it. Ye Chen couldn't help but curled his mouth when he heard the snarling dog's impatient words, and then said. For generations to come, stay loyal to me forever, be my servant, and you can live. By the way, don't forget to swear to the way of heaven. If you dare to talk nonsense, you know what the consequences are. Ye Chen had a temporary intention to subdue the Sky Dog. After all, the Sky Dog in myths and legends was also subdued, and the person who subdued it was the Erlang god Yang Jian. Therefore, it is not that the snarling dog cannot be subdued. At this moment, Ye Chen's realm is inferior to the snarling dog, and wanting to subdue the snarling dog is tantamount to idiotic dreams. But the problem is that if Ye Chen doesn't show mercy, even if the Sky Dog can eliminate the Red Lotus Karma that burns it without dying, it will have to become disabled. In this way, even if it can return to the prehistoric world alive, there will only be a dead end. After all, the cruelty of the prehistoric world is ten thousand times more cruel than reality. And this, as a member of the prehistoric world, the snarling dog must know. Therefore, Ye Chen was ready to give it a try to see if he could subdue the snarling dog. After all, a living snarling dog is more valuable than a dead snarling dog. Even if Ye Chen slaughtered the sky dog, there would be great rewards, and he could even become an immortal directly. It was not as good as a living sky dog. As for the reason, it is very simple. After Ye Chen conquered the sky dog, he would directly have a subordinate in the realm of the sky demon and a subordinate with special abilities. To be precise, the dog's nose of the snarling dog has a gift of supernatural power, the hunt for thousands of miles. No matter what it is, after being sniffed by the snarling dog, it can quickly locate the target and track it. This ability is very important to Ye Chen. Because once Ye Chen soars into the wild, there are many things to do. If the snarling dog joins during this period, what Ye Chen will do will definitely become simpler and more convenient. Of course, this is only one of the benefits that Sky Dog brings to Ye Chen. The other is the Sky Demon realm of Sky Dog, and the identity of the Demon Clan, which can also help Ye Chen stand fast in the wilderness. And this is the fundamental reason why Ye Chen tried to subdue the Snarling Dog. Although it is really difficult to subdue the Roaring Sky Dog, after all, the realm of the Roaring Sky Dog is there, but it is not without a chance. Even if he failed, Ye Chen didn't lose much. At most, he killed the Snarling Skyhound, so Ye Chen would be good. You. Hearing this, the dog's eyes shrank fiercely, and then roared angrily. The Sky Dog didn't expect that Ye Chen's request turned out to be this. At this moment, a wave of nameless anger suddenly rose from the heart of Roaring Sky Dog. The dignified beast, or the Sky Demon, was forced to surrender by an ant. If the Snarling Dog was not angry, it would be weird. Hearing this, Ye Chen glanced at the Snarling Dog, and without hesitation, he stabbed the gun in front of him with his right hand. At the moment when the gunkiller was stabbed out, the space in front suddenly distorted, and then I saw the Gundam gun stabbed in, and the tip of the gun disappeared instantly. In the next second, the space was suddenly distorted next to the huge dog head of the Sky Dog, and then I saw the tip of the Great Killer Spear, directly drilling out of the distorted space, and then stabbing the dog's head directly at the Sky Dog's head. The snarling dog was angry just because of Ye Chen's words. Seeing here, a dog's heart that was originally enough to be scared, shivered fiercely. Puff came. I saw the dark and thick gunkiller, 
which was simply and roughly stabbed into the head of the snarling skyhound. Oh! A stern and miserable howling sounded fiercely, and then I saw the dog face of the snarling dog, which was instantly distorted. At this moment, the pain from the burning of the red lotus industry fire, the pain from the brutal piercing of the body, and the pain from part of the primordial spirit being cut off, a brain was transmitted to the nerves of the snarling dog and the primordial spirit. This kind of pain is simply better than death, but the sky dog can only endure it abruptly, and there is no other way. Because it is more difficult to exit the summoning channel than to get out of the summoning channel, and it is impossible to succeed at all. At this moment, an emotion called regret appeared involuntarily in the heart of the sky dog. It regretted coveting sacrifices, and regretted responding to the call. Otherwise, how could it possibly be in the lower realm, how could it have met Ye Chen, and how could it have been so close to death? At the moment when the roaring dog was regretting, Ye Chen stabbed the sharp spear with his right hand again. There was a puff, and the black and thick sharpshooter stabbed into the dog's head of the snarling sky dog again. Oh! The stern and miserable howl sounded again. The dog face of the snarling dog became even more distorted at this moment. It's a pity that before it slowed down, the dark and thick gunkiller stabbed again. Puff came. The gunslinger stabbed into the dog's head of the snarling sky dog again. Oh! The stern and miserable howl sounded again. In the next second, the two eyes of the snarling dog turned green. Nima, being stabbed in this way, let alone die or not the pain alone is enough to make it collapse. I shouldn't covet those sacrifices. After thinking about it almost collapsed, the snarling dog hurriedly shouted at Ye Chen. Stop! Puff came. The gunslinger stabbed into the dog's head of the snarling sky dog again. Oh! After the snarling dog howled miserably again, he hurriedly shouted. Live! Puff! Oh! The snarling dog who noticed that Ye Chen didn't listen to it at all, without thinking about it, directly shouted. I promise. I promise. Hurry up and stop. Why don't you agree to slow down? It's been a long time since I tried the gunslinger. I didn't expect it to be so cool. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at the snarling dog, and then frowned asked. Ye Chen said this, of course, intentionally. The purpose is to make the roaring sky dog firmer and recognize Ye Chen's heart. When the snarling dog heard this, the dog's eyes were stunned. Nima, do you want to be so perverted? The snarling dog almost collapsed, shivering abruptly, and then hurriedly shouted. The snarling dog swears to the way of heaven, and will always be loyal to my master from life to life, Ye Chen, if he has a different heart, he will definitely endure the punishment of heaven and his body and soul will be destroyed. As soon as the words of the snarling dog landed, the thunder that shook the world suddenly sounded. Boom! At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding! Congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the screaming dog, I would like to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen couldn't help but laugh. Really, it really subdued the snarling dog. There are many benefits for Ye Chen to subdue the roaring dog, and now the system prompts have already drawn a perfect end to conquering the roaring dog, how could Ye Chen be unhappy? Ye Chen just laughed for a while, and the system prompt sounded again. Ding, the player Ye Chen still has three seconds to choose. If he refuses, he will be deemed to have given up. As soon as the prompt sound of the system ended, Ye Chen's laughter stopped abruptly, and then his face became stiff. Give up your sister. Accept. Once Ye Chen's choice was confirmed, the system prompt sounded again. Ding. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen for successfully conquering the sacred beast Roaring Sky Dog. Because of his special status, the player is specially rewarded Ye Chen, the god-level animal defense technique. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, 
Ye Chen was taken aback. God level beast control. What is this? Just when Ye Chen was puzzled, the sky was stuck in the summoning channel, the snarling dog looked at Ye Chen hopefully, and then shouted. Master, quickly take away this red lotus karma. After the sky dog confirmed that Ye Chen had accepted it, where would he be willing to let the red lotus karma fire continue to torture it? You know, this is the red lotus karma fire. Keep burning like this until its demon power is exhausted. It's going to be burned to ashes. As soon as the snarling dog's words landed, Ye Chen's thoughts were interrupted in an instant. After recovering, Ye Chen glanced at the snarling dog, his eyebrows suddenly raised, and then he moved his right hand. In the next second, the red lotus karma that enveloped the huge dog head of the snarling sky dog disappeared without a trace in an instant. The snarling dog who noticed this suddenly let out a long sigh of relief. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for successfully conquering the sacred animal Roaring Dog, the special plot mission, saving the Three Kingdoms Novice Zone, officially ended, because the player Ye Chen completed perfectly, and the completion rate was 100%. The player will be rewarded with the Ye Chen Lottery X5 and Spirit Weapon Armor Forging Drawing X1, Spirit Weapon Forging Drawing X2. As soon as the world announcement is over, the world channel will fry the pan instantly. Fuck. Fuck. I didn't read you wrong, did you? The special plot mission has just been released, and it hasn't been long before Ye Chen subdued the Sky Dog. It's him, isn't this bullshit? Snarling dog, that is a sacred beast, or a sacred beast of the lower realm, how can Ye Chen conquer it? I am not convinced. Ye Chen is cheating. Absolute cheating. Not cheating, I write the name upside down. Grass. I said earlier that Ye Chen is cheating, and he has been cheating since the beginning of the game. This time you believe it, he, how could the snarling dog be subdued? Wow. Kaka, Ye Chen's boss is awesome, I will ask you if you accept it. Go. You idiot, don't you understand, Ye Chen is dead. Fool. Do you think that the boss of Ye Chen is on the hook, and you even opened one for Lao Tzu to see, and don't want to think about it? Is this the game you used to play on the computer? Let's stop talking about cheating, anyway, in my opinion, Ye Chen's cheating is not important. The important thing is that this game can continue to play, otherwise, no one can enter the game world. Yes, anyway, Ye Chen has also subdued the snarling dog, and the plot mission is over, saying that cheating is not cheating, it is useful, the fact is already like this. By the way, don't you see the point? The special Ye Chen got the blueprint for forging. This special thing is the point. Hey? Don't you tell me. I really ignored this, right? It doesn't mean that there are more advanced equipment on the sky level equipment, such as what kind of spiritual tool. Nonsense, for sure, otherwise how could the world announcement say that? Boss Ye Chen, can't accept the younger brother? The younger brother is the stubborn fan of the boss, waiting for the boss Ye Chen to nod. The same is the brain residue fan plus one. Plus one zero zero eight six. The world channel kept refreshing, and after taking a look, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. The players were shocked because Ye Chen had subdued the snarling skyhound, and then one by one said that Ye Chen cheated. In fact, the players were jealous and hated. The players thought that Ye Chen might kill the skyhound, but this would have to go through a very difficult process. But the facts were beyond the expectations of the players. Ye Chen didn't take much effort to subdue the Sky Dog. This is really unacceptable to most players. Because deep in the hearts of these players, what Ye Chen thinks is that Ye Chen will suffer a lot of losses in the process of dealing with the snarling dogs. In this way, Ye Chen's army would suffer, and they would surely suffer heavy casualties. Of course, if Ye Chen could die a few times and drop his realm below the innate realm, it would be even better. If this becomes a reality, Ye Chen's road to hegemony will inevitably be cut. Then, 
players will have the opportunity to blend in on the road to dominate hegemony and prevent Ye Chen from continuing to dominate. These are the real thoughts in the hearts of the players who scolded Ye Chen for cheating. Ye Chen, who was born again, knows this very well, because Ye Chen has seen too many similar things in his previous life, and even heard many players privately discussing whoever hangs up a few times. Thing. It is precisely because Ye Chen knows this and knows this that Ye Chen is so disdainful. Because these people simply don't have the mentality that a strong person should have, let alone the foundation to become a strong person. The real strong will never do anything to pray for others to be unlucky, curse others for disasters, etc. They will only keep moving forward, moving forward, and doing everything possible to continuously become stronger and stronger again. The mindset of the ants, the fate of the ants, sad, sigh. Ye Chen didn't care about the players. Ye Chen only cared about how to become the strongest and work hard for it. Finally, he stood on top of the world and looked down on all living beings. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened, and the light flashed away. In the next second, Ye Chen looked at the three forging drawings that suddenly appeared in the small world. When Ye Chen read the three forging drawings, the corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. Spiritual Artifact Forging Drawings Unexpectedly, this special plot mission gave me this. Not bad. The reason why Ye Chen was so happy was because the equipment forged from the spirit tool forging blueprints were all spirit weapons. Of course, this is not the point. The point is that Ye Chen also has the innate treasure Qian Qin Ding that improves the equipment level. Once Ye Chen can forge the spirit tool, then Ye Chen can directly upgrade the spirit tool into a fairy tool through the innate treasure Qian Qin Ding. In this way, the worst equipment Ye Chen's men took would also be an immortal weapon. If this was against an ordinary demon race, or an ordinary force that soared to the wild, it would basically be able to kill the opponent to collapse. No way who made Ye Chen wealthy and luxuriously equipped. Yeah, it seems that we should focus on training blacksmiths. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The equipment drawings can only be forged after being learned by the blacksmith. This is a restriction of the rules. Otherwise, Ye Chen would not have the idea of cultivating a blacksmith. Of course, if a mortal blacksmith can break through to the transcendence realm and learn the corresponding forging blueprints, he will advance from a blacksmith to a refiner. And to train a blacksmith to become a craftsman is exactly the purpose of Ye Chen's training a blacksmith. Because only the blacksmith is advanced to the refiner, can he formally forge the spirit weapon. However, it is not so easy to train a refiner. Because, any refiner who wants to successfully refine extraordinary equipment will have to go through countless failures and master the skills before they can do it. In this process, the equipment that fails to refining is completely scrapped, cannot be recycled, cannot be decomposed, and can only be treated as waste. Therefore, in the process of cultivating blacksmiths, Ye Chen not only has to provide the blacksmiths with a large amount of spiritual tool refining materials, but also raises the realm of the blacksmiths to the transcendent realm. And among this, raising the realm of the blacksmith was a trivial matter for Ye Chen. Because Ye Chen has a lot of resources at the moment, and there are still a lot of two world stones. If you want to get rid of the restrictions on the indigenous of the Three Kingdoms novice zone and improve the realm of the blacksmith, you just need to take the blacksmith to the real world. It's very simple and easy. As for providing the refining master with refining materials, it was not difficult for Ye Chen. Because in the secret realm of Ye Chen Li's clan, he had seen two material mountains below the fairy level. Although Ye Chen disliked them for being too low level, and after flying into the wild, they were everywhere, and did not take away these two large mountains of materials, but now, Ye Chen has found their use. To be precise, it is used to train refiners. Of course, if it hadn't been for accidentally obtaining the spirit weapon equipment refining blueprint, Ye Chen would not have moved this thought. After all, in the prehistoric world, 
if you want fairy level materials, you can easily find them, let alone those below the fairy level. However, it is different now. Ye Chen has a complete opportunity to train his own blacksmith to become a craftsman, and then before ascending, he will equip his subordinates with immortal crafts. Ye Chen who was aware of this, how could he willfully ignore this and ignore the past? When this is over, arrange for the blacksmith to go to the real world. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, an unwilling roar suddenly sounded. Roar! Ye Chen followed the prestige, and then curled his lips in disdain. However, Qin Shi Wang didn't know how to conquer Jing Kei. Under the burning of the Scarlet Lotus, his life had come to an end. At any rate, he is also a famous assassin who has come back to help Qin Shi Wang and work for Qin Shi Wang. It's really a bit bloody. Ye Chen just thought of this, and the system prompt sounded again. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who killed the pre-Qin assassin, Jing Kei. Because of his special status, the player will be rewarded with X2000 and 8 attribute points and X1 in the lottery. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Not bad, not bad, another big gain. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the original realm of Divine Martial Realm suddenly jumped upward. In the next second, an upgraded light suddenly appeared on Ye Chen. At the same time, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen. The cultivation base has reached the tribulation period. Because of the player's identity as the Teku monk, the test will officially start after three seconds. Please prepare for the player Ye Chen. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. This trip to the secret realm of the underground palace really came right. That's how it's done to fight monsters, and it's upgraded, and without using innate attribute points, it's upgraded to one level. As long as he passes the test, he will officially become a primordial monk who crosses the tribulation period. After all the innate attribute points are clicked, it should be able to reach the great perfection during the tribulation period. Ye Chen's face suddenly stiffened when he thought of this. Damn it! You can't use these innate attribute points. Right, after the great perfection of the tribulation period, it will be the flying immortal tribulation immediately. If it fails to pass, it will turn into ashes, but after passing through it, it won't work if you don't want to fly. What's so special, fortunately, I thought of this, otherwise this time it would be a bad thing. Ye Chen's goal in the Three Kingdoms novice zone is to dominate the world, and then the whole country soars. If he hadn't completed this goal, he would fly directly, and all of Ye Chen's plans would have been cut in half. Ye Chen didn't want to see such a result. Just when Ye Chen was grateful to himself, the sky was full of white clouds. Suddenly, the wind roared and dark clouds rolled. In the blink of an eye, the world fell into darkness. The snarling dog, who had just been conquered by Ye Chen, saw the sky change, his eyes stunned. Heavenly tribulation can be seen by the howling heavenly dog, but the heavenly tribulation at this moment is too ferocious and completely exceeds the heavenly tribulation that should appear in the Three Kingdoms novice zone. The sky dog really couldn't understand this, but immediately, sky dog thought of something, and then hurriedly looked at Ye Chen and shouted in surprise. Master! The tribulation is not right this time, leave quickly otherwise the power of the tribulation will become even greater. No wonder the sky dog is so frightened, you know, the sky dog is within Ji Yun's attack range at this moment. If Ye Chen crossed the catastrophe here, Ji Yun would definitely regard the sky snarling dog as helping Ye Chen cross the catastrophe, and then would count the strength of the sky snarling dog. In this way, Ye Chen really might not be able to resist, and then he would be chopped to death by heavenly tribulation. After that, the roaring heaven dog who had just admitted the Lord would definitely die. After all, it had just sworn to the Dao of Heaven, and had been loyal to Ye Chen for life, and if Ye Chen died, it would not be able to survive. Of course, this was what the sky dog had in mind, and Ye Chen didn't have this idea. P. 
people may be afraid of crossing the robbery, but Ye Chen won't. Because Ye Chen had already crossed the tribulation several times, and because of his identity as a primordial monk, he had caused extremely perverted tribulation, but Ye Chen didn't worry about it once. As for the reason, it is very simple. Ye Chen has a bunch of innate spirit treasures, innate treasures. It doesn't matter if the physical body can't bear the tribulation of heaven, it doesn't matter, just smash the tribulation to pieces directly, what's to worry about? Ye Chen, who heard the snarling dog exclaimed, glanced at the snarling dog, and nodded in satisfaction. No matter what the screaming dog was thinking, he was worried about Ye Chen's safety and advised Ye Chen to leave as soon as possible, which proved that the screaming dog had indeed become Ye Chen's servant. And this is exactly what Ye Chen likes to see. Now, you can be completely relieved. No matter how uncomfortable the roaring sky dog is about recognizing the Lord, at least this has indeed become a reality. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, then looked towards the sky and quickly pressed to the ground, constantly releasing the violent and coercive pitch black cloud. If you cross the calamity here, the power of the calamity will skyrocket. In this way, the power of heavenly tribulation should far exceed the normal flying immortal tribulation. If this is the case, then after passing through, there should be rain from the sky. In this way, the primordial spirit who was killed by me should be able to recover some, and it is not impossible to even recover completely. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, an extremely tyrannical aura suddenly erupted from Ye Chen. At the same time, Ye Chen's primordial spirit, as well as his physical body, directly soared upwards at an extremely abnormal speed. What changed along with it was the mana in Ye Chen's body and Ye Chen's divine consciousness. Just as Ye Chen felt the changes in his body, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the first advance to cross the catastrophe period, special reward player Ye Chen, innate attribute points x1000. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. Fuck. Fuck. What's the situation? Why did Ye Chen advance again and still survive the catastrophe, what kind of realm is this special? Are you stupid? Don't you know that Ye Chen was in the Divine Martial Realm before, and the Tribulation Period must be the next realm of Divine Martial Realm, so you need to ask. That's ridiculous, I clearly remembered that when Ye Chen advanced to the Divine Martial Realm, I just advanced to a King Level General, and now Ye Chen has advanced again but I didn't even have a royal level general. Hey, people are more popular than others, Saonian, you have to learn to be calm. I've told you all, Ye Chen is a pervert, compare with anyone, don't compare with Ye Chen. Hey, Ye Chen's boss is the best, there is no one, you have to accept if you don't accept it. Boss Ye Chen, I really want to take refuge in my brother, you are so awesome, you don't have to worry that someone will turn back, and I can swear to God that I will never betray Boss Ye Chen. Yes, yes, Ye Chen, the younger brother can also swear that he will never betray Ye Chen, and beg Ye Chen to take him in. Beauty League, congratulations to Lord Ya Wang, advance to the tribulation period. The world channel was full of waves, constantly refreshing the screen, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows after taking a look. If you want to advance quickly, you have to have the corresponding capital. Without this capital, you can only improve a little bit. Instead of envy and jealousy, it is better to look for opportunities honestly, or work quietly to fight monsters, which is more real. The players were shocked because of Ye Chen's advancement, and because of Ye Chen's advancement, they were also envious and jealous, and even a little bit of hatred. Ye Chen could see this. But Ye Chen didn't care about this at all. No matter how envious or jealous the players were, even hate could not prevent Ye Chen from being happy. After all, it took Ye Chen only a few days to advance to the tribulation period, 
and he also obtained a large number of innate attribute points. It is difficult to think about it. As for the players asking Ye Chen to accept them as younger brothers, Ye Chen chose to ignore it. Ye Chen's current realm is far greater than that of all players, enough for players to keep their feet safe, but betray this matter, even if Ye Chen is strong, he can't control it. After all, it is the players who want to follow Ye Chen. From the very beginning, there has been a lot of uncertainty in this group. Ye Chen didn't have the time to play some intrigue games with the players. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, a colorful rainbow suddenly hung across the sky. Seeing the colorful rainbow that suddenly appeared in the sky, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. The rain fell from the sky, and it really came. Rain from the sky is a reward from heaven and earth for those who have survived the abnormal catastrophe. It contains majestic vitality. Touching it can repair the damage of the body and the soul, and it can also purify the flesh and enhance the roots and bones. A lot, but it is extremely difficult to appear. Because very few people can survive the perverted catastrophe. And Ye Chen deliberately didn't leave, and the catastrophe that caused it was ten times more perverted than the normal flying immortal tribulation. In addition, Ye Chen's realm was enough to win the appearance of heavenly rain. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, the sky suddenly began to rain with a rainbow of colors, swaying to the ground with the wind. At this moment, the ecstatic voice of Roaring Sky Dog suddenly sounded. Master, hurry up, call me out, I can't get out in the summoning channel. Ye Chen smiled slightly after hearing the hopeful call of the Roaring Sky Dog, and then moved his mind. In the next second, the sky dog who was stuck in the summoning channel appeared beside Ye Chen in an instant. Thank you, master. He was overjoyed when he found that the snarling sky dog had completely left the summoning channel, and then exclaimed to Ye Chen with excitement. After speaking, he jumped forward and arrived in an instant, a hundred meters away from Ye Chen. The snarling dog did this, naturally, not wanting to affect Ye Chen's harvest. Although this effect is small, Sky Dog didn't want Ye Chen to absorb rain less because of it. Looking at the snarling dog running 100 meters away, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile after a slight daze. Yes, yes, this guy seems to be completely homed. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked straight at the colorful rainbow rain falling into the sky. It is a pity that the rain from the sky cannot be collected, otherwise, it can be collected so that it will not be wasted. But it doesn't matter. Thinking of this, Ye Chen directly soared into the air, and then flew in the sky wantonly. Ye Chen did this, naturally, to absorb the great rain as much as possible, so as to maximize the benefits. Ye Chen absorbed the rain to the maximum in this way, while the roaring sky dog on the other side directly enlarged his body and waited for the rain to come. In the distance, Qin Shi Wang, who was still being burned by the Red Lotus Industry fire, looked at the sky constantly flying, Ye Chen frantically searching for the colorful rainbow rain, and his scarlet eyes suddenly became confused. Could it be that my way is really wrong? Qin Shi Wang saw the appearance of heavenly tribulation, and also saw Ye Chen's means to fight the heavenly tribulation. At that moment, Ye Chen completely erected an invincible figure in Qin Shi Wang's heart. It was also at that moment that Qin Shi Wang suddenly felt that all his plans and all his efforts were so ridiculous after facing Ye Chen. Turning hands is cloud, covering hands is rain, unsurpassed, unmatched, is the feeling that Ye Chen gave to Qin Shi Wang. Even if the catastrophe has passed, this feeling still has not disappeared. So that the Emperor of the Ages, Qin Shi Wang, who should have been domineering and ferocious, had no hatred for Ye Chen, and then began to doubt life. Boom! The Red Lotus Industry fire is still burning mercilessly, Qin Shi Wang's zombie body, Qin Shi Wang's soul. The pain was still there, but Qin Shi Wang, who was in doubt, suddenly didn't feel the pain. Perplexed, puzzled, and confused, began to fill Qin Shi Wang's heart. He didn't understand why Ye Chen could be so strong, and he didn't understand why he clearly planned everything and he was about to succeed, but simply and rudely failed. Then, he became nothing. 
After a brief period of doubt, Qin Shi Huang's lifespan came to an end. At this moment, Qin Shi Huang's confused eyes suddenly regained clarity. In the next second, Qin Shi Huang looked towards the sky blankly, and then shouted. I, there is nothing wrong. What is wrong is that I did not recognize this way of heaven. If there is an afterlife, I will still choose and go against the sky. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Emperor Qin Shi Huang's words fell, his body instantly turned into flying ashes, and then drifted away in the wind. In the sky, Ye Chen, who was frantically searching for the Gan Lin, heard this, glanced at the flying ash that was drifting in the wind, and curled his lips in disdain. Going against the sky, this is true, none of the cultivators is not going against the sky. What a special betrayal of the human race, he still said so confidently. It's really sad. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, nine quaint big tripods suddenly appeared at the place where Qin Shi Huang died. Seeing this, Ye Chen did not hesitate to stretch out his hand to take a photo and instantly received the nine neatly arranged large tripods on the ground into the small world. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for obtaining a special treasure. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. Zhen Guo Juding, finally got it. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glanced at the Zhen Guo Juding in the small world, and then exhaled for a long time. After the end of the World War, it was almost the Dong Daji turmoil, and after a short while, the battle for hegemony of the princes would begin. At that time, you don't have to worry about this and that, you will directly sweep the world, and then the whole country will soar. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for killing Qin Shi Wang. Because of his special status, the player will be rewarded with X2000 and 8 attribute points and X5 in the lottery. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, instantly detonating the already boiling world channel. What's the matter, Qin Shi Huang was also killed by Ye Chen, Nima, at any rate, is also the emperor of the ages, this is too bad, right? What's so surprising, don't forget, Ye Chen's realm. He killed Bai Qi, also killed Jing Kei, and even more specifically received the snarling sky dog, even if Qin Shi Huang is so awesome, where can he be so awesome? Hey, Ye Chen is so awesome now, there is no rival at all, what else will happen to us in this game world in the future? Puzzling chicken feathers, it is the lords who should panic, and you are not the lords, just play the game with peace of mind. Nima, don't say that it's irrelevant to yourself. Don't forget, the protective shield of a safe city in the real world has disappeared. Yet, although there are still a lot of special safe cities, they have not been broken by the monsters, but they can't hold on for long. In the end, we still have to mess with those lords. If they are unlucky, where do we go to live in the future? Worry about a hammer, and you don't have to mess with those lords. We can make a village building order ourselves and build territories in the real world. We have to endure the exploitation of those lords. Really, you are talking about lightness. If you make a village building order that can be used in reality, who will use it? Can you guarantee that those who use the village building order will not exploit others like those lords? Grass, this doesn't work, that doesn't work either. Are you talking about what to do? Actually, Ye Chen let go of those lords and everything was resolved. Yes, I really hope Ye Chen can let go of those lords. Ye Chen, human race is actually very poor, let go of those lords. I feel so too, Lord Ya Wang, human race can't have civil strife anymore. The world channel was boisterous, constantly refreshing the screen, after a glance, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. The players were shocked by the death of Qin Shi Huang, and then moved the topic to the real world because the players had already determined the fact that the first player, Ye Chen, could no longer contend. In the eyes of the players, 
Ye Chen, who is determined to take the root of dominance, will definitely kill all the Lord players in the end. In this way, the Lord player will be unlucky directly, and the players who depend on the Lord player for survival will also be unlucky. Whether it is a Lord player or an individual player, they don't want to see such a situation happen. After all, the protective capacity of a safe city is simply inferior to the protective capacity of the territory built by the village order. Therefore, in the end, individual players still have to mix with the Lord player. It is also for this reason that whether it is a Lord player or an individual player, each and every one of them used this world announcement to express their concerns in their hearts, and wanted to find a safe and feasible solution. Unfortunately, for individual players, there are feasible solutions, but few people are willing to participate. Just like someone on the World Channel said, whoever uses the village building order, will the people who use the village building order bully others by virtue of their status as lords. Many worries, not wanting to lose their own interests, are what most individual players think at this moment. And put it on the lord player, they only thought of one, let Ye Chen let them go. Later, Individual players, because of their own interests, also participated in it, persuading Ye Chen to give up. And this is the root cause of Ye Chen's disdain after seeing the discussions among players on the World Channel. For Ye Chen, conquering the world is the way to go, no matter what the players say or do, Ye Chen will not change their decision. Because even if Ye Chen really had to deal with those Lord players, he would only take action in the game world and would not go to the real world to kill. But the players, one by one, righteous and awe-inspiring said the grand-sounding big truth, playing the emotional card and the human righteousness card, persuading Ye Chen to give up attacking the Lord player. In Ye Chen's eyes, this was nonsense. Especially, it's best to be honest, don't jump out and make trouble for Lao Tzu, otherwise, whoever jumps will die. Thinking of this, Ye Chen squinted his eyes, the cold light flashed away, and then his right hand made a move, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, Zhang Liao, Cai Yin, Chen Kun and others, as well as others. Five hundred and one hundred thousand reincarnation legions, one hundred thousand white horses Yi Kong, instantly appeared on the earth. After taking a look at the subordinates who were stuck in place because of the rain, Ye Chen, who had been flying all the time, smiled slightly, and then shouted. This is the rain falling from the sky. Don't miss it. Please try to receive it. The scope of the rain falling from the sky is not small. Ye Chen is exhausted and can't collect much. It's better to let them out and absorb them together to save waste. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun and others, as well as the army of the reincarnation city, all lit up in front of them, and then bowed and said loudly. Yes. Lord. In the next second, Ye Chen's men and soldiers also avoided the area where Ye Chen was located, and then began to receive the colorful rainbow rain. Ye Chen who flew back and forth in the sky and wanted to search for the colorful rainbow rain, couldn't help but smile when he saw it, and then accelerated again and searched at a faster speed. Rain from the sky is hard to come by, and Ye Chen didn't want to miss this opportunity for promotion. As soon as the tea time passed, the seven-color rainbow rain disappeared, and Ye Chen, who was searching for the Gan Lin, stopped immediately. At this moment, an extremely comfortable feeling instantly appeared in Ye Chen's heart. Perceiving this change, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up. The physical body seems to have doubled directly, and the roots have also been upgraded by one star. Not bad. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Zhang San, Guo Yi, and his subordinates suddenly increased their breath. Perceiving this, Ye Chen glanced at his men and nodded in satisfaction. Yes, yes, 
their physical bodies have also been strengthened by the Ganlin, and their roots and cultivation have also improved a lot. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, a special breath suddenly appeared on the soldiers of the 510,000 reincarnation legions and 100,000 white horses. Before Ye Chen could check, the system prompt sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, the Samsara Legion, and Bema Yikong has advanced to a heavenly soldier because of a special opportunity. The seal restrictions on the Three Kingdoms novice zone have been completely lifted. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen's eyes lit up sharply. Damn it! The rain from the sky still has this effect. Thinking of this, Ye Chen hurriedly looked at the introduction of the Heaven Soldier's attributes. Heavenly Soldier, special title, the owner, can be in the low level world, ignoring the restrictions of the laws of heaven and earth on cultivation, and exert one's own strength 100%, which has a suppressing effect on demons. The introduction to the attributes of the heavenly soldiers is exactly the same as the attributes of the heavenly descendants. How can it be exactly the same? No, there must be a difference, it should be in the suppression of demons effect. Ye Chen just thought of this. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others glanced at each other, and then they were extremely moved to Ye Chen, bowed and said loudly. Thank you for the Lord's gift. Thank you for the Lord's gift. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion and the White Horse Ye Kong followed closely behind them, bowed respectfully to Ye Chen, and worshipped loudly. Hundreds of thousands of people shouted together, and the trembling sky buzzed. No matter it is Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, or the soldiers of the Samsara Legion and the White Horse Ye Kong, they don't know what rainfall from heaven is. Big benefits. It is precisely because they know that they are so moved. Ye Chen nodded with a smile after hearing the words moved by his men inexplicably. At this moment, a piece of advanced aura suddenly appeared from the soldiers of the Samsara Legion and the White Horse Ye Kong. Perceiving this, Ye Chen looked over directly. Transcendence. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others, and shouted. You and other leaders will clean up all the remaining zombies. Yes. Lord. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and the others heard this bowed together and responded loudly. After speaking, they brought the Samsara Legion and White Horse Ye Kong towards in the distance, because of the death of Qin Shi Wang, the corpse of zombies standing still rushed away. Following the actions of the army of the reincarnation city, the army of zombies that had stood still, looked over one by one. The next second, the zombie army opened their mouths together, and then issued a sky-shaking roar. Roar. Roar! Roar! The voice was like weeping, like unwillingness, but also like anger. Ye Chen glanced at the remaining army of zombies, frowning involuntarily. These zombies don't seem to be right. Ye Chen just thought of this. Since absorbing the rain, the snarling dog, who closed his eyes and kept his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes, then looked at Ye Chen and shouted. Master! These zombies are going to explode, don't send them over. Ye Chen's face suddenly sank when he heard this, then looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, and others, and shouted. Stop! Use your bow and arrows. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Guo Yi, Zhang San, and others also had the reincarnation legion, and Bema Yikong, Chi Chi stopped and immediately replaced the equipment. In the next second, hundreds of thousands of spiritual weapon level longbows were held high, and then the soldiers were seen, without hesitation, drawing out their arrows, drawing their bows and setting arrows, and aimed them at the zombie army who wanted to explode. Fall the arrow! Ye Chen immediately shouted when he saw this. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the sound of arrows leaving the string suddenly sounded incomparably dense. Zhang! 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 
Six hundred and one hundred thousand arrows left the string in an instant, and then quickly shot towards the remaining army of zombies. In the next second, the sound of arrows entering the flesh, instantly sounded extremely densely. Puff, puff, puff. I saw the six hundred and one hundred thousand arrows covering the sky and the sun. They came to the location of the zombie army in an instant, and then slammed into the body of the zombie soldier. In the next second, golden and red rays of light lit up in patches. At the same time, a series of extremely dense explosions sounded. Boom! 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 I saw the zombie soldiers shot by the arrows exploded in pieces, and then splashed into the sky with fragments, which were ignited in the blink of an eye, and then turned into flying ashes and drifted away in the wind. After seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly brightened after a slight stunned. I rub, I am worthy of being a heavenly soldier who has a suppressing effect on demons. In order to make it easier for his men to kill zombies, Ye Chen specially blessed his soldiers' weapons and blessed evil runes. With the weapon blessed by the evil rune, it is naturally easy to kill the zombies, but the evil rune alone cannot do the simple and rude killing of the zombies. This title is really good. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at the snarling dog and asked. Good job, how is your recovery? Master, the primordial spirit is still a little bit, and it will be able to completely recover. The sky dog grinned when he heard this, and then hurriedly said. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then asked. The Emperor Qin is dead, can you return to the prehistoric land? Master, I am a sky demon and I can return to the prehistoric land. Hearing this, the snarling sky dog was slightly taken aback, and then said. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction after hearing the affirmative answer from the sky hound dog. He was about to tell the sky hound dog what to do in Hong Huang, but suddenly remembered the little black dog demon who killed him in the real world. The little black dog demon was the offspring of the sky dog, and claimed that his grandmother was the sky demon of the lion clan but was eventually slaughtered by Ye Chen. Thinking of this, Ye Chen frowned involuntarily, then looked at the snarling dog and asked. Do you have a descendant who has been summoned by the altar of summons and left the prehistoric? Looks like its grandmother is the lion demon. When Ye Chen said this, he suddenly thought of something, and then said. That dog, I killed it. The roaring sky dog was stunned because of Ye Chen's questioning. After hearing the words behind Ye Chen, he was taken aback again. After recovering, the roaring sky dog quickly said. Master, this, this, I don't remember any offspring. I don't remember. Ye Chen froze for a while, couldn't help looking at the sky dog. After confirming that the sky dog was not lying, his brows frowned, and then he said. The little black dog demon, you do have a trace of your blood but it's very indifferent. Master, I dare not lie. I really don't have any impression. No, it seems. I seem to be stunned by the princess of the lion clan. When the snarling dog said this, it stopped abruptly, and then the dog's eyes were fierce strobe. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at the snarling dog with fierce eyes, and then said. It seems to be your offspring. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he was silent for a moment, and then said. Being a slave for thousands of years, I will give you freedom. If you want to take revenge then, just come to me. Hearing this, the snarling dog was taken aback for a moment. After regaining his consciousness, the snarling dog hurriedly lowered his head and said anxiously. Master, the snarling dog has sworn to be loyal to the owner for life, and will never betray the owner. As for the little demon, even if he had my blood, it would definitely not have appeared through normal channels. Otherwise, when it dies, I must be aware of it. It's not a normal way. Ye Chen couldn't help looking at the snarling dog after a moment, and then said. You mean, the lion tribe wants to gain your talents and supernatural powers, so I knocked you out, took your blood, and then deliberately cultivated the descendants of the lion tribe with your blood. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, 
the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. After hearing Ye Chen's words, the snarling dog nodded hastily, and then said. Yes, Master, the Lion Clan Patriarch once asked me to help find the location of the Kylan Clan's treasure house. At that time, I directly refused. The Lion Clan chief was furious because of this, and then ordered the Lion Clan to arrest me. Fortunately, I was fast enough to escape. But later, I ran into a Lion Clan princess by chance, and I don't know what means she used, which directly fainted me. It should be at that time that my blood was taken away by the Lion Clan princess, and then used by the Lion Clan to create some stray pieces with my bloodline. The Sky Dog said here, an uncontrollable anger rose up from the Sky Dog's body in an instant. There is no way, whoever finds that they have been calculated will not be happy in his heart, and the Sky Dog is no exception. After listening to the explanation of the snarling dog, Ye Chen was taken aback for a while, and then exhaled for a long time. That's it. Originally, Ye Chen was a little awkward because the black dog Little Demon is the offspring of the Roaring Sky Dog. No way, who told Ye Chen to kill the black dog Little Demon with the blood of the Sky Dog? If you don't open up this matter and recognize Ye Chen's snarling dog, in all likelihood, he won't be serious about doing things for Ye Chen. Of course, even if you say it openly, the snarling dog may also violate the yin and the yang. However, if Ye Chen doesn't point it out, the snarling dog is more likely to violate the yin and the yang. This is not the result Ye Chen wanted to see. But now, Ye Chen understood the whole story, and naturally wouldn't worry about it anymore. Unexpectedly, I asked casually, I also asked the Kylan family treasure house. The Kylan tribe, the Dragon tribe, the Phoenix tribe, and the three tribes were called the tribe, and they fell into the battle of the tribes. Although the Unicorn tribe was not completely extinct, few unicorns survived the world. Of course, this is not important. What is important is that, as the unicorns who dominated the prehistoric for a while, like the dragons and the phoenixes, they also have a treasure trove of races. And in the treasure house belonging to the Kylan tribe, there must be a huge amount of treasures, a huge amount of materials, and they are all top-notch existences. And this is the fundamental reason why Ye Chen shifted his focus from the offspring of the Sky Dog to the Kylan clan's treasure house. You know, an empire wants to rise, but it's not that simple. A single resource can make people heady. If Ye Chen can get the entire Kylan clan's treasure house, the army of Reincarnation City will surely rise strongly and become famous in the prehistoric world. For the dragon treasure house, I received a young dragon that has not yet been born, and now I have heard the news of the Kylan treasure house. Hey, this luck is really against the sky. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curled his mouth, but immediately, Ye Chen thought of something, and then frowned. Wait, it's not quite right. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at the snarling dog and asked. The Lion Clan chief is looking for you to explore the location of the Kylan Clan treasure house, is it because he controls a unicorn clan? After hearing Ye Chen's question, the snarling dog suddenly awoke from his anger, and then hurriedly said. Yes, master although the Lion Clan chief did not say clearly, but I can be sure that it must have the Unicorn Clan in its hands, otherwise, it will not ask me for help to find the location of the Unicorn Clan's treasure house. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this. Ye Chen didn't like the answer of the snarling dog. Because if the head of the Lion Clan confirms the location of the Kylan Clan's treasure house, he can use the Kylan Clan Royal Clan in his hands to open the Kylan Clan's treasure house at any time. Of course, the Kirin Clan Royal Family will certainly not succumb to the Lion Clan Chief, even if it is dead, it will not succumb. However, to open the Kylan Clan's treasure house, it really does not necessarily require the Kylan Royal Clan to yield. For example, the Kylan clan's imperial consciousness is wiped out and refined into a living puppet, without intelligence and consciousness, just let it live purely and live as a key. In this state, 
the Kylan Imperial family has no consciousness at all, and only obeys the command line. Then, if the Kylan family treasure house wants to open, there is no difficulty. This method of refining puppets was very evil, and Ye Chen had only heard about it in his previous life. To be precise, this method of practicing puppets comes from the devil ancestor Luahu. Ye Chen had already made this judgment through what he said through the snarling dog, that the patriarch of the Rosh Zalian clan is the descendant of Luohu. Otherwise, it is impossible for him to find the roaring dog to find the location of the Kylan clan's treasure house. As for making the snarling dog into a puppet and then controlling the snarling dog, the Lion clan chief would definitely not do that. Because of this, the snarling sky dog's talents and supernatural powers will be useless, and then it will be impossible to find the location of the Kylan family's treasure house. And this is also the fundamental reason why the snarling dog has lived unharmed until now. Otherwise, the snarling dog would have become a puppet after being stunned by the lion princess. Really, I did not expect that a Kylan clan treasure house would involve Luohu. It seems that the killing spear is the weapon that Luohu once used. I just don't know whether the Kylan clan's treasure house is Luohu's target or the lion clan's patriarch's target. Whether it is the goal of the Lion Clan chief or Luo Hu, Lao Tzu will not take a step back. Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and the cold light flashed away. In the next second, Ye Chen looked directly at the snarling dog and asked. The location of the Kylan Clan's treasure house, are you sure you can find it? Master, although only the Kylan royal family knows its location, if I can smell the scent of the Kylan royal family, I can also find the location of the Kylan family treasure house. Hearing this, the sky dog was stunned. Then said somewhat proudly. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction after hearing the answer from the roaring sky dog, then looked at the roaring sky dog and said. Very well, when you return to the prehistoric land, you will spread a message around that the lion clan chief is the descendant of Luahu. Luahu. Hearing this, the sky dog was taken aback for a moment, and then he was in a daze. The sky dog had thought about various possibilities, except that the news that Ye Chen asked it to spread was related to Luo Hu. Who is Luo Hu, the indigenous in the prehistoric world, none of them don't know, that is the famous demon ancestor, who is in such a strong confrontation with Hung Jun. After regaining his consciousness, the snarling sky dog swallowed with a gudong then looked at Ye Chen cautiously, and said. Master, Luo Hui hasn't completely died yet, this. Be courageous, even if you go to spread it, you are afraid of a fart. Ye Chen heard this, glared at the snarling dog, and then shouted. Tao and demon represent the extremes of the two ways, like good and evil, yin and yang, although they are opposite, they exist at the same time. Therefore, even if Luo Hu was annihilated by the fly ash that Hung Jun had done, he still did not completely die. To be precise, if the devil is not eliminated, Luo Hu will not be destroyed. Ye Chen knew this naturally, but Ye Chen didn't worry at all. After all, the great killing spear in Ye Chen's hand was Luo Yu's former weapon. It can be said that from the moment Ye Chen got the great killing spear, there was cause and effect with Luo Yu. If it's someone else, you might be frightened. After all, that's the demon ancestor. But Ye Chen wouldn't be afraid, and there was nothing to be afraid of. What can the demon ancestor do? Ye Chen will have to deal with Daezu Hung Jun in the near future, and even more so single-handedly against Daxian Yang Mei who is even more powerful than Daezu demon ancestor. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. After hearing Ye Chen's domineering words, the sky dog was stunned. It never thought that its owner, Ye Chen, after hearing what it said, Luo Hu has not completely died, still let it continue to do things according to that order. In the eyes of the snarling dog, the most sensible way is to give up directly, otherwise, who knows if Luo Hu will miss it. If Luo Hu really missed it, the consequences would be really serious. After all, Luo Hu didn't completely die. 
if he waited for his resurrection, and then found out the cause and effect, the fun would be great. When the snarling dog was in a daze, Ye Chen raised his right hand and slapped the snarling dog without hesitation. After the pop, Ye Chen scolded. You are also a divine beast anyway, take some courage to come, your master is not afraid of me, you are afraid of a fart, even if Luahu can be resurrected, when the time comes to find trouble, your master will stop me, do you understand? After Ye Chen finished speaking, with a move with his right hand, the dark and thick gunkiller appeared instantaneously, and then Ye Chen held it in his hand. The sky dog who was slapped by Ye Chen, was about to speak, but suddenly saw the sharp killer in Ye Chen's hand. At this moment, sky dog suddenly thought of something, and then looked at Ye Chen with dull eyes. He said dumbfounded. Master, the spear in your hand, not, it's not just the god killer. The snarling dog was previously beheaded by the killing spear, and he knew the horror of the killing spear. But at that time, it hadn't really thought about it. The gun in Ye Chen's hand was the famous killing gun. And now, when the sky dog saw the killing spear again, he naturally remembered the fact that the killing spear had killed some of its primordial spirits, plus Ye Chen just mentioned Luo Yu, and the innate treasure exuded by the killing spear. Breath in the heart of the snarling dog, a judgment appeared involuntarily. Its owner, Ye Chen, had the spear in his hand, which was the weapon of the former demon ancestor Luo Hu. This judgment made the snarling sky dog shocked at the moment, otherwise, it wouldn't ask Ye Chen so dazedly. You know, the killing spear was once the weapon of the demon ancestor, even if it was broken because of the war, it was also the weapon of the demon ancestor. But now, it's in Ye Chen's hands, and it's still a complete shotgun. What does it mean? Even if Ye Chen didn't say it, the sky dog knew it. To be precise, there was an indelible cause and effect between Ye Chen and Mozu Luohu. To be more precise, as long as Luohu was resurrected, he would find Ye Chen trouble 100%. And this is the most frightening place in the heart of Roaring Sky Dog. Ye Chen frowned when he heard the snarling words of the roaring sky dog. Just when Ye Chen was about to get angry because of the cowardly of the roaring sky dog, the roaring sky dog suddenly exhaled long and solemnly. Said. Master, don't worry, this matter is on my body. As long as I return to the land, I will definitely spread the news that the lion clan chief is the descendant of Luahu as soon as possible. Aren't you afraid? Ye Chen couldn't help but froze when he heard the 180-degree turn of the sky dog, then looked at the sky dog and asked. When the snarling dog heard this, he smirked a few times, and then said. Master, I am not afraid that it is false, but there is a cause and effect between the master and Luo Hu, and it is useless to be afraid. In the end, they will meet. Instead of being afraid, it is better to shoot directly and not give Luo Hu a chance to resurrect. You will wake up quickly. Ye Chen glared at the sky dog when he heard this, and then said. When the snarling dog heard this, he quickly showed a pleasing expression, and then said cautiously. Master, my loyalty, the master does not need to doubt, since I have chosen to follow the master, I will not betray. When Ye Chen heard the snarling dog expressing his allegiance, he glanced at the snarling dog, then nodded and said. When you go back later, in addition to spreading the news, remember to look for the old nest of the descendants of the unicorn family. After you find the location, don't stun the snake, just write it down. If there is a unicorn egg, try to steal it directly. In addition, when you are in the wilderness, when you are okay, search for treasures of heaven and earth everywhere for me, whether it is high level or low level, don't let it go. Of course, the premise is that there is no danger. By the way, if you find a human, a demon, or other species that has soared into the wild, find out all of them and kill him. Ye Chen asked the sky dog to look for the nest of the offspring of the unicorns, and even let the sky dog steal the unicorn eggs to prepare for the Kylan treasure house. After all, in order to open the Kylan clan's treasure house, in addition to knowing the location, the Kylan clan's royal family has to act. 
The Lion Clan chief had the Kylan Clan Imperial Clan in his hands, but that was without his mind. Even if Ye Chen snatched it over, he couldn't use it to control it. After all, that was not the puppet of the Kylan Clan Imperial family refined by Ye Chen, and could not be controlled at all. Therefore, Ye Chen asked the Sky Dog to look for the nest of the descendants of the Kylan tribe. As long as the home of the Kylan tribe's descendants is determined, the rest is simple. To be precise, as long as there is a unicorn egg in the nest of the descendants of the unicorn tribe, the Sky Dog can steal it. If you can't steal it, it doesn't matter. After Ye Chen soars into the wild, he will also take action to the unicorn egg. As for the purpose, it is to let the infant unicorn recognize the master, and then train them into the unicorn family. In this way, Ye Chen will not only have one more subordinate, but also the entire Kylan clan's treasure house. If there are no unicorn eggs in the lair of the descendants of the unicorn tribe, that's okay. It didn't happen for a while, and it will still appear, and Ye Chen will also make plans for the Kylan tribe's offspring, and then he will grab it. As for Ye Chen letting the snarling dog search for the treasures of heaven and earth, both good and bad, but also to prepare for the army. After all, in addition to killing monsters and upgrading, you can also cultivate yourself to improve your cultivation level. If you want a fast cultivation speed, you can't have resources to support it. Originally, Ye Chen had planned to search after he soared into the wilderness, but now he has accidentally conquered the Skyhound dog, and put the Skyhound dog without it. It was too wasteful. As for Ye Chen, Letting the Sky Dog kill all the humans, demons, or other species that soared into the wild, just in case. After all, Ye Chen couldn't control the players in other worlds, so he soared into the wild. If players from other worlds have ascended to the predecessor first, but Ye Chen hasn't ascended yet, isn't it just letting others take the lead? Although the possibility of this situation is not very high, Ye Chen still wants to prevent it. Before, Ye Chen had no choice but to watch this, but now he doesn't use it anymore. To be precise, as long as you release the snarling sky dog, run across the land, and see something soaring up, you can do it, and that's it. After hearing Ye Chen's instructions, the snarling dog was taken aback for a moment, and then hurriedly nodded in response. Yes, master. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction, and then said. Although there are not many things for you to do, it is troublesome and dangerous. Remember, don't try to be aggressive in everything, there is danger, and life is the first thing. If this process happens, if you are enmity with the monster or the witch clan, don't worry. Just run away if you can't beat them, and then just write them down. After I have dealt with my affairs in this world, I will fly into the wild. When the time comes, I will call you the shots, revenge, and grievances. When the snarling dog heard this, he was taken aback for a moment, and then his eyes lit up. In the next second, the sky snarling dog turned to Ye Chen and replied respectfully. Yes. Master. Ye Chen's realm is now lower than that of the Roaring Sky Dog, but Ye Chen has a pile of innate treasures and innate spirit treasures, their power is extremely strong, just take out one, can kill all directions. Of course, the premise is that Ye Chen's realm must be sufficient, and the innate spirit treasure or innate treasure must be thoroughly refined, otherwise, Ye Chen can't kill the quartet. But the snarling dog, don't think Ye Chen is talking big. As a sacred beast in the realm of the Sky Demon, the Sky Snarling Dog can clearly feel the speed at which Ye Chen absorbs the spiritual energy of the heavens and the earth, and can even feel the invisible and intangible force of luck on Ye Chen. Although the Sky Dog does not know why its owner, Ye Chen, has a huge blessing of aura, this does not hinder the judgment of the Sky Dog. In the eyes of the Sky Dog, its owner Ye Chen, even if the realm is not high now, is only temporary. As long as its owner Ye Chen rises to the wild, the realm will definitely be soaring fast. After all, 
the concentration of the spiritual energy of the world is too thin, and the grade is far lower than that of the predecessor, and it is impossible for Ye Chen to display the realm improvement speed that Ye Chen should have. Therefore, the Sky Dog doesn't think Ye Chen is deliberately speaking big words to fool him. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then said. Let's go back. Yes. Master. Roaring Sky Dog nodded, and then solemnly bowed to Ye Chen with a five-body throwing gift. When the snarling dog finished his big gift, he looked directly at the sky. In the next second, a beam of light to the sky suddenly shot down from the sky, and instantly enveloped the roaring sky dog. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. This trip to the secret realm of the underground palace has many accidents, but the harvest is full. Now that I have the snarling dog, I can lay out the prehistoric land in advance. After the whole country soars, the reincarnation empire wants to gain a foothold in the prehistoric land, so I can be sure. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but at this moment, the sky-reaching beam of light instantly lifted into the sky, and then disappeared in the Three Kingdoms novice area with the roaring sky dog. Glancing at the empty sky, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then looked not far away, the army of Samsara Immortal City who had already beheaded the remaining army of zombies. Just when Ye Chen was about to give an order to return to the reincarnation city, he suddenly thought of something, and then instantly retracted the order he wanted to give. In the next second, Ye Chen's Yuan Shen moved, and the huge divine consciousness was released instantly, and the Lishan, which was smoothed by the power of space, was enveloped in it in an instant. When Ye Chen's divine sense probed the place where the destroyed zombie army was, his eyes opened sharply. Damn it! There really are underground palaces. Thinking of this, Ye Chen once again used his spiritual sense to explore the underground palace under the Imperial Palace. After a few breaths, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. Six Arts Inheritance, still. When Ye Chen mentioned the secret realm of the underground palace, Guo Yi calculated that there might be six art inheritances in the secret realm of the underground palace. In order to obtain the possible inheritance of the six arts, Ye Chen deliberately brought all his subordinates over. It was so special that Ye Chen knew that the secret realm of the underground palace in this life was extremely altered, and the secret realm of the underground palace severely suppressed Ye Chen's divine consciousness. Therefore, Ye Chen couldn't use his spiritual knowledge to investigate the possible inheritance of the six arts. Perceiving this, Ye Chen directly locked the target on the Zhen Guo Juding. After all, Ye Chen came here for the purpose of Zhen Guo Juding, with the inheritance of the six arts, Ye Chen is happy, without the inheritance of the six arts, Ye Chen is at best a little disappointed. In order to avoid accidents, Ye Chen directly led the troops and used the Vermilion Bird Battle Formation to directly sweep down the city of Xianyang in the secret realm of the underground palace, except for the Imperial Palace, and destroy all the buildings. After that, when Ye Chen led his troops to Qin Shi Huang's palace, Xiang Yu appeared. Although the process was a bit tortuous, in the end, Xiang Yu chose to blew himself up, and then blew the palace flat. Originally, Ye Chen thought that the inheritance of the six arts was completely gone with Xiang Yu's self-destruction. Who would have thought, Ye Chen, who was about to lead his troops back, suddenly remembered that Qin Shi Huang still had a surviving army of zombies. After Xiang Yu's self-destruction, he was not injured in the slightest. Such a result could happen, either because there were treasures protecting Qin Shi Huang and the remaining zombie army, or they were hiding in the ground at that time. Let me talk about the former first. If there is such a treasure, it is impossible for Qin Shi Huang to not use it when facing Ye Chen. Therefore, this can be ruled out. If this is not the reason, then there is only one last explanation. Qin Shi Huang also had a remnant army of zombies, all hiding in the ground at that time. There is only one explanation for such a situation. The underground palace that was bombed flat originally had space. Because Qin Shi Huang still had a surviving army of zombies, it was impossible to know in advance that Xiang Yu was going to explode, 
and it was even impossible to temporarily dig a deep hole and get in when Xiang Yu exploded. If you do that, there will be no time at all. It was precisely because of this calculation that Ye Chen used his spiritual sense to explore the location of the former imperial palace, and then he saw an underground palace. In the end, Ye Chen saw the inheritance of six arts in the underground palace. What a great deal! Thinking of this, Ye Chen jumped directly into the air and instantly came to the sky over the ruins of the imperial palace. On the ground, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others, saw Ye Chen flying over, and hurriedly bowed to Ye Chen and said. Meet the Lord. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled and nodded, then looked at the ground where Xiang Yu blew himself up, exploding a huge deep pit. In the next second, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, then his left hand flexed. Buzzing. After a few sounds, the five spatial blades appeared out of nowhere, and then went straight to the ruined ground. After a few sounds, Ye Chen took a shot of the empty space with his left hand. In an instant, he took a large piece of the land full of ruins out of thin air, and then moved it to the distance and lost it. The moment the huge ruined ground was thrown away by Ye Chen, an underground palace instantly appeared in the sight of Ye Chen and all of Ye Chen's men. The next second, when he saw Guo Yi in the underground palace, his eyes flashed, and then he looked straight at the six bronze statues in the underground palace and shouted in ecstasy. Six Arts Inheritance The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Guo Yi's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Zhang San, Ca Yin, Chen Kun, Sun Qing and other civil servants and generals all looked at the six bronze statues erected in the underground palace. In the next second, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Guo Yi, Zhang San, Ca Yin, and others all looked at Ye Chen flying in the air, and then bowed in excitement and worshipped. I implore the Lord to allow us to accept the inheritance of the six arts. Quasi. Ye Chen laughed after hearing the excitement of his subordinates, and then shouted. Ye Chen brought all his hands down here in order to find the inheritance of the six arts and let them receive it. Now that Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, and others are so urgent, Ye Chen will naturally not stop it. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guan Er, Guo Yi, Zhang San, Sun Qing, Ca Yin, and others laughed at this, and then bowed respectfully to Ye Chen. Thank you Lord. After everyone said, they jumped into the underground palace one after another, and then walked straight to the six huge bronze statues, and looked carefully. The six bronze statues are nine meters high and all faceless. They are dressed in animal skins. On their foreheads, they are engraved with six ancient traditional characters, ritual, music, shooting, imperial, book, and number. Looking at it, Many flowers, birds, insects and fish are engraved on it, like living things, lifelike. In addition, there are densely packed texts like tadpoles on the six bronze statues. At first glance, words and paintings are like urchin doodles, but when you look closely, they are restrained, and then they arouse the soul. Ceremony, music, shooting, imperialism, calligraphy, and number are the six arts, and they are also the six magical powers. In Madeir, looking at the six bronze statues exuding mystery, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then he shouted. Use Enlightenment Stone. After Ye Chen finished speaking, with a wave of his right hand, hundreds of Enlightenment Stones appeared instantly, and then flew straight to Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, and others. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, Guan Er, and others heard this, they all lit up. As Ye Chen's subordinates, they naturally knew what the Enlightenment Stone was. It is precisely because they know that they are so happy. Because with the help of the Enlightenment Stone and accepting the inheritance of the Six Arts, 100% will come naturally, simple cannot be simple. 
In the next second, Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Ca Yin, and others, Qi Qi bowed to Ye Chen and said, Thank you Lord. After everyone said it, they did not hesitate to grab the enlightenment stone that took off in front of them, and then chose to use it. At this moment, a mysterious and mysterious aura appeared on Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guo Yi, and others in an instant, and then saw them standing in front of the bronze statue with the word Li in unison, and watched them earnestly. Rites have existed since ancient times, and the rituals of the six arts include many types and even greater magical powers. For example, the ceremony of offering sacrifices to the sky during the expedition. If it is an ordinary ceremony of offering sacrifices to the sky, it is at best to boost morale. However, the rite, one of the six arts, can be adjusted to heaven and earth luck and strengthen the spirit of the soldier's god, let the war shift towards one's own fortune. This is one of the six arts. Although the function of ritual is invisible and intangible, the effect of enhancing one's fortune is real. The emperors of the past dynasties all yearned for fortune. Unfortunately, the rituals of the six arts have been cut off since the pre-Qin period, and the rituals used in the subsequent dynasties are all only forms without intentions, and they simply cannot reach the real rituals. The effect that can be exerted. A little bit of time passed, when Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, and others opened their eyes one after another, they all bowed deeply to the ritual statue. At this moment, the bronze statue with the word Li suddenly glowed blue, and then exploded with a bang. The sky, watching Ye Chen under his hand, frowned involuntarily when he saw this, and then took a picture with his right hand. In the next second, the broken pieces of bronze flew into the sky instantly, and then they were thrown into the distance by Ye Chen casually. In the underground palace, Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guo Yi, and others, who were stunned by the sudden explosion of the bronze statue, saw this, Qi Qi breathed a sigh of relief, and then invariably bowed to Ye Chen in grateful respect. Thank you Lord. The bronze statue with the word Li just exploded suddenly, and its power was not small. If it weren't for Ye Chen's quick shot, Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guan Er, and other generals might have only suffered minor injuries, but Guo Yi, Ca Yin, Chen Kun waiting for civil servants will inevitably be hit hard. And this is the fundamental reason why Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, Diane Xiong, Guan Er, and others are grateful for inexplicable gratitude. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then looked at a kind of subordinate, and asked. Is the inheritance of the rituals of the six arts true or false? Are there any omissions? Enlighten the Lord, the inheritance of the rituals of the six arts is indeed true, Jiri, all have been accepted. Guo Yi smiled when he heard this, then bowed and worshipped. Enlighten the Lord, the final generals have also been accepted, no omissions have been missed. Zhao Yunzhen followed closely and bowed in prayer. Master, the final generals have also accepted all of them. Guan Er bowed and worshipped with excitement. After hearing the words of his men, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time. It's just the inheritance of the six arts. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at the group of men, and then said, Er, etc. continue to receive the inheritance of the six arts, and there is no need to worry about the others. Ye Chen never thought that the bronze statue containing the inheritance of the six arts would suddenly explode. Although this looked like a trap, Ye Chen didn't care about it at all. After all, Ye Chen was here, and the song was just exploding and there was no way to hurt Zhao Yunzhen, Guo Yi, and Diane Xiong under Ye Chen's eyelids. Of course, the premise that Ye Chen didn't care about was that the six art inheritance contained in the bronze statue must be true. If it is fake, Ye Chen is not interested and wastes time here. Of course, this is just a hypothetical, real situation, but on the bright side, the inheritance of the six arts is true. When Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Ca Yin, and others heard this, Qi Qi bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly, Yes. Lord. After everyone said, Zhao Yunzhen, Diane Xiong, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, 
Chen Kun and others ran directly to the bronze statue with the word Le and accepted the inheritance. A little bit of time passed, and when Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Ca Yin, and others had accepted the inheritance, the bronze statue with the word Le exploded again with a bang. Having been paying attention to Ye Chen in the underground palace, he took a shot with his right hand, and instantly controlled the exploded bronze pieces, then shot it away, and threw it far away. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, and others, after Ye Chen took away the broken bronze pieces, they walked to the next bronze statue to accept the inheritance. As the bronze statue exploded time and time again, Ye Chen controlled the explosion time and time again. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, and others successively passed on the six arts and received them. When the last bronze statue exploded and Ye Chen solved it, he directly shouted. Back to the city. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Yes. Lord. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Ca Yin, and others heard this, Qi Qi bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded, and then waved his right hand, and a hundred spatial fluctuations appeared instantly, and then he saw the space not far in front of the army of Samsara City, which suddenly began to twist. However, in the blink of an eye, a hundred distorted spaces were formed instantly. At the same time, a group of military commanders led the civil servants to jump up from the underground palace, and then to the ground. In the next second, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, and others took the reincarnation legion and the white horse Ye Kong and walked towards the distorted space. The sky looked at Ye Chen, who was returning to the reincarnation fairy city, and he hesitated for a while before thinking. In the next second, the soul body of Yu Ji in the small world was received by Ye Chen and instantly appeared beside Ye Chen. Lord. Yu Ji, who was released from the small world by Ye Chen, glanced blankly at the Xianyang city that had been raised to the ground, and there were ruined walls everywhere. Then he looked at Ye Chen and bowed. Tao. In Yu Ji's voice, sadness is full of flavor, and it is mixed with a lot of death. Perceiving this, Ye Chen frowned involuntarily. Yu Ji is a superb historical beauty. She can sit on Tongkei Terrace. Ye Chen wants to use it, but Yu Ji is already dead at the moment. Even if Ye Chen wants to use it, she has to pull Yu Ji from sadness to death. Just work. Thinking of this, Ye Chen was silent for a moment, and then with a move with his right hand, the ring Xiang Yu gave to Ye Chen before he died instantly appeared in Ye Chen's hand. Glancing at the ring in his right hand, Ye Chen's consciousness moved, and an ice coffin made of Wanyan Hanbing appeared next to Ye Chen in an instant. The moment the ice coffin appeared, the surrounding air dropped directly to the freezing point, and then continued to fall violently. If it were an ordinary person, it would definitely be frozen directly, but Ye Chen didn't hurt at all. After a glance, Ye Chen secretly sighed inside the ice coffin of the female body of the 28th year of China, then looked at the godless Yu Ji beside him, and said. People, always look forward. Instead of remembering the past, it is better to live well, live wonderfully, lively and unrestrainedly, and not in vain. The heart is dead, and being alive is just a walking dead. When Yu Ji heard Ye Chen's words, she smiled sadly, and then spoke. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Yu Ji, and then said. Sorrow is more than heart death, I can understand, but you can understand that the overlord is determined to die, what is the so-called request? Concubine body. After Ye Chen's words fell, Yu Ji's soul body trembled involuntarily, and then said, but only to say two words, it stopped abruptly. Ye Chen sighed when he heard this, then looked at the ground and the army of his men who were constantly lining up toward the twisted space, said. A person lives for the rest of my life, and the grass and trees are in autumn. Once you were happy and sad, have you ever thought that you have only experienced a life of only sixteen years? Concubine. 
Yu Ji heard this and said again, but it was still the same as before, and she stopped abruptly before finishing her words. Ye Chen sighed long when he heard this, then looked at Yu Ji and said. The cardamom years are the most innocent. I respect your feelings. But, do you understand that there are some things that can be done as you wish, not what you want, and it is not that you can change the established facts with death and ambition. There is always too much helplessness in life, and my concubine understands. Yu Ji was silent for a moment when she heard this, and then looked into the distance, saying a little bit sorrowfully. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then with a move with his right hand, a pill for returning Yang appeared in his hand instantly. Taking a look at Huan Yang Dan with his right hand, Ye Chen immediately looked at Yu Ji and said. How to choose, you decide on your own, but there is one thing you must keep in mind. If you choose to be resurrected, you can live well. You can remember the past, but don't miss it, because you have gained a new life. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he returned the Yang pill with his right hand and threw it towards Yu Ji. Yu Ji, who was in a complicated state, subconsciously stretched out her hand when she saw the Huan Yang pill flying in, and then caught it. After Yu Ji discovered this fact, she was taken aback for a moment, and then said bitterly. Do I really want to live, I clearly have my ambition to die. It's actually good to be alive. Your soul has already told you the answer, and I can tell you that you, as a newborn, will live happier and more exciting than ever before. Ye Chen was relieved when he heard this, and then looking at Yu Ji, he said seriously. When Yu Ji heard this, she fell silent, and after a long period of time, she worshipped the location of the imperial palace that had long been raised to the ground. In the next second, Yu Ji looked at Ye Chen, then bowed and said, Master, help me. Hearing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Nima, it's really not easy, even coaxing and deceiving, finally dispelled her desire to die. Thinking of this, Ye Chen nodded with a smile, and then patted the void with his right hand. Boom! Came, and then I saw that the ice coffin made by Wanyan Hanbing burst open in an instant. At the same time, Yu Ji's body appeared immediately. Taking a look at Yu Ji's body, Ye Chen looked at Yu Ji and said. Quickly return to your place. After that, you will get a new life. Yes, Lord. Yu Ji nodded when he heard this, and then bowed to Ye Chen. After speaking, Yu Ji's soul flew directly to her body. When Yu Ji's soul body touched her body, Huan Yang pill also flew into Yu Ji's mouth. At this moment, the golden light was prosperous, and a mysterious and mysterious aura immediately appeared from Yu Ji's body. As soon as the tea time passed, the golden light dissipated, and Yu Ji opened her eyes immediately. Seeing this, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. At this moment, Yu Ji got up and bowed solemnly to Ye Chen. Thank you Lord, for giving your concubine a new life. As soon as Yu Ji's words fell, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for successfully conquering the super first class historical beauty, Yu Ji, for her special status, the player Ye Chen is specially rewarded with X1 million purple gold coins. The world announcement was repeated three times in a row, detonating the entire world channel in an instant. My day, I heard you right? Yu Ji? There is Yuji in this era. It's weird to have Mao. Xiang Yu came out before. Isn't it normal to have Yuji? Nima, a normal ghost, something special, Yuji is hundreds of years old, right? Why did Ye Chen's taste become so heavy? Hey, what do you care about this? The taste is heavy, but the taste is heavy, isn't that good? That is, the heavier Ye Chen's taste is, the better. With that kind of beauty resources, you don't have to worry about being robbed. Fool, what does it mean to have a heavy taste? Didn't you see the title of Super First Class Historical Beauty? I'm sure that Yu Ji is 100% beautiful and outrageous. It's beautiful and hairy, you don't want to use it, and, you idiot, don't forget, 
Xiang Yu is a zombie, and Yu Ji can still live up to now. Either he is a zombie or a ghost. I can only watch, not play. Wow, Kaka, this doesn't seem important. What's important is that Yu Ji seems to be Xiang Yu's woman. Ye Chen is digging Xiang Yu's corner. Fuck. Ye Chen has become a wife. This is to learn from Cao Ning. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. The world channel was boisterous, constantly refreshing the screen, after a glance, Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. Because Ye Chen accepted Yu Ji, the players commented wildly, saying that there was nothing but jealousy and jealousy. This point exists from the beginning of the game, and will not be eliminated even in the future. Of course, as Ye Chen gets stronger and stronger, there will definitely be fewer and fewer players who dare to comment negatively on Ye Chen. After all, idiots are still a minority, and no one is so stupid to deliberately provoke a peerless powerhouse. As for the players on the World Channel who knew that Ye Chen surpassed them by several levels, and dared to comment negatively on Ye Chen, it was also because they didn't think Ye Chen could find them. It is precisely because of this that the players are so unscrupulous, otherwise they would lend them a hundred courage and would not dare to comment on Ye Chen like that. Of course, the players daring to give Ye Chen a negative comment is also related to Ye Chen's real power above the transcendence realm that has not been shown in front of the players. To be more precise, the players do not have a clear understanding of the power that each realm can exert. This point can also be explained by the ignorant is fearless, otherwise there won't be many people frantically surfing the world channel and riding Ye Chen. A group of idiots, they only know that they are jealous chewing their tongues, and don't know how to hurry up to kill monsters and upgrade, and they deserve to be killed by the monster clan. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled coldly, then looked at the completely resurrected Yu Ji, and said. From now on, you will live in Xiancheng of reincarnation. I will not limit you to what you want to do. After hearing Ye Chen's words, Yu Ji couldn't help but warm up, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said. Thank you Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then waved his right hand, and the space in front of him suddenly twisted. Taking a look at the distorted space, Ye Chen grabbed Yu Ji's hand casually, and then walked in. In the next second, Ye Chen also Yu Ji again, disappearing. In the reincarnation fairy city, the hall of the city lord's mansion suddenly distorted. In the next second, Ye Chen and Yu Ji appeared here. At this moment, the maid standing quietly at the entrance of the hall saw Ye Chen. After a moment of surprise, she hurriedly bowed to Ye Chen and said. Meeting Lord Ya Wang. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then let go of Yu Ji's hand, which had become somewhat stiff because of holding it, and said. Take her to the back house and let the wife arrange her place. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Yu Ji's body stiffened involuntarily. Not everyone can go to the back house, except for Ye Chen's master, only Ye Chen's woman and maid, and now Ye Chen wants to arrange Yu Ji in the back house, how could Yu Ji not go? Think more. When Yu Ji's body was tense, the maid at the entrance of the hall hurriedly bowed and responded. Yes. Lord Ya Wang. When the maid finished speaking, she looked at Yu Ji, and then saluted. Madam. Please follow the slave to the back house. Yu Ji, whose body was tense, heard this, and a complicated expression suddenly appeared on her face. Ye Chen on the side saw this and said directly. An Xian, there is no compulsion. What Yu Ji was worried about, Ye Chen could see it naturally, otherwise Ye Chen wouldn't say that. In fact, even though Ye Chen likes beautiful women, Ye Chen is not a hungry ghost he wants to see beautiful women. In the matter of men and women, mutual affection is the kingly way. If it is not, it will be cool, but unfortunately, it will seriously reduce the fun that should exist in it. And put Ye Chen here, Ye Chen would naturally choose to be in love with each other, rather than go crazy. As for Ye Chen asking Yu Ji to live in the back house, 
it was actually mainly for Yuji to integrate into this era as soon as possible and stay away from the sad past. After all, there are Zhao Yu, Chan Wan, Cai Mayer, Mi Zhen, Huang Wanner, and five stunning sisters in the back house. With them, it is easier to enlighten Yuji and let Yuji out of the haze. When Yuji heard this, she was still a little nervous, and she immediately relaxed a lot. After gently exhaling, Yuji bowed to Ye Chen and said, Yes, Lord. After Yuji finished speaking, she followed the maid towards the back house. Ye Chen glanced at the back of Yuji's departure, sighed secretly, then looked outside the door, and the patrol soldier who just walked to the door shouted, Go and find ten top blacksmiths over here. Ye Chen went to the blacksmith, naturally to take the blacksmith to the real world. As for the purpose, it was very simple, that is, to train the blacksmith to become a craftsman, and then began to refine spirit weapons. As long as the blacksmiths can successfully advance to crafting masters, then the forging blueprints for spirit equipment that Ye Chen got will be useful. After the blacksmiths advance to crafting masters and crafting spirit tools, Ye Chen would use Qian Kan Ding to upgrade the spirit tools to the level of immortal tools. This is Ye Chen's plan. If a player knew about it, he would be dumbfounded, and then shouted abnormal. After all, the weapons in the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms, the top level weapons, have ended up to the heavenly weapons, and Ye Chen is now preparing to refine the spirit weapons and turn them into fairy weapons. This is not a metamorphosis, what a metamorphosis is. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the patrol soldier squad outside the hall hurriedly bowed and said loudly. Yes. Lord. After the patrolling soldiers finished speaking, they hurriedly left, went to the blacksmith's shop, and looked for the blacksmith. At this moment, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others came to the city lord's mansion one after another, and then went straight to the hall. As soon as he entered the door, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others all bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly, Meet the Lord. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then said, This trip to the secret realm of the underground palace has yielded a lot. Now that you have obtained the inheritance of the six arts, you must earnestly practice it and don't slack off. Yes. Lord. When Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiong, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, and others heard this, they nodded solemnly, then bowed and said loudly. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction, then looked at Guo Yi and said. Feng Xiao, this trip to the secret realm of the underground palace, you have done a lot, otherwise, the reincarnation legion and the white horse righteousness will probably be wiped out. Lord, this is Jia's duty you dare not take credit. Guo Yi smiled when he heard this, then bowed and worshipped. When Ye Chen heard this, he gave Guo Yi angrily, and then said. I originally wanted to give you a few more bottles of hundred flour stuffed rice. If that's the case, then it will be avoided. Lord, the merits are great and must be rewarded. Guo Yi immediately stunned when he heard this, without even thinking about it, he shouted directly. As soon as Guo Yi's words landed, a group of civil servants and generals turned their heads involuntarily, and they were all uncomfortable. When Ye Chen saw this, he coughed a few times, and then raised his hand to signal his subordinates to be quiet. After all his subordinates looked over, Ye Chen immediately said. In two days, I will marry Princess Zhao Yang de Qiao, Princess Changle Xiao Qiao, then, I will not be in reincarnation Xian Cheng you can just celebrate by yourself. However, the people can celebrate seven days, but you can celebrate one day at most, because four days later, I will reincarnate all the troops in Xiancheng and will go overseas. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Gao Shun, and other generals all lit up in front of them. They are generals, generals born for the battlefield, 
what they look forward to most is going to battle to kill the enemy. And now, their lord, Ye Chen, told them that four days later, they would go abroad, and the whole army of the reincarnation city would be dispatched. What did this mean, how could they not know as a military commander? When the generals were inexplicably excited, Guo Yi went straight out, then bowed and said. Lord, the whole army of the reincarnation fairy city is dispatched, I'm afraid it's wrong. Why? Ye Chen was stunned when he heard Guo Yi's words, then looked at Guo Yi and asked. When Guo Yi heard this, he hurriedly bowed and said. The Lord's departure overseas four days later shows that the national barrier will be eliminated at that time. At that time, the Han can use troops to foreign countries, and countries other than the Han can also use troops against the Han. When Guo Yi said this, he paused for a moment, looked at Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, and other generals, and then continued. If the army of the reincarnation city of Xiancheng is transferred away as many times as possible, Yuzhu who will have no soldiers available. Then, how should the people of Yuzhu who face it? When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily. At this moment, Sun Qing stepped out and bowed to Ye Chen and said, The Lord is the Lord of Yuzhu, Hu, the King of Yuzhu, Hu, and you must not disregard the safety of the people of Yuzhu, Hu, you. I beg your lord to think twice. I implore the lord to think twice. Cai Yin, Chen Kun and Tian Feng went out together at this time and bowed to Ye Chen. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at all his hands, and then said with a smile. It's okay, just take the people of Yuzhu to Xiancheng of reincarnation as many as possible. When Guo Yi, Cai Yin, Sun Qing, Chen Kun, Tian Feng, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, and others heard this, they all stunned. It's not that they were stunned. You know that there are a lot of people in Yuzhu. Just when Ye Chen's men were stunned, Ye Chen stood up straight, and then went to the center of the hall. In the next second, Ye Chen's thoughts moved, and the golden stone steel, the cornerstone of the reincarnation city, rose slowly from the ground in an instant. He glanced at the golden stone tablet that he hadn't summoned for a long time, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then went straight to the golden stone tablet. The next second, the system prompt sounded instantly. Ding, does the player Ye Chen confirm to increase the scale of the reincarnation fairy city? Once confirmed, the immortal grade materials must be provided otherwise it will affect the stability of the reincarnation fairy city. Once the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen made a choice without hesitation. Confirm. Ding, the scale of reincarnation of Xiancheng has officially started, please provide materials. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, a spiral nest composed entirely of golden light suddenly appeared next to the golden stone steel. Seeing this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and immortal grade materials appeared in piles and piles, and then continuously poured into the golden vortex. A little bit of time passed, Ye Chen's action of throwing fairy level materials toward the golden spiral nest did not stop at all, until an hour later, Ye Chen stopped throwing fairy level materials into the golden spiral nest. The moment Ye Chen stopped, the golden spiral nest disappeared and then he saw the huge island floating in the sky, and suddenly a light mask made of stars appeared. At this moment, the people of the reincarnation fairy city who noticed the sky's change, all raised their heads and looked towards the sky. Just when the people looked at a loss, the starlight mask surrounding the entire suspended island suddenly appeared hundreds of millions of runes full of mystery. However, in the blink of an eye, the hundreds of millions of runes that suddenly appeared began to circulate on the mask. At the same time, a mysterious wave suddenly appeared on the entire floating island. After a few breaths, the suspended island suddenly shook. O.M. In the next second, the originally huge floating island suddenly became a hundred times bigger. The same as the one that has changed. There is also the reincarnation fairy city in the reincarnation valley on the suspended island. To be precise, Samsara Xiancheng has also become a hundred times bigger. The city wall is a hundred times higher, wider, and a hundred times longer. From a distance, 
it is huge and majestic, enough to shock people's hearts. The only strange thing is that the buildings in the reincarnation city of Xiancheng have not become larger, and the streets have not become wider. To be precise, the buildings in Samsara Xiancheng were the same as before. If you look at it from the sky, it is not difficult to see that the area suddenly added to the reincarnation city is all outside the original reincarnation city complex. There, it was empty, as if four huge squares appeared out of thin air. However, the change did not end there, but in the blink of an eye, the floating island shook again. After the sound of OM, the floating island floating in the sky and the reincarnation fairy city in the valley inside the island became a hundred times bigger again. It trembled again and again, and it became bigger again and again, but the time of the cup of tea, the suspended island that was originally hidden above the white clouds, suddenly drilled out of the clouds, and then appeared magnificently in the sky. Fortunately, this place is above the sea, otherwise, the players will immediately discover the fact that Ye Chen's reincarnation fairy city has already flown to the sea. Of course, the players found that it is still secondary, the key is the people of the Han Empire. Once the people of the Han Empire discovered the existence of the reincarnation fairy city, it didn't take long before Lu Hong would know. Once Lu Hong knew that there was a fairy city in the sky, he would inevitably give an order to let everyone in the world find a way to get the fairy city in the sky. In this way, Ye Chen would be in a bit of trouble. After all, Ye Chen couldn't guarantee that Lu Hong would release some tasks to the players because of Xian Cheng. If Lu Hong really does this, then 100% of Ye Chen's reincarnation city will be notified to Lu Hong by the players, and then Lu Hong will come up with Ye Chen's idea. In this way, Ye Chen would definitely do it directly and grab the world. This is not the result Ye Chen wanted to see. After all, that would cause Ye Chen to lose a lot of luck. Of course, if Samsara Xiancheng was not on the sea, Ye Chen would not choose to directly increase the scale of Samsara Xiancheng. After all, Ye Chen was very clear about Lu Hong's greed. As for Ye Chen's purpose in promoting the city of reincarnation, it was very simple, it was to install the people of Yuzhu. In fact, Ye Chen planned to increase the scale of Samsara city. Originally, Ye Chen planned to increase the scale of the reincarnation fairy city after he ruled the world. It's okay to plan ahead now, after all, sooner or later. Of course, in order to prevent the reincarnation city from being completely exposed to the sight of the indigenous, Ye Chen would not choose to directly expand the reincarnation city to the extent that it covered the entire Han Empire. In that case, it would be difficult not to attract attention which was not in Ye Chen's interest. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. A little bit of time passed, and when the huge island floating in the sky, covering the sky, turned into a supergiant land, the change ended immediately. At this moment, the starlight covering the entire land suddenly turned into starlight, and then disappeared. In the reincarnation fairy city, in the hall of the city lord's mansion, Ye Chen's consciousness glanced at the hanging island that had become countless times larger, and his thoughts moved. The next second, the huge land shrank again, and in the blink of an eye, it retracted above the clouds, and then returned to the size of the original floating island. At this moment, if someone looks from the outside world, they will find that the hanging island suspended in the sky is exactly the same as the previous hanging island, and there is nothing unusual about it. However, if someone enters the hanging island, they will immediately discover a shocking fact. The area of the suspended island has become larger, and it is beyond imagination. The most terrifying thing is that the height of the walls of the reincarnation fairy city in the valley of reincarnation has risen to a huge 10,000 meters. Put it far away, it is a straight and towering giant mountain. Magnificent, spectacular, and shocking. In fact, this is the city wall that Xiancheng will have. Only such an overbearing and mighty city wall can be based on the prehistoric world. Of course, at this moment, the walls of the reincarnation fairy city have not yet depicted the formations, let alone arranged the formations. 
there are only simple walls. It is far from enough to gain a foothold in the predicament. However, the reincarnation city at this moment is enough to meet the needs of the people and use who. When the world is unified and the reincarnation fairy city is promoted again, the various magic formations will be portrayed, and then the whole country can soar. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then moved his mind, the cornerstone of the reincarnation city, the golden steel, immediately sank into the ground. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guo Yi, Guan Er, Zhang San, Ca Yin, and others see here, one by one, you look at me, I look at you, that's a dumbass. They didn't see the changes in the reincarnation fairy city, otherwise, it wouldn't be the case. At this moment, a patrolling soldier hurried in, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly. Master, there has been an abnormal change in the reincarnation fairy city. The people are a little worried and dare not go out. As soon as the soldier's words landed, Guo Yi, Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San and others' complexions changed suddenly. Samsara Xiancheng is the foundation of Ye Chen. If there are bad changes in Samsara Xiancheng, it will not be a good thing for Ye Chen. When the faces of the civil servants and generals changed drastically, Ye Chen was slightly taken aback, and then reacted, the fact that the great changes in the reincarnation city of Xiancheng shocked the people. After all, the changes in the reincarnation of Xiancheng are too great. This is different from the time when the city of reincarnation advanced to the city of reincarnation. At this moment, the reincarnation city of Xiancheng has expanded more than 10,000 times in area. The people are not afraid to see the endless open space outside the building complex, which is strange. After recovering, Ye Chen sighed secretly, then looked at Guo Yi and said, Feng Xiao, write a notice quickly and publish it, telling the people that there is no need to panic, there will be such changes in the reincarnation city, because such a reincarnation city will be stronger and more stable. After Guo Yi heard Ye Chen's order, he was taken aback for a moment, and then he thought of something, and he was in a daze. In the next second, Guo Yi looked at Ye Chen with a shocked expression on his face, then bowed and asked. Lord, the reincarnation fairy city has become bigger. As soon as Guo Yi's words landed, Guan Er, Dian Xiang, Zhang San, Ca Yin, Chen Kun and others all were taken aback, and then they all looked at Ye Chen in unison. At this moment, a thought that shocked them inexplicably appeared in their hearts involuntarily. That is, the reincarnation fairy city has become bigger, and it is beyond imagination. Otherwise, Ye Chen could not have said that all the people of Yuzhu who should be taken away, and the soldiers who came to report the great changes in the reincarnation of Xiancheng would not be in such a hurry. Yes. Ye Chen heard this, nodded with a smile, and then spoke. When Guo Yi heard Ye Chen's affirmative answer, his eyes lit up, and then he bowed to Ye Chen and said loudly. The Lord is mighty. Ka, let's write a notice now. The Lord is mighty. Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang, Guan Er, Zhang San, Ca Yin, Chen Kun, and others glanced at each other at this time, and then they all bowed to Ye Chen. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then looked at Mi Zhu and said. Zis Hong, quickly arrange manpower to build houses, and at the same time, Send people to the major cities in Yuzhu to issue notices so that the people will gather as soon as possible, and then they will be sent to the reincarnation fairy city. My lord, there are many counties in Yuzhu, and there are many officials in it, but they don't recognize the lord. If the lord orders the people to gather, what should these officials do? Hearing this, Mi Zhu hurried out and bowed. Body worship. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this. It was not that Ye Chen was mad at him, but that Ye Chen really ignored this question. Gathering the people is not a trivial matter. If the officials in Yuzhu knew about this, it would be difficult to guarantee that there would be no officials who complained to Ye Chen. After all, Ye Chen's behavior of gathering the people privately was too abnormal. It looked like gathering a crowd to make trouble, or even attempting to rebel. Killed them all, or accept them all. 
When Ye Chen was thinking about how to deal with the officials in the major counties in Yuzhu, Sun Qing went straight out, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said, Lord, before the Golden Turban disaster and the Yezhu invasion, Yuzhu had many selfish officials who bullied the people. However, when the Golden Turban wrecked the world and the Yezhu invaded, these officials had all escaped in order to survive. At this moment, the rebellion has been determined by the Lord, but they cannot dare to come back, otherwise, these thieves will definitely be beheaded. Therefore, you, believes that the existing officials in use who are all usable people, and I ask the Lord to decide. Ye Chen heard this, thought for a moment, then nodded and said. If this is the case, I will leave the matter to you. Be sure to let all these officials gather in the Valley of Samsara within an hour, and then I will accept them as they are. Yes. Lord. Sun Qing hurriedly bowed and said loudly when hearing this. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Mi Zhu and said. There are too many people in Yuzhu to be slack in building a house. Don't let them have no houses to live in after they arrive. Yes. Lord. Hearing this, Mi Zhu nodded heavily, then bowed in prayer. At this moment, the patrol soldiers who had previously ordered Ye Chen to look for the blacksmith, brought ten blacksmiths to the entrance of the hall, and then bowed to Ye Chen and said. Master, the blacksmith has already brought it. As soon as the patrol soldiers' words fell, ten blacksmiths hurriedly bowed to Ye Chen and said. Meeting Lord Ya Wang. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, then got up and walked outside the door. Looking at the ten blacksmiths selected by the patrolling soldiers, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. The qualifications are not bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen thought, and the innate treasure Qian Qin Ding appeared instantly. In the next second, Ye Chen took a shot with his right hand toward the Qian Qin Ding, and ten strands of good fortune flew out of the Qian Qin Ding instantly, and then flew towards the ten blacksmiths. However, in the blink of an eye, the roots of ten blacksmiths all ascended to the body of a one-star fairy. At this moment, the ten blacksmiths who were upset and upset just because they met Ye Chen were all taken aback. Although they are ordinary people, not civil servants, or military commanders, they can feel the comfort that comes from their bodies. Just when the blacksmiths were in a daze, Ye Chen thought, ten innate techniques appeared instantly, and then he was thrown in front of ten blacksmiths by Ye Chen. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, a quaint blacksmith shop appeared out of thin air in the city of reincarnation. At the same time, Ye Chen's primordial spirit moved, and the huge divine consciousness instantly locked the god-level blacksmith shop that had just appeared. After Ye Chen's divine consciousness checked the attributes of the divine level blacksmith shop, his eyes suddenly opened. Fuck, this god level blacksmith's shop is really abnormal. Blacksmith's shop, special building, forged to permanent power plus 100. Features, 1. Enchanting. 2. Practice makes perfect. 3. Skilled craftsman. 4. The blessing of the craftsman. 5 can be upgraded to a god-level mixing chamber. Ye Chen thought that the god-level blacksmith's shop is not easy, but Ye Chen never thought that the god-level blacksmith's shop would be perverted to the level of heaven. Take the basic attribute of a god-level blacksmith's shop, the forging power is permanent plus 100, as long as the blacksmith can enter the god-level blacksmith's shop, he will get the blessing of this attribute, and then, no matter what equipment he forges, he will not fail. Even if this blacksmith is the most among blacksmiths, this is the result. Of course, the prerequisite for this is that the grade of the equipment to be forged by the blacksmith cannot be the highest grade of equipment that can be supported by the super god level blacksmith shop. For example, the highest level of the god level blacksmith shop is to forge magic weapons, but the blacksmith has to use the god level blacksmith shop to forge artifacts, then it will not succeed. Of course, this is not important, what is important is that this 100% success rate is really abnormal. You know, mortal blacksmiths, even if they forge ordinary mortal equipment, 
are not 100% successful. But the God Level Blacksmith Shop can directly give all blacksmiths 100% forging power, it is conceivable that this God Level Blacksmith Shop is so perverted. And this is just the basic attribute of the God Level Blacksmith's Shop. If you count the characteristics of the God Level Blacksmith's Shop, it will be even more abnormal. For example, the first feature of the God Level Blacksmith Shop is enchanting. This, in fact, is equivalent to the ability of an enchanter that can only appear in the prehistoric world. To be precise, the equipment forged in a God Level Blacksmith has a chance to appear, such as attack power plus 100, skill level plus 10, bloodthirsty plus 100, power plus 1000, and other special attributes. Originally, this was an ability that an enchanter could possess, but when Ye Chen came here, there was no need for an enchanter at all. As long as the equipment is forged in the god level blacksmith's shop, the equipment after forging has a chance to obtain this special attribute, and there is no need to consume any enchanting materials. It can be seen that the first characteristic of the god level blacksmith's shop is very perverted. The second feature of the god level blacksmith's shop is that practice makes perfect which can completely save a lot of blacksmith training time and allow blacksmiths to quickly advance. As for the third characteristic of the god level blacksmith's shop, being a skilled craftsman, for Ye Chen at this moment, it is tantamount to giving charcoal in the snow. Because an ordinary blacksmith's shop can only create heavenly weapons at the highest level, and it is impossible to forge magic weapons, spiritual weapons, or the like. Originally, Ye Chen thought that after the blacksmiths advanced to the transcendence realm, they would lend the innate spirit treasure fire spirit orbs to the blacksmiths, and let them use the flames released by the innate spirit treasure fire spirit orbs to refine spirit weapons. After all, the root cause of the blacksmiths' inability to create equipment above the heaven level is in the furnace fire. With the fire spirit orb, it is difficult to upgrade the furnace fire level. However, now, Ye Chen doesn't have to be so troublesome. Because the highest level of equipment that can be forged in a god level blacksmith's shop is not the highest level that immortal blacksmiths can reach, the heavenly level, but a magic weapon. This is only the third feature, the benefits it can bring to Ye Chen, if you count the fourth and fifth features, it's so perverted that there are no friends. Take the fourth characteristic, the blessing of the craftsman god. As far as the equipment forged by the god level blacksmith shop is, it is possible to get a great upgrade. In other words, if the blacksmith who belongs to Ye Chen wants to forge a spiritual weapon, it is likely to forge a magic weapon under the blessing of the craftsman god. And the fifth characteristic of the god level blacksmith shop, at first glance, nothing special, but from the ability of the god level blacksmith shop. It is not difficult to see what kind of existence the god level refining room will be. To be precise, once a god level blacksmith shop is upgraded to a god level refining room, it will only become more abnormal. After all, this is a post advanced building, and both abilities and attributes will be greatly improved. And this, for Ye Chen, is undoubtedly what he most wants to see. Because of the drawings of the god level refining chamber, Ye Chen was not sure if it could be printed. With this upgradable feature, everything becomes simple. As long as Ye Chen can provide 10 million artifacts, he can advance the god level blacksmith shop to the god level refining room. At first glance, the gain was not worth the loss, because it would cost 10 million artifacts, but for Ye Chen, this was really not a difficult task. You should know that Ye Chen has the Qun Kun Ding in his hands and the equipment refined by the Qun Kun Ding will improve his grade. Therefore, if Ye Chen wants to obtain 10 million artifacts, he actually only needs 10 million magic weapons to do so. To obtain 10 million magic weapons, for Ye Chen, it was either to create magic weapons blueprints and let the blacksmiths refine them in a god level blacksmith's shop, or to spawn monsters. Regardless of the former or the latter, it is not difficult for Ye Chen, who was preparing to equip his subordinates with fairy equipment before the ascent. It is precisely because of these that Ye Chen is so excited and so happy. Unexpectedly, the function of the god level blacksmith shop is so defying. That's so cool this time. By the way, 
I remember there is a god-level pharmacy. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly brightened, and then his mind moved, and the pharmacy drawings appeared in Ye Chen's hands instantly. Looking at the drawings of the god-level drugstore in his hand, Ye Chen's mood instantly became more relaxed. In particular, it is estimated that the ability of a god-level drugstore is about the same as that of a god-level blacksmith. Thinking of this, Ye Chen chose to use it without hesitation. The next second, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding, the player Ye Chen succeeded in using the blacksmith shop blueprints, and a god-level blacksmith shop was added to the city of reincarnation. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, an additional pharmacy building appeared in the city of Samsara in an instant. When Ye Chen noticed this, his spiritual consciousness hurriedly explored. When Ye Chen read the attributes of the god-level drugstore, he couldn't help but laughed. Ha ha ha! Cool! Pharmacy, special building, success rate of refining medicine, permanent plus 100. Features, 1, powerful. 2 practice makes perfect. 3 skilled craftsmen. 4 the blessing of the of medicine. 5 can be upgraded to a god level alchemy room. The attributes of a god level pharmacy are not much different from those of a god level blacksmith shop. The most important thing is that a god level pharmacy can also be upgraded to become a god level alchemy room. And to become a god level alchemy room, all that is needed is 10 million artifacts. This might make others big heads, but Ye Chen, who owns Qian Kan Ding, could not care about this. And this is also the fundamental reason why Ye Chen was so excited after seeing the attributes of the god level drugstore. Ye Chen laughed for a long time, then stopped, and then frowned. Especially, in the reincarnation fairy city, it seems that there are only doctors and no pharmacists. No, there is a pharmacist. An old immortal Nanhua is a pharmacist, but he can't be accepted yet, otherwise the heavenly tribulation will happen soon. In this way, if you don't want to ascend, you have to ascend. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Ye Chen frowned again involuntarily. Ye Chen really wanted to be able to put the god-level pharmacy into use now, after all, the special abilities of the god-level pharmacy were there, and it would be a waste to leave it alone. But this point, even if Ye Chen thinks about it, is useless. Because at the moment of reincarnation Xian Cheng, there was only Nanhua Old Immortal as a pharmacist, and the others were all doctors. They didn't have the ability to refine medicine and couldn't use the various characteristics of god-level pharmacies. And let Nan Hu allow Xian use the god-level drugstore, before he became Ye Chen's real subordinate, he couldn't do it. As for the reason, it is very simple. Only those who belonged to Ye Chen could use the god-level pharmacy. And Nan Hu Old Immortal, at this moment, is just a resident in the reincarnation city, not even the people and can't use the god-level pharmacy at all. And to subdue the Nanhua old immortal, for Ye Chen at this moment, it is simply undesirable. Because old immortal Nanhua was a trap set by the heavenly Dao in the novice zone of the three kingdoms for Ye Chen. As long as Ye Chen dares to accept the old Nanhua immortal, it will inevitably lead to a special catastrophe. Once Ye Chen fails to cross the tribulation, Ye Chen will inevitably suffer heavy losses, and after the tribulation, Ye Chen will be forced to fly into the precipice. In this way, Ye Chen's plan in the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms would end in failure. At this point, when Nanhua Old Immortal expressed the meaning of willing to surrender, he had already hinted at Ye Chen. Ye Chen is very clear and understands very well, so Ye Chen, for the time being, he cannot accept the old Nanhua Immortal who has settled in the reincarnation city as his subordinates. It's a waste of it. Anyway, it won't take long for Dong Da's chaos to break out, and the era of vassals for hegemony will begin. At that time, Lao Tzu will be able to send troops directly to sweep the world, and then the founding of the country will soar. Old immortal Nanhua is now his servant. Hey, wait. Huatuo. Damn it. 
I almost forgot about him. The pharmacists in the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms, apart from old immortal Nanhua, as well as Yuji and Zhou Xi who were killed by me, there is also Hua Tuo. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but brighten up. Especially, when I returned to the game world, I directly ordered and sent someone to look for Hua Tuo. Even if this guy would run again, it would not be possible to run out of my palm. Hua Tuo wasn't really afraid of being found and fleeing everywhere, but he wandered around with the goal of helping the people. He went wherever there was a disaster, and there was no fixed place to live. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but tilt his mouth, then looked into the hall, and the ten blacksmiths who were waiting for orders said. You are familiar with the next reincarnation city by yourself. If you have any needs, you can ask Zhou Zhang to solve it. Yes. Lord Ya Wang. Hearing this, the blacksmiths hurriedly bowed and said, and after speaking, they walked out of the door together. At this moment, Yan Hu Yelin, treasure hunting fish Ye Ziaoyu, golden retriever monkey, tortoise with basalt blood, and Zhou Zhang, who guarded the city of reincarnation in the real world, entered the door one after another. As soon as he arrived in the hall, Zhou Zhang bowed respectfully to Ye Chen. Meet the Lord. At the same time, Yan Hu Yelin, treasure hunting fish Ye Ziaoyu, golden retriever monkey and tortoise, saluted Ye Chen together. Brother. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhou Zhang and asked. In this world, are you still used to it? Enlighten the Lord, the Lord will be able to guard the city of reincarnation in this world. It is indeed the great fortune of the Lord, and the Lord does not feel bitter at all, let alone feel tired. Zhou Zhang heard this, suddenly. Grateful bowed and worshipped. In the reincarnation city of the real world, the concentration of heaven and earth aura is unreasonably high. It was only a day or two. Because of Zhou Zhang's trip to the secret realm of the underground palace, the strength of the transcendence realm he advanced to has increased again. How could Zhou Zhang feel that he is not used to guarding the reincarnation city in the real world? In fact, Zhou Zhang at this moment was more excited and excited than when he received the order to guard the city of reincarnation in the real world. Because here, the strength gap between him and Zhao Yunzhen, Dian Xiang and Guan's second-class generals will be shortened quickly. Hearing Zhou Zhang's inexplicable excitement, Ye Chen nodded with a smile, and then said. After all the soldiers guarding Samsara City have advanced to the Transcendence Realm, they will be sent back to that world, and then a new batch will be replaced. In Ye Chen's army of Reincarnation City, there are still many soldiers who are not high, especially the group of soldiers who guarded the game world Reincarnation City during the Golden Turban Rebellion. Because they did not participate in the killing on the battlefield, they did not gain much experience, so that their strength did not improve much after the Golden Turban Rebellion and the invasion of the monster race ended. Otherwise, Ye Chen would not choose the worst soldier among the army of Reincarnation City to guard Reincarnation City in the real world. To be precise, Ye Chen's decision was actually training troops in disguise, and also a perverted training. After all, in the reincarnation city of the real world, the strength of the soldiers will be so fast because of the rich aura of heaven and earth here. After hearing Ye Chen's instructions, Zhou Zhang hurriedly bowed and said. Yes. Lord. When Ye Chen heard this, he smiled and nodded, then looked to Ye Lin, the Yan tiger who was waiting beside him, and said. A good thing is prepared for you. After Ye Chen finished speaking, his mind moved, and the Divine Beast Advancement Scroll instantly appeared in Ye Chen's hand. The Divine Beast Advancement Scroll is the reward that Ye Chen obtained in the secret realm of the underground palace, but there is only one. Ye Chen didn't hesitate to choose whom to use. To be precise, 100% of the advanced scrolls of Divine Beasts will be used by Ye Chen and Yan Hu Yelin. As for the reason, it is very simple. Ye Lin, the Yan Tiger, followed Ye Chen early in the morning to protect Ye Chen's body in the real world. Ye Chen wouldn't give up Yan Hu Yelin because the tortoise with the basaltic bloodline might have greater power after the advanced sacred beast. If such a thing is put on others, 
it is very likely that he will make the opposite decision to Ye Chen, but Ye Chen would not do it. After Yan Hu Yelin saw Ye Chen's hand scroll for the advancement of the beast, a feeling of deja vu instantly appeared in her heart. At this moment, Yan Hu Yelin was stunned. After returning to her senses, Yan Hu Yelin's two big eyes suddenly lit up, and then looked at Ye Chen with a look of eagerness and asked. Brother, this is... The Scroll of Divine Beast Advancement. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly after hearing the strong desire in Yan Hu Yelin's words, and then said. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Yan Hu Yelin's eyes widened in excitement, and the treasure hunting fish Ye Ziaou and the golden haired monkey were stunned with the tortoise with the basaltic bloodline. At this moment, Ye Chen handed the Divine Beast Advancement Scroll to Yan Hu Yelin. Use it quickly. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, Yan Hu Yelin nodded without hesitation, and then directly used the Divine Beast Advancement Scroll. As for Qunren, I'm kidding, Yan Hu Yelin is not stupid, and she doesn't have the chance to become a beast, and for nothing to give to the three spirit pets who followed Ye Chen later than her. At the moment when Yan Hu Yelin chose to use the Advanced Scroll of the Beast, the Advanced Scroll of the Beast turned into a ball of white light, and then rushed to Yan Hu Yelin, instantly wrapping her firmly. Oh! A tiger roar with a strong taste of excitement sounded instantly. As time passed a little bit, an extremely powerful pressure suddenly rose from Yan Hu Yelin's body, instantly covering a hundred miles around the city of reincarnation, and then continued to spread towards the distance. At the same time, within a hundred miles of the city of reincarnation, the demon clan soldiers who did not know when they ran over were killed instantly. Among them, whether it was in the game world or the demon clan soldiers who had gone offline, without exception, all were killed on the spot. As long as the monster clan soldiers hundreds of miles away are covered by the coercion of Yan Hu Yelin, they will either be awakened instantly and then killed, or they will be directly shocked and killed on the spot. Among them, there were many monster soldiers who attacked the player's territory and the safe city that had no safety shield. These soldiers were also directly killed by Yan Hu Yelin's extremely powerful beast. After a full 200 miles, the monster clan soldier was pressured by Yan Hu Yelin's tyrannical beast, and the situation changed. But in spite of this, these monster clan soldiers also vomited blood, crippled and crippled, and the rest, without exception, rushed toward the distance desperately. Rumble. Thousands of beasts galloped and the earth roared. More and more monster race soldiers were frightened by the coercion of Yan Hu Yelin's beasts, and then left the lair in fright and inexplicably, and rushed towards the distance. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The demon clan soldiers ran desperately, while the human players who had just fought with the demon clan clan soldiers stared dumbly at the corpses of the demon clan clan soldiers in the distance. They were puzzled, puzzled, and then shocked. Because they didn't know why the Yeazu miscellaneous soldiers suddenly died, but the ones who didn't die turned around and fled. This abnormal phenomenon made the players look dumbfounded, but they didn't know the reason. In fact, if it were not for Yan Hu Yelin, because there were soldiers from Ye Chen in the city of reincarnation, who had deliberately suppressed the pressure against humans, these players would immediately understand why the monster clan soldiers had to escape. Of course, this is not important, what is important is that Yan Hu Yelin successfully advanced to the beast. The real world, the city of reincarnation, the hall of the sanctuary. Yelin, the Yan tiger who used the scroll of the divine beast advancement, quickly turned back into the main body, a huge giant tiger. A little bit of time passed, when Yan Hu Yelin's sacred beast coercion reached its peak, Yan Hu Yelin's head directly lifted, and then he let out a roar that shook the world. Roar. After the tiger's roar full of joy ended, the light emitted by the divine beast advancement scroll disappeared immediately, and then a new Yan tiger Yelin was revealed. Seeing Yan tiger Yelin who had completely changed his appearance, Ye Chen was stunned. This is. It's completely reversed from before. I saw Yan Hu's body and tiger head, from the previous black and white to a fiery red one, 
while the tiger ears and four tiger claws changed from the previous fiery red to black and white. Yelin should have the blood of a white tiger. Why does she not look like a white tiger after she advanced to the beast? Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at Yan Hu Yelin's property panel. Yan Hu, Mythical Beast Techniques, White Tiger 7 Kills Ju, Yu Feng Ju, Yahuo Ju, Phoenix Immortality Ju Skills, 1 Fireball 2 Scorching Prairie Fire 3 Tiger Roars the World 4 Rising Clouds and Fog 5 Rebirth from the Ashes 6 Owner, Ye Chen Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. I advanced into a beast, and once again realized a kind of technique, which was the Phoenix Immortality Art of the Phoenix Clan, and also activated the fifth sealed skill, the talented skill of the Phoenix Clan, and was reborn from the ashes. Damn it! What bloodline does Yelin have? Not only does it have the characteristics of a white tiger, but also the characteristics of the Phoenix Clan. This is going against the sky. No, Yelin can continue to grow, the end is not a beast. Thinking of this, Ye Chen was stunned. Damn, there are more advanced existences behind the sacred beasts? Could it be the innate gods and demons? Impossible, what is it, is it a chaotic creature? No, I don't know much about mythical beasts, otherwise I will know. However, it doesn't matter. No matter what is behind the beast, at least Ye Lin can continue to grow. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Yes, yes, the stronger Ye Lin, the better, the more perverted the better. Yan Tiger Ye Lin is the first spiritual pet that Ye Chen conquered. From the beginning, he followed Ye Chen and was willing to give everything for Ye Chen. She was also responsible for protecting Ye Chen's physical body in the real world. Ye Chen naturally likes to see Yan. Tiger Yelin becomes stronger. To be precise, Yan Hu Yelin, the stronger and more perverted, the more Ye Chen likes it. Because only in this way, Ye Chen's safety in the real world will be higher. In this way, Ye Chen can be more at ease in the game world, instead of encountering a crisis, he must go offline to solve it himself. For example, when the strong monsters gather and then attack the city of reincarnation, when the army of the city of reincarnation cannot withstand it, Yelin the Yanhu cannot stop the strong monsters. At that time, Ye Chen must go offline to solve this problem. It is precisely because of this that Ye Chen likes to see Yelin become stronger, and the stronger the better. After all, the stronger Yanhu Yelin is, the better he can solve powerful enemies for Ye Chen without Ye Chen having to withdraw from time to time, leave the game world, and solve the troubles of the real world. Ye Chen just thought of this, Yan Hu Ye Lin opened two tiger eyes, and then ran to Ye Chen's side, rubbing Ye Chen's face affectionately with the tiger head. At this moment, Yan Tiger Ye Lin was very excited, and very excited, because it became a divine beast. She was very grateful to her master Ye Chen for everything she brought to it. Although she is still young, she is not stupid. She knows one thing very well. If it weren't for Ye Chen, not only would she increase her strength as slow as a snail, she would also become a fairy beast, or she might just be a fantasy. And now, with the help of Ye Chen, she advanced in a short time, and then became a mythical beast that many fairy beasts would never see even if they spent their entire life. For Yan Hu Yelin, this is tantamount to a great gift. Therefore, while Yan Hu Yelin was excited and excited, she also expressed deep gratitude to Ye Chen. Looking at the excited Yan Tiger Yelin, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, then rubbed Yan Tiger Yelin's head, and said. Since you have become a sacred beast, then practice hard and strive to become the strongest existence among the sacred beasts. When Yan Hu Yelin heard this, the red light flashed and instantly changed to the previous lowly state. In the next second, Yan Hu Yelin threw himself into Ye Chen's arms and said seriously. Thank you brother, I will definitely work hard and I will never let my brother down. Okay. Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, then looked at the treasure hunt fish Ye Ziaoyu, 
the golden-haired monkey and the tortoise with basaltic blood. In the next second, Ye Chen thought, and three fairy pet advancement scrolls instantly appeared in Ye Chen's hands. After seeing the three fairy pet advancement scrolls in Ye Chen's hand, the treasure hunting fish Ye Ziao beside Ye Chen, as well as the golden retriever monkey and the tortoise, their eyes lit up. Just when the three spirit pets showed expectant gazes in their eyes, Ye Chen dropped his right hand casually, and then threw the three fairy pet advancement scrolls in front of the treasure hunt fish Ye Ziao, as well as the golden retriever monkey and the tortoise. Brother, this, this is. Treasure Hunt Fish Ye Ziao, Golden Retriever Monkey, Tortoise, after seeing the fairy pet advancement scroll in front of him, he involuntarily looked at Ye Chen, and then tremblingly shouted. After hearing the three pets, I couldn't believe it, but looked forward to the affirmative answer, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said. Using it, you will become fairy beasts. Thank you, brother. The Treasure Hunt Fish Ye Ziao, the golden retriever monkey and the tortoise were all excited when they heard this, and then hurriedly prayed to Ye Chen. After speaking, the three pets took them without hesitation. Start the fairy pet advanced scroll, and then use it. At this moment, the three groups of light exploded fiercely from the fairy pet advancement scroll, and then they wrapped the three pets firmly. In the next second, three tyrannical coercion appeared from the three pets in an instant, and then rose again. The three pets who perceived their own changes involuntarily looked up to the sky and screamed. Roar! At this moment, the coercion belonging to the fairy beast immediately rose up, and then spread out from the hall of the main mansion of the reincarnation city. A little bit of time passed, when the coercion of the fairy beast on the three pets reached its peak, it stopped instantly, and then disappeared without a trace. In the next second, the light group disappeared the treasure hunting fish Ye Ziao, the golden retriever monkey, and the tortoise advanced into the fairy beast. Chi Chi looked at Ye Chen, and then at Ye Chen, he solemnly said. Thank you brother for the gift. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ye Chen smiled and nodded after hearing San Chong's excitement and inexplicable words of gratitude, and then said. The same is true for you. Cultivate hard. The safety of Samsara City will be put on you in the future. Treasure hunting fish Ye Ziao, golden hair monkeys, and tortoises have already advanced to fairy beasts. With such an existence, when they practice, they are 100% faster than the soldiers in the city of reincarnation. It was for this reason that Ye Chen told San Chong like this. As for the purpose, naturally, let the three pets clearly understand one thing, the reincarnation city in the real world is very important, and Ye Chen values it very much. Therefore, as Ye Chen's favorites, they must follow Ye Chen's orders wholeheartedly, and they can't be slack in the slightest. In fact, even if Ye Chen didn't say anything, the treasure hunt fish Ye Ziaoyu, the golden-haired monkey, and the tortoise with the basaltic bloodline would practice desperately, and then take good care of Ye Chen's physical body in the real world. Because they can advance to the beasts, it's all because of Ye Chen. They don't have the fairy pet advanced scroll given by Ye Chen. There are three of them, even if two of them, one has the blood of a six-eared macaque, and the other has the blood of a basalt. I want to advance to the fairy beast so soon. You know, it seems that there is only one level difference between the spirit beast and the fairy beast, but if you want to cross the past, the spirit beasts that are 99 o'clock all end in failure. And among these failed spirit beasts, there are countless spirit beasts with the blood of the beast. It is for this reason that Yeziaoyu, the successfully advanced treasure hunting fish, as well as the golden retriever monkey and the tortoise, thank Ye Chen from the bottom of my heart, thank Ye Chen and are willing to give everything for Ye Chen. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the treasure hunt fish Ye Ziaoyu, the golden retriever monkey and the tortoise, Chi Chi nodded solemnly, and then said. Yes. Brother. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction, and then moved his mind, 
four magic weapon class long swords instantly appeared beside Ye Chen. Taking a look at the four long swords exuding the cold air, Ye Chen said. These swords are magic weapons, and the power is still improvised. You are one for each. Thank you, brother. Yan Hu Yellen, treasure hunt fish Ye Ziaohu, golden retriever monkey and tortoise heard this, their eyes lit up, and then said with excitement. Obviously, they all know the magic weapon level long sword, what level it is, and what level of equipment they are holding in the hands of human race and monster race players. Otherwise, how could they be so happy? Ye Chen heard this, smiled and nodded, and then threw the four magic weapon class long swords to the four pets. After the four pets took it, and each of them shed their blood to recognize the master, Ye Chen directly moved his mind, and then stepped out. In the next second, Ye Chen walked directly into the distorted space, and then disappeared. The space above Keng Yu Town, one of the mysterious forces that was connected to the pot by Ye Chen, was suddenly distorted in the sky above Keng Yu Town, the territory of the Li clan. In the next second, Ye Chen stepped forward and then appeared here. Looking at the messy Keng Yu Town, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then walked straight towards the secret realm of the Li clan. Ye Chen came here naturally to get rid of the two otherworldly material mountains that were left behind, but did not reach the immortal level. After all, Ye Chen is now preparing to train blacksmiths. Without the materials for refining, the blacksmiths even if they have the blessing of the god level blacksmiths, they don't even want to create spiritual weapons. The moment Ye Chen arrived at the entrance of the secret realm, a man covered in blood suddenly rushed out of the secret realm staggering, and then fell to the ground with a bang. Cough cough, cough cough. The moment the man fell, he coughed violently, gulping blood, spraying it like money. Ye Chen frowned when he saw this. Someone went to the secret realm. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the man who fell to the ground suddenly looked at Ye Chen, and then shouted pleadingly. Save me! save me. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at the seriously injured man, and then walked toward the secret realm with a gloomy expression. Whether a man is alive or dead, Ye Chen doesn't care. What Ye Chen cares about is how long people have discovered the secret realm here, and how many refining materials have been taken away. Don't, don't go, save me. I'll give you money. Seeing that Ye Chen Li ignored him, the man suddenly became very panicked, and then yelled weakly at Ye Chen. As soon as the man's words landed, two men wearing gold suits and holding long knives suddenly rushed out of the secret realm. But in the blink of an eye, they met Ye Chen head on. At this moment, the two men holding long knives didn't even want to slash at Ye Chen directly. Ye Chen, who was walking towards the secret realm, frowned slightly when he saw this place, and then lifted his right hand slapped two slaps instantly. Flap, pop. Two violent applause sounded instantly. In the next second, the two men who attacked Ye Chen when they met, flew upside down in an instant, and then flew quickly toward the sky behind them. But in the blink of an eye, there were two explosions in the air. Boom boom. I saw that the heads of the two men who had been slapped by Ye Chen exploded in mid-air. At this moment, the red blood mixed with the white brain plasma directly flew in all directions. Boom boom came two times, two headless corpses, and then fell heavily to the ground. The man who was asking for help from Ye Chen saw this place, his eyes were involuntarily stunned, and then he shuddered abruptly. He hadn't seen the scene of slapped people and directly exploded people's heads. At this moment, a feeling of incredible and intense panic appeared directly in the man's heart. In the blink of an eye, the seriously injured man thought of something, then hurriedly looked at Ye Chen, and then shouted. Master Yu King, you are Master Yu King. Please, save me. I am willing to be your slave. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he heard this, and then walked straight towards the secret realm. To save people, Ye Chen had done it in his previous life. At that time, Ye Chen accidentally rescued a seriously injured person who was unable to move and saved him from being eaten by a monster. It's a pity that in the end, 
not only did Ye Chen fail to get a thank you, he was also dragged as cannon fodder, and went to attack the territory of a demon leader. In the words of the people Ye Chen saved at the time, this is a gift and Ye Chen must be content. It's bloody, but this is the memory of Ye Chen's previous life, even if Ye Chen is reborn, he still remembers that incident. It was exactly what Ye Chen had seen and heard in his previous life, as well as his personal experience that Ye Chen had become so cruel, so ferocious and merciless in this life. In fact, any person with a kind heart will completely change his personality after a few years in the doomsday. Because in the last days, there is no mercy, no sympathy, some are just intrigues, and there are all kinds of intrigues. If you want to live, and live well, you have to adapt to the cruel reality in the end. To be precise, the doomsday is a world full of blood, violence, conspiracy, betrayal, death and wailing. If you want to survive in the doomsday, you must adapt to the laws of the jungle in the doomsday. As for those who are unable to adapt, such as those who are still in good spirits when the end is coming, they did not die by the hands of the demons, but died by the hands of the human race. It's sad, but the truth is so. When the man saw that Ye Chen didn't care about him at all, he was about to enter the secret realm, his face suddenly changed. In the next second, the man gave Ye Chen a sullen look, and then yelled at Ye Chen extremely miserable. Master Ya Wang, I have treasures. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Ye Chen, who was about to enter the secret realm, heard this and immediately withdrew the spirit sense that was released, then stopped and turned to look at the man. After seeing Ye Chen stop and turn around to look over, the man's eyes suddenly showed a look of sure enough, but immediately, he was hidden. He didn't dare to let Ye Chen realize what he was thinking, because this would make his life lost more quickly. After all, Ye Chen's cruelty, ruthlessness and fierceness are known to everyone. Although the man has never seen Ye Chen, he also knows how Ye Chen treats those who anger Ye Chen. He didn't want to irritate Ye Chen, and then he was killed directly by Ye Chen just like those who were ruthlessly killed by Ye Chen. Of course, even if Ye Chen didn't make a move, he couldn't survive. You must know that there were no less than 20 places where his body was chopped by a sword, and there were five more places that were stabbed through. The blood was like no money, and shares flowed out. In such a short period of time, the ground was stained red by his blood. The man knows his own current state very well, and knows that if he is not treated immediately, he will definitely die. Therefore, he asked Ye Chen for help. Because Ye Chen is the first person in the human race, the strong man who crossed the tribulation period, his ability is super, and the most important thing is that only Ye Chen can save him at this moment. If even Ye Chen can't save him, or don't save him, then he will undoubtedly die. However, at the moment when the man thought Ye Chen was moved by the conditions he had offered, Ye Chen raised his left hand, and then pointed a little. Boom! The thunder that shook the world sounded instantly. At the same time, a thick-armed blue lightning fell out of thin air and instantly hit the man's head. Boom! The man's body was instantly ignited by violent lightning, and then exploded directly. In the next second, the scorched meat splattered all over the sky in pieces, and then fell all over the ground. Ye Chen glanced at the burnt meat on the ground, and curled his lips in disdain. Originally, Ye Chen didn't plan to take care of the seriously injured man. Whoever thought that this man didn't want to die, so he used treasures to ask Ye Chen for help. Of course, asking for help is nothing. It's a human being and doesn't want to die. This is normal. But the crux of the problem is not this, but rather, men shouldn't have sullen gazes at Ye Chen. Although the man hides well, no matter how much he hides, he can't hide under Ye Chen's outside divine sense. It was precisely when he noticed the man's unusual gaze that Ye Chen directly killed him without hesitation. Although Ye Chen likes treasures, Ye Chen will not endure other people's clicks for the treasures, and even let others calculate himself after getting some opportunities. 
In fact, although Ye Chen is domineering, ruthless, and even brutal, he has never killed indiscriminately. If the man did not show his sullen gaze, but sincerely proposed, exchange the treasure for Ye Chen's chance to help, Ye Chen would not be able to kill directly. It's a pity that this man has not been able to recognize reality at all. To be precise, let alone the poor man with weak strength, he still had unrealistic thoughts, and even showed a sullen look. How could Ye Chen, who sensed this point, let him go? Thinking of this, Ye Chen's divine consciousness moved, and then he directly looked at the item that burst from his storage space when the man died. When Ye Chen's divine sense checked all the objects that the man had exploded, his brows frowned involuntarily. Could it be that this bastard, who just said that there is a treasure, is fooling Lao Tzu? Ye Chen just thought of this, and instantly guessed the answer. No matter how stupid the man killed by Ye Chen was, it was impossible to say that he was carrying a treasure without the treasure. Could it be? Thinking of this, Ye Chen raised his right hand without hesitation, and then drew a symbol of the void. However, in the blink of an eye, two golden runes full of mysterious aura appeared in the sky, and then directly reflected in Ye Chen's eyes. The rune drawn by Ye Chen Sukong was naturally a rune that opened the eyes of the sky, so that he could see things that the eyes could not see clearly. Of course, if Ye Chen's realm is sufficient, or if he obtains any special heavenly materials and earth treasures, he can still use the celestial eye magic without using runes. But right now, Ye Chen still needs the runes of the Chaos Talisman to bless his eyes, otherwise the sky eyes cannot be opened. At the moment when the golden light appeared in Ye Chen's eyes, a token that was completely dark and exuding a cold breath was directly reflected in Ye Chen's line of sight. The moment Ye Chen saw the token, he was taken aback. This is. After Ye Chen thought about it, he raised his hand to take a photo. At the same time, the token that was completely dark and exuding a cold breath flew directly in front of Ye Chen's eyes. Taking a look at the token with some flesh and blood residue, Ye Chen frowned slightly, and then raised his hand to the token. In the next second, a group of flames appeared directly in the sky, and the flesh and blood residues on the token were burned away. When Ye Chen saw this, he nodded in satisfaction, then called out a water ball, and after washing the token back and forth several times, only then did he get the token in his hand. The moment Ye Chen got the token, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for getting the nether pass. Ye Chen's eyes flashed as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Damn it. It turned out to be this. Nether Pass, after use, you can forcibly open a passage connecting the Nether Realm. After entering the Nether Realm, it is not restricted by the laws of the plane. The passage lasts for 30 days. The Nether World Pass, at first glance, is nothing unusual, and it's useless for eggs. But this is only relative to ordinary players. If it is right, the result will be completely different for people who are dedicated to dominating the world and grabbing the luck of heaven and earth. As for the reason, it is very simple. Heaven and earth chi luck is not only possessed by the primordial world, but also possessed by the nether realm. Of course, the nether realm did not yet have such a function before the Hotu Bo was transformed into reincarnation. To be precise, the nether world at this moment, the heaven and earth chi luck possessed, is not enough to compare with the heaven and earth chi luck possessed by the primordial world. Of course, this is not important. The important thing is that, for people like Ye Chen, who are going to take the emperor's route and must grab the luck of heaven and earth, it is not too cool to be able to gain the freedom to enter the nether world. You know, there is only one entrance to the nether world, but it is usually closed. If you want to enter the nether realm and rob the nether realm of the chi luck, under normal circumstances, you can only forcibly attack the entrance of the nether realm, and then rush into the nether realm to fight in all directions. In this way, the more territory you lay down, the more heaven and earth luck you will get. But there are very few who can succeed in doing this. Because attacking the entrance of the nether realm is equivalent to declaring war on the entire nether realm. With the nether pass, it's different. 
As long as you use the Nether Pass order, you can get a safe passage into the Nether Realm, and you don't need to enter the Nether Realm from the entrance of the Nether Realm. And using this method to enter the Nether Realm will not be restricted by the laws of the Nether Realm. To be precise, if you enter the Nether Realm through the Nether Realm, you don't have to worry about the Essence, Chi and God being corroded by the laws of the Nether Realm, not to mention that your own combat power will be suppressed and you will not be able to play 100%. In addition, don't worry about being assimilated by the laws of Heaven and Earth in the Nether Realm, losing the identity of beings, and becoming a member of the Nether Realm. Don't worry, all the monsters in the Nether Realm can be sniffed from thousands of miles away. To the smell of one's own creatures, and then track them. Of course, there is a time limit for this, but 30 days is enough for Ye Chen to do a lot of things in the Nether Realm, such as digging a large area and taking in a large group of Nether Realm's subordinates. What's so special, I didn't expect the so called treasure to be this. In my previous life, I only heard people mention this thing, but I didn't expect it to be acquired by me now. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he received the nether world pass into the small world. The nether pass can open a safe passage to the nether realm. This is true but Ye Chen doesn't want to use the Nether Pass right now. You know, Ye Chen's realm at the moment is just a period of tribulation, although it is far more than most players, but in the Nether Realm, it really can't be ranked. If Ye Chen went to the Nether Realm now, even if he was immune to the suppression and corrosion of the Nether Realm's laws of heaven and earth, he would not be able to kill, let alone make his army fight in the Nether Realm. After all, Ye Chen still has the strength of Ye Chen's subordinates, right there, and if he goes there, he will die in vain. In short, in a word, going to the Nether Realm now is purely looking for abuse, and Ye Chen would naturally not do this. After taking a look at the Nether World Pass order received within the small world, Ye Chen's brow suddenly frowned. Wait, what's more, the said this is a treasure, and it is indeed a treasure to me, but for others, even for the mysterious forces that have inherited, this is basically a death order. Go, don't even think about coming back. Moreover, you can hear the system prompts when you hold the nether pass in your hand. In other words, the knows this token, and after using it, he can go to the nether realm. He shouldn't have been there, otherwise it is impossible to live till now. Did he regard the nether world as a treasure, or did he not know what the nether pass was? but deliberately referred to the Nether Pass as a treasure, or the Nether Pass was just obtained from the secret realm of the Li family. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, a middle-aged man wearing a blue shirt suddenly walked out of the secret realm entrance. The moment Ye Chen noticed the middle-aged man, the middle-aged man saw Ye Chen at the same time, but in an instant, the face of the middle-aged man changed, and then he turned around and walked towards the secret realm without hesitation. Ye Chen saw this and didn't even think about it. He directly raised his hand to take a photo, and instantly took the middle-aged man to his side. The middle-aged man who found that he had failed to enter the secret realm turned pale, but he immediately returned to normal. Then he bowed to Ye Chen who had captured him and said, Gongsun King, see Lord Ya Wang. Hearing this, Ye Chen's gaze that was originally normal, instantly became cold. In the next second, Ye Chen looked directly at Gong Sun Ching and asked. Who are you Gong Sun Si? Master Yu Wang knows his brother. The middle-aged man was slightly taken aback when he heard this, then looked at Ye Chen in surprise and asked. When Ye Chen heard this, the gaze in his eyes instantly became extremely cold. At the same time, the violent killing intent erupted from Ye Chen in an instant. If the middle-aged man said another name, Ye Chen wouldn't have much reaction, but when he mentioned the word Gong Sun, Ye Chen would have difficulty thinking about it. Because of Ye Chen's previous life, he kindly saved people but was eventually regarded as the key figure of canon fodder, Gong Sun Ji. It was for this reason that Ye Chen directly asked the middle aged man if he knew Gong Sun Zi after hearing the name of the middle aged man. Of course, 
this is the revenge of the previous life, which has not happened yet in this life, but this does not hinder Ye Chen's idea of revenge. Before, Ye Chen didn't think about searching for Gong Sun Si, as long as he found him, Ye Chen would shoot him to death without hesitation. One is to avenge past lives, and the other is to let one's thoughts come true. However, when Ye Chen was looking for the special monster clan player before, by the way, he searched the place where he met Gong Sun Si in the previous life, but found nothing. It was for this reason that Ye Chen put this idea on hold for the time being, preparing to wait for Gong Sun Si to be dealt with in the future. Who would have imagined that in the territory of the Li family that had turned into ruins, he unexpectedly encountered a middle-aged man named Gong Sun Qing. More importantly, this Gong Sun King is still Gong Sun Si's elder brother, how could Ye Chen be calm? It was precisely for this reason that Ye Chen's violent killing intent broke out directly and without concealment. I thought that Ye Chen, the number one human being, the number one player, and Gong Sun Qing, who was friends with his younger brother, turned pale after feeling the violent killing intent from Ye Chen. Incomparable. There was a bang. In an instant, Gong Sun Qing was frightened by Ye Chen's violent killing intent and sat on the ground. In the next second, Gong Sun Qing looked at Ye Chen with a sad expression, and then said, Master Ya Wang, this, this, is there any misunderstanding, my brother is only three years old. In Gong Sun Qing's words, there is no understanding, and there is a sense of grievance. No matter who hears it, there will be a feeling that Gong Sun Qing has been greatly wronged. When Ye Chen heard this, he glanced at Gong Sun Qing coldly, and then shouted. Stop talking nonsense, where is he? Also, depending on your dressing, you should be a special family. Tell me, where is your lair? Gong Sun Qing has a three-year-old brother. This situation is not impossible. After all, before the meteor fell, things about old couples and young wives abound. Maybe it was Gong Sun King's father who found a mistress and mistress, and gave birth to a younger one. If someone said that he had a three-year-old brother, Ye Chen would just listen, but it was Gong Sun King who said that, Ye Chen couldn't believe it at all. As for the reason, it was not because of Gong Sun King's name, but because of Gong Sun King's face that changed drastically when he came out of the secret realm. This alone is enough to show that Gong Sun Qing has a problem. If coupled with him turning around and returning to the secret realm, as well as his bloodless body, it would be even more clear that Gong Sun Qing had a lot of problems. You should know that the man Ye Chen killed was seriously injured. Later, he chased out three men from the secret realm, indicating that there must have been fights in the secret realm. And this fight is either force versus force or force versus individual, no matter which one, Gong Sun Qing, who has no blood stains on his body, and no scars, is not a simple existence. How could Ye Chen believe what such a person said? After Gong Sun Qing heard Ye Chen's cold and murderous words, his face with a sorrowful expression suddenly twisted. But immediately, Gong Sun Qing returned to normal, then looked at Ye Chen and said, Master Yu Wang, before the big change, the younger brother lived abroad all year round. After returning to China, the game started within a few days. Gong Sun Qing can be sure that the younger brother has never met with Lord Yu Wang. Are you going to kill your brother? There is no reason, just to kill him, do whatever you want, and honestly say the answer I want. Gong Sun clan can still keep it, don't say, wait for me to find out, just get rid of it. Ye Chen heard this. Smiled coldly and then spoke. Ye Chen really had the reason, but how could Ye Chen say that it was an enmity from a previous life? Gong Sun Qing's face suddenly paled when he heard this. He didn't expect Ye Chen to speak so rudely and so unreasonably. Of the two people who didn't know each other, one had to kill the other. This wasn't bullshit. At this moment, an answer suddenly appeared in Gong Sun Qing's heart, who was entangled and worried and even panicked. Could it be that brother who snatched this girlfriend? It must be so. Nima. Thinking of this, Gong Sun Qing almost yelled at that unsuspecting brother. Nima is an idiot, likes women, 
who is not good, I have to like Ye Chen, a perverted woman. Thinking of this, Gong Soon Ching tried to stabilize the anger that was rising from the atmosphere, then looked at Ye Chen, and said solemnly. Master Yu Wang, no matter what's wrong with your brother, as long as it doesn't involve life and death, there is nothing that can't be solved. Although Gong Soon Ching is not a big man, he is willing to apologize to Master Yu Wang on behalf of his brother. After Gong Sun King finished speaking, with a wave of his right hand, a small wooden box instantly appeared beside him. In the next second, Gong Sun King opened the wooden box and showed it to Ye Chen. Ye Chen frowned when he heard this, then looked at the small wooden box. When Ye Chen saw the pile of pitch black tokens in the small wooden box, his eyes suddenly opened. The netherworld pass, what's so special is in a box. Sure enough, I guessed it. Damn it. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. As soon as Ye Chen thought of this, a strong feeling of pain suddenly appeared in his heart. As for the reason, it is very simple. Ye Chen could clearly make a judgment now that the Netherworld Passing Order came from within the secret realm of the Li clan. As for the Netherworld Passing Order may come from elsewhere, Ye Chen's judgment was wrong, it was impossible. You know, Gong Soon Ching is a member of the Gong Soon clan. No matter how stupid he is, he will not run outside with a box of Nether Pass. Even if members of the Gong Soon clan, or the little brothers of the Gong Soon clan, used the nether pass and died in the nether realm, Gong Soon Ching discovered the consequences of using the nether pass to enter the nether realm, and then started using the nether pass. Ling secretly calculated the thoughts of others, and would not casually bring a box of nether passing orders with him. Because one piece is enough to trick others, there is no need for a box, and it is impossible for the Gong Soon clan to agree to Gong Soon King. You know, what the Gong Soon clan can't do doesn't mean that others can't do it. For example, a force stronger than the Gong Soon clan, or Ye Chen, the first human clan. If the Gong Soon clan really took the Netherworld Pass to trick others, it is very likely that they will not succeed, but will give benefits instead. After all, if the strength is weak, the Gong Soon clan can be killed directly, and if the strength is strong, it can only be calculated. Therefore, if the Gong Soon clan had used the Netherworld Pass, they would only hide it completely, instead of taking it out to calculate others, and would not allow the Gong Soon clan's children to hold this to calculate the existence of a tyrannical one than the Gong Soon clan. It was precisely because of this that Gong Soon Ching could never have used the Netherworld Pass, let alone know the dangers of the Netherworld realm. Therefore, the result is self-evident, the Netherworld Passing Order was just obtained by Gong Soon Ching, and it was obtained from the secret realm of the Li clan. Otherwise, Gong Soon Ching wouldn't be able to use the Netherworld Pass, and still wander outside with so many Nether Passes. And this is why Ye Chen's egg hurts just now. You know, after Ye Chen had taken away the dozens of fairy-level material mountains in the secret realm of the Li clan, he used his divine sense to scan the secret realm several times. After this kind of divine sense detection, there is still a possibility of hidden objects, which is as low as almost zero. Unfortunately, Ye Chen hit the almost impossible probability. Otherwise, how did the Netherworld Passing Order come out of the secret realm of the Li clan? Nima, next time there are any secrets, I must use the eyes of the sky to check around. The province will be the same as this time. What else is missing? The Netherworld Pass is a special item that cannot be seen with the naked eye, nor can it be seen with the divine sense, otherwise, Ye Chen would not miss the Nether Pass. Of course, Ye Chen can see the Netherworld Pass now because Ye Chen used the Sky Eye Rune in the Chaos Talisman before. Otherwise, what Ye Chen saw would be an empty box. Just when Ye Chen was feeling painful, Gong Sun King suddenly remembered that the Netherworld Pass in the box was invisible, so he hurriedly looked at Ye Chen and explained. Master Ya Wang, this box is not empty. There are a number of special props in it. Looking at their attributes, it should open the way to the netherworld. 
Gong Soon Ching is willing to use this box of Netherworld Pass to compensate her brother for his fault. The Gong Soon clan and the Li clan should belong to the family that had obtained special inheritance and chance before the meteor fell, right? Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Gong Soon Ching, and then asked. As soon as Ye Chen's answer to the question fell to the ground, Gong Soon Ching's originally flattering expression on his face instantly solidified, but immediately, it returned to normal. At this moment, an idea called Ye Chen also obtained a special inheritance before the fashion hit appeared in Gong Soon Ching's heart for no reason. The reason why Gong Soon Ching had such an idea was because before the meteor fell, there was a chance to obtain inheritance. Only those families and forces that also obtained inheritance and chance knew about it, and it was impossible for outsiders to know. But now, Ye Chen actually said it. How could Gong Soon Ching not think about it? No wonder, Ye Chen can be in the air when the game starts. It must be that the inheritance he has obtained has chance, better than all the families that have obtained inheritance and chance, otherwise it won't be like this. Thinking of this, Gong Soon Ching couldn't help showing envy and jealousy in his eyes, but he recovered in the blink of an eye. In the next second, Gong Soon Ching looked at Ye Chen with a confused face, and then asked. Master Ya Wang, what are you talking about? Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Gong Soon Ching, and then sneered. Don't understand. Master Ya Wang, I really didn't catch it just now. Gong Soon Ching shuddered abruptly when he heard this, then hurriedly looked at Ye Chen and said in a panic. Ye Chen nodded when he heard this, and then with a move with his right hand, a long sword appeared in his right hand instantly. Seeing Ye Chen suddenly took out the long sword, Gong Soon Ching's expression suddenly changed. At this moment, Ye Chen's right hand long sword was a stab towards Gong Soon Ching's shoulder. Puff came, and the long sword pierced Gong Soon Ching's shoulder effortlessly, and the tip of the sword pierced directly behind Gong Soon Ching's shoulder. In the next second, a stern and miserable howl suddenly sounded from Gong Soon Ching's mouth. Oh! The pain! The piercing pain, one after another, one after another, continuously attacked Gong Sun King's nerves, and then he saw Gong Sun King's body beginning to tremble involuntarily, and his face was also at this moment. It became extremely pale. After taking a look, he kept howling miserably because of the severe pain, and his body followed Gong Sun Ching, who was trembling constantly. Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain, and then twitched his right hand. With a sound of poof, the long sword instantly left Gong Soon Ching's shoulder, and then he saw a burst of bright red blood, which burst out instantly. Say, where is the old lair of the Gong Soon clan? If you say it, you still have a chance to survive. If you don't say it, you will definitely die. When Gong Soon Ching heard this, his pale face suddenly became paler, to be precise, it was pale. He didn't want to answer Ye Chen's question, but he didn't dare to delay at all, because as a result of the delay, Ye Chen must have pierced one or even countless holes with his long sword. Knowing this, Gong Soon Ching forcibly endured the pain that was constantly stimulating his nerves, then looked at Ye Chen and said. You. Lord Yu King, I. The netherworld pass that I took out is real. It's all in the box. You can't see it with the naked eye. If you don't believe it, just touch it and you'll know. Gong Sun King didn't want to admit that the Gong Sun clan was a legendary family, and he also gained inheritance and opportunities, and he was even more reluctant to say where the Gong Sun clan was. You know, Ye Chen asked. From Gong Sun King's point of view, he was not at ease. If this tells the location of the Gong Sun clan, Gong Sun King feels that Ye Chen is very likely to act on the Gong Sun clan. To be precise, Ye Chen not only wanted to kill, but also had a chance to seize the inheritance of the Gong Soon clan. Gong Soon Ching didn't want to see such a situation happen, so he had to pretend, and pretend to be very similar. It's a pity that after a few seconds of acting, Ye Chen was roughly interrupted by Ye Chen. He came up with a sword, and the possibility of continuing was extremely high. Therefore, Gong Soon Ching hurriedly carried out the Netherworld Pass. 
he wanted to use this in exchange for the chance of his life, and it would be better to have the chance of the Gong Sun clan to survive. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Gong Sun Ching, and then asked. Do you know how the Li clan was destroyed? When Gong Sun Ching heard this, he was taken aback for a moment, and then his face changed drastically. At this moment, an answer that Gong Sun Ching least wanted to see suddenly appeared in his heart. The Li clan was destroyed overnight, not the monster clan, but Ye Chen. When he thought of this, Gong Sun Ching's whole person was not good. Because he used special teleportation props to directly bring people to teleport here, in order to obtain the resources that the Li family obtained before the meteor fell. But now, what he heard, Ye Chen actually asked him, Do you know who killed the Li family, and his attitude was extremely playful. No matter how stupid Gong Sun Ching was, he would not think that Ye Chen asked him this way because he wanted to avenge the Li family. However, Gong Sun Ching didn't want to see this result. After all, what Ye Chen meant by saying this, from Gong Sun King's point of view, was to tell him that all the things in the Li family's secret realm belonged to Ye Chen, and the netherworld pass orders that Gong Sun King took out belonged to Ye Chen. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Gong Sun Ching's pale face suddenly became distorted. Originally, he still wanted to impress Ye Chen with the Netherworld Pass, and then let Ye Chen let him go, let go of his younger brother, and let go of the Gong Sun clan. But now, Gong Sun Ching found sadly that this idea was destined to be impossible to achieve. If I knew it, I won't tell my real name. An unspeakable remorse, involuntarily appeared in Gong Sun Ching's heart, and then became stronger and stronger. In fact, even if Gong Sun King didn't tell the truth, he couldn't run away because Ye Chen had guessed from the man who was seriously injured and killed by Ye Chen before that the Netherworld Pass might come from the secret realm of the Li clan. Therefore, regardless of Gong Sun Ching's real name at the beginning, Ye Chen would search all the people in the Li family's secret realm. To be precise, Ye Chen couldn't just let Gong Sun Ching like him casually. At first glance, he was the leader. Of course, if no one called Gong Sun King's name, or Gong Sun King didn't say the name himself, Ye Chen would ultimately not think of his enemies in the previous life, let alone question them. It's just that even if Ye Chen didn't continue to question, Ye Chen would still avenge his past life, otherwise, Ye Chen would still feel a little uncomfortable in his heart. Such a thing may be nothing to ordinary people, but for people like Ye Chen who have reached the tribulation period, this is not smooth and absolutely cannot happen. As for the reason, it is very simple. Heavenly Tribulation That's right, it's the tribulation. When Ye Chen starts to fly through the Ascension Tribulation and prepare to become a fairy, if there is any unsmooth thought in his heart, it will inevitably attract a demon. It's very dangerous to attract demons while crossing the robbery. Even if Ye Chen's cultivation is more tyrannical than everyone else, once the heart demon comes, he will have to resist, even if he has the innate treasure, it is useless. Because the heart demon appeared in Ye Chen's sea of consciousness, and it was a direct attack on Ye Chen's soul, there was no possibility of defense at all. Once the heart demon appears, resist the past, the will will become more determined. But if there is an accident, the foundation will be damaged, and the realm will be regressed, unable to improve, but in the worst case, the soul will be occupied by the heart demon, and it will be reduced to an unconscious walking dead. Therefore, it is impossible for Ye Chen to let go of his previous enemies, even if Gong Sun King didn't say his real name at the beginning, Ye Chen couldn't give up. When Gong Sun King showed regret, Ye Chen glanced at Gong Sun King with a distorted face, and asked. Did you think about it, say it, or don't say it? Master Ya Wang, if I say it, can I let the Gong Sun clan stay alive? Gong Sun King, who was secretly regretting this, immediately returned to his senses, then looked at Ye Chen and asked. Ye Chen heard this, glanced at Gong Sun Ching, and then said. Depend on mood. What Gong Sun King meant, Ye Chen heard, 
this is to abandon Gongsun Zi and preserve the Gongsun clan. If it is someone else, they may choose to yes directly, so that Gongsun King can directly tell where the Gongsun clan is. But Ye Chen wouldn't say that, because Ye Chen's realm is now in the tribulation period, and he already has the special ability to speak out and follow the law. Of course, the speaking of the law here is not really saying the law, but saying that every word Ye Chen said must be true. If Ye Chen violates it, he will be punished by the law of heaven and earth. Of course, punishment is not so painful, that is, some, little luck, some less luck, and so on. After all, this is not a swear. But even if this kind of punishment doesn't affect it, Ye Chen didn't want to see such a thing happen. It was for this reason that Ye Chen said directly, depending on his mood. In fact, letting go of the Gongsun clan, Ye Chen really thought about it at the beginning, otherwise Ye Chen wouldn't let Gongsun King tell the position of the Gongsun clan's lair, so that the Gongsun clan might still be able to keep it up. It's a pity that Gong Soon Ching didn't want to say that even though this sentiment is forgivable, but this forgivable sentiment has nothing to do with Ye Chen. As long as Gong Sun King said honestly and Ye Chen did what he said, only Gong Sun Zi would be killed. As for the Gong Soon clan seeking revenge or something, it was a joke, given them 10,000 courage, they did not dare to seek revenge from Ye Chen. Of course, it is very likely that there will be a secret plan but Ye Chen is not worried at all. You must know that Ye Chen at this moment, in the real world, is invincible. Any conspiracy and plot are all nonsense, and Ye Chen can completely destroy it violently. If the Gong Soon clan really conspired against Ye Chen afterwards, after Ye Chen found out, he would directly destroy the clan. Others don't have such confidence, but Ye Chen has it. It was for this reason that Ye Chen talked to Gong Sun Qing that way when he first started. It's a pity that Gong Sun King didn't seize the opportunity, and Ye Chen wouldn't say anything to let the Gong Sun clan go. Of course, this was also what Ye Chen deliberately told Gong Sun Qing to hear, the purpose was to make him sense of danger and then honestly stated the position of the Gong Sun clan. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Gong Sun Qing's originally distorted face suddenly became stiff. At this moment, a strong sense of threat appeared directly in Gong Sun Qing's heart. To be more precise, Gong Sun Qing felt that even if he said the location of the Gong Sun clan, Ye Chen might be killing him. After all, Ye Chen's words are too special. What depends on the mood? Isn't this nonsense? It's an extermination. How can you look at the mood? Of course, this was what Gong Sun Qing was thinking at the moment. Although Gong Sun King wanted to keep silent, Gong Sun King knew one thing very well. Even if he didn't say anything, Ye Chen, who had made up his mind to kill Gong Sun Zi, would definitely be able to find the location of the Gong Sun clan. If it's someone else, maybe it's not possible or capable. But Ye Chen was no one else, he was the first person in the human race, the strongest existence among the players, and his strength was terrifyingly messed up. If Ye Chen let go and looked for the location of the Gong Soon clan, Gong Sun King would be sure that some people would tell Ye Chen where the Gong Soon clan was. Thinking of this, Gong Soon Ching's heart was suddenly depressed, but no matter how depressed he was, he couldn't solve it. Because he knows one thing very well, Ye Chen at this moment is a mountain that all humans in the entire world cannot surpass, and his Gong Soon clan is just a relatively strong existence among humans. Facing Ye Chen, there is no chance of winning. Who made Ye Chen tyrannical and powerful enough to crush all mankind? Gong Sun Ching, who figured this out, tried to stabilize the fear that suddenly rose in his heart, then looked at Ye Chen and said, The Lord Yu, the Gong Sun clan, are on the outskirts of the capital. I also ask Lord Yu to be merciful and let go of the Gong Sun clan. No matter what the Lord Yu do with his brother, the Gong Soon clan promises that they will never obstruct, let alone look for Lord Yu. Hatred When Ye Chen heard this, his eyebrows raised involuntarily, then looked at Gong Soon Ching and asked. Did you hand over the netherworld pass by yourself, or did I explode it by myself? At this moment, 
people in the real world, everyone has a package in the game world, or their own storage space. If you want to get the things in the storage space, you can either let others take it by yourself, or you can just kill others directly, and then the storage space will collapse, and the items stored in it will fall out. It is precisely for this reason that the doomsday has become even more bloody. To be precise, no matter where they are, there are some people who specialize in killing people and exploding equipment. And Ye Chen said that, he didn't want to become the kind of person who specializes in killing people and exploding equipment, but because of the netherworld pass, it should belong to Ye Chen. Although this is a bit overbearing and even a little unreasonable, this is the case. If it weren't for Ye Chen, the Li clan would never have been destroyed, and the Li clan would not be annihilated. With Gongsun King's 10,000 courage, he would not dare to search for good things on the Li clan's territory. Of course, it is undeniable that if someone discovered the secret realm of the Li clan, and then wanted to make the idea of the secret realm of the Li clan, Ye Chen happened to train a blacksmith and came to the ruins of the Li clan. We'll miss the nether passing order again. But this is luck, a little mysterious, and even silly, but the result is like this. You know, Ye Chen has already won the Three Kingdoms Novice Zone. He is 75% of the real world luck, and he has become the son of luck. If his luck gets better, he can't stop it. And now, Ye Chen's ability to encounter the Netherworld Pass can be said to have a lot to do with Ye Chen's great luck. Otherwise, Ye Chen could not have seen it so coincidentally, when the players were about to things in the Li family's secret realm, they came here and encountered the Nether Pass. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Gong Sun Ching, who was expecting Ye Chen to give an affirmative answer, shivered abruptly, and then hurriedly said, I. I take it myself. After Gong Sun King finished speaking, he recruited ten wooden boxes. He knows what Ye Chen said burst out means. If he doesn't want to die, he has to honestly hand over the Netherworld Pass. Of course, how much he pays depends entirely on him. As long as he is still alive, Ye Chen don't want to know if he has a secret passage of the Netherworld. Gong Sun Ching is still very clear about this. After all, in the storage space, no one except yourself can see how many things are in it. Seeing that Gong Sun Ching had taken out ten boxes of Netherworld Pass, Ye Chen glanced at Gong Sun Ching playfully, and then said, Go to hell. Master Ya Wang. Gong Sun Ching suddenly narrowed his eyes when he heard this, and then shouted in surprise. However, when Gong Sun King had just said this, Ye Chen swung his right hand long sword directly at Gong Sun King's neck. With the sound of Bao La, Gong Sun Ching's head was chopped off by a long sword in an instant, and then he flew straight to the sky. At the same time, a large amount of blood squirted directly from Gong Sun Ching's broken neck, and then dyed the ground red. Taking a look at the blood on the ground, Ye Chen immediately looked at Gong Sun Ching's head, who had already landed, and said, How good is it to hand over everything honestly, so that you really don't have to die, but unfortunately, you are not honest. When Gong Sun Ching's head heard this, his eyes were desperate, and the boss who stared fiercely, his mouth moved up and down a few times, but he couldn't make any sound. At this moment, Gong Sun Ching's eyes quickly turned grey, and then died completely. The next second, there was a sound of wow. A large pile of items exploded from Gong Sun King's storage space, and then piled up on the ground. Looking at the three wooden boxes among the items on the floor, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, after using the Sky Eye rune in the Chaos Talisman, you can still see what is in the storage space of the players. This unexpected discovery, the time is good. However, the Netherworld passing order has 14 boxes, which is even cooler. Now it's time to go to the Secret Realm to collect interest. The Netherworld Pass, no matter how many there are, belong to Lao Tzu. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The Netherworld Pass is very important to Ye Chen. Ye Chen couldn't help it before. 
After all, even in Ye Chen's previous life, this thing had only heard the rumors about it, and didn't know where it came from. But now, Ye Chen knew the source of the Netherworld Pass, so naturally he wouldn't miss this opportunity. To be precise, Ye Chen would get all the Nether Passes, and would not let go of any of them. After all, the Nether Realm Passage opened by the Nether Passage Order can only last for 30 days. Although Ye Chen was able to lay a site in the Nether Realm in 30 days, but in this way, there was obviously no sufficient Nether Pass, and it was even more real. You know, the longer Ye Chen ignores the suppression of the Nether Realm's laws of heaven and earth, the easier it will be to the Nether Realm's heaven and earth Chi Luck, and even grab them all. It was precisely because of this that Ye Chen had to get all the Nether Passing Orders in his hands. Thinking of this, Ye Chen went straight to the entrance of the Secret Realm. When Ye Chen came to the Secret Realm entrance, he stepped directly out of the Secret Realm. The moment Ye Chen entered the Secret Realm, the sound of weapon collisions, anger and screams were intertwined and transmitted to Ye Chen's ears. Ye Chen followed his reputation, but two groups of people were fighting each other. One group of people was clearly in the upper hand, and the other group of people who had killed were retreating steadily and retreating toward the depths of the secret. And on the ground, there were corpses, blood and people who were seriously injured and howling miserably. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, then flew straight up, and in the blink of an eye he came to the sky above the two groups of people. Ye Chen's sudden appearance immediately attracted the attention of the two groups of people. After all, flying in the sky is not an ordinary phenomenon, and they can't help but not pay attention. It was for this reason that the two groups of people who were fighting each other stopped involuntarily. In the next second, Dozens of exclamations rang out among the two groups of people. Yet. Ye Chen. When the exclamation fell to the ground, the people who reacted slightly slower all were taken aback, and then they showed completely different expressions. Some are worried, even panic, scared, and some are pleasantly surprised. In Madeir, Ye Chen couldn't help raising his eyebrows as he looked at the crowd with different expressions on the ground. There seems to be a lot of nether passes in the storage space. Not bad. Thinking of this, Ye Chen directly shouted. No matter who it is, I'll line up, give me the nether world pass and the refining materials from here, otherwise, kill me. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the two groups coincidentally showed an expression of it really is so. Obviously, this group of people are not stupid. Seeing Ye Chen coming here, they guessed at the first time what Ye Chen was here, otherwise the expressions on their faces would not be so consistent. In the next second, many people lined up with a look of rejoicing among the people who were being killed and retreating. A very few people lined up, but their eyes hesitated. As for the group of people who clearly had the upper hand, most people lined up unwillingly, while a few people lined up honestly, without showing any unwillingness. Seeing people with different expressions starting to line up on the ground, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows, and then said. Take things out honestly so that you can leave safely, don't challenge my patience. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, on the ground, following Ye Chen's orders, many of the people who began to line up had expressions of panic on their faces. Obviously, these people are not going to hand over all the netherworld passing orders, otherwise, they would not suddenly become so panicked after hearing what Ye Chen said. When Ye Chen saw this, he curled his lips in disdain, and then shouted. Now, step forward one by one and hand over the things. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he landed directly. At this moment, the middle-aged man at the front of the line tried to stabilize his heart that was beating violently, and then walked towards Ye Chen. When he arrived in front of Ye Chen, he bowed to Ye Chen and said. Master Ya Wang, this is the netherworld pass I got from here. I didn't get the materials here. I can swear. After the middle-aged man finished speaking, he took out six netherworld pass orders, and then handed them to Ye Chen respectfully. After receiving the six netherworld passage orders, Ye Chen glanced at the middle-aged man, and then said. You can leave now. 
In the middle-aged man's storage space, there was no netherworld pass and refining materials, and Ye Chen would naturally not do anything to him. After hearing Ye Chen's words, the middle-aged man breathed a sigh of relief, and then respectfully bowed to Ye Chen. Thank you Lord Ya Wang. After the middle-aged man finished speaking, he hurriedly left here. As soon as the middle-aged man left, the young man who came in second immediately stepped forward, and then took out eight nether passage orders and a pile of refining materials. Ye Chen glanced at the young man, and then raised his right hand, which was one point towards the young man. At the same time, a muffled thunder sounded out of thin air. Boom! I saw a thick wash basin lightning, appearing out of thin air, and instantly burst the young man's body. The next second, there was a sound of wow. I saw a large amount of refining materials plus three nether passes, mixed with some messy items, directly exploded. The people in the line shuddered abruptly when they saw this place. At this moment, a strong sense of panic appeared directly in everyone's hearts. Even those who will be killed by another group of people in a short time, but suddenly see Ye Chen come and feel that a savior is coming, no need to die is no exception. They didn't think that Ye Chen could see the items in the storage space, so many people were lucky and wanted to hide a part of the nether pass and the refining materials, and even said there was nothing to deceive Ye Chen. But now, they saw that Ye Chen didn't even ask, and directly killed him, exploding the refining materials that Ye Chen wanted. As for whether there was a nether passing order, they didn't know, because the nether passing order could not be seen by the naked eye. But this is not the key. The key is that Ye Chen's approach allowed everyone to understand a fact. Ye Chen looked like he wanted to kill someone, so he would kill someone, and would never ask this person if he had hidden it privately. When thinking of this fact, everyone is not calm. Because of this, no matter whether they hide things or not, they might be killed by Ye Chen. Just when everyone was at a loss because of this fact, the young man ranked third, looked at Ye Chen and stammered. You, Master Ya Wang, I, I will hand it over, no. Don't kill me. Ye Chen heard this, took a look at the young man, and then exploded the netherworld pass on the ground, as well as the refining materials, as many as they received in the small world, then he said. Carry on. When the young man heard this, his face suddenly paled. At this moment, he wanted to escape immediately and leave the secret realm but he knew very well that in front of Ye Chen, he had no chance to escape at all. Thinking of this, the young man's face turned paler. In the next second, the young man walked towards Ye Chen tremblingly. When he arrived in front of Ye Chen, he did not dare to delay at all. He hurriedly took out two nether pass orders, and then handed them to Ye Chen nervously. Ye Chen glanced at the young man, and then said. You can leave now. Expecting Ye Chen not to kill his young man, he was taken aback when he heard this, and then bowed to Ye Chen in ecstasy. Thank you, Lord Ya Wang. Ye Chen waved his hand, then looked at the rest of the crowd, and said. Carry on. When the people in the line heard this, they shivered involuntarily. At this moment, they suddenly felt that who Ye Chen wanted to kill might really depend on his mood. If you don't want to die it's best to act honestly and try not to hide it privately. Otherwise, if Ye Chen notices something is wrong, he will definitely be killed by Ye Chen immediately. Soon, everyone stepped forward one by one, and constantly took out the netherworld pass and the refining materials, but after Ye Chen received it, he did not kill at will as everyone was worried. At first, some people thought that Ye Chen's murder was just a shock. Gradually, some people began to want to hide. But when Ye Chen started to kill again, and then broke out what Ye Chen wanted every time, everyone found a fact that they couldn't believe. Ye Chen seems to be able to see the things in the storage space, otherwise, how come everyone who was killed directly by Ye Chen exploded with refining materials all over the floor? Of course, this doesn't rule out those people who are brave and dare to hide it privately, but the problem is that Ye Chen can burst out what he wants every time, it's too weird, and they can't help but think about it. Soon, 
the people in line in the secret realm couldn't help but throw their thoughts in private without hesitation, and then honestly handed in what Ye Chen wanted. Before long, everyone handed over what Ye Chen wanted, and then left the secret realm of the Li clan. They left with doubts. Of course, in addition to doubts, there were also reluctance and unwillingness, as well as the easiness after fear and fear. Unfortunately, no matter what they think, Ye Chen will not explain to them, let alone sympathize with them. In this world, the law of the jungle is already rampant, and Ye Chen wouldn't do anything sorrowful and compassionate. In the secret realm, Ye Chen glanced at it. In the small world, the nether passing order that had piled up into a hill, and then raised his eyebrows slightly. I want to train a blacksmith, but I accidentally get so many nether passes, yes, yes. Thinking of this, Ye Chen stepped forward and instantly came to the mountain of materials that had not yet been moved by the players. Then, with a wave of his right hand, he instantly received the remaining two mountain of materials into the small world. In the next second, Ye Chen jumped directly into the air, and then checked back and forth in the secret realm of the Li clan. It wasn't until Ye Chen confirmed that there were no remaining netherworld pass orders, he left the secret realm of the Li clan straight away. However, the moment Ye Chen left the secret realm and came outside, a golden sword of the sky suddenly fell from the sky, and then slashed straight towards Ye Chen. At the same time, an angry shout came directly. Ye Chen! I want you to bury my second brother. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Ye Chen heard this, his brow suddenly frowned, and then he looked at the huge lightsaber that slashed straight at him, and his whole body exuded violent coercion. In the next second, Ye Chen's eyes shrank sharply. The Sword of Verdict The Sword of Judgment is not a real long sword, but a special item that will land on the earth after a meteor falls. Its body shape is like a cross. That's right, it's the cross. It looks shameless, but its power is amazing. As long as it is used, it can completely smash a mountain. In Ye Chen's previous life, he had seen the Sword of Ruling during a confrontation with a Western player, and the aftermath of the Sword of Ruling had spread. If it wasn't for Ye Chen's chance to obtain a life-saving item, Ye Chen would probably die directly, and even his soul would not be able to keep it. Because the attack of the Sword of Judgment is a double attack, attacking both the body and the soul. Later, Ye Chen heard that the Sword of Judgment is a unique prop in the West, and there is no such thing in the East. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the innate supreme treasure killing spear appeared in an instant, and then slammed it at the Sword of Verdict that slashed straight. In the next second, the dark and thick gunkiller slammed into the huge Sword of Judgment that exuded golden light in the sky. Boom! The roar that shook the heaven and the earth rang out instantly. I saw a holy appearance, but with a fierce and mighty ruling sword, it exploded in an instant, and then a small golden lightsaber burst into the sky, which immediately enveloped Ye Chen. At the same time, an extremely dense collision sounded instantly. Ding ding ding! But it was the small golden lightsaber produced after the Sword of Judgment exploded, and it directly attacked Ye Chen's body. At the same time, in the distance, the young man who used the Sword of Verdict suddenly showed a crazy smile when he saw Ye Chen being wrapped in a small golden lightsaber in the sky. At this moment, the blonde, blue-eyed, high-nosed foreign man standing beside the young man looked straight at the young man, and then said in fluent Chinese, Gong Soon, the Sword of Judgment is invincible, and the number is extremely rare, so, do you understand? Don't worry. As long as I can kill Ye Chen, I will copy a copy of the Medicine King's book and give it to the Holy See. The young man frowned when he heard this, then looked at the foreign man and said. Upon hearing this, the foreign man nodded in satisfaction, and then said. Oriental people always pay attention to honesty in doing things. I hope you don't let me down. Otherwise, Gong Soon, your family and Dong Feng will all bear justice. At that time, 
the Pope will organize a tens of millions of crusades. I am also a member of the Church. You don't need to doubt my loyalty to the Church. The young man's face suddenly sank when he heard this, and then he said coldly. Upon hearing this, the foreign man shrugged his shoulders helplessly, and then said. Gong Soon, don't be so angry. You are my classmate and my brother. I say this for your own good. I don't want to see you go the wrong way. You should know how terrifying the Twelve Knights of the Pope are. If you make a move, the Gong Soon clan really cannot keep it. I understand, Jack, when Ye Chen is dead, I will go back, copy a copy of the Medicine King's book, and give it to you. As for the original, don't think about it. The young man's face suddenly sank when he heard this, and then he became heavy. Nodded in reply. Upon hearing this, the foreign man nodded with a smile, and then said triumphantly. This Ye Chen, no matter how powerful, it is impossible to survive under the sword of holy judgment. Gong Soon, you must know that only the holy light is eternal. You see, the holy light will baptize his soul soon. At that time, our Lord will definitely wash his soul thoroughly and end his sinful life. As soon as the foreign man's words landed, he kept attacking Ye Chen's golden lightsaber, bursting open in an instant, and then bursting with golden light. At this moment, the extremely terrifying temperature erupted from where Ye Chen was. Boom! The air trembled, and the air fluctuating visible to the naked eye appeared from where Ye Chen was standing, and then quickly spread in all directions. At the same time, the earth under Ye Chen's feet began to crystallize in the blink of an eye, and then a huge bowl-shaped pit was quickly formed. Inside, the crystal light was shining, but the golden light in the center was still there as if not completely destroying Ye Chen, and vowed not to stop. When the young man saw this, his eyes suddenly lit up, and the foreign man beside him gave the young man a triumphant glance, and then said. Gong Soon, have you seen it? At such a terrifying temperature, even steel can melt instantly. Can you say that Ye Chen can survive? The young man laughed when he heard this, and then said. Okay. As long as Ye Chen, the who has gone shitty, hangs up, my grandson clan wants to dominate the East, it is not a dream at all. Hey, brother, I want to remind you, don't forget, you are a member of the church, don't forget this identity. When the foreign man heard this, he patted the young man on the shoulder with a smile, and then spoke. Said. When the young man heard this, a flash of irritation flashed in his eyes but he took it back in an instant, and then smiled at the foreign man and said. Don't worry, I still want to be a paladin of the apocalypse, how could I betray the Pope? The foreign man sighed when he heard this, and then solemnly said. Gong Soon, don't hate me, I know your ambition, don't rush to deny it, we are brothers, I know your ambition, and know your thoughts better, but I have never told anyone. However, if you want to achieve your goal, there is still a long way to go. The Pope is really not easy to mess with. He has a lot of holy things that you don't know. Don't challenge the authority of the Pope casually. He is terrifying. When the young man heard this, his face suddenly changed, and then he looked at the foreign man with a complicated expression and asked. Jack, why are you telling me this? Gong Soon, you know. When the foreign man heard this, he gave the young man a sad look, and then said. When the young man heard this, he glanced at the foreign man, shivered suddenly, and then said. I. I'm not in a hurry, I can wait. The foreign man said with a smile when he heard this. At this moment, the golden light that wrapped Ye Chen suddenly dissipated. After the young men and foreign men noticed this, Chi Chi looked over. At this moment, Ye Chen, who was not covered in a patch, looked handsome and masculine, but was full of tyrannical aura, appeared in the sight of the two of them. The moment he saw Ye Chen, the young man and the foreign man were taken aback, and then they all shouted in surprise. How can it be? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, 
the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Young men and foreign men did not expect that with great power, the sort of ruling that could completely blast a mountain into scum, it only wiped out Ye Chen's clothes, and did not cause Ye Chen at all. A little bit of damage. This result completely exceeded their expectations. No way, they had seen the power of the Sword of Judgment. After a sword passed, the mountain smashed and the power of such an explosion did not play a role in Ye Chen's place. How could they believe it? But the fact that the two people saw in front of them is still like this. Standing in the huge bowl-shaped pit, Ye Chen shook his arms alive, and then looked at where the two of them were. When the two were shocked to be unbelievable, Ye Chen squinted his eyes after taking a look at them. Gong Sun Si, and the underlings of the Pope who dominated the West in the past. I said why someone attacked me suddenly, and what a special rule was the sword. In Ye Chen's previous life, several months before his rebirth, he had contact with the Western Holy See. It was also at that time that Ye Chen saw the whole process of the Sword of Judgment showing its power. For this reason, Ye Chen was almost killed by Yu Wei of the Sword of Judgment. Of course, in order to save his life, Ye Chen at that time used the life-saving items he obtained by chance and survived. But this is not important. What is important is that the Western Holy See has come to the East at least a year in advance. This variable is the most important. Of course, this variable, before Ye Chen heard the conversation between Gong Sun Zi and foreign men, he really couldn't guess it. But now, Ye Chen knew clearly why the Pope's men had suddenly come to the East. To be precise, members of the Western Holy See power suddenly came to the East for the sake of the King of Medicine book of the Gong Sun clan. What is the Medicine King's book? How could Ye Chen, who was born again, didn't know. That is the sacred book of the alchemy that makes all alchemists jealous, even crazy. Inside, there are countless alchemy recipes from elementary to immortal level, and it is also equipped with various top alchemy techniques. No matter who gets the Medicine King's book, he can become a top alchemist, and then he can refine all kinds of pills to help practice, even if it is an elixir. Of course, the premise is that the level of cultivation is sufficient, otherwise, it would be useless to have the Medicine King's book. In Ye Chen's previous life, the news of the Medicine King's book was first spread from the mouths of alchemists, and then spread to the entire group of players. It's a pity that no one knows where the Medicine King Baodian is or in whose hands it is. And Ye Chen, in his previous life, had also thought about getting the Medicine King's book, and then becoming an alchemist. Because of this, Ye Chen will have countless pills to take, and it will also allow Ye Chen to have a safe living environment. You know, the pill that the alchemist refines can speed up the improvement of cultivation, and no one doesn't like pill. Even a vicious person who encounters an alchemist will not do it casually. Even if he does it, he will at most rob the alchemist's pill without killing the alchemist. It was precisely for this reason that Ye Chen in his previous life wanted to become an alchemist. After all, the real world has completely changed since the meteor fell and the game started. What ordinary people face is the ubiquitous danger, which comes from the monster race, but also from human beings. When Ye Chen was in his previous life, he was an ordinary person who could no longer be ordinary. Therefore, Ye Chen wanted to get the Medicine King's book and become an alchemist. In this way, Ye Chen can live safely, and then continue to work hard to live. Although this is a little peasant, Ye Chen in his previous life didn't even know how to survive, so he could only pursue some hopes that could barely be seen. Unfortunately, Ye Chen's idea was ultimately just an idea, and it was never realized. Because of the Baodian of the King of Medicine, even alchemists had only read the relevant classics and didn't know where they were. How could Ye Chen know? Of course, this was something Ye Chen didn't know in his previous life, but now Ye Chen knows. Unexpectedly, the Yao Wang Baodian pursued by the alchemists of the previous life was actually in the hands of the Gong Sun clan. No wonder the Gong Sun clan rose so quickly after they soared to the precipice. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. 
I didn't know before, so forget it, now I know, this medicine king Baodian, Lao Tzu has settled it. Ye Chen wanted to obtain the medicine king's book, naturally not to fulfill his previous life dream and become an alchemist, but to use it on his subordinates. To be precise, it is for Nanhua Old Immortal. After all, Old Immortal Nanhua is a pharmacist himself, and he can make alchemy, and only he is suitable for learning the Book of Medicine King. In this way, Ye Chen could have a steady stream of powerful pills to use. In this way, whether it is Ye Chen, Ye Chen's subordinates, or Ye Chen's army, their strength will soar. Thinking of this, Ye Chen thought, a set of heavenly equipment from the Golden Turban Rebellion appeared in an instant, and then Ye Chen directly put it on. At this moment, Ye Chen didn't feel anything. Although Ye Chen didn't mind very much, he might not be watched by people, so it was better not to watch. After all, Ye Chen didn't have any special hobbies. As for Ye Chen's ability to take out the equipment without a drop of blood to recognize the master from the small world, it is also because these equipment are all true equipment, plus, Ye Chen has a small world that can grow infinitely. Otherwise, it is impossible for these true equipment to appear in the real world. The moment Ye Chen put on his full body armor and covered the key parts, the foreign man named Jack hurriedly looked at Gongsun Zi and said. Hurry up. He is terrifying. Go. Hearing this, Gongsun Zi suddenly regained his senses, and then said with an ugly expression on his face. After Gongsun Zi finished speaking, he took out a stone with the foreign man, and then saw two groups of white lights lit up, and immediately wrapped the two of them. Ye Chen smiled coldly when he saw this. Lao Tzu is now in the tribulation period, even if you two use the jade slips of the big move, don't want to run out of Lao Tzu's detection range. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's primordial spirit moved, and his huge spiritual consciousness instantly covered a radius of 500,000 miles. At this moment, Gongsun Zi and foreign men disappeared instantly. On the outskirts of the capital, in a big town named Yeoongjin, two groups of white lights suddenly appeared in the hall of the mayor's mansion, and then Gongsun Zi and a foreign man named Jack appeared here. Zai Zai, where's your second brother? In the hall, a middle-aged man drinking tea saw Gongsun Zi and foreign men suddenly appearing, he was taken aback, and then asked. When Gongsun Zi heard this, his face was a little gloomy and said. The second brother was killed by Ye Chen. I just avenged the second brother, but I failed. When the middle-aged man heard this, his face changed drastically, and he stood up suddenly, and then shouted in surprise. What? You said your second brother, your second brother was killed by Ye Chen. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth couldn't help but he raised his right hand and grabbed the geomagnetic mind bomb that was hit by the middle-aged man. In the next second, the geomagnetic mind bomb was instantly caught by Ye Chen. At the same time, the power carried on the geomagnetic mind bomb was directly unloaded by Ye Chen. Geomagnetic mine explosive bombs need mana infusion to detonate, and violent collisions are basically unlikely to detonate them, but Ye Chen didn't want to take this risk. If there was an explosion because of the collision, Ye Chen would be too late to regret it. Therefore, at the moment when Ye Chen caught the geomagnetic mine blast, he removed all the impact contained on it. At the moment when Ye Chen caught the geomagnetic mine bomb, but did not cause an explosion, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Ding, congratulations to the players for obtaining the special item, the geomagnetic mine bomb. Ye Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows as soon as the system's prompt sound ended. Sure enough, I guessed right. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked directly at the geomagnetic mine bomb in his right hand. Geomagnetic mine explosive bomb, it needs to be filled with mana before it can activate its inner magnetomagnet array, which has the function of obliterating everything. The more mana is poured, the stronger the explosion power and the maximum range of attack, 100,000 square kilometers. 
After reading the properties of the geomagnetic mine bomb, Ye Chen's face suddenly stiffened. Damn it! The rumors about geomagnetic mine explosive bombs in the previous life were so incomplete. Nima, fortunately, I was careful enough to remove the power from the geomagnetic mine bomb, otherwise. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the middle-aged man with a crazy face was taken aback for a moment, and then he roared incomparably. How could it not explode? It is clearly said that collision can detonate, why not explode? Because Ye Chen killed Gongsun King and Gongsun Si, the middle-aged man wanted to die with Ye Chen, so he used a geomagnetic mine bomb. But the result was seriously beyond his expectation. Ye Chen caught the geomagnetic mine bomb, not to mention it, it didn't explode at all. When Ye Chen heard this, he curled his lips in disdain, and then with a thought, he instantly received the geomagnetic mine bomb into the small world. Ye Chen wanted geomagnetic mine explosive bombs, but he didn't want to play or explode, but Ye Chen had a way to use geomagnetic mine explosive bombs unharmed. You know, Ye Chen has refined the origin of space and mastered space abilities. If Ye Chen wanted to use geomagnetic mine explosive bombs to bomb the enemy, he could completely throw the monofilled geomagnetic mine explosive bombs directly to any place 180,000 miles away through the space transmission ability. In this way, no matter how powerful the geomagnetic mine bomb exploded, it shouldn't affect Ye Chen. Of course, Ye Chen would definitely not use such a big killer casually. Even if he used it, it was when he started the battle after ascending to the prehistoric world. At that time, none of the enemies Ye Chen encountered was weak, and there were too many enemies. In this way, the geomagnetic mine blasting bomb will be useful. It's not too cool to knock down an enemy within 100,000 square kilometers in the past. Just as Ye Chen thought of this, the middle-aged man with a grim face gave Ye Chen a vicious look, and then directly recruited two geomagnetic mine explosive bombs, one in each of his left and right hands. Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Damn it! This actually has a geomagnetic mine bomb. 